Chapter 161 Sword Intent Li Shiming looked at the flames and ice gathering in front of him. Since the Beishu Chain Chi monks didn't have much time to prepare. The spells released were at most the power of the Chain Chi Peak. He didn't even dodge, but rushed straight into the destructive spiritual power composed of fire and ice. The fire and ice forcibly broke through the defensive spiritual power on his body, and his robe instantly turned into tatters. However, when these powerful attacks during the Qi stage landed on his skin, they did not have much effect, at least in the short term. These attacks cannot cause much damage to Li Shiming. He passed through the range of the covering spell and rushed into the protective circle of the northern Xu Chen Qi monk. He did not make any attacks because he knew very well that once he escaped from sword escape and lost his speed advantage, he would be trapped on the spot by many northern Xu Chen Qi monks. Even if his defense was strong enough, he would not dare to be surrounded by these strongest monks in the Qi Chain stage. The sword light rushed past the Bei Xu Chain Qi cultivator, who was sitting cross-legged and activating the talisman. The northern Xu Chain Qi cultivator felt that his hands were empty. And then a backlash came from his inner abdomen. And he couldn't help but vomit. A mouthful of blood. Li Shiming grabbed the talisman with his spiritual thoughts and put it into the storage bag without even looking at it. After the sword light rushed out of the range of the northern Xu Chain Qi monk, it turned and returned to the inverted nine palaces and Bagua formation at an extremely fast speed. Li Shiming left the inverted nine palaces and Bagua formation. The whole process only took two breaths. When he returned to the formation, his robe was in tatters, but he was smiling. Even the golden elixirs on Seven Star Island couldn't help but be surprised by his actions. Li Shiming's defensive power was outstanding. This was known to the golden elixir elders and was not a secret. At that time, when Li Shiming was only at the sixth level of Chain Chi, he relied on the true incarnation of the angry Ai King Kong to advance to the seventh level of Chain Chi. Now that he is at the eighth level of Chain Chi, he used the Badra Body Protection Divine Skill, promoted by the true incarnation to resist in a short time. The attack of the covering spell did not surprise the Jin and Elders much. What really surprised the Jin and Elders was Li Shiming's decisiveness. When he discovered that the opponent was using the talisman, he rushed out without any hesitation and successfully snatched the talisman back. This speed and determination were even stronger than the fighting consciousness of the genius monks trained by the sect. Junior brother, are you okay? He Chuan asked with concern. No injuries. The power of the covering spell is dispersed. Li Shiming smiled and shook his head. He Chuan and the other seven monks all understood that even if the power was dispersed, the covering spell was not something that ordinary body refining monks could resist with their bodies. Being robbed of the talisman and causing backlash to the Chen Chi monk. The Chen Chi monk in Bei Shu felt aggrieved. Brothers, we now have the advantage. Why not fight them with all our strength? Li Shiming looked at the monks of the seven sects and suggested. There were thirteen monks from the seven sects and ten monks from northern Shu. The strongest monk from the Chain Chi was seriously injured. This has been planned for a long time. The monks from the seven sects said with fighting spirit. He had been hit hard before. And now it was time to take revenge. Li Shiming put away the bronze corpse with three heads and six arms. And the other two Xianming sect monks also put away their respective bronze corpses. The bronze corpse can be summoned at any time. And the effect is better when summoned at the right time. The inverted nine palaces and Bagua formation remains in place. This is a safety guarantee for the monks of the seven sections. Even if they are in danger, they can return here. Kill! All the monks from the seven sect shouted in unison. After preparing all the magic weapons and talismans in their hands, they rushed out of the inverted nine palaces and Bagua array and killed the northern Shu Chain Chi monks. Li Shiming set his sights on the northern Shu monk who had suffered backlash. A Chain Chi monk who could possess a talisman must have an extremely powerful background and would have many good things in his hands. He already has three talismans, plus the ones he snatched this time. Take a look at what kind of monks have talisman treasures. Yin Shirlan's father is the Jin and elder of Tianhai sect. And Bailey Jinian's father is the Jin and elder of Shengbing sect. Seeing the seven sect monks coming out, the northern Shu Chain Chi monks came forward without giving in at all. The northern Shu monk, who was targeted by Li Shiming, was also eyeing Li Shiming. Even if he had a golden elixir background, the talisman was extremely precious. The production of talisman consumes the original power of the Golden Elixir Elder's magic weapon. And also harms the Golden Elixir Elder himself. No matter how much he dotes on him. He will not give a second talisman to a disciple in the Chainchi stage. So this monk from Northern Shu wanted to kill Li Shiming and take back his own talisman. 
The two had the same idea and were both interested in each other's storage bags, which made them choose to leave the chaotic area. Li Shiming cannot use the spiritual attack of Bing Xi and J Thought Technique. Here, otherwise, even if he defeats his opponent, the Bailey elders of the Holy Bing sect will confirm that he killed Bailey Jean Yin. However, he had many tricks. The broken jade sword turned into sword light and shot towards the Beishu monks. The northern Shu monk was a little worried about Li Shiming's three-headed and six-armed bronze corpse. So he wanted to deal with Li Shiming quickly and not let Li Shiming have the opportunity to summon the three-headed and six-armed bronze corpse. A jade seal appeared in the hands of the monk from Beishu. He flipped his hand and the jade seal flew to Li Shiming's head, turned into a jade mountain and smashed down. Li Shiming, who was under the jade seal, felt a binding force coming from the jade seal. This binding force not only targeted the body, but also the spirit. Without any hesitation, he exerted force with both feet, stepped on the ground for several consecutive steps, and rushed out of the restraint range of the jade seal. There was a boom behind him, and the jade seal hit the ground heavily. The Beishu monk was shocked. His jade seal was a super-grade magic weapon, and it could store a large amount of spiritual power in advance, causing the effect of locking a strike. He did not expect that Li Shiming's physique could resist the physical constraints of the Jade Seal, and Li Shiming's powerful spirit could resist the spiritual constraints of the Jade Seal. Li Shiming had no time to care about the Jade Seal behind him. His broken Jade Sword had already arrived in front of the Northern Shu Monk. In front of the Northern Shu Monk, there is a super-grade magic weapon shield, and the spiritual energy shield emitted protects his whole body. The broken Jade Sword stabbed down on the shield. One blow had no effect. Then the second and third blows. The northern Shu monk was taking back the jade seal. But his expression changed in an instant. The connection between the super-grade magic weapon shield in front of him and him was rapidly weakening. Cut! Chop! Chop! Li Shiming once had the experience of using sword control technique to fight with the same level when he exerted his full strength under the action of the sword bone. His sword light was filled with a trace of strange energy. This strange energy has a certain aggressiveness towards the magic weapon and can destroy the spiritual connection between it and the owner. The northern Shu monk wanted to take back the super-grade magic weapon shield and replace it with a defensive magic weapon. But it was too late. He felt that the shield of the super magic weapon was hit by the sword light again, and completely lost contact with him. The super magic weapon shield lost contact with the northern Shu monk, and his spirit was once again counterattacked. He was dizzy, and his fighting instinct caused his body to fall backwards. At the same time, a talisman was automatically activated, and the talisman turned into a ray of light and enveloped him and fled into the distance. Li Shiming's spiritual thought swept across the supergrade magic weapon shield, put it away, and struck the jade seal that the Beishu monk had not recovered in time with another sword. The jade seal that lost its master's control was directly cleared of its spiritual mark of recognition of its master with this sword. He collected the jade seal and then chased the fleeing northern Shu monk. He was not worried about the northern Shu monks escaping at all. Because the battlefield here was so big, when the northern Shu monks' escape light reached the edge of the battlefield, it was actually blocked. And then they changed directions and continued to flee. Li Shiming understood that the battlefield here was restricted by Jin Dan monks. At least the monks in the Chain Chi stage could not leave before the battle was over. The Beishu monk, who was running ahead, spat out a mouthful of blood again due to the loss of contact with the Jade Seal. His spirit was severely traumatized by the continuous destruction of magical weapons. And because he changed direction once, his escape speed was delayed. The actual distance between him and Li Shiming was only 30 meters. He suppressed his headache and struck out a talisman. Where to escape? Li Shiming made a sound that was driven by devil sound. The monk from Northern Shu in front was mentally traumatized and was in his weakest state. Suddenly, a magic sound hit his ears made the monk from Northern Shu's escape light stagnant. The Beishu monk was delayed for a moment, but it gave Li Shiming an opportunity. The sword light caught up with the Beishu monk, and a sword entered from behind, instantly extinguishing the Beishu monk's life. Li Shiming took the talisman with his body, and with a sweep of his mind, he grabbed the storage bracelet on the Beishu monk, and then put it away together with the body. The demonic sound is in my ears. If I didn't know that he is a disciple of Tian I sect, I would have thought that he was a disciple of Xiaoming sect. Elder Xie of Shengbing sect said provocatively. He used the Vidra body protection divine art. Why didn't fellow Taoist Jie say that he was a disciple of the 10,000 Buddhist sect? 
Elder Bai of the Xianming sect replied with an indifferent smile. Li Shiming's magic sound in ears is very authentic. It is this authenticity that shows that Li Shiming obtained magic sound in ears through legitimate means because the rumored magic sound in ears is not so complete. Although the demonic sound is into the ear and Xianming Corpse Refining Chapter are secret traditions of the Xianming sect. Over the years, I believe each sect has inherited some of them. Besides, given the relationship between Elder Yin and Elder Ren, what does it have to do with their son-in-law learning? Demon sound into the ears. Even if he has learned all the other inheritances of Xianming sect, it is not a big problem. Only some Jean Dan paid attention to the conversation between Elder Xia and Elder Bai. The Golden Elixir elders with strong eyesight now had a look of surprise in their eyes. When these Golden Elixir elders watched the battles in the Qi Chain period, it was a miracle to be able to surprise them several times. But in fact, this time, they said they were surprised rather than horrified. However, Elder Yin's face was full of surprise. The Jin Dan monk, who had insufficient eyesight, only saw the magic sound in the ears used by Li Shiming and the powerful but draw body protection magic. But the Jin Dan monk with strong eyesight saw another point. When Li Shiming used the sword control technique, a few swords made the Beishu monk lose control of his super-grade magic weapon. This is the most important thing. Li Shiming is at the 8th level of chain energy. The sword control technique he performs is theoretically impossible to make a super-grade magic weapon lose control with just a few swords. You must know that the Beishu monk opposite is at the ninth level of chain energy. And in terms of spiritual power strength, it is far inferior to Li Shiming. Then there is only one possibility. A possibility that Elder Yin and Elder Jean Dan, who are present to recognize the goods cannot believe. Am I right? It's sword intent? Master Du Hai looked at Elder Yin and asked with some uncertainty. The reason why I am not sure is because there has never been a real sword cultivator in the seven sects. This has nothing to do with qualifications, but rather the fact that the seven sects have no real inheritance of sword cultivation. The so-called sword cultivation inheritance such as sword control technique is only a part of the real sword cultivation inheritance, and it is still the least important part. Master Du Hai couldn't believe that Li Shiming had the sword intention just by relying on sword controlling art, or the Qi Chain chapter of sword controlling art. Of course, Li Shiming is still far from the real sword intention. But judging from the battle just now, his sword light contains a trace of sword intention. It was this hint of sword intent that caused the Beishu monk, who was at the ninth level of chain energy, to lose control of the super-grade magic weapon in a short time. The sword cultivator's ability to defeat all kinds of magic with one sword is not just a random rumor. It is the sword cultivator's reputation that he has established in the world of immortality through battle after battle. The sword cultivator is known as the monk with the strongest attack power. And he does not need other magic weapons. He only needs a sword in his hand, relying on his terrifying sword intention. Being able to annihilate the spiritual imprint of the master in the magic weapon is only the lowest expression of the sword's intention. But the problem is that in a battle of this level during the Qi Chain stage, even a hint of sword intent is enough to give Li Shiming a huge advantage. It's sword intent! Elder Yin looked calm and nodded slowly. He tried his best to remain calm on the surface. But there was a lot on his mind. Li Shiming's spiritual talent is very poor. But he has such top talent in swordsmanship. It is a pity that there is no sword cultivation technique in the sect. So such swordsmanship talent cannot be truly developed. The other Jin Dan elders had different expressions on their faces. Li Shiming's talent made people jealous. But Li Shiming's level was too low. They knew Li Shiming's spiritual roots better. So Li Shiming could not pose a threat to other sects. It's just that this kind of talent in sword cultivation makes the Jin Dan elders envious. But they still lament that such a good talent in sword cultivation lies in Li Shiming. On the other side, on four giant flying boats, the faces of ten Jin Dan elders were as sinking as water. The northern Shu monk who died was a direct descendant of one of the Jin Dan elders. And he was still the best one. But he died in front of him. This Jin Dan elder had no way to take action. Rules were rules. And no one could break the agreement between the two parties. Otherwise, it will immediately escalate into a Jin Dan battle. This Jin Dan elder has no right to make such a choice. Sword intent. This child cannot be kept. Elder Jin Dan said in a deep voice. Unlike the Jin Dan elders of the seven sects, they did not know the details of Li Shiming and only thought that Li Shiming was a genius monk trained by the seven sects. Genius monks basically have Tianling roots. And they have mastered the sword intention at the Qi Chain stage. 
so it will be a lot of trouble when they grow up. Of course, they did not mean to kill Li Shiming immediately, but to write down Li Shiming and assign Li Shiming as a task to his disciples to complete in subsequent actions. Chapter 162 Victory Li Shiming opened his mouth and used Spit Lotus. And the song, Buddha's light begins, came out of his mouth. The Buddha's intention, like a boundless ray of light, came from his singing voice and under the control of his spiritual thoughts. It reached the ears of the nine northern Shuchen Chi monks. As for the monks of the seven sects who also heard about the first appearance of Buddha's light, since they were not targeted, the impact on them was minimal. On the other hand, the Chen Chi monks of northern Shu were fighting with all their strength after hearing the Buddha sound that affected their minds. Even if their consciousness was firm, they would still be slightly affected. The monks of the seven sects fight with more than they have, and the impact of this may be fatal. Li Shiming released the three-headed and six-armed bronze corpse and used the medium-grade magic weapon Gatling to activate it with all its strength, locking six northern Shu Chain Chi monks respectively. He himself did not step forward, and even the broken jade sword was withdrawn to his side. He had shown enough today. If he hadn't known that this was a battle of life and death, he wouldn't have been prepared to expose so much of his combat power. This can't be blamed on him being careful, but many of his combat powers are related to Jin Den monks. And if he is not careful, he will die. The battle is now in its final stage. The first to be killed were the six Beishu Chain Chi monks, who were locked by the mid-grade magic weapon Gatling. Their defensive magic weapons did not last long before they were broken open. And then, they might be directly shot by the mid-grade magic weapon Gatling. Kill him, or be killed by the monks of the seven sects. Six more northern Shu Chain Chi cultivators were missing. And the resistance of the last few northern Shu Chain Chi cultivators seemed weak. The battle ended after a few breaths, and the body of the northern Shu Chain Chi monk fell to the ground. But all the seven monks did not take the spoils, but turned their attention to Li Shiming. They knew very well that the biggest hero in this competition was Li Shiming. According to the rules of the immortal world, whoever kills the enemy gets the spoils. In addition, the spoils of cooperative kills need to be distributed according to personal contributions. Li Shiming was not polite either. His spiritual thoughts swept across the several northern Shu Chain Chi monks he killed. After he collected the spoils of war, the other seven monks began to clean up the battlefield. Junior Brotherly, these two storage bags are for you. The monks from the seven sects exchanged opinions and took out two more storage bags and sent them over. Li Shiming took over the storage bag. In this competition, he won five storage bags and a storage bracelet. It can be said to be a bumper harvest. However, his sensitive perception found that there was a faint murderous intention locked on him from the four giant airships, which made the hairs on his hair stand on end. Fortunately, the formation of Seven Star Island flashed again, pulling back the surviving chain energy monks. He had not entered the Seven Star Island until the murderous intention that locked him disappeared. When he discovered that the Beishu chain energy monk was using a storage bracelet, and coupled with a previous talisman, he was sure that there must be a golden elixir monk behind it but he didn't expect that the Golden Elixir Monk was at the scene. If there weren't a bunch of Golden Elixir Monks watching at the scene, he, a little chain energy monk, would definitely be killed by the Golden Elixir Monk. Well done! Elder Yin came to Li Shiming's side, patted him lightly and praised with a smile. Elder Yin's face turned red this time. Almost all Jin Dan monks highly respected his junior, regardless of Li Shiming's potential in the future. Judging by his performance in the competition, Li Shiming is definitely the most dazzling among all Qi Chain monks. Especially the Sword Intention. Even if you have just touched the edge of the Sword Intention. The Sword Intention is the Sword Intention. Which represents the possibility of becoming a Sword Cultivator. Li Shiming smiled shyly. Surrounded by a bunch of golden elixirs. Although it was the second time he experienced such a scene. He was still not used to it. How could he get used to it? If the Jin Dan Cultivator at the scene hadn't deliberately restrained his aura. The aura leaking out from the golden elixir alone would have been enough to suppress the chain chi cultivator and prevent him from moving. All chain energy monks participating in the competition will receive a spiritual weapon. Li Shiming, due to your excellent performance, you will receive two spiritual weapons. At this time, Master Duhai strode over with a smile on his face. Announced, this is what I told these chi chain monks to listen to. The Jin Den elders have known about this for a long time. The reward this time was jointly provided by the seven sects. And there was a reason why the spiritual weapon was chosen. All the Chi Chain monks participating in the battle, except for Li Shiming, are genius monks. 
and their respective sects have prepared foundation building pills for them. This is something that goes without saying. As for the super grade magic weapons, there are quite a few super grade magic weapons among the loot this time alone. Besides, the super grade magic weapon is not enough to commend the achievements of the Chang Chi monks who participated in the battle. Even though only one Chang Chi monk died in this competition, all the Chang Chi monks in Beishu were killed. But in fact, if it hadn't been for Li Shiming's sudden outburst, none of the Chi Chain monks participating in the competition would have survived. It can be seen from the beginning of the battle that the seven sect monks were suppressed by the northern Shu Chain Chi monks at the first contact. These talented monks will soon be promoted to the foundation building stage, and only spiritual weapons will meet the requirements for the seven sects rewards. No Chi Chain monks had any objections to Li Shiming being rewarded with two spiritual weapons. On the contrary, they felt that Li Shiming's reward was still a little less. The rewards were given out on the spot, including two spiritual weapons, a metallic offensive spiritual weapon, and a defensive spiritual weapon and a shield, especially the metallic offensive spiritual weapon. His specific situation was taken into consideration at first glance. Without waiting at all, this group of Chain Chi monks were sent away from Seven Star Island by people from various sects after receiving their rewards. This is not a place where Chi Chain monks can stay for a long time. No matter what, these talented monks are important talent reserves for each sect. Li Shiming, He Chuan and Shang Haochuan left with an uncle who was in the foundation building stage. This uncle drove the boat with almost all his strength, maximizing the speed of the flying boat. Li Shiming also understands his uncle's thoughts. In this place where golden elixirs gather, the Qi Chaining monks are nothing. But the foundation building monks are no different. They may be regarded as cannon fodder. So when I had the chance to leave Seven Star Island, my uncle would fly as fast as he could. Li Shiming and his two senior brothers sat in the cabin and each began to check the harvest. It seems that due to participating in the war, in addition to the elixirs for cultivating spiritual power, the five storage bags contained only a few magic weapons. It is believed that these northern Shu Chain energy monks also participated with a sacrificial heart before joining the war. There is no medium grade magic weapon. There is a super grade magic weapon in each storage bag. The rest are top grade magic tools. Even the top grade magic tools are of extremely high quality. At this time, Li Shiming had enough magic weapons when he was at the ninth level of chain energy. And he could even prepare some for the bronze corpse. However, the bulk of the trophy was inside the storage bracelet. He used spiritual power to channel it into the storage bracelet. The internal size of this storage bracelet was exactly the same as the one from Bailey Jin Yin before. Maybe Bailey Jin Yin's storage bracelet was obtained from Northern Shu. Otherwise, not only the internal space of the two storage bracelets are the same, but even the external patterns are very similar. There are a lot of things in the huge space. And they are not as shabby as the storage bags of other Beishu Lianchi monks. Of course, as a descendant of the Golden Core Elder, he has talismans for protection and life-saving things. Even the power of magic weapons is amazing. With such strength, under normal circumstances, it is extremely safe to participate in such a competition. Hi! Just like the talisman alone. If Li Shiming hadn't reacted quickly and quickly enough. Once the talisman was activated, neither the Inverted Nine Palaces Bagua Ray, nor any of the chain energy monks present, including Li Shiming, would be able to withstand it. A strike from the talisman. Thinking of the talisman, he immediately checked it. It looked like a flying sword. He suspected that the flying sword talisman was made by a sword cultivator. Of course, whether it was made by a sword cultivator or not, the effect would be the same to him. Anyway, the power used to deal with the golden elixir is not enough. But it is more than enough to deal with the foundation building monks. Having owned many talismans, he had some understanding of the talisman. After sensing the flying sword talisman, he found that this flying sword talisman had never been used and had four chances to be used. He looked at the captured jade seal again, used the finishing touch to inject a little spirit into the jade seal, and then learned about the situation of the jade seal. The supergrade magical weapon Shushan seal is a rare magical weapon that can overwhelm people in the Qi chain period. After the Shushan seal is activated, it will transform into the shape of Shushan mountain in northern Shu, and it will carry the weight of a small mountain and the energy collected in advance. Spiritual power. Delivering a fatal blow. The Shushan seal can be said to be an extremely powerful magical weapon. Even if it is used by foundation building monks, it can be considered a good magical weapon. This was the first time he had seen a super grade magic weapon like the Shushan seal. 
It was really a nightmare for a monk in the Qi Chain stage. That is to say, after meeting Li Shiming, he possesses the Diamond Body Protection Divine Art that transforms his true meaning and the Secret Code of Sword Demon based on the Third Grade Sword Foundation, making his body stronger now, far beyond that of a monk in the Qi Chain stage. Physique, coupled with his strong spirit, he was able to easily break away from the lock of Shushan Seal. It's a pity that if he wants to use the Shushan Seal, he has to wait at least until the ninth level of chain energy to be qualified. Of course, the premise is that he also needs to completely refine the Shushan Seal for his own use. Li Shiming then looked inside the storage bracelet again, and he saw the Foundation Building Pill. Again, although the bottle use was a jade pill bottle, the words Foundation Building Pill were engraved on the bottle, which clearly showed fine the elixir in it. This was the seventh foundation building pill he had obtained. He didn't even know whether it was worthwhile to exchange 50,000 good deeds for the foundation building pill. In fact, it's normal to think about it. The enemies he encounters now are all the top beings in the Chi Chain stage, and they have a great chance of becoming foundation establishment stage monks. The sects to which these monks belong will definitely give priority to the needs of these monks when allocating foundation building pills. Instead of allocating foundation establishment pills to ordinary monks who have little chance of promotion, allocating them to genius chain chi monks has a great chance of giving the sect one more foundation establishment monk. It goes without saying how to choose. Li Shiming looked at the foundation establishment pills speechlessly. If seven foundation establishment pills could not promote him to foundation establishment, then he probably no longer needed to consider cultivating immortality. He has taken up several times the resources of other monks and his qualifications are not extremely bad. Three spiritual roots are a medium-level talent in the world of immortality. And there are many examples of people who have been promoted to foundations. To his surprise, the number of spiritual stones in the storage bracelet was extremely small, with only more than a thousand low-grade spiritual stones and a hundred medium-grade spiritual stones. He was a little confused. According to the identity of the owner of the storage bracelet, how could there be so few spiritual stones? However, he found that in the area where the spirit stones were placed, there was a jade plaque. The jade plaque was a special magic weapon with the name of Beishu Trading Company on it. He swept his spiritual thoughts across the jade plaque of Beishu Trading Company. A set of numbers were recorded on the jade plaque, which included 1.21 million low-grade spiritual stones and 60,000 medium-grade spiritual stones. Is this a bank card? Li Shiming somewhat understood the function of the jade card, but he was still very surprised. The monks in this world actually combine weapon making and formation techniques to create a bank card that can record modifications. Through observation, he found that it was not easy to modify the numbers in the jade tablet. It required extremely complicated calculations, which seemed at first glance. I believe that in this small jade tablet, there should be other means to ensure that the number of spiritual stones in the jade tablet will not be tampered with. Li Shiming did not try. He guessed that when the jade token was obtained from the Beishu Trading Company, it should be verified with a certain magic weapon inside the Beishu Trading Company before the spiritual stone in it could be taken out. He didn't even know where Beishu Trading Company was and what kind of power it was. So how could he possibly do useless work? Of course, he is not short of spiritual stones. He is not that crazy to offend a business that can provide monks with access to spiritual stones for a few spiritual stones. He didn't find any identity information on the Jade Card of Beishu Commercial Bank. He thought it was equivalent to an anonymous bank card. This was good. When he met Beishu Commercial Bank in the future, he could try to use this jade card. Li Shiming skipped the spirit stone area and placed some magic weapons next to it. From his perspective, ordinary high-grade magical weapons are no longer in his sight. Although he could only use high-grade magical weapons now, there were many magic weapons in the magic weapon area. Dozens of them. He guessed that the northern Shu Chain Chi monk had a collecting habit. Otherwise, a normal chain chi monk would only have one set for wartime use and one set for backup. Two sets of magic weapons would be enough. A set of magic weapons in the chi chain stage consists of two to three pieces, which depends on the total amount of spiritual power and mental strength of the monk. Li Shiming put the high-grade magic weapon aside. The super-grade magic weapon included one super-grade full-body armor, a super-grade shield, and a super-grade sword, one for offense and two for defense, plus the shushan seal. It was considered two sets of magic weapons. What surprised him was that there were nine other flying swords, all of which were spiritual weapons, and they were also complete sets of spiritual weapons. 
The reason why he recognized the nine flying swords as a set was too obvious. The nine flying swords are engraved with the marks of Qian Gong. Kan Gong, Jian Gong, Sheng Gong, Xiong Gong, Xiuan Gong, Li Gong, Kang Wong and Dui Gong respectively. And the formation master also made. Although it was not as good as Li Shiming's miniature array in terms of operation. It completely surpassed his level in other aspects. So he judged it to be the work of an array master. The nine flying sword spiritual weapons can be said to be weapons or formation flags. Their effects vary from person to person. But the value of this set of spiritual weapons is definitely far higher than the value of the normal nine spiritual weapons. Chapter 163 Inventory Li Shiming looked through the storage bracelet of the northern Shu Lianqi monk and moved it from the magic weapon area to the jade slip area aside. This Chang Chi monk from northern Shu stores a lot of jade slips. Most of which are ordinary jade slips. He casually picked up an ordinary jade slip. Ling Yin entered it and checked it and found that it turned out to be the diary of this northern Shu Chain energy monk. The diary recorded that there was a conflict between the Chang Chi monk and a talented monk in the sect. And his dissatisfaction with that talented monk was recorded in the jade slip one by one. The cold tone of his tone made Li Shiming. A bystander. They all felt that the monk's mental abnormality was abnormal. It really fits that sentence. Who can keep a diary? Li Shiming put aside all the jade slips that recorded the diary. He had no time to read them. If he read too much, he would worry about his own psychological problems. There are only two truly useful jade slips. One purple and one gold. He first examined the purple jade slip with his spiritual mind and found that it contained a purple chi from the east technique. Its principle is to absorb the purple gas bread in the first ray of sunlight every morning into the body. This first ray of purple energy is of great benefit to the monks. It has the effect of strengthening the Taoist body purifying spiritual power, and strengthening the spirit. Of course, the more comprehensive the technique, the weaker its effect. But, purple chi from the east, is an auxiliary skill. Even if it makes the monk's overall growth grow a little bit every day, it will accumulate into a tower over time, which will be of great help to the monk. Li Shiming was very satisfied and got another skill that was useful to him. The biggest advantage of this skill was that it could grow slowly without considering the impact of realm on this skill even in the foundation building stage and golden elixir stage. Purple Chi from the East is still useful. However, seeing that the jade slips of purple energy coming from the East are purple, I guess this technique is not that precious in Northern Shu. He used his spiritual thoughts to examine the golden jade slips. The golden jade slips recorded the spiritual thoughts technique called 100 thoughts and thousands of returns. Different from the thousand hammers divine technique he obtained, the Thousand Hammers Divine Technique is a technique that continuously strengthens spiritual thoughts into divine thoughts. While the Hundred Thoughts Thousand Returns Art is a technique that allows spiritual thoughts to be differentiated. Law. If we say that fighting left and right is a dual purpose in the secular world, then a hundred thoughts and thousands of returns is a dual purpose in the world of immortality. Of course, the Hundred Thoughts and Thousands of Returns Technique is not just for dual purposes. It also continuously differentiates the spiritual thoughts, thus dividing the spiritual thoughts into multiple spiritual thoughts with the ability to think independently according to the degree of cultivation. Li Shiming had a flash of inspiration and suddenly understood. Isn't this the technique he prepared for the nine flying swords? It is estimated that the Beishu Chain Chi cultivator planned to practice the hundred thoughts and thousands of returns technique after being promoted to foundation establishment to divide his spiritual thoughts into multiple ones and control nine flying swords. At that time, you can use the nine flying swords to form a formation, attack, or just crush them with sheer force, and you can become invincible in the same realm. However, to use the hundred thoughts and thousand returns art to mobilize nine spiritual weapons, even if the nine-handled flying sword spiritual weapon is a set of spiritual weapons, the spiritual power consumed is much less than that of separate spiritual weapons. But the spiritual power consumption is still the same. What is extremely serious is that the amount of spiritual power in the early stages of foundation building can only be sustained for a limited time. Li Shiming's eyes were bright. Aren't the hundred thoughts and thousands of returns and the nine-handled flying sword spiritual weapon prepared for him? He has the formation ability of a high-level formation master. And his spiritual power is far superior to that of the same level. As for his spiritual power, he plans to practice the Nine Heavens Thunder Strike Technique 
during the foundation building period and become a magic cultivator. The spiritual power of the magic cultivator is well known and powerful. In addition, the Nine Heavens Thunder Strike Technique is the top skill after all. I believe that he will be able to use the Nine Flying Sword spiritual weapon soon after entering the foundation building stage. As for the metallic spiritual weapon obtained as a reward this time, it would be better to use it directly on the clone. The other items in the storage bracelet are a large number of various materials. Among them, there are only a small amount of formation materials, which are not of high quality. The most are alchemy materials. I guess this is the personal interest of the original owner. After seeing these alchemy materials, he thought of a furnace among the previous high-grade magical instruments. It turned out to be an alchemy furnace. Li Shiming has no plans to learn alchemy now. He has a very tight time for practicing every day, and he also needs a lot of time to conduct his own research. However, he has no idea of getting rid of this batch of alchemy materials. With so many alchemy materials, if one day he gets the idea of learning alchemy on a whim, he probably won't have to think about hand refining materials. He didn't know that the reason why there were so many alchemy materials in the storage bracelet was because the entire Mingxun sect had evacuated. And the original owner was a junior alchemist and had an extraordinary background. So some of the sect's alchemy materials from the Qi period were placed there. In this storage bracelet, Li Shiming had no idea of selling this batch of alchemy materials. Otherwise, he would find that the value of this batch of alchemy materials was no less than the combined value of the other spiritual objects in the storage bracelet. After counting the trophies, he casually fastened the storage bracelet on his wrist. This storage bracelet was snatched from the hands of hostile forces in front of a group of Jean and elders. Its origin was clear, and there was no problem in using it himself. The uncle who was driving the flying boat glanced at the storage bracelet on Li Shiming's wrist, with envy in his eyes. A foundation-building monk like him was just using a storage bag, which was far from the level of a storage bracelet. Uncle, my cave is right ahead. Li Shiming couldn't bear the glances that his uncle cast from time to time. He happened to see the Eagle Beak Island approaching, and he said quickly, Li Shiming, hide the storage bracelet well, and don't let other monks see it. Uncle Master reminded Li Shiming through voice transmission, when he said goodbye to his two senior brothers and left the boat. Thank you for your concern. Uncle, Li Shiming was slightly stunned at first, then bowed and said with a smile, Back in the cave, Li Shiming speeded up the manufacturing process. With sufficient electrical energy, he and his clone worked at the same time. Early the next morning, before dawn, he left the underground cave and reached the top of the hill on Eagle Beak Island. This is the advantage of living alone. He can choose the most suitable place to practice without considering other monks. If he were in Jiofing, his cave would not be able to receive the first ray of sunlight in the morning. As for the best location on the top of the Nine Peaks, it was not his turn there. Each area of the Nine Peaks had a designated role, and only those with corresponding permissions could enter. Sitting on the top of a hill, this is above the sea. Although the hill is not high, there is no obstruction around it, so it does not affect the reception of the first ray of sunlight. He repeated the contents of the purple chi from the east technique in his mind. The sea level in the distance was still pitch black. The darkness before dawn. Time passed slowly, and first a little white fish belly appeared on the horizon at the sea level. The white fish belly lasted for a while. The sea level turned into a red line, and suddenly the sun jumped out from the sea. At this moment, Li Shiming felt a purple light sweeping across the world. He used purple chi don lai to absorb it with all his strength, but he only absorbed a little bit of it. But at this point, he felt a slight impact on his physique. Spiritual power and spirit. You must know that with his current physique, it is almost impossible to improve his physique without improving his realm. The Vidra Body Protection Divine Art and the Sword Demon Secret Book are both the top body training techniques. The combination of the two, coupled with the true meaning of the Raging Eye Vidra and the Third Grade Sword Base are far beyond their own realm. Making his body refining has already reached the extreme of his current state. This is also the reason why he can withstand a large area of magic attacks calmly and calmly on the battlefield of the ninth level of Chain Chi with his body at the 8th level of Chain Chi. But this little bit of purple energy allowed him to improve his physique a little bit, which was originally unable to improve at all. Although this improvement was weak, it was an improvement that broke through the limit, which made the purple energy of great significance to his physique. In terms of spiritual power, the influence of purple energy is not great. It does not improve the effectiveness of spiritual power, but makes it solidify a little. 
because Li Shiming's cultivation speed is too fast. He has always had flaws in the solidification of his spiritual power. It's a pity that the effect of Purple Chi from the East is a bit weak, far less than the speed of his own spiritual energy condensation. Mentally, the purple energy made his spirit grow slightly. If he hadn't cultivated spiritual thoughts in advance, he would not have been able to detect this spiritual growth. But this is already extremely gratifying. You must know that spiritual growth is not easy. Now that the Bing Xi and Jade thought technique has been condensed into his spiritual thoughts, it has very little help in spiritual growth. It has only become a kind of spiritual thought. Think about the means of attack. As for the others, such as the hundred thoughts and thousands of returns, and thousand hammers to forge the divine technique. He has not been able to start learning them yet. So the means to increase his spirit are extremely important now. Purple Chi from the East absorbs very little purple gas each time. That is, it absorbs the purple gas the moment the sun rises. The rest of the time is spent fusing the absorbed purple gas in the body. After feeling the effect of Purple Chi from the East, another morning practice was added to the plan. Li Shiming tapped his finger lightly, and the broken jade sword flew out. After actual combat, he felt the sword bone of his right thumb more deeply. When he controls the broken jade sword, there will be a vague connection between the sword bone and the broken jade sword. He can also close this connection, so that the broken jade sword loses the special energy it contains. He didn't know that this was a trace of sword intent. A trace of sword intent revealed from the sword bone. But after experiencing actual battles, he knew that this special energy had inexplicable power, allowing him to easily destroy the spiritual imprint in the magic weapon. He had not strengthened his practice in this area before. This is another ability that requires long-term experience and practice. If he could draw more special energy from the sword bones, his combat power would be even greater. He did not ask about the follow-up of Qixing Island. He did not think he was qualified to ask about this matter. Within the sect, only the Golden Core cultivator knew what was happening on Seven Star Island. In fact, even if he knew about the subsequent development, he could not have any influence on it. Li Shiming did not want the Northern Shu monks to successfully invade the Seven Sects, because after participating in this competition, he had an enemy of the Northern Shu Golden Pill monks. If the Northern Shu monks really defeated the Seven Sects, then he would have to he was chased by the Golden Elixir monk. Now that he still has the protection of his sect, he can still practice quietly. The days passed by. Yin Shirlan was a little busy recently, and had very little time to chat every day. Ren Fair could no longer contact her, and had completely entered a state of seclusion. There was no news about the invasion of Northern Shu that Li Shiming was worried about. If he hadn't participated in the competition with the Changchi monks of Northern Shu, he would have thought that there had never been a conflict on Seven Star Island. He felt a sense of urgency, as if his quiet time was running out. I don't know if it's because of this, or maybe it's because his practice has entered a rapid stage. His Five Elements Qi Receiving Technique improved very quickly, bringing him close to the ninth level of Chain Qi. If he hadn't felt that the spiritual power in his body was not empty, he would have thought that there was something wrong with his cultivation. In fact, this is related to the fact that his body has undergone the transformation of Beishu Golden Pill Sword Master Yunxingyi. When Yunxingyi integrated the sword bone into his right thumb, he also used the golden pill and the natal flying sword to do this to his body. Had some impact. These effects were not particularly apparent at the time. But after a period of time, his body's perception and absorption of spiritual power were greatly improved. His calculation of the speed of cultivation has to be refreshed almost every few days. The theoretical value of his cultivation speed should originally be 79. With the help of the peak change he cloned to help him cultivate. And considering the difference in realm, this theoretical value needs to be improved a bit. But his current cultivation speed has reached a value close to 200 which is almost double the speed of Timeling in. The increase in Li Shiming's cultivation speed was achieved by a golden elixir sword cultivator at the cost of consuming his own flying sword and golden elixir. This transformation has nothing to do with spiritual roots and will increase as his realm gets higher and higher. It will slowly fall back. In fact, without the help of the clone, his cultivation speed was modified to be almost the same as that of Timeling in. One day four months later, an unexpected visitor arrived. After Li Shiming felt the sound transmission from outside the mountain guarding array, he immediately opened the mountain guarding array. The mountain guarding formation on Ingzue Island is no longer the small mountain guarding formation it was at the beginning. According to the topography of Ingzue Island, 
He communicated with the sea and changed the small mountain guarding formation into a defensive formation connected to the seabed. The defensive power of its formation has been increased several times, and tens of thousands of spirit stones have been invested in the formation materials. He is not stingy about his own safety at all. There are three spiritual defense layers alone. This is already the maximum defense limited by the formation materials and Eagle Beak Island itself. In today's Eagle Mouth Island, not to mention the chain chi monks. Even the monks in the foundation building stage cannot easily break through the mountain protecting formation. As for the monks in the early and middle stages of foundation building, they cannot break the defense of the mountain protecting formation. Uncle Ian, please come in quickly. Lee Shimming bowed to the visitor and said. The visitor was none other than Elder Ian. Lee Shimming did not expect that Elder Ian would come to his Eagle Beak Island in person. Generally speaking, whenever something happened, he would be called over to talk to him. Chapter 164 Investigation Elder Ian walked into Lee Shimming's cave with a faint smile on his face. Lee Shimming placed a cup of spiritual tea in front of Elder Ian. He did not grow spiritual fruits. So he could only entertain guests with spiritual tea. Shimming! Sit down! Elder Ian waved his hand. Lee Shimming sat opposite Elder Ian with a very respectful attitude. The last time I asked you to participate in a competition with Beishu. I didn't know about it. Otherwise, it would have been impossible for you to participate in such a competition. Those old guys didn't send their own juniors to participate. So why should they let you participate? Elder Ian explained first. What he said made Lee Shimming feel warm in his heart. No matter what. Elder Ian is the elder of Jean Dan. And his explanation to Lee Shimming is an attitude of treating him as a true junior. Lee Shimming felt Iwujiwa's feelings from Elder Ian, which was not like the faint feeling of rejection when they met before. Lee Shimming's perception was extremely sensitive in this regard. Before you participated in the Beishu competition, I left the sect to find Loner's teacher. I got in touch with Loner's teacher not long ago. There are some things that I need to explain to you, Elder Ian said solemnly. Lee Shimming sat up straight and stared at Elder Ian. He understood that this must be a matter of great importance. Otherwise, Elder Ian would not be able to come in person. I got more information about Northern Shu from Teacher Loner. To tell you the truth, we and the monks from Northern Shu are all waiting. There is a fake baby in the Mingxin sect of Northern Shu. The ancestor of the fake baby is still in Northern Shu. Shu confronts the Saluo sect to buy time for the sect to withdraw safely. If the ancestor of the false infant dies, then the Northern Shu Mingxin sect's invasion of the seven sects will be interrupted. And the Mingxin sect will never launch an unwinnable war. Once the false infant ancestor arrives, the seven sects will not resist. They will either disband the sect or find a new sect location. Yin Chong said in a solemn tone. Li Shiming was stunned when he heard this. He did not expect that Elder Yin would come specifically to tell him this. If he wanted to know such news, not even him. Even the foundation building monks in the sect were probably not qualified to know. Is the ancestor of the fake infant very strong? He asked with some confusion. The fake infant uses a special secret method to forcibly break the elixir and become an infant. There is no room for growth, and the lifespan will not be as long as that of the nascent soul monks. Therefore, it cannot be regarded as a real nascent soul monk. But it is only stronger than the real nascent soul monks. A monk is just one point weaker, but much stronger than me and other golden elixirs. It is probably similar to the difference between foundation building and chain energy. Elder Ian answered for him. Li Shiming truly understood the strength of the fake baby. No wonder the gene and elders of the seven sects would give up the fight directly. Don't think that we don't want to resist. But it's meaningless. The power of the fake infant monks cannot be resisted by the seven sections. Currently, the seven sects and the Mingxin sect are waiting for the final result. The sect also has some plans for potential monks. And will send some potential monks to another station across the land in advance. There is a good spiritual vein there. And they can persist there for a period of time. Elder Ian said this and looked at Li Shiming. Uncle Ian, I don't want to go there. Li Shiming shook his head. He didn't have much sense of belonging to the sect. Besides, the sect's health and his cultivation was also decreasing. After losing the protective role of the sect, Tianhai sect was dispensable to him for a long time. This is on the premise that he is majored in martial arts. And he also has a lot of spiritual stone accumulation which allows him to live a comfortable life at least during the foundation building period. Of course, he still needs the sect. When he wants to enter a higher level of the golden elixir stage, without the help of the sect, it is probably difficult for him to even get access to third grade materials. But I believe that the Tianhai sect, which has lost its sect residence, 
will not be able to maintain the cultivation and consumption of golden elixirs. And it is not safe to go to another station. After Minx and Zong completely controls this area, how can it tolerate the existence of other forces in this area? If it weren't for the strength you showed in the previous competition, I would have put you in the early transfer plan. Now I will give you another choice, Elder Ian said with a helpless smile. He knew that Li Shiming had been estranged from some forces in the sect. And the internal conflicts in the sect had made Li Shiming reduce his sense of belonging to the sect. Li Shiming's choice was not beyond his expectation. Even as the sect's gene and elder, he was powerless against the struggle among the forces within the sect. But these are not important anymore. Once they really want to evacuate, these forces will immediately fall apart and be worth mentioning. Uncle Ian, please speak. Li Shiming knew that Elder Ian was going to tell the key points of this meeting. Lonner's teacher is the Golden Elixir Formation Master of Qianhuan Sect of Beishu. She came here for a treasure from Beihai. Due to the invasion of Mingxin Sect, she is unwilling to get involved in the conflict with Mingxin Sect. So what she means is to take Lonner to Beishu to join the Thousand Fantasy Sect. When Elder Ian said this, he saw Li Shiming's expression change. Li Shiming was very entangled in his heart. Yin Shirlan had a better future, which was something to be happy about. But Yin Shirlan went to Beishu, and he might never be able to see Yin Shirlan again. This was something he couldn't accept. With your three spiritual root qualifications, even if you are an intermediate array master, you cannot meet the conditions to join the Thousand Fantasy Sect. However, you have understood the sword intention, which gives you a chance. As long as Teacher Laner agrees, you can become an opportunity for ordinary disciples of Qinhuan sect. Elder Yin continued. Li Shiming did not expect such an opportunity. But he still had concerns. He knew that a battle was taking place in Beishu. And even nascent soul was involved in it. It was conceivable that the intensity of the battle was far beyond his imagination. Uncle Yin, what kind of sect is the Qinhuan sect? Li Shiming asked. Elder Yin smiled and was very satisfied that Li Shiming did not accept it unconditionally. If you want to go further in the world of immortality, you need to think more to make the right choice. Xian Wan sect is a large sect with the ancestor of nascent soul, and it is ranked among the top in Beishu. As for the chaos in Beishu, I have also found out clearly, it is only the chaos in the Shirwanda mountain area. So Luo sect does not dare to expand the battle line to the area beyond a hundred thousand mountains. Elder Yin replied patiently. Thank you. Uncle Yin! Li Shiming made his choice. It was acceptable to join Qianhuan sect. In this way, there is no need to separate from Yin Shirlan. And you can enjoy the convenience of a large sect. Don't thank me yet. I will take you to see Lonner's teacher immediately. She will decide whether to give you the qualifications to join the sect. Elder Yin waved his hand. Elder Yin stood up, took Li Shiming away from Eagle Mouth Island, and flew towards Nine Peaks. Li Shiming was led by Elder Yin and landed directly outside a cave on the top of Jiofeng Mountain. Elder Yin popped up a ray of light and landed on the cave's magic circle. After waiting for a while, the cave's magic circle opened. Fellow Daoist Yin, come in! A pleasant female voice came, ringing in Li Shiming's ears. Elder Yin nodded to Li Shiming, motioned for Li Shiming to follow, and then entered the cave. When Li Shiming walked into the cave, his first feeling was the extremely rich spiritual energy. The spiritual energy here was so rich that the spiritual energy entered the body along the pores almost every time he breathed. The concentration of spiritual power here has become so rich that he cannot describe it. Perhaps even without practicing here, even if he sleeps every day, he can rise from the early stage of chain energy to the peak of chain energy. In the living room of the cave, a charming and beautiful woman in her thirties was smiling and greeting Elder Yin. Fellow Daoist Luo, I have broadly shimming. Please take a look. Elder Yin's posture was very low. The two were also Jin and monks. But it was obvious that the female Jin and monk surnamed Luo was behind the sect or the formation. Elder Yin respects the identity of the master. Not to mention that in the future, his daughter will ask the female Jin and monk named Luo to take care of her. As a father, Elder Yin, it is not a shame to lower his attitude. Shimming, come and see me. He turned to remind Li Shimming. Li Shimming pays homage to senior Luo. Li Shiming bowed and saluted. Master Luo turned his attention to Li Shiming, and Li Shiming also raised his head after saluting. Their eyes happened to meet each other, and Master Luo activated the formation Starlight Sea. Li Shiming felt Master Luo's formation Starlight Sea, which was a stretch of mountains and rivers. Like a landscape painting, Master Luo's formation, the Sea of Stars, is alive. 
There are trees on the mountains in the landscape painting. And the mountain wind blows through the trees. And the trees move with the wind. There are fish in the water. And the wind stirs the waves. And the fish can be vaguely seen swimming. All of this is so real. Like a real landscape world. This is the master's formation starlight sea. Lee Shimming exclaimed in his heart. Any mountain or water in the formation starlight sea is composed of countless starlights. The knowledge of formations mastered by Master Luo can be described as vast. What's even more frightening is that these starlights merge with each other and turn into real mountains and rivers. A natural nature that conforms to some rules of heaven and earth. Master Luo activated the formation starlight sea just to observe Li Shimming's formation starlight sea. She agreed to examine Li Shimming's situation. Not entirely because of Elder Yin's request, but also because of the plea of her disciple Yin Shirlan, which made her relax. Even though she is the formation master of the Thousand Fantasy sect, the number of places she has to join the sect is limited. The reason why the large sect has been able to stand in the world of immortality for countless years is because of its strict management system. Perhaps Elder Yin was very concerned about Li Shimming's mastery of sword intent during the Qi Chain stage. But as a formation master, Master Luo didn't care about sword intent at all. What she cared about the most was the mastery of the formation. You must know that Yin Shirlan said a lot of good things about Li Shimming in front of her. And she became a little curious about Li Shimming. Yin Shirlan's talent was astonishing. She had Tianling roots. And she also had a rare talent in battle tactics. Even though Yin Shirlan was a member of the Tianhai sect, she still accepted Yin Shirlan as a disciple, taking advantage of the invasion of Mingxin's sect of Northern Shu. Master Luo can bring Yin Shirlan back to Qianhuan's sect and officially accept Yin Shirlan as his direct disciple. Master Luo's formation Starlight Sea triggered Li Shimming's formation Starlight Sea. She was able to observe Li Shimming's formation Starlight Sea. She was a little surprised by the weirdness of Li Shimming's formation Starlight Sea. She could not recognize what Li Shimming's formation Starlight Sea was. But she could sense that the potential of this formation Starlight Sea was huge. And to some extent the potential exceeded her landscape formation Starlight Sea. This is the limitation of different worldviews. Even if Master Luo is a gene and monk, her understanding of the world is what she sees in her eyes. Perhaps in her understanding, the formation of a landscape world formed by the Sea of Starlight is her greatest understanding of the world. But Li Shimming is different. He knows the operation mode of the universe from his previous life's research on the universe. That is his greatest understanding of the world. So his formation Starlight Sea naturally changes in that direction. You have become a senior ray mage. Master Luo said with some surprise. This was not a question to Li Shimming but a definite tone. Although Li Shimming's formations in Guanghai is weird, it has essentially reached the level of a senior formation master. Master Luo looked at Li Shimming again, with a look of pity in her eyes. Li Shimming's talent is really poor, and his three spiritual roots can only be regarded as ordinary. The chance of breaking through to the golden elixir stage with his three spiritual roots is too low. No matter how good Li Shimming's formation talent is, his lifespan after reaching foundation establishment is only 200 years. Li Shimming, your talent for formations is pretty good. This is the entry token for Thousand Fantasy Sect. With the entry token, you can enter Thousand Fantasy Sect and become a formal disciple. Master Luo took out a jade tablet with a special mark and handed it to Li Shimming said. Elder Yin on the side looked happy. It was a complete success for Li Shimming to join Qianhuan Sect. Otherwise, Yin Shirlan would not agree to leave it all. If Yin Shirlan did not leave with Master Luo now, he would be really worried about his future safety. Okay, take the token and go out. Master Luo waved his hand. Thank you. Senior Luo? Li Shimming bowed to thank him and exited the cave. Fellow Daoist Luo, when will you return to the sect? Elder Yin signaled Li Shimming to wait for him outside and asked Master Luo. Lauder's temper has been too stubborn in the past few days. Master Luo mentioned that Yin Shirlan was helpless and doting. If it weren't for Yin Shirlan's stubbornness and always thinking about Li Shimming, she would have left with Yin Shirlan long ago. Then how does Li Shimming go to Beishu? Master Ting Luo did not mention Li Shimming. So Elder Yin asked again, If he can't even do this, what qualifications do he have to join the Thousand Fantasy sect? Master Luo had no intention of leaving with Li Shimming. She will not let Li Shimming and Yin Shirlan leave together. She will accept Yin Shirlan as her direct disciple. For a long time to come, Yin Shirlan's first task is to study. Although she agreed to Li Shimming joining the Thousand Fantasy Sect, if Li Shimming could join the Thousand Fantasy Sect later, she could give Yin Shirlan more quiet study time. Elder Yin said nothing more. 
he also saw Master Luo's persistence. There was still a way for Li Shiming to go to Beishu. But it would be very troublesome. Now that the most difficult qualifications for joining the sect are met, it doesn't matter how troublesome it is. Chapter 165 Parting Shiming, come and sit with me. Elder Yin left the cave and waved to Li Shiming. His cave is not far from Elder Luo's cave, both on the top of Zhongfeng. Master Luo was able to have a temporary cave abode on the top of the Nine Peaks Middle Peak. On the one hand, it was because Tian Heizong valued him. And on the other hand, it was a way of repaying her for providing important information to Tian Heizong. It was Master Luo who gave accurate information about Mingxin's sect in Northern Shu, which allowed Tianhai's sect to make arrangements in advance. Li Shiming entered another cave. The cave was similar to Master Luo's, but with some more personal arrangements. After all, this is the cave where Elder Yin has lived for many years. Some items that are not particularly important are placed in the cave for decoration. Shimming, although you have the consent of fellow Daoist Luo, you still have to go to the Thousand Fantasy Sect and base you on your own. Elder Yin asked Li Shimming to sit down and said slowly. How is this possible? Li Shimming couldn't help but asked in shock. How could he not be clear about the North Sea? Even the Golden Core cultivators dare not say that they are 100% sure of crossing the North Sea. There are many sea monsters with golden elixir strength in the North Sea. And there are even rumors that there are sea monsters with nascent soul strength appearing. Even if you don't encounter a sea monster with gene and strength. Even if you encounter a low-level sea monster, it is not that easy to deal with. In the ocean, the number of some low-level sea beasts is extremely astonishing. And they are extremely aggressive. Even sea beasts that are much stronger than them in the ocean have to take a detour. For Li Shiming, a monk in the Qi stage, trying to cross the North Sea was almost like seeking death. Of course I'm not asking you to go to Beihai. Every three years, the Beishu Trading Company will have a material exchange with the seven sects. Calculating the time, there is still more than half a year. The Beishu Trading Company should arrive. You can take the Beishu Trading Company. Shu Trading Company's flying boat goes to Northern Shu. I will arrange it for you, Elder Yin explained with a smile. In fact, Tiahai Island, where the seven sects are located, can be considered a part of Northern Shu geographically. But it is a little far away from the mainland of Northern Shu. However, the geographical location of Tiahai Island has also bred special resources. As the largest commercial bank in Beishu, Beishu Commercial Bank will naturally harvest the resources here regularly. Li Shiming didn't expect to hear the name Beishu Commercial Bank so quickly. He just got the bank card of Beishu Commercial Bank in his hand. Oh no! It's a jade card. When Li Shiming left Elder Yin's cave, he saw a familiar figure. Loner! Li Shiming called softly. Yin Shirlan walked to his side quietly, her eyes full of reluctance. She got the news from her teacher that Li Shiming was qualified to join Qin Huan's sect. To this end, she had to fulfill the promise she made to her teacher and immediately went to Beishu with her teacher. She also understood that the teacher stayed in the Tianhai sect for her sake. With the teacher's character of being afraid of trouble, if it weren't for her willfulness, it would have been impossible for her to stay. Whether it was for the promise or the teacher, she had to leave with the teacher. I will come over to find you. Li Shiming was also filled with reluctance and said with a forced smile. I'm waiting for you. Yin Sherlan's voice was extremely soft but extremely firm. The two of them did not fly, but walked slowly on the mountain path of Zhongfeng enjoying the rare alone time before saying goodbye. Lord, I painted this for you. Time passed too fast. And when it was time to say goodbye, Li Shiming took out a scroll of painting and put it in Yin Shirlan's hands. I also drew a picture for you. Yin Shirlan had a smile in her eyes. And the mutual understanding made her less sad about parting. Yin Shirlan took the scroll and took out a scroll and placed it gently in Li Shiming's hand. Li Shiming rose into the air and turned into a sword light and flew away. Yin Shirlan stared at Li Shiming's figure until she could no longer see it. Then she looked away and opened the scroll in her hand. A painting that was completely different from the painters of this world appeared in front of her eyes, making her widen her eyes and look at the picture on the scroll in disbelief. The scroll shows the scene when she and Li Shiming met for the first time. She was standing on the flying boat, and a ray of light in the sky pierced the dark clouds and fell on her. The beauty of this moment is the most precious memory in Li Shiming's mind which is fixed on the picture scroll. What surprised Yin Shirlan most was the style of painting, because the images on the screen were so real, as if what Li Shiming saw in his eyes that day was solidified. The encounter that day was recorded in Z15 by Li Shiming. He built a color printer and printed out the images recorded by Z15 
with the highest resolution. The green boats and hibiscus ride on the rain and smoke, and the cranes in green shirts carry swords and umbrellas. The skylight of Yaltai reflects the beauty. I only envy the Mandarin ducks, but not the immortals. A small poem was written in the lower right corner, describing the scene in the scroll. It also made Incheron look shy, thinking of the unbearable day. Lee Shimming, who returned to Eagle Mouth Island, opened the picture scroll given by Ian Sherlon. The picture scroll was in a typical ink painting style. It was a scene of a boy dancing with a sword in the rain, which was also the scene when they first met that day. But this was Lee Shimming in Ian Sherlon's eyes at that time. The young man slashed his sword across the air to block the endless falling rain. Lee Shimming treasured the scroll into the computer room and put it into a box containing important items. Two days later, Master Lu left Tian Hezong with Yin Shirlan, and Li Shiming had no chance to say goodbye. He opened the map he got from Jindanji and Zuyongsing. On the map, there was only the Hundred Thousand Mountains in Northern Shu, but he knew very well that after passing the Hundred Thousand Mountains, there was the Qianhuan sect. He didn't know when the fake infant ancestor of Bei Xu Mingxin's sect would arrive, and he couldn't place his hopes entirely on Beihai Trading Company. He stepped up his plan and transported a large amount of supplies from Qianlong Trading Company to Eagle Beak Island. Due to the recent tense situation in Xianming sect, Elder Ren forced Ren Fair to remain in seclusion. In addition, Master Luo did not like the identity of Elder Ren, the demon sect's golden elixir. So Elder Ren did not go to see Master Luo. Without Elder Ren's leadership, Ren Fair had no chance to enter Tianhai sect. But I didn't expect Master Luo to be so fast. He originally planned to let the two sisters meet, but it was a step too late. When Elder Ren heard the news, Master Luo had already left with Yin Shirlan. Elder Ren walked into the retreat room, and Ren Fair was slowly opening her eyes. The aura on Ren Fair's body has reached the middle stage of the ninth level of chain energy. This is an effect achieved by using precious elixirs and consuming a lot of resources. With the speed of her cultivation, it won't take long to reach the conditions to break through the foundation building stage. Elder Ren attaches great importance to his youngest daughter, thinking that he can at least give his youngest daughter some ability to protect herself before the Beihai monks fully invade. By then, even if Elder Ren and Elder Yin are unable to take care of Ren Fair, Ren Fair will still be able to take care of her own safety. Why is mom here? Do you want me to go out? When Ren Fair saw Elder Ren, her face showed joy, and she asked repeatedly. Elder Ren couldn't help but shook her head. Ren Fair was really having too much fun and she became more and more worried about Ren Fair's future safety. You must know that once she loses the protection of the seven sects, if Ren Fair acts willfully, he may be killed. Fair, your sister was taken away by her teacher. Elder Ren did not say anything educational, but whispered softly, Why didn't sister say goodbye to me? Ren Fair had known about Yin Sherlan's departure before, and she wanted to take the opportunity to meet her sister to go out for some fresh air. I didn't expect my sister to leave like this, without even saying age, lo. Is my sister angry with me? Did you know that I also like my sister's little brother? Ren Fair muttered. When she thought about it, Yin Shirlan must have been angry when she left without saying goodbye. In addition, she had secretly met Lee Shimming because she hid it from everyone, which made her feel uneasy. Ren Fair has a temperament that can't hide things. For such a long time, she has hidden such a big secret for fear of being discovered by her sister and mother. So after hearing Yin Shiroan leave without saying goodbye, she immediately revealed all the secrets in her heart. Elder Ren was stunned when she heard what her youngest daughter said. She had met Li Shiming, but she never thought that the young man that day was Li Shiming, the young man who dared to use his sword against Ren Fair, dared to face countless sea beasts, and risked his life to save Fair was Yin Shirlan's sweetheart Li Shiming. Even though Elder Ren was born in a demon sect and had seen many strange things, he still felt headache about what happened to his two daughters. She couldn't help but feel angry at Li Shiming in her heart. She clearly loved her eldest daughter Yin Shirlan. So why did he provoke his younger daughter Ren Fei? But before that, Elder Ren needs to know where Li Shiming and his youngest daughter Ren Fei have reached. Although the younger daughter Ren Fei was born in a demon sect, she was very well protected by her. And she was very young. So she was easily deceived. Of course, this is just Elder Ren's idea. In fact, Ren Fei is very smart. Otherwise, how would he be able to get along like a fish in the Xianming sect, and even be able to get treasures from other golden elixirs? Fair, where have you and Li Shiming reached? Elder Ren asked, glaring at Ren Fair fiercely. What step? Ren Fair asked with confusion in her eyes. Have you ever held hands with Li Shiming? Elder Ren asked directly angrily. 
Does it count if my little brother hugged me? Renfair thought for a moment and asked. Damn little liar. You damn girl. Don't you know how to protect yourself? Elder Ren raised his hand angrily. Looked at Renfair's face, but didn't have the heart to slap it. So he could only curse angrily. At that time, I was severely injured by Du Yuan. My little brother took me to escape. Of course he had to hug me. Seeing that her mother was really angry. Renfair quickly said with a sly smile. Elder Ren pointed at Renfair angrily and funnily. She finally saw that Renfair had unrequited love. But she still wanted to talk to Li Shiming. Fair. Please practice hard for me. And I will take you to Beishu to see your sister in the future. Elder Ren said sternly. Renfair watched her mother leave. Holding her chin in her hands. Her face full of trouble. I won't cause trouble for my little brother. Right? She murmured to herself. How could she not understand what her mother wanted to ask? But except for the time in Nanshan country. She had very few opportunities to meet Li Shiming. Nanshan country was also the closest she had ever been to Li Shiming. If there is a real chance, she can get closer to Li Shiming. Oh, what am I thinking about? She shook her head vigorously to get rid of the random thoughts in her mind. Li Shiming never thought that the small Eagle Mouth Island would receive the second Jean Dan. When he saw Elder Run, he was inexplicably surprised. He didn't know about the relationship between Elder Ean and Elder Run. Even among the seven sects, only the Jean Dan of each sect knew about this matter. In Tian High sect, only the senior officials of the sect knew about it. Even if some monks he knew knew about it, they would not mention it in front of him. If Li Shiming could know the relationship between Elder Yin and Elder Ren, then he would guess the relationship between Yin Shirlan and Ren Fair. Boy, we meet again. Elder Ren looked at Li Shiming, thinking about his two daughters. He wanted to have a fit but suppressed it, and said calmly. Li Shiming felt calm. He gave Elder Ren a cup of spiritual tea and then stood with his hands tied, waiting for Elder Ren's instructions. Knowing the relationship between the seven sects, he naturally knew that even if Elder Ren was not the gene and elder of Tianhai sect, he still had enough influence. In particular, he knew the effect of the sect's formation, and he also knew that the sect must know about Elder Ren's arrival. If the gene and cultivators were not discovered within 200 miles of the sect's formation, then the Tianhai sect would no longer have to mess around. The sect protecting formation that countless array masters had worked hard to set up over the past 10,000 years had become nothing more than a decoration. Let me ask you, when will you marry Fair? Elder Ren is worthy of being a female devil. Li Shiming couldn't help but be stunned on the spot with one sentence. What does this mean? What does it mean to marry Mayfair? Although Li Shiming had a slight affection for Ren Fair, it was just his thoughts about his past life and had nothing to do with love. He asked himself that he never mentioned anything else to Ren Fair just chatting with her and telling stories, completely treating it like a remote chat in his previous life, just like a QQ or WeChat friend. Besides, although he looks to be only one year older than Renfei, but combined with his age in his previous life, his mental age is far greater than Renfei's. But in his relationship with Yin Shirlan, they never felt that there was an age issue. Senior, did you make a mistake? I have a lover. Li Shiming came to his senses and replied immediately. What's wrong with Fair? If you marry Fair, you can get my help. It won't be a problem to help you build your foundation. Elder Ren's expression remained unchanged as he continued. Senior, Fair and I are just friends. Please forgive me for not being able to agree. Li Shiming bowed and replied in a firm tone. Are you really not agreeing? Elder Ren's expression changed slightly, and the aura on his body pressed down on him like a mountain. There was a violent sound from all the bones in Li Shiming's body when he was pressed and his body became a few inches shorter. The terrifying pressure caused him to insert his feet into the ground. Originally, Elder Ren wanted him to kneel down, but he didn't expect that his body refining was extremely powerful, and Elder Ren didn't really want to hurt him. So this happened. Situation. You're fine. Regarding Li Shiming's attitude, Elder Ren didn't know whether he was happy or sad for a moment. They were both her daughters, as strong as she was, so he could only say three words helplessly. Then Elder Ren disappeared, leaving only a depressedly shimming who didn't know why. Chapter 166 Fake Baby Elder Ren came suddenly and left equally suddenly. And there was no news after that. Lee Shimming's contact card did not contact Renfei. He felt regretful that he could not say goodbye to Renfei. He is going to Northern Shu. Considering the distance between Northern Shu and here, it can be said that there will never be a chance to meet him. Six months have passed and there is no news from Beihai Commercial Bank. 
Instead, Li Shiming has successfully broken through to the ninth level of Chain Chi. At this time, the Tianhai sect was no longer peaceful. After such a long time, many forces within the sect knew that the northern Shu monks were preparing to invade. If the sect had not been suppressed by several Jin and elders, the sect would have collapsed long ago without the Beihai monks knocking on the door. Li Shiming also saw how the Immortal Cultivation sect dealt with things, which was different from what he imagined when they tried to defend their homeland with all their strength. When facing a powerful enemy that far exceeds its own strength, the first choice of the Immortal Cultivating sect is to leave, even if the sect has been stationed there for thousands of years. Almost no forces want to switch to Beishu monks. This is related to some unspoken rules in the world of immortality. The Immortal Cultivation sect will not accept monks whose identity is unknown or who have hatred. It is after the secular land of the seven sects is occupied, at least after several secular generations, that they will consider cultivating disciples from this secular side. For a sect, the definition of sex time is different from that of mortals. The normal life of a mortal only lasts for a few decades, but the lifespan of the Golden Pill monks in the sect alone can reach 500 years. In the eyes of the Golden Pill monks, a mortal life lasts for 30 years, and four lives only last 120 years. 120 years is enough time to clear away the marks of the original seven sects in the world, leaving only the mark of Mingxin sect. Off the coast of Qixing Island, there are now as many as 10 giant flying boats opposite Qixing Island. And there are also 18 golden elixir monks. There are so many golden elixirs among the seven sects on Qixing Island. Although the total number of golden elixirs among their seven sects is slightly more than that of Bei Shu Mingxin sect, they all know the combat power of their own golden elixirs very well. A seemingly ordinary, but extremely fast airship flew from behind ten giant airships. Then the monks on the ten giant flying boats were all excited, and they shouted, Ancestor, loudly. Elder Ean looked at the scan information given by the Big Dipper array, and he knew in his heart that the seven sects had completely lost. Although there was no battle, the seven sects had lost their ten thousand year foundation. The spiritual power fluctuation value scanned by the Big Dipper array exceeded the maximum value designed by the Big Dipper array. Probably when designing the Big Dipper Array, Nascent Soul was not considered. Although the Fake Infant is not as good as the Nascent Soul, it is actually considered to have Nascent Soul level combat power. It can be regarded as the top combat power in Bei Shu. In the seven sects of Tianhai Island, it is not to mention that it is directly invincible. The flying boat stopped five miles away from Seven Star Island, and a huge illusory old figure appeared. I will give you six hours to leave. After six hours, all the monks who stayed in the seven sects will be killed. The sound of the huge illusory figure resounded throughout the world. Then the huge illusory figure stretched out its hand and gently took a picture towards Seven Star Island. Seven Star Island's Big Dipper formation, which was said to be able to defend against a full-strength attack from Jean Dan in the later stage, was forcibly broken by this casual attack. Fortunately, this huge illusory figure did not mean to hurt anyone, and retracted its hand after the formation on Seven Star Island was broken. Nascent Soul Dharma! Elder Ean exclaimed softly, as he felt the obscure feeling of the golden elixir in his body. Other Jin Dan elders behaved the same way as him. The legendary Yuanning Dharma, a great supernatural power in the Yuanning stage, possesses the power to destroy the heaven and the earth. Although I have seen descriptions of Yuanning in many records, the oppression of Yuanning monks and the powerlessness of being the enemy of heaven and earth make the Jin Dan elders no longer lucky. Heart. Without any communication. All the monks on Seven Star Island flew towards the rear and returned to their sex. There is no need to communicate anymore. This has been discussed a long time ago. And after truly feeling the terror of the nascent soul Dharma, even the monks who still had a trace of persistence completely extinguished their thoughts. Ancestor Zong took back the nascent soul Dharma. He watched the seven monks leave with an extremely indifferent expression. As relaxed and comfortable as if he was casually dismissing a group of ants. But he knew in his heart that despite his relaxed appearance, he was actually seriously injured during the confrontation with the Saluo sect. He has no intention of fighting to the death with the monks of the seven sects. The monks transferred from Mingxin sect are selected monks from the sect. And he does not want to cause any further losses to these monks. If he doesn't take action, he can still protect Mingxin sect for some years. Once he takes action with all his strength, his remaining lifespan will be shortened. Outsiders always think that Zong Lazu is a fake infant that is not much different from the nascent soul. But in his own perception, the fake baby has been upgraded to the first level of the nascent soul in terms of combat power. 
but its body is not much compared to the peak of the Golden Core. Difference. It is precisely because of this that not only does his lifespan remain the same as that of the Golden Core peak, but he also has no hope of improvement in the future. This is the price of using a special secret method to forcefully enter the fake infant state, cutting off all hope for the future in exchange for this strength. No monk in the Mingxin sect has any objections to Patriarch Zong, who is the pillar of the Mingxin sect. Li Shiming was doing research when he suddenly discovered that the program-controlled switchboard of Thousand Miles of Mutual Vision 2 had multiple prompts appearing in succession. He seems to be indifferent to worldly affairs in the sect. But no monk knows about it. And he knows many things in his heart. Ever since he was affected by the collusion between the Holy Eye sect and the forces within the sect to attack him, he took advantage of the opportunity of launching Thousand Miles of Mutual View and Thousand Miles of Mutual View to monitor all transactions through Thousand Miles of Mutual View the content of the chat. He doesn't have the time to pay attention to it even if you contact him normally. Only information that triggers keywords will issue a warning and attract his attention. He came to the program-controlled switchboard and checked the trigger messages inside. Soon his expression changed drastically. Because all he saw were evacuation messages. The entire Tian Hai sect was evacuating. And all the monks had received notifications from the sect. But he didn't receive any news. As if he had been forgotten. He took out his identity jade plate and soon discovered the problem. The Identity Jade Disk was unable to connect to the sect's formation. This was something that had never happened before. You must know that because his status as a Jade Disk is an Array Mage, he has special privileges and has more power than a normal monk. If you want to ban his identity, you need the sect's Gene and Elder to do it. Is it some Gene and Elder who wants to harm me? He speculated in his mind. But he quickly shook his head and rejected the idea. Elder Gene Dan of the sect. Even if he is not a disciple of the sect and a formation master, he still needs to look at Elder Yin's face. Besides, if Elder Jean Dan really wants to deal with him, how can he use such a method? Find someone you can shoot him to death at any given opportunity. If it's not Elder Jean Dan, then who could it be? Or which force could it be? His brain was running rapidly, and he soon thought of a possibility. To say that the person with the greatest authority over the sect's formation within the sect is not Elder Jean Dan. But the two remaining senior formation masters within the sect, Lee Shiming couldn't help but think of Uncle Song. The malice shown by Uncle Song inadvertently gave him a clear judgment that the identity of the Jade Plate was banned. He didn't understand why Uncle Song did this, but the consequence of doing so was to put him to death. When he was researching just now, he didn't pay special attention to the warnings of the program-controlled switches at the beginning. He usually checked the status of the program-controlled switches when he had time. Based on his status in T.I. sect, there are usually no major events. If any major event is to happen, the sect will also notify him. It was this delay that caused him to lose the opportunity to join the sect immediately. Patriarch Zong issued an ultimatum. And a lot of time had passed since Elder Ying waited for the Golden Core Cultivator to return to the sect. Such a large sect needs to evacuate. Even if it is prepared in advance, a few hours is too short. When Elder Ying and the other Jean and Elders left with the monks from the sects, he realized that Li Shiming was missing. He quickly took out the identity jade disk and wanted to contact Li Shiming, but found that he could not contact Li Shiming's identity jade disk. There is only one possibility in this situation, and that is that Li Shiming has left the sect within a thousand miles. Elder Ying did not expect that there would be another possibility. That is, Li Shiming's identity jade plate was banned. Although the sect is about to evacuate, the sect has not disappeared, and the sect formation has not been completely closed. Elder Ying shook his head. Li Shiming would contact him later. It was not within the scope of the sect anyway. I believe that with Li Shiming's intelligence, there would be no danger. The sect cannot wait to evacuate. It will take time for so many monks to leave. The time given by the Zong Patriarch was stuck at a certain point, so that each sect could not dismantle too many facilities in the sect's residence. Otherwise, there would not be enough time to leave. Let's go! Elder Ying looked at the nine peaks of the sect with some reluctance, and said in a deep voice. More than 5,000 monks took off together, including huge flying boats, ordinary small flying boats, and other means of flying. Tian Hai sect did not leave any monk behind. At least before the sect's accumulation is consumed, the sect will not see a large number of disciples leave. This was a rare grand occasion. More than 5,000 monks left by flying, and with the assistance of Elder Jean Dan, the flight speed became extremely fast. When Li Shiming rose into the sky and looked toward the nine peaks of the sect, there was no trace of the fairy there. Even the sect's formation, 
which had not been closed for many years, was closed when he left. He looked in another direction, where he vaguely saw the shadow of a giant flying boat heading towards the nine peaks of Tianhai sect. He didn't know if he could successfully escape by using sword escape at this time. But he didn't want to take the risk. He still remembered that he had an enemy at the Golden Core stage among the monks in Northern Shu. In addition, he didn't want to leave with the sect. Even if he caught up with the sect's leaving team, he would have been very dangerous in the past without knowing whether Uncle Song or any other high-ranking monks were going to deal with him. With the sect's withdrawal, the sect's protection is no longer as effective as before. And his enemy in the Holy Ice sect, Elder Bailey, probably won't let him go. He couldn't help but shake his head and smile bitterly. The little Chain Chi monk had enemies at the level of Golden Core in both our and enemy camps. This was considered an ability. Fortunately, I saved a hand. Li Shiming breathed a long sigh of relief and said to himself, Yes, he did not place his hope of leaving entirely on the sect. And he did not even place his hope of going to Beishu entirely on the Beishu Trading Company. He returned to Eagle Beak Island, first went to the underground space, and put everything he could take away into the space ring. Fortunately, the space inside the space ring is large enough for him to carry all the large equipment. These devices were the result of several years of work. He relied on these devices to restore many of his technological capabilities from his previous life. That is to say, relying on Tianhai sect, coupled with the use of thousand miles of mutual view, and thousand miles of mutual views, and thousand miles of mutual vision to obtain a large amount of materials from the sect's trading house. These equipments appeared. After leaving the sect, it was no longer easy for him to obtain massive supplies. Although he had millions of spiritual stones in his hands, without the protection of the sect, he would immediately be targeted by the big forces if he dared to take action to obtain massive supplies. The result of being targeted by a big force for a small nine-level chain energy is to be annihilated. He caught as many spiritual fish as possible in the spiritual spring. After leaving, there would be no chance to obtain the spiritual fish again. After doing everything, he returned to the island and began to decorate it. On the other side, Patriarch Zon led the monks from the Mingxin sect to the Tianhai sect first. Tianhai sect's geographical location happened to be the center of the seven sections. It occupied Tianhai sect first, and then used Tianhai sect as a base to send its monks to take over other sects. Once any problem is encountered, the Tibetan Patriarch, who is in the middle to provide support can be dispatched at any time to solve all possible troubles. The Mingxin sect had been confronting the seven sects on Qixing Island for a long time. And it was not without any action. They had collected a lot of information about the seven sects through various means. The giant flying boat was flying slowly. Ancestor Zan looked at the time. He needed to abide by the agreement, and could not enter the nine peaks of Tianhai sect until the time limit was exceeded. Minx and Zong did not clean up the islands along the way. There is no need for this. The Tianhai sect has all evacuated. And the remaining mortals on the island are also a resource. As for the possibility that there are still monks left on the island, this matter will be dealt with after taking over Geofeng. It is precisely because of this that Li Shiming's Eagle Beak Island did not receive much attention even though the mountain guard formation was open and it was not far from the giant flying boat's route to the nine peaks of Tianhai sect. In the hands of Mingxin sect, there is a spiritual pulse trend chart of Tianhai sect, among which islands, with sufficient spiritual energy, are worthy of attention. A small island, like Eagle Mouth Island, with only inferior spiritual veins, will only be visited by Qi Chain monks for future investigations. It is really not worth sending out Foundation Establishment monks. This also gave Li Shiming some time to complete his plan and brought favorable conditions for his departure. Chapter 167 Soul Dance Without the protection of the sex formation, the Nine Peaks are still so majestic. The naturally formed formation of the Nine Peaks reaches the height of the sky. The clouds and mist linger in the mountains, giving this place a natural fairy atmosphere. Ancestor Zong looked at Jiofeng with satisfaction. He could see that although Tianhai sect was not very good, it managed the sect's headquarters very well. This will be the main peak of the sect. You will allocate the remaining eight peaks and let a group of people go in and clean it up. Zom Laozu's old voice pointed at the middle peak. Following the order of Patriarch Zong, the formation masters of Mingxin sect and a group of foundation building monks entered the Nine Peaks and began to clean up the remaining facilities. Of course, the focus is on Zhongfeng. Zhongfeng must be cleared out first so that Patriarch Zong can find a place. The Mingxin sect monks who entered Zhongfeng, especially the formation masters, were very excited because the Tianhai sect moved too quickly 
there was almost no damage to the sect's formation. This is normal. Tianhai sect has no formation master. And it is not that simple to dismantle the sect's formation. Without the help of the formation master, this work cannot be completed in a short time. Ancestor Zong only gave him six hours in total. And he did not give this time to Tianhe Zong. Ancestor, it seems that the Tianhai sect is very wise and has retained the entire formation. It will be much easier for our sect to rebuild the formation here in the future. A golden elixir monk said to Ancestor Zong with a smile. Your vision is too shallow. Even if we occupy the whole Tianhai island, the output we get will not be as good as one-third of our original resources in Beishu. I can't do it anymore. I hope some of you can be able to be promoted to nascent soul and bring the sect back to northern Shu. Ancestor Zong said calmly without much joy. The seven sects on Tianhai Island have been operating here for 10,000 years. But none of them has produced a nascent soul. You can imagine how good the quality of the resources here is. If the sect is really allowed to settle down here, it will not be long before the Mingxin sect is destroyed. He himself has less than a hundred years to live. And no matter how hard he hangs his life, he will not be able to protect the sect for more than a hundred years. If there is no golden elixir to successfully advance to nascent soul within these hundred years, then he will completely lose hope of returning to northern Shu. By then, the Mingxin sect will be another seven sects, and will be slowly wasted away on Tianhai Island. The Jindans, who had been taught a lesson by Zong ancestor, looked ashamed. They had gone through a long journey of escape before they found a place to live. But they had forgotten that they were also bereaved dogs. That's what the ancestor said. The golden pill monks bowed and said, just as many formation masters and foundation building monks were cleaning up the nine peaks. In the hall of Lingji Pavilion located in Duafing, the formation light flashed, and a graceful figure appeared. This person is none other than Uncle Song. She is wearing a white skirt and a white scarf, which turns out to be morning clothes, with a smile on her face. She sensed the approaching foundation building monks. Through some secret formations, she could sense that many monks had gathered on each peak. Xiao Xian, without you, there would be no immortal in this world. Uncle Song's laughter contained a cry. There seemed to be Zhuge Xian's aura still lingering in the hall. And she seemed to occasionally see Zhuge Xian studying formations with her. She still clearly remembers the vow they made back then. To live and die together and grow old together. Both he and she did not get married in order to become Jean Dan. Both he and she regarded Elder Yin and Elder Ren as their hope. Elder Yin and Elder Ren got married after they achieved the golden elixir and they successfully gave birth to Yin Shirwan and Ren Fair. And both of their daughters had Tianling roots. It is not easy for Jin Dan to give birth to a child. But once he is born, his spiritual roots are very likely to inherit the advantages of his parents. The spiritual roots of monks, who can advance to the golden elixir are not that bad. Master Song wished so much that she could put on a wedding dress and be Zhuge Xian's wife. But now she could only put on mourning clothes and avenge Zhuge Xian. Li Shiming did not receive notice from Tian Heizong and it was her fault that the identity of the jade plate was banned. She was angry while Li Shiming was obviously with Zhuge Xian, but only Li Shiming survived. She was even more angry with the Mingxin sect of Northern Shu who killed Zhuge Xian. With her strength, she couldn't take revenge directly, so she chose to stay. Uncle Song was a senior formation master, and in the last nearly year of the sect, she managed the sect's formation, and the sect also opened up a lot of formation resources for her to preside over and strengthen. In this process, she did a lot of tricks, such as adding some special formations to Geofing's formation nodes. A senior formation master, coupled with a sec formation. She wanted to see if with such conditions, and relying on what she had learned throughout her life, she could avenge Zhuge Xian and possibly kill more monks of the Mingxin sect. Uncle Song was still smiling. She had not laughed since she heard the news of Zhuge Xian's death. Today she laughed happily. Above her head, the formation starlight sea rose up, and then the closed sect formation suddenly lit up. At the main spiritual vein of the sect, attraction formation guided all the spiritual energy inside to the sect's formation, allowing the sect's formation to be open so quickly. What happened? A Jean Dan who was waiting in the air looked at Jiu Feng in surprise and asked loudly. Ancestor Zhang's terrifying spiritual thoughts swept across the Nine Peaks. He did not expect that there were monks hiding among the Nine Peaks. When he saw Jiu Feng's sect formation closed, he didn't pay too much attention at the time. He just casually scanned it with his spiritual thoughts without being too careful. In fact, even if all the foundation building and golden elixir monks of the Tianhai sect were left behind, and the sect's formation could not stop Zong Laozu from occupying this place. But in that case, 
all the remaining monks of the Tianhai sect would be killed. There are actually monks left. The little foundation builder is looking for death, Zan Laozu said coldly. One of his spiritual thoughts went towards Master Song's body. As long as the divine thought with the strength of the fake baby was applied to Master Song's body, he would be destined to die. However, Uncle Song gave up his body in advance. And all her soul merged with the formation Starlight Sea and merged into the sex formation. With Uncle Song's foundation building stage, she could only last for five breaths at most before her soul would dissipate and her consciousness would sink forever. She decisively gave up her body, and then her body was torn into pieces by Zong Laozu's spiritual thoughts and turned into a ball of blood mist. Ancestor Zon looked gloomy. Although he killed the woman's body, he did not really destroy her soul. He could feel that the woman still existed. At this moment, a beautiful figure appeared in the light of the Nine Peaks sex formation. At this time, Uncle Song's transformed blood-red wedding dress danced in the formation. Every movement she makes will cause the spiritual power of the Nine Peaks sex formation to surge wildly. All the northern Xumingxin sect monks, who were in the sect formation were trapped in the formation. Especially the formation masters among them all looked at the transformed woman with ashen faces. I will avenge my husband by flying into annihilation with my body and soul. Shuga Xian, here I come! Uncle Song chanted softly while dancing. She merged with the sex formation. So that no matter how quiet her voice was, it was clearly transmitted to the ears of every monk in the formation. In her feeling, there seemed to be a man next to her. The man was also smiling and was wearing a red wedding dress. She became happier and happier, laughing loudly and dancing happily. The five breath time is just a blink of an eye for most people. But for some people, it is a lifetime. During the five breaths of time, Zong Patriarch tried to destroy Uncle Song's body. But unless he struck with all his strength, he could not break through the sex formation immediately. After all, this sect formation has been strengthened by countless formation masters for thousands of years and is much stronger than the formation on Seven Star Island. Ancestor Zong didn't want to use his full strength to strike. Otherwise his lifespan would be greatly reduced. And it wasn't worth it for the monks trapped in the formation. He is here in the sect. If he dies, the sect will drop to a medium sect strength. At that time, it may not even be able to withstand the counterattacks of the seven sects. In five breaths, the sex formation completely turned into white light. And terrifying spiritual power swept everything in the formation crazily. The foundation building monks and formation masters were torn into pieces by the violent spiritual power. Just like Uncle Song's body was torn apart by Patriarch Zong. The five breaths passed quickly. The light of the sex formation disappeared. And Master Song's figure disappeared. But all the monks in the sky seemed to still be able to hear Master Song's laughter. Who is Juga Xian? Who is this woman? Zong Laozu had never asked the monks from the sect about entering Jiu Peak to save people. He asked the monk in charge of intelligence on the side. Juga Xian is a senior formation master of Tianhai sect. This woman's name is Song Yingwan. She is also a senior formation master of Tianhai sect. Juga Xian was supposedly killed by Elder Yun years ago. The monk reported. I didn't expect that Song Yingwan would be so decisive for Juga Xian. Zong Laozu shook his head and sighed. Although Song Yingwan brought a lot of losses to Mingxin Zong. Patriarch Zong still respected such a woman. Many monks have selfish motives. Song Yingwan's actions today were dedicated to her soul just to avenge Zhuge Xian. Yun Xingyi hasn't been found yet? Zong Laozu thought of something and asked aloud. No, it's very possible. The monk did not continue. But Patriarch Zong understood what he was going to say. Ancestor Zong shook his head helplessly. Yun Xingyi was the most promising gene and cultivator in the sect to become the nascent soul. Send the order. After occupying all the sex stations, the first priority is to search for Yun Xingyi's traces. Zong Laozu ordered in a deep voice. He then asked Jean Dan who returned from Jiu Peak. What's the loss? 56 foundation building monks have died. 21 junior formation masters. 6 intermediate formation masters. And 1 senior formation master. The golden elixir monk said softly. It seems that lowering his voice can reduce the loss to the sect this time. Ancestor Zong couldn't help but feel heartbroken. One of the senior formation masters had lost his life. This was the treasure of the sect. The Mingxin sect is not a sect that is good at formations. The inheritance of formations within the sect can only be regarded as ordinary in Beishu. It has already lost a formation master in Beishu. The sect now only has three senior members left. A Ray Master. What is that? At this moment, a Jean Den monk pointed in the distance and asked in shock. There are not many things that can surprise the Golden Core Cultivator. 
200 miles away from Geo Peak. A strange object is rising into the sky, and a long flame tail is sprayed out from the tail of the object. Ancestor, I'm going to keep him here, a middle-stage jeaned and monk said loudly. No matter what it is, no matter how weird it is, if it appears in T.I. sect, it is something created by T.I. sect. Besides, this weird thing doesn't look like much of a threat, coupled with the way the strange object takes off. It must be some kind of flying device. As he spoke, the figure of the monk in the middle stage of the golden core turned into a rainbow light and flew towards the strange thing in the distance. If someone from the previous life saw that weird thing, they would definitely recognize it as a rocket. This is the escape weapon that Li Shiming has prepared for himself for a long time. In his previous life, the fastest way to fly was a rocket. The principle of rockets is not complicated, and the difficulty is mainly due to material issues. The fuel used in rocket thrusters is liquid hydrogen. Gaseous hydrogen can be obtained using chemical means. Liquid hydrogen can be obtained by placing the hydrogen at minus 8 degrees Celsius. Li Shiming created an environment of minus 8 degrees through the formation method, allowing him to produce liquid hydrogen in large quantities. The aero body of the rocket is made of ordinary steel and attached with magic. Since the material is ordinary, it can only be attached with the simplest solid runes. But this is enough. With the solid runes on the rocket body, its strength and corrosion resistance far exceed the highest standards of rockets in previous generations. The most difficult thing is the rocket engine. The material of the rocket engine was the biggest problem encountered by rockets in previous lives. In this world of immortality, the solution is extremely simple, which is to replace it with spiritual metal. The entire rocket engine is composed of many low-grade magic weapons. And then Li Shiming arranges micron-level formations and attachments in the computer room space. The head of the rocket is an airship. The airship is usually equipped with a magic circle that repels air, which makes the airship encounter little air resistance. The rocket Xianlong Trading Company provided a lot of help. Of course, Xianlong Trading Company had no idea what the large number of low-grade magical weapons that Li Shiming needed to customize were. It can be said that this rocket inherited his research style, using the knowledge of formations and attachments he mastered, combined with the technology of the previous life, to create a rocket that merged the knowledge of the two worlds. This is a huge project. For a long time, the main task is to continuously produce liquid hydrogen. Li Shiming's original research direction was not just that. In addition to rockets for manned escape, he also wanted to develop rockets that could strike at long distances. It's a pity that with his current productivity, the rocket body can be made, which is a matter of spending a few more spiritual stones. But the workload of liquid hydrogen was too great. He could not create a long-range strike rocket without finding better helpers. After knowing that he was abandoned by the sect, he arranged a launching device on Eagle Beak Island. As the rocket ignited, the flames completely covered the front of the cave on Ingzue Island. The Fu Lingzhu and the spiritual plants in the spiritual field were reduced to ashes in the flames. A gap opened above the mountain guarding array. After the rocket flew away, the mountain guarding array suddenly shook. The hill and the cave of the hill collapsed simultaneously. Ingzue Island submerged under the sea, and the mountain guarding array also followed. Submerged underwater? Chapter 168 Arrows 200 miles is an extremely short distance for a middle-stage jeaned in monk. With the use of secret techniques, it can be reached in a dozen breaths. Li Shiming, who was sitting in the flying boat, saw the golden elixir mid-stage monk from Bei Shu, who was coming towards him in the form of a rainbow light. He also saw the huge illusory figure that Master Song had transformed into at the last moment. Although Master Song had done some wrong things to him, his hatred for death was gone. He looked at Master Song who had turned into nothingness. Feeling relieved, he smiled faintly at the middle-stage golden core cultivator who was chasing after him. He is extremely confident in the rocket he created. If it were a rocket from a previous life, it might be possible for the golden core cultivator to catch up with it at the moment of launch. But this rocket is different. It greatly reduces the resistance of the air, and there is no need to worry about the temperature restrictions of the material. It only needs to maximize the combustion effect of liquid hydrogen to achieve the maximum propulsion that was theoretically possible in previous generations. The speed of the rocket was not too fast at first, but after a few breaths, it became faster and faster under the influence of strong driving force. The speed of the rocket that is still climbing exceeds the speed of a mid on monk. When the rocket reaches an altitude of 10,000 meters and flies horizontally, its speed has reached Mach 7. The middle-stage golden elixir monk stood a hundred miles away from Eagle Mouth Island, staring blankly at the light spots in the sky. 
which were traveling farther and farther at a speed that he could not even imagine. Needless to say, he chased her. But now, he didn't even have the courage to chase her. If anyone told him that he was chasing a certain nascent soul ancestor just now, he would believe it. Because that speed could not be reached even by the Tibetan ancestor. He could not imagine that there would be a monk with lower strength than nascent soul who could reach such a speed. Not to mention the middle stage gene and cultivators. Ancestor Zong was also frowning at the rapidly disappearing rocket. Ancestor Zong did not sense the powerful aura. But the speed made him slightly shocked. Coupled with the height of the rocket. It is infinitely close to the 33rd heaven. A monk without strength is seeking death if he approaches the 33rd heaven. This made Patriarch Zong look worried. Tian Haizong obviously had a secret this time. But he just hoped that it would not cause too much trouble in the future. Li Shiming didn't know what the monk from the Mingxin sect of Northern Shu was thinking. At this time, all his attention was focused on the dashboard. This instrument panel is a display panel for speed, altitude, fuel, and monitoring data from various parts of the rocket. The speed at this time reached a level that made him a little worried. Originally, based on the rocket design from his previous life, the maximum speed that this rocket engine could reach was only Mach 7. But at this time, due to the combined technology of the two worlds, the actual speed of the rocket has reached Mach 10. At this speed, the spiritual power of the magic circle that separates the air on the airship consumes a lot. If the airship had not helped reduce the air resistance in front, it is estimated that the friction between the entire rocket and the air at this speed would have produced an unbearable high temperature. He carefully put his spiritual sense out of the rocket, and his spiritual sense replaced his eyes, allowing him to see what was going on below. He saw the Seven Star Island, which was as big as an ant. In just 20 minutes, he arrived from the sect to the Seven Star Island. Normally, this distance would take several hours. But even with the extremely fast flight of a flying boat in the case of Magic Weapon, the rocket flew over the sea. And soon there were no reference objects on the sea. It seemed that there was only sea water between heaven and earth. Li Shiming had already found the right direction. So he didn't have to worry about the wrong direction of flight. The only problem is that the maps of this world are really not standard. Although I have a map of the North Sea in my hand, there is no accurate data on the actual distance. He didn't know if the rocket's fuel was enough to pass through the North Sea, but he only needed to get through the most dangerous central area, even if it was farther away from the coast of Beishu. It would be relatively safer. After more than five hours of sailing, just when he thought there would be no trouble at this altitude, he sensed a terrifying aura. In the sea ahead, a huge phantom appeared. The phantom was covered in black hair and had a body structure similar to that of a human being but he was 100% sure that it was definitely not a human being. In the aura it revealed, there was a kind of violence unique to sea beasts. Li Shiming had never heard of the nascent soul dharma. Otherwise, he would have immediately known what this phantom was. It was also his misfortune. If he were not so fast and flying at an altitude of 10,000 meters, he would not be noticed by the sea beast with the strength of the nascent soul. The rocket is extremely eye-catching in terms of speed and movement, making the sea beast with Yuanying strength feel threatened. Powerful sea beasts have a sense of territory. If another powerful being passes through the territory, it will be considered an invasion. This is a provocation to the powerful sea beasts. Since it was a provocation, the sea beast with the strength of the nascent soul naturally needed to respond. And the nascent soul transformed into a giant standing tall on the sky and the earth. The giant slapped the rocket hard with one hand. No matter how fast the rocket was, it could not escape the blocking attack of a nascent soul. Fortunately, the nascent soul strength sea beast regarded the rocket as an equal existence and did not use the spiritual attack to deal with the weak. Otherwise, there would be no need for the physical attack of the Yuanying Dharma. And a single spiritual thought could completely eliminate the rocket. Li Shiming's scalp was numb. After sensing the terrifying aura, his body was suppressed by the realm difference. The only thing that could move was his spiritual mind. Knowing that this was a critical moment of life and death, he immediately activated a formation on the flying boat. The formation was activated, and a formation of light enveloped the rocket. The function of this formation was to make the materials connected to the formation lose weight. The rocket body loses weight, and while the strong propulsion force remains unchanged, it must gain a faster speed. It was this small speed difference that caused the huge palm to sweep from behind the rocket without hitting the rocket. At the speed of a rocket, after the nascent soul's powerful sea beast discovers that it has missed the target, it must pursue the target if it wants to attack again. If the nascent soul's Dharma Prime attacks again, it will be beyond the Dharma phase's attack range. Li Shiming silently chanted, 3, 
two, one inch in his heart. When the countdown reached one, he stopped the weightless formation of the flying boat. However, when the speed of the rocket increases, even after the weight is restored, it still takes a certain distance before the speed drops again. With this distance, he has escaped the attack range of the nascent soul's powerful sea beast. The nascent soul sea beast did not pursue it. It was obvious that the enemy did not want to stay in its territory. In addition, looking at the direction of the rocket's flight, it was the direction of human land. The nascent soul sea beast did not want to get too close. Land is a restricted area for sea beasts. And even nascent soul sea beasts do not want to get close to the land. Human beings are the most powerful race in this world. Other life forms have developed spiritual intelligence and have great strength. But they are just single powerful individuals. Li Shiming looked at the dashboard and saw that all the rocket's data were normal. And he couldn't help but feel relieved. The aero body of the rocket is made of ordinary metal. Although it is enchanted, the effect of the strong rune cannot turn ordinary metal into a spiritual object. It only strengthens the resistance and hardness of the metal. The weightless formation of the flying boat requires spiritual materials to support it. He has experimented with this ordinary metal. And it will collapse within three seconds at most if it exceeds the ordinary metal. It's not like he hasn't thought about using spiritual materials, such as the metals used in the worst low-grade magic weapons, to make rocket bodies. But there are so many metals needed to make rocket bodies that even if he has so many spiritual stones to buy, he can't find a seller who can sell so much spiritual metal. You must know that most of the mining rights of spiritual mines are in the seven major sects. And the annual output is also very limited. Although he had some small privileges when he was in Tianhai sect, he still relied on Ian Sherlon's relationship and was unable to obtain a large amount of spiritual metals that were extremely critical to the sect. He looked into the distance with lingering fear and then asked C-15 to mark it. When he had enough strength, he would come back to cause trouble for this nascent soul sea beast. Of course, he still doesn't know the true strength of this sea beast. If he knew that this sea beast was the strength of nascent soul, it's hard to say whether he would still bear this grudge. The spaceship was still flying at an altitude of 10,000 meters. The fuel level on the instrument panel was almost bottoming out. But as far as the eye could see, no land was found. He sighed helplessly. It seemed that his understanding of the world was still wrong. The environment of this planet does not seem to be much different from that of the Earth. But its surface area must be much larger. This is a conclusion reached through Z-15 calculation and analysis at an altitude of 10,000 meters. He calculated the possible width of the North Sea based on the size of the Earth. And the rocket dropped him above the sea. The last bit of liquid hydrogen was consumed. The rocket's engine stalled. And it fell downwards. Li Shiming swept his mind and put the rocket into the ring with the largest storage space. This rocket can be replenished with liquid hydrogen and can be used again. At least until he makes a better rocket. This rocket is still his fastest means of transportation. He took out the Jade Flying Boat which was the second one given to him by the monks of the Holy Eye sect. He exchanged the first one for Renfei. I chose the Jade Flying Boat because it has better concealment effect when flying above the sea. The Jade Flying Boat with a transparent effect can create a certain invisibility effect at long distances. Li Shiming did not change the direction. Although the map in his hand was temporarily useless, and he could not locate his position, he could find land as long as the direction was good. That is why he did such a bold thing because he was ignorant and fearless. If he truly understood the dangers of the North Sea, he probably would not dare to fly across the North Sea alone with the strength of the Chi Chain stage. In the next few days, he realized how dangerous the North Sea was. Every few hours, he would be attacked by sea beasts. However, he was quite lucky and did not encounter a sea beast with foundation building strength. This meant that his sailing speed was only affected by the sea beast and he had no other troubles. Seven days later, he finally saw a shadow of land between the sea and the sky. He couldn't help but feel relieved. For seven days, he couldn't see any target at all. What made him even more headache was that he didn't even encounter an island. This almost made him think that he was sailing towards the deep sea. If Z-15 hadn't made the direction clear, he wouldn't have been able to persist for so long. As a monk, he doesn't have to worry about food. But he is above the ocean and sees the same scenery every day without any hope. This is a great mental test. Li Shiming lowered the jade flying boat below the sea surface and moved forward in the sea water. With the transparency of the jade flying boat, this was another form of invisibility. In areas close to land, there is no need to worry about the trouble of powerful sea beasts. If his judgment was correct, the northern Shu continent should be ahead. The reason why he was willing to come to Beishu continent 
was not only because of his relationship with Yin Shiroan, but also because he wanted to become stronger. After he saw Qixing Island, Beishu Jin Dan Sword Xiao Yang Xinji, one person broke through the Qixing Island formation, making the seven sects feel like they were facing a formidable enemy. He had doubts about the strength of the seven sects. It is also a golden elixir. And Northern Shu's golden elixir sword cultivator Yun Xingyi is so powerful. Especially combined with what Jin Elixir said about Qixing Island, who participated in the battle with Yun Xingyi. Li Shiming confirmed the gap between the seven sects and Northern Shu. And who is Yun Xingyi? He is a bereaved dog, who was forced to leave Beishu. Such a golden elixir monk is considered invincible by the seven golden elixirs. In addition, among the huge sects of Tianhai sect, there is no skill that Li Shiming can see or hear about that can compare to the two skills he obtained from Yun Xing. This made Li Shiming realize that there was no hope of staying in the seven sects, even without the invasion of the northern Shu monks. The most he could do in the Tianhai sect was reach the level of Elder Yin's strength. This is determined by the resources of Tianhai Island, and also because the seven sects themselves do not have enough foundation to cultivate nascent soul monks. Even late-stage Jin Dan monks rarely appear. To Li Shiming's expectation, he approached the shore without any trouble. The Beishu continent did not have any defense line against the ocean, and it seemed that it did not care about the existence of sea beasts at all. What kind of confidence is needed to have such confidence? You must know that on Tiai Island, the seven sects have worked hard to set up two lines of defense for the sea beasts. Seven Star Island is the first line of defense, which is to prevent the sea beasts from the Golden Elixir stage from approaching. Then, there are the sea lines that each of the seven sects is responsible for, respectively, to prevent the sea beasts in the foundation building stage and the excessive number. The remaining sea beasts in the chain energy stage are trained by the chain energy monks of the sects. Such layers of defense have prevented sea beasts from threatening Tianhai Island, and have also become the main source of low-level resources for various sects. The flying boat flew out of the sea and arrived at the beach on the shore. Li Shiming jumped out of the flying boat, stepped on the ground with his feet, and felt that the world had become real. Living at sea for many days made him miss the land extremely. He put away the jade flying boat, thought about it, and changed all his clothes into low-grade robes. Even the storage bracelet was stored in the computer room. He wanted to make himself look like a poor changey monk. A casual cultivator. Chapter 169 Meeting the Immortal Li Shiming added a Junior Light Body Talisman to himself. This was just for show. With his physical training strength, the speed of his body was stronger than the Junior Light Body Talisman. This is for others to see because they don't have the slightest understanding of this place. If they meet a monk, the cyan light on his legs can mislead the monk's judgment. Li Shiming had deep concerns about the Beishu continent before he was truly familiar with the situation in Beishu. He planned to keep a low profile. After leaving the seaside for about a hundred miles, he could clearly see the scenery ahead. It was obvious that the direction he had been following for many days was correct. He had indeed arrived at the Beishu continent, and based on the several mountains visible ahead, he also found the corresponding location on Yun Xing's map. His spiritual mind moved lightly on the map inside the jade slip. And then, he started searching in front of this point. Yun Xingyi's map only had information about Shiwandishan and Beihai. If Li Shiming moved forward, he would officially enter the scope of Shiwandishan. The situation in Shiwandishan should be at its most chaotic. Some Luo sect is unifying Shiwandishan and clearing out all hostile monks. Li Shiming is just a Qi Chain monk. So he doesn't have to worry about being affected. But the most important thing at the moment is to integrate into the world of Beishu immortal cultivation first. If a careful person pays attention to his language and some habits, he will find that he is still different from Northern Shu. Li Shiming had dealt with Chang Chi monks in Northern Shu. And the Chang Chi monks in Northern Shu all spoke with a special accent. With his learning ability, he only needs to have more contact with people from Beishu. And I believe he can solve the language problem soon. He decided to get in touch with mortals first and he could even be a mortal for a while and integrate into the mortals of Northern Shu. There was a city closest to him, which was marked on the map. His first choice was to go to this place called Sherman City. With a goal in mind, Li Shiming touches the ground with both feet and moves forward as if he is constantly jumping on the ground. The aura here exceeds that of Dashia, but I wonder how it is near the city. Li Shiming was observing and analyzing the surrounding environment as he walked. The most important thing to pay attention to in the two places was the spiritual energy. He didn't know whether the place he was in was a special area, or whether the concentration of spiritual energy in the Beishu continent was generally higher than that on Tianhai Island. 
without sufficient data support. Accurate judgments cannot be made. Three days later, the window of the upper room on the third floor of the largest and in Sherman city was opened. Li Shiming stood at the window and looked at the pedestrians on the street. Sherman city was the largest city nearby. The streets were in order, and government officials could be seen from time to time. The population of Sherman city is close to 300,000, and the population within its jurisdiction is close to 1 million. Even in Dashiao on Tianhai Island, such a city can be considered a big city. But Sherman City is just an ordinary city on the edge of Sherwanda Mountain on the map, and is not considered an important city. At this time, Li Shiming could not see the slightest trace of a monk's attire. He was wearing a scholar's Confucian shirt and a sword at his waist. Due to his cultivation, even though he was 20 years old, he still looked the same as when he first entered the sect at the age of 16. Of course, he was wearing a Confucian shirt, and the wide Confucian shirt blocked his body. If he showed his body, Strong muscles were not something a scholar should be able to possess. Three days ago, he used the escape technique to enter the city. First, he used his spiritual sense to observe for several hours and found the chief clerk of the government office in the city. Using the method of enchantment, the bookkeeper obtained a complete identity for Li Shiming. Although they are two different places, there is not much difference in the Yaman's actions. Li Shiming came from a family of officials and had lived in the government office since he was a child. He was very familiar with some things in the government office. The chief clerk can easily handle the things he wants to do. His new identity is still Li Shiming. And he is a student of Shanshir village. Unfortunately, Shanshir village was attacked not long ago. And the entire mountain village was burned to the ground. Except for him. A student who was studying in the city. There were no survivors. So it was better for him. Identity plus insurance. The chief bookkeeper took action. Completed all the information and obtained legal identity certificates. The reason why I chose the status of student member is because it is convenient for scholars to travel and study. If he wants to blend in with mortals, he doesn't necessarily have to stay in a city. In three days, the chief clerk had everything done without any flaws. Afterwards, Li Shiming cleared the master's memory and moved into the inn with a new identity. Master Li, the caravan heading to Guanxian City will leave tomorrow. The shopkeeper has already completed the procedures for you. Just wait for the escort leader Zhao at the door at sunrise tomorrow. A man knocked on the door and came in to report to Li Shiming. This is a reward for you. Li Shiming threw a few copper coins casually and waved. The guy happily exited the room. After three days, he also found out part of the situation in Beishu. Part of the reason why I say this is because even the chief clerk in Sherman City cannot know much about the further areas. What Li Shiming currently knows is the situation in a small area of Shawanishan. He is in the Northern Kingdom and there are many kingdoms deep into Shawanishan. However, recent wars have continued, which means Sherman City is on the edge and has been less affected. There are wars between countries, and power struggles within countries, and everything has become chaotic. Among the news he heard, there was a legend about immortals in Guanchuan City. It was said that immortals were once seen in Guanchuan Mountain next to Guanchuan City, which made the Taoist Temple on Guanchuan Mountain extremely popular. Anyway, it's okay. He doesn't need the help of spiritual energy recently. Every time he practices, he compresses the spiritual power in his body. The lack of spiritual energy for a short period of time does not affect his practice. Li Shiming decided to live among mortals for a period of time as planned, thereby completely transforming into a northern Shu native. I went to see Guanchuan Mountain to prepare for contact with the immortal cultivation world of northern Shu. Until now, he has not found the monks in Bei Shu. The area in Beishu is much larger than he imagined. He does not dare to wander around without a target. The next morning, Li Shiming waited for the caravan at the door of the inn. The caravan consisted of 40 freight trucks and 5 carriages, and was escorted by 40 big men. Thank you, Mr. Zhao, Li Shiming said politely to Mr. Zhao. That's it, Master Li. Don't worry. We have been traveling on this trade route for many years, and there is no problem with safety. Zhao Biato assured with a smile. Li Shiming was placed on the third carriage. He gave him enough money. And the middle carriage was the safest. He sat in the carriage, which was chartered by him. And there was no one but him. In terms of money, Beishu still uses gold and silver as the common currency. Gold and silver are useless to monks. He still has a lot of gold and silver jewelry from previous trophies in his storage bag. Just taking out a little was enough for him to squander it in the world. It's interesting. He said to himself with a faint smile. 
He was still thinking about contacting the monks. But he didn't expect that there would be three monks in this caravan. It seems that this journey will not be stable. He didn't know it in Beishu. But when he was on Tianhai Island, the monks would not have any contact with mortals. These three monks were obviously avoiding something. They sensed that the strongest among them was the sixth level of chain energy. And the other two were at the third level of chain energy, which did not worry Li Shiming much. Li Shiming, who has spiritual thoughts, doesn't have many opponents in the Qi chain stage. The caravan moved along the road, and he was rarely leisurely observing the three monks with his spiritual mind while admiring the scenery outside the car window with his eyes. There are mountains as far as the eye can see here, and the roads wind around the mountains. In the area close to the city, the mountains have been conquered by humans, and the mountains have been divided into terraced fields. From time to time, patches of farmhouses can be seen at the bottom of the mountains. The three monks were very quiet, and there was no communication for a long time. However, Li Shiming's spiritual thoughts saw the three monks looking at each other from time to time, with vigilance and nervousness in their eyes. After the caravan traveled for a day, it had entered the mountains. Fortunately, the horses pulling the car were local ponies. Even on rugged mountain roads, they could easily pull the heavy truck and maintain stability. Li Shiming opened his eyes and stopped compressing the spiritual energy vortex in his body. He looked forward, where the four strands of mid-stage chain energy were not concealed at all. That is to say, the mortals in the caravan cannot sense the fluctuations of spiritual energy. But the expressions of the three monks in the caravan all changed. I dare to ask some heroes. I don't know which mountain or village they are from. Our escort agency has never neglected the filial piety of the heroes along the way. Zhao escort leader saw the four people in front of him blocking the road. Rode his horse over and said with fists in his hands. Three brothers of the Guan family. Don't hide. You can't escape. Hand over to Luo Ling to spare your life. The monk who blocked the road didn't pay attention to escort Zhao at all. His aura exploded, and he shouted to a carriage. The horse's legs under Zhao Biao's head went limp, and it collapsed to the ground. Zhao's head rolled and he relaxed. But he didn't dare to say another word. How could he, who had traveled around the world for many years, not know that he had encountered a powerful being at this moment? Even the aura just now made him tremble with fear. The horse beneath him was also extraordinary, but even more unbearable. Knowing that they could not hide, the three Guan brothers walked out of the carriage. Since you know the Sun Luo order and dare to take action. Aren't you afraid of the Sun Luo sect? Boss Guan said with a stern expression. As long as you get the Sun Luo Ling, you can join the Sun Luo sect. Unfortunately, the Sun Luo Ling is only useful if you get to the Sun Luo sect. You want to travel as mortals, which is a good idea. The monk opposite sneered. While they were talking, the four monks had separated and surrounded the three brothers of the Guan family. Li Shiming originally didn't want to get involved. He just wanted to see the battle of the monks in Beishu. Unexpectedly, he heard about Saluo Ling and Saluo sect, which made him interested. Being able to drive the northern Shu Mingxin sect out of Shirwanda Mountain and directly into Beihai shows how powerful the Saluo sect is. If he can obtain the Saluo order, even if he does not join the Saluo sect, it will at least allow him to pass through the Hundred Thousand Mountains more safely. He jumped off the carriage and came to Zhao Biado. With a gentle pull, he pulled Zhao Biado away from the battlefield where the monks were confronting each other. Captain Zhao, let the caravan retreat as far as possible. This is not something you can interfere with, Li Shiming said softly to Captain Zhao. He was born as a mortal, and although he showed no mercy when killing people, the people he killed were always those who deserved to die. He still wanted to protect the lives of mortals if he could. Thank you, Mr. Li, for reminding me, Zhao Biado secretly thought to himself and he clasped his fists and saluted. Then he waved his big hand towards the caravan, and the caravan retreated in an orderly manner. The monks in the confrontation ignored the mortals, no matter whether the mortals were nearby or escaping. It had nothing to do with them. They didn't find anything special about Li Shiming. The main reason was that Li Shiming's strength far exceeded them. In addition, Li Shiming had spiritual thoughts. The spiritual thoughts could isolate the fluctuations of spiritual power in Li Shiming. At least, Monks who were not in the late stage of chain energy could not sense it. Li Shiming's strength. Li Shiming retreated as the caravan retreated. Watching as the atmosphere among the monks became increasingly tense, as if watching a play. The battle started in an instant. And talismans and magic weapons flew together. Zhao Biao glanced at him as he was retreating. His legs went weak, and he almost fell to the ground. The rest of the people even knelt down on the ground. Cowed out repeatedly. 
and kept saying that the immortal had mercy. Li Shiming ignored these mortals. Saving them once was enough. They did not know how to cherish them, and did not stay away from the battlefield at their own risk. He was focusing on the battle between the Chang Chi monks at this time. The battle lasted for a while. And it was obvious that the four middle Chang Chi monks were suppressing the three brothers of the Guan family. It won't be long before the three Guan brothers will be defeated. What Li Shiming didn't expect was that the casual cultivators in Bei Shu were also very poor. Take a look at the talismans and magic weapons used. The talismans are low-level talismans. And the intermediate talismans are rarely used. The best magic weapons are only mid-grade magic weapons. There are five mid-level chain chi magic weapons here. But only three mid-grade magic weapons. Among the four monks who came with the mid-stage chi chain. Two of them used low-grade magic weapons with the strength of the mid-stage chi chain. It shows how poor they are. At least in Li Shiming's eyes. That fellow Taoist. Please help me. I am willing to use the Rosen Order as reward. Suddenly the boss of the Guan family shouted loudly in the direction of Li Shiming. Li Shiming was slightly startled. But he quickly realized that he had just rescued Escort Zhao. And the boss of the Guan family saw some clues. You four can get lost. I will protect the three of them. Li Shiming was not worried that the boss of the Guan family would dare to lie. His aura suddenly rose and the breath belonging to the ninth level of chain energy leaked, causing the four monks in the middle stage of chain energy to leak. Their expressions changed. The boss of the Guan family breathed a long sigh of relief. He did not see Li Shiming's base, but made some guesses. He knew very well that if the four hostile monks succeeded, not only would the Rosen Order be saved, but the lives of the three brothers would also be at risk. So he would rather take a gamble. If he wins, he will survive. If he loses, he will be destined. Li Shiming's reaction let him know that he had one half of his bet. And the other half depended on Li Shiming's attitude towards the three brothers. Chapter 170 Battle The four monks in the middle stage of Qi Chain are very discerning. It should be said that almost all monks will be very discerning when they encounter a significant gap in strength. Although there are monks who can fight beyond the level, they will never appear among casual cultivators. Could it be that he relies on the unsatisfactory magic weapon in his hand? or on the talisman that is not as powerful as his own spells. Thank you fellow Taoist for saving your life. The boss of the Guan family bowed to Li Shiming and said. Li Shiming didn't speak. Just looked at him quietly. This is the Sun Luo Ling. Please keep it. Fellow Taoist. The boss of the Guan family quickly made a sign of realization. Took out a sign from the storage bag and handed it over. Although Li Shiming had never seen Sun Luo Ling, his spiritual mind scanned the sign and discovered something fishy in it. Since the San Luo order was issued by the San Luo sect and was a token, it naturally wouldn't be too ordinary. The sign that the boss of the Guan family took out was a sign card from a piece of spirit wood, with San Luo Ling written on it. However, the production techniques, attachments, etc., it was probably a maker who made low grade magic weapons. Made by the teacher, Li Shiming is not a casual cultivator. He is also a monk of the sect. If this San Luo Ling is real, then why should the Sun Luo sect distinguish the authenticity of the Sun Luo Ling? Not to mention other weapon makers. Even Li Shiming himself. As long as he has the raw materials of spiritual wood, he can make countless Sun Luo Lings that are exactly the same. And it is impossible to tell the real ones from the fake ones. Why bother? What's wrong with handing it over properly? Since you brought out fake ones, your lives are mine. Li Shiming said calmly. A sword light swept across, and the head of Guan Boss rose into the sky. On the other side, the head of the Guan family's second brother, who had not yet shown a panicked look, blew up almost at the same time. Guan Lao San was left alone and wanted to scream, but found that he had lost the ability to move. Li Shiming's spiritual thoughts swept over them, and the storage bags on their bodies were taken out. He grabbed Guan Lao San and smiled slightly in the direction of Biao Zhao, showing a warning. He expected that an old man like Biao Zhao would not spread rumors. Jiang Wang took Li Shiming and Guan Lao San and fled far away. Li Shiming found a cave. A spiritual thought swept through the interior of the cave. And all the garbage on the ground and the odor in the air were swept out of the cave. Li Shiming carried Guan Lao San into the cave and threw Guan Lao San on the ground. He took out the three storage bags, poured out everything inside, and then took out a wooden sign from a low-grade shield. To be honest, the Guan brother's ability to hide items is quite good. Unfortunately, they met Li Shiming who had spiritual thoughts. The method of hiding items under spiritual thoughts was a joke. Li Shiming picked up the wooden sign, scanned it with his spiritual thoughts, and nodded with satisfaction. 
This wooden sign uses a very special method of enchantment, and there is a special mark on the surface. The spiritual power in this mark is extremely strange, and it should be caused by some special secret method. If there is no mistake, this wooden sign is the real Sun Luo Ling. As for whether it is true or not, it depends on Guan La San's answer. He left Guan Lao San behind just for this reason. In addition, he also needed to get information about the nearby world of immortality. It can only be said that the three brothers of the Guan family disrupted his original plan. And the plan really couldn't keep up with the changes. Originally, he wanted to go to Guan Yuan Mountain as a mortal to check if there were any monks there. Unexpectedly, the three brothers of the Guan family came to his door and offended him, giving him a reason to take action. According to Li Shiming's code of conduct, he cannot act like a demon and take the initiative to cause trouble for unrelated monks before others offend him. A rope flew out of Li Shiming's hand and tied Guan Lao San tightly. This was a spirit binding rope obtained from Bailey Jean Yin. Unfortunately, when he was on Tianhai Island, he didn't dare to take it out and use it. Seeing that he is already at the ninth level of chain energy, he will be able to attack the foundation in a while. If he hadn't met the three brothers of the Guan family, maybe the combination of soul binding rope and soul stabbing needle would be in his hands. Buried. After reaching the foundation, the role of the magic weapon is very small. Just like the two magic weapons in Bailey Genian's storage bracelet, they were still extremely powerful magic weapons for Li Shiming when he first got them. But now, Li Shiming can already use the super grade magic weapons. What are you going to do? I won't say anything. Guan Lao San looked at Li Shiming in horror and shouted. He knew very well that if he fell into the hands of the monks, some torture would be inevitable. And he only hoped that Li Shiming's methods could be gentler. However, when he saw Li Shiming skillfully taking out a professional spirit binding rope and a needle shaped magic weapon, he could no longer pretend to be calm. After using the soul stabbing needle once, Guan Lao San poured out all the information that Li Shiming wanted to know. What should be said and what should not be said. Li Shiming finally understood what the Sun Luo order was. In the final analysis, this thing was a method used by the Sun Luo sect to confuse various monks. The Sun Luo sect was originally a demonic sect, and its behavior was naturally strange and unpredictable. A group of Sun Luo orders were released, causing the forces in Shirwanda Mountain to scramble for it. Although these immortal cultivating forces are far inferior to the Sun Luo sect in terms of strength, they are extremely large in number and have ambiguous relationships with the major sects. The emergence of Sun Luo Ling caused constant battles among the various immortal cultivating forces in Shirwan Mountain. Any force wants the monks and its force to join the Sun Luo sect, so that the force can establish a relationship with the Sun Luo sect. Under this situation, the various immortal cultivating forces continued to fight, but it accelerated the Sun Luo sect's plan to unify the 100,000 mountains. At the same time, Sun Luo Ling can also win over a group of monks. The monks who can bring Sun Luo Ling to Sun Luo sect alive are very capable no matter what, which is very consistent with the style of Sun Luo sect. Li Shiming also obtained the general entry and exit methods of Beishifang city, as well as the locations of some cities. When he asked these questions, Guan Lao San realized no matter how hard he was, he was not a monk from Northern Shu. As a monk from Northern Shu, how could he not know the universal way to enter and exit Fancher? Especially for a monk whose strength has reached the ninth level of chain energy. But Li Shiming didn't care whether Guan Lao San guessed something. Because Guan Lao San's fate was doomed. After Li Shiming dealt with Guan Lao San, he put the three storage bags into the computer room space to serve as a warehouse. As for the belongings of the three brothers of the Guan family, he picked out a low grade robe and a low grade sword. Then put away hundreds of spiritual stones and buried the rest in the cave. Maybe many years later, some lucky boy will dig out these things in the cave. Although these things are useless to Li Shiming, they are still treasures for monks in the early stage of chain energy, such as elixirs and magic weapons. He continued to rest in the cave, thinking about formulating a new plan of action. Now he no longer has a blind eye. He understands the basic situation of the world of cultivating immortals in Beishu. The world of cultivating immortals in Northern Shu is chaotic in one word. The emergence of Sun Luo Ling is only a small aspect of it. The main reason is that Sun Luo's sect continues to erode the interests of other sects. This caused various small forces to compete for resources within the area originally controlled by each sect. The Sun Luo sect has a great cause, and some small resources are looked down upon by the Sun Luo sect. But they are a great temptation for small forces. Coupled with the fact that ambitious forces want to become powerful, and some forces want to directly kill people and buy goods, 
These have made the already chaotic situation even more serious. The Salula sect's own management method of its sphere of influence is also different from that of normal sections. In addition, it is in the process of expansion and has no time to control the various forces in the Sherwan Mountain, leaving all forces to be chaotic. Li Shiming shook his head helplessly. It was not a good choice for him to enter Sherwan Mountain at this time. Even if he acted as a casual cultivator, he might be killed by some force as a spy of other forces at any time. He was thinking, looking outside the cave slightly. Five auras were approaching quickly, one of which was the aura of a monk in the foundation establishment stage. He also recognized the other four auras, which were the four mid-stage Chichain monks he had let go. I still need to ask my Taoist friends for help. Li Shiming was not afraid, but his fighting spirit rose. A clone appeared next to him, and he smiled at the clone. Fellow Taoist, today we join forces to cut down the foundation. The clone was very excited, since having the clone, he has almost maintained a state of multitasking. The clone is still doing some research even in the computer room space. This method allowed him to practice the originally most useless Jianghu mentality of fighting left and right into a real dual purpose that can be maintained for a long time. Of course, fighting left and right is just a key, but what really allows him to do two things at once is his strong spirit and spiritual thoughts. Moreover, as this dual purpose state lasts longer, the two separate consciousnesses are also strengthened by their respective bodies. Li Shiming and his avatar walked out of the cave and met the foundation building monk chasing four middle level Chiching monks. Uncle, this guy is the one who stole the Sun Luo Ling. One of the mid stage Chiching monks pointed at Li Shiming and said, The spiritual thought of the foundation building monk swept across, and he confirmed the strength of Li Shiming and the clone. Although they were two monks at the ninth level of chain energy, they were nothing in his eyes. There is a natural gap between Chi Chain monks and foundation building monks, except for a very small number of talented monks trained by large sects. This huge gap in realm is a natural chasm for the monks. Hand over the Sun Luo Ling and the storage bag and kill yourselves, the foundation building monk ordered calmly. The Sun Luo Ling is right here. If you want it, you can get it yourself, Li Shiming said with a smile. The Shushan seal appeared in his hand. The Shushan seal can be used after his strength reaches the ninth level of chain energy. He has been gathering spiritual power into the Shushan seal. Of course, the target of his attack was not the foundation establishment monks. Although the Shushan seal was very strong, its binding power could not restrain the foundation establishment monks at his current level. Even if the foundation building monk in front of him is a monk in the early stage of foundation building, and he is considered the weakest foundation building monk during the foundation building period, he cannot be restrained by a super-grade magic weapon at the ninth level of chain energy. Excellent magic weapon! The foundation building monk said with joy as his eyes lit up when he saw the Shushan seal that Li Shiming took out. Even though he is a foundation building monk, he only has one super-grade magic weapon in his hand, and the rest of the magic tools are high-grade magic tools. But he immediately realized that the two ninth level monks in front of him dared to resist. He mobilized his spiritual thoughts to form the pressure of the foundation building stage and pressed towards Li Shiming and the clone. This is a common method used by monks in the foundation building stage to deal with monks in the chain energy stage. And it is also the most effective method. The coercion formed by the spiritual thoughts in the foundation building stage is insurmountable to the Chain Chi monks without spiritual thoughts. It is enough to suppress the Chain Chi monks mentally and physically. In severe cases, it can even cause the Chain Chi monks to lose the ability to move. But this time, the foundation building monk obviously made the wrong opponent. Li Shiming and his clone both had spiritual thoughts. And even practiced spiritual attack methods. In terms of the intensity of his spiritual thoughts. He was even stronger than this foundation building monk. So the spiritual pressure of the foundation building monks did not have any effect. The clone rushed forward. He had been standing behind the main body before. As soon as he rushed out, the foundation building monk immediately saw his appearance. The foundation building monk had also lived for a hundred years. When he saw the face of the clone, he was still stunned for a moment. He could hardly imagine how there could be such a flawless person in this world. Yes, flawless. With his century-old perspective, the clone in his eyes has no flaws at all. As if all the beauty in the world is concentrated on the clone's face. Because of the foundation establishment monk's surprise, the clone came closer to him. And the golden fencing sword, a high-grade magic weapon in the clone's hand, was used as a melee weapon to stab him. This high-grade magical weapon was originally a high-grade metallic magical weapon refined by Bailey Jean Yin. However, 
in order not to arouse the reaction of Elder Bailey on Tianhai Island. The golden fencing sword was not taken out for use. Although this golden fencing sword is a high-grade magical weapon, it can be used as the main attack weapon by Bailey Jean Yin. In addition to being the top of the high-grade magical weapons, it is also very suitable for Bailey Jean Yin. On the other side, Li Shiming's body activated the Shushan seal, and the Shushan seal flew out, immediately covering all four monks in the middle stage of Qi Chain. The four monks in the middle stage of Qi Chain were unable to even move under the Shushan seal, let alone escape. With just one blow, all four monks in the middle stage of Qi Chain were flattened. You deserve to die! The foundation building monk roared. But he was incompetent and furious. After he was approached by the clone, most of the advantages of the foundation building monks were lost. The clone cultivates the secret book of sword demons. And in terms of close attacks, it can absolutely crush any monk who has not practiced physical training. The body of the foundation building monk has been strengthened during the foundation building process. But it is still unable to compare with the clone that has practiced the secret book of sword demons. Not to mention that the clone has absorbed a drop of golden elixir blood, making the clones refining beyond secret book of sword demon. The strength that should be achieved during the Qi chain period. The foundation building monk was entangled by the clone. He could only continuously stimulate spiritual attacks one after another, trying to get rid of the clone's attack. But the clone was faster than him. It surrounded him and kept stabbing out with a golden sword in his hand. Chapter 171 Strength Every close attack of the clone carries a huge force. Even if the foundation building monk blocks it with a high-grade defensive weapon, it will still be affected by the huge force. The foundation building monk couldn't help but panic. How could he not know at this moment that he had encountered a genius monk trained by a large sect? Otherwise, how could there be a situation where the Chang'e stage monks could suppress the foundation building monks? Li Shiming has been quietly observing the battle. If he is not sure that he can kill the foundation building monk with one blow, he will not show too much. This is the weakest foundation building monk and is suitable for training. When he was on Tianhai Island, he was always cautious, fearing to attract the sex attention and not revealing too much. But this is Northern Shu, and it is within the scope of hundreds of thousands of mountains. He has no sect, no friends, and no relatives, which makes him have no worries at all. During the battle, the clones seemed to be suppressing the foundation building monks. But there wasn't much the clone could do against the foundation building monks. The main reason is that there is no ability to kill the foundation establishment monk. To defeat the foundation establishment monk, you can rely on faster speed and stronger strength. But if you want to kill the foundation establishment monk, you need to break the foundation establishment monk's defense. Of course, this is when the clone does not use the third grade sword base. But when the third grade sword base is exposed, it must be 100% silencing before it can be used. Li Shiming saw the situation he wanted to master. Both he and his clones could deal with the early stage foundation building monks. At least in close proximity. He no longer hesitated. A sword light flew out from his hand and joined the battle. His sword light was more solid than half a year ago. And the sword intent in it was also more intense. After more than half a year of study, coupled with the guidance of the sword bone, he truly obtained the sword intention. And it was no longer guided by the sword bone into the flying sword. Even now that he has lost his sword bone, he still has the ability to send out sword intent on his own. Although the sword intent he sends out on his own is far inferior to that sent out by the sword bone, it shows that he is on the right path. Unfortunately, due to the short period of time he had mastered the sword's intention, he has not yet been able to copy the sword's intention on his clone. This will take some time until he has mastered the sword's intention to a deeper level. He still used the broken jade sword mainly because the defensive weapon of the opponent's foundation establishment monk was also a high-grade weapon. So he could try out the effect of the same level of magic weapon on the foundation establishment monk. Sword intention! The sword light hit the high-grade defensive magic weapon, and the foundation building monk screamed. Even in the northern Shu continent, monks who can perceive the meaning of swords are extremely rare. Each one is the seed of swordsmanship and will be valued by the sect. The foundation establishment cultivator was speculating in his mind about what kind of monster he had encountered. One was stronger in body refining than the foundation establishment cultivator, and the other had mastered the sword's will. These two chained energy monks can be regarded as elite disciples in any sect. He couldn't help but want to retreat, but he wanted to retreat. How could Li Shiming let him go? Every sword light from the main body will weaken the spiritual mark in the foundation building monk's high-grade defensive magic weapon by one point. 
and the control of the magic weapon will be reduced by one point. The clone's attack was like a gust of wind and rain, not allowing the foundation building monks any chance to breathe. Until now, due to the close proximity of the clone, the foundation building monk's best fighting method has not been used. And the only super grade attack weapon cannot even be used. His super grade attack weapon was a long range attack. Due to his initial carelessness at close range, the clone's face affected his mind, causing him to completely lose the opportunity. The sword light of Li Shiming's body continued to weaken the spiritual imprint of the high grade defensive weapon. While the clone continued to hit the high grade defensive weapon hard, as the foundation building monk's control over the high grade defensive magic weapon becomes weaker and weaker. The resistance of the high grade defensive magic weapon to the clone's heavy blow becomes lower and lower. Every time the clone hits a heavy blow, the foundation building monk's body will shake violently. The foundation building monk knew that he could not continue like this. And he might die at the hands of two Chang'e monks today. He gritted his teeth and took out a talisman from the storage bag at his waist. This was a talisman that he had spent a lot of money to obtain. It could withstand the attack of the monks in the late stage of foundation establishment. He only needed to buy some time for him to take out the super attack. The weapon launches an attack. The talisman was activated at the moment when the high-grade defensive magic weapon was shot down. And a fierce look appeared on his face. This time his price was high. He wanted to kill two Chang'e monks and use the storage of two Chang'e monks. Bag to compensate for this price. He no longer dodges or defends. He firmly believes that the talisman on his body can withstand the two chain energy monks for a period of time. During this period of time, he could attack the two chain chi monks without any scruples, letting them know the true power of the foundation building monks. After discovering that the talisman turned into a defensive spell, the clone knew that the best time had come. The golden fencing sword in his hand disappeared and was replaced by a third grade sword base, which turned into a long sword. He used an extremely standard two handed straight thrust and thrust out the most powerful sword since the battle. Although the third grade sword base is not a real golden elixir magic weapon, it has broken through the skin of a golden elixir sword cultivator in actual combat. Facing the defense in the late stage of foundation building, the clone's full sword strike, coupled with the effect of the third grade sword base itself, caused the defense to be pierced by the sword. The third grade sword base continued to pierce the body of the foundation building monk and the terrifying force pushed the body of the foundation building monk laterally back. The sword light controlled by Li Shiming penetrated the foundation building monk's eyebrows and opened a hole in his head. At the end of the battle, Li Shiming looked at the foundation building monk whose life breath had been wiped out and couldn't help laughing loudly. And the clone also laughed, like a pair of madmen. The grievances that had been held back for such a long time were all vented through this battle at this moment. In Tian High Sect, he did not receive the evacuation notice from the sect. So he could only escape from Tianhai Island by rocket. And almost became a snack for sea beasts on the way. He suppressed a lot of resentment in his heart. Which was one of the reasons why he decided to fight head on with the foundation building monk. He needs a hearty battle. And he needs to eliminate the grudges in his heart. This has proven to be very effective. He and his clone were already one. And killing this foundation building monk meant that he had the combat power to kill the early stage foundation building monk. This kind of confidence is very important and will change his mentality. Both he and the clone felt that the spiritual power in the body was more active. And the clone almost couldn't suppress the urge to break through. The clone has already reached the time of breakthrough. Unfortunately, since the clone can help the main body's cultivation is not considered. The circumstances of the breakthrough must also be taken into consideration. The clone needs a cultivation environment where the aura reaches at least the standard before it can consider making a breakthrough. Not only the clone, but also after a period of time when the spiritual energy vortex of Li Shiming's body is compressed to a certain extent. The spiritual energy environment of cultivation also needs to be considered. He is no longer in the period where even in the mortal world, he can only rely on the spirit gathering array to satisfy his cultivation. At the ninth level of chain energy, he and his clone need a lot of spiritual energy environment. Li Shiming collected all the storage bags. The foundation building monk's storage bag was pretty good. It was a 30 cubic storage bag opened by spiritual thoughts. As for the storage bags of the remaining four mid-level monks, he just glanced at them and threw the four storage bags into the machine room space to serve as a warehouse. In the foundation building monk's storage bag, he found a compass with a bright spot on it. He experimented and found that this compass was designed to track some Luo Ling. He even found the mark of Saluo's sect on the corner of the compass. 
This should be deliberately released by the Sun Luo sect in order to increase the difficulty for the monks sent back to the Sun Luo order and cause more chaos. Fortunately, the perception range of this compass is only a hundred miles. No one of the three brothers of the Guan family were hidden among mortals before. The routes taken by mortals were completely different from those of monks. And monks would not pay attention to mortals. It's a pity that the three brothers of the Guan family have been targeted for a long time. And then, they were tracked and intercepted. Li Shiming smiled and threw the Sun Luo Ling into the computer room. Immediately, the Sun Luo Ling, which was originally placed in the storage bag and could be sensed by the compass, disappeared from the compass in an instant. He was not surprised. The computer room space was extremely effective in shielding various signals. It was even conceivable that it could shield a golden elixir monks from their own blood essence. Among the other items of the foundation building monk, the supergrade flying axe has some value. But even the supergrade flying axe weapon can only be regarded as an ordinary item among supergrade magic weapons. Li Shiming was a little curious. There could be foundation building monks among casual cultivators. This was unimaginable on Tianhai Island. You must know that the foundation establishment pill alone has blocked the promotion path of all casual cultivators, let alone the qualifications and talents to cultivate to the ninth level of chain energy. If so, I am afraid that they would have been recruited by the seven sects long ago. Where can I become a casual cultivator? He had no idea of resting anymore. The foundation establishment monks and four mid-stage chi chain monks he found this time were from a family of immortal cultivators. And he didn't want to be tracked again. Even though he killed a foundation building monk, this foundation building monk himself was the weakest among the foundation building monks. He does have the means to kill the foundation building monks. But means such as talismans are reserved for use in life or death crisis. They are not used at such times. He took the clone back into the machine room space. And then used sword escape to fly away into the distance. He was still heading in the direction of Guanchuan City. But the first place he wanted to go was a market on the route. This is a market that I learned from Guan Lao San. It is controlled by the Wei Cultivation family. It is considered a relatively fair and safe market nearby. It has a very good reputation and is a market that many monks in the Qi stage often visit. Li Shiming needs to go to Fang City to buy a map first. Although the map of Jin Dan Sword Xiao Yong Xinji is quite clear, the places related to the monks marked on the map of Jin Dan Jin Xiao are where he, a little Qi chain monk, dares to go. Of Take the market as an example. The market where Jin Dan monks often go is definitely a high-end market. It is hard to say whether Li Shiming can enter. Not to mention entering that kind of market. As long as you reveal the idea of entering that market, you will be noticed by the thoughtful monks. Because those who want to enter that kind of high-end market either have obtained some treasures and want to sell it, or just with some kind of secret, the ninth level of chain energy and the continuous compression of spiritual power in the recent period have greatly increased the time and speed of his sword escape. In particular, the sword bone on his right thumb will also have a beneficial effect when he performs sword escape. Currently, it can increase his sword escape speed by about 10%. This improvement effect will continue to improve as he improves his control of the sword and uses the energy of the sword bone. After traveling for most of the day, he came to a valley. In the seemingly ordinary valley, he could feel the fluctuations of the formation from a long distance away. This is the senior formation master's ability to perceive the formation of the star light sea. He took out a bamboo hat with a veil and covered his face. This bamboo hat was found in the foundation building monk storage bag. It was presumably used to get in and out. Convenient to the market. Although this bamboo hat is not a magic weapon, the veil is made of some kind of spiritual material, which can block the prying eyes of spiritual thoughts. Li Shiming came to the entrance of the valley, and he mobilized his spiritual power to create a spell at the formation at the entrance of the valley. A passage for entry was revealed at the entrance of the valley. In fact, this formation is not complicated. Even without this method, he can still enter, but it will be a little troublesome if the monk discovers it. Walking into the passage, his spiritual thoughts swept through the formation in the valley, and he could clearly sense the spiritual power lines inside the formation. The formation here is not in the records of his formation star light C, but with Z15 calculations, it is not difficult to detect a formation that is not too complicated. The reason why he was so careful was to prevent any accidents from happening in the market. Once an accident occurred, he could easily leave the valley without being affected by the formation. Walking into Fonshire. It is better to say that it is a Fonshire than the residence of the Way Cultivation Clan. It is just that an area has been opened outside the residence to serve as a Fonshire. 
The advantage of this is that the safety of Fong City can be guaranteed. You must know that the Wei Cultivation family is quite powerful here. With Foundation Building monks stationed here all year round. Of course, the residents of the Wei Immortal Cultivation family will naturally not allow outside monks to approach. But the buildings of the Wei Immortal Cultivation family can be seen in Fong City. The market here is not much different from the market on Tianhai Island. It is also composed of two parts. One is mobile stalls, and the other is fixed shops. Today is obviously not an event day. So there are not many mobile stalls, or customers walking around in the market. This is a small number compared to such a Dafong market. It seems that there are 20 or 30 customers. Not even the number of stalls and shops. But you must know that most of the monks who come here have the intention to buy. No monks who have no intention to buy will come to the market. Li Shiming walked among the mobile stalls. Observing the spiritual objects sold here. The spiritual objects sold here are all needed by the monks in the Changchi stage. But compared to the market on Tianhai Island, you can judge the wealth of Beishu just by looking at the mobile stalls. In the square market of Tianhai Island, you can rarely see the resources of the late stage of Chang Chi. Most of them are the resources of the early and middle stage of Chang Chi. The resources of the late stage of Chang Chi are either obtained from the sect or you can go to the sea to kill sea beasts. Chapter 172 Fangshir Li Shiming even saw several stalls selling elixirs, which were also rare on Tianhai Island. Alchemy on Tianhai Island rarely appears among casual cultivators. Even if there are casual cultivators who study alchemy, it is also the lowest level of elixir. Most of the elixirs that are actually provided to monks in the middle and late stages of Chang Chi require the preparation of seed beast inner elixirs, which are not accessible to casual cultivators. But here, he had already seen the pills provided to monks in the middle stage of Chi Chain, which were still on the stall. Li Shiming walked through the first fixed store, which sold magical artifacts. He did not go in. He only used his spiritual sense to probe in and see clearly what was going on inside. The store has a full range of magical instruments. From low-grade magical instruments to high-grade magical instruments. The prices are clearly marked on the first floor. Each magic weapon has a picture scroll. The shape and size of the magic weapon are clearly marked on the scroll. There is a description of the magic weapon below. Without any hiding. The spiritual stones for sale are also marked on it. At a glance, it also blocked some monks who wanted to make a counteroffer because they didn't have enough spiritual stones. He has looked at the value of the magical instruments. And there is only one word, expensive. The value of all the magical instruments is 30% higher than that of Tianhai Island. Especially the value of the high-grade magical instruments is more than double. Li Shiming passed several shops. And his understanding of the world of cultivating immortals in Beishu was also deepening. It seems that because Beishu has more resources and a larger number of monks, the resources here are richer than those on Tianhai Island. However, because of the large number of monks, the competition for resources is more intense. This makes the value of magic weapons higher, and only those with stronger magic weapons can gain the right to speak in the competition. On the contrary, the price of cultivation resources, such as elixirs, is relatively low, which makes it easier for monks to cultivate. On Xiantian Island, only monks with sufficient talent can gain the right to join a sect. Other small sects have lower talent requirements. But those with talents such as five spiritual roots can be recruited into small sects on Tianhai Island. That is also a handyman existence. With almost no qualifications for cultivation. But in Beishu, as long as one is found to have talent, it is possible to practice. Those with poor qualifications cannot join large sects. But many small sects or cultivating forces will accept children with spiritual roots, no matter how bad his spiritual roots are. With the supply of elixirs, it is not a problem for him to become a monk in the early stage of Chi Chain. After becoming a monk in the early stage of Chi Chain, you can let him earn spiritual stones for the power, or have secondary jobs, or open minds, etc. In areas with sufficient spiritual energy, mortals cannot survive for a long time. Physical labor such as spiritual minds is performed by monks. While comparing, Li Shiming walked into a shop selling classics. An old man in the shop, who was on the fifth level of chain, she raised his eyes and glanced at him, without saying anything, and then returned his gaze to the book in his hand. All books are placed on the shelf behind the counter, with their covers facing out. There is a description and price below each book. There are exercises and spells of the chi stage, as well as introductory exercises for each deputy position, and even cultivation experiences written by the monks themselves, etc. If he hadn't known that this was a classic shop, 
Li Shiming would have thought that he had entered a certain store. The Sex Hidden Merit Pavilion. What surprised him the most was that there were several jade slips placed in the middle position. And the introduction below turned out to be about the foundation building techniques. Good guy. The foundation building techniques are just there for the monks to buy. But if you think about it, you know that the exercises that can be sold here will naturally not be very good. But for casual cultivators, as long as they have a foundation building exercise, there is hope. Li Shiming saw what he wanted. A book and map with a price tag of 70 spirit stones. He could afford 70 spirit stones. But he still felt that prices in Beishu were high. If the book and map were placed on Tiai Island, the most expensive ones would not exceed 7 spirit stones. I want this book. Li Shiming took 70 spirit stones and pointed at the book and map. This is a map perfected by the monks in our tribe. It covers information as far as 10,000 miles away. The old monk took off the book and looked at Li Shiming with a look in his eyes that said he knew what he was doing. After giving the spirit stone, Li Shiming took the book. The map is comprehensive, not only showing the geographical situation, but also the distribution of various forces and the locations of various cities. More importantly, this is a map mainly focused on monks in the Changchi stage. Danger marks are marked in all areas beyond the realm of Changchi stage monks. Li Shiming nodded and put the map away. Just as he was about to leave the store, he suddenly heard a roar outside, and it seemed that the ground in the city began to shake. His expression changed, and the formation starlight sees since strong fluctuations in the formation, which was caused by the formation being attacked. There was actually a monk forcibly attacking the formation outside Fong City, and the monk's strength must have exceeded the Chi Chain stage. Otherwise, he would not have been able to cause such a big movement. Don't act rashly. The way family monks will solve everything. The old monk was also frightened. He looked at Li Shiming warily and warned. It seems that the old monk is worried that Li Shiming will take advantage of the situation. And Li Shiming's cultivation is much better than him. Li Shiming didn't say much. He exited the shop. And the old monk quickly closed the door of the shop. At this time, the market was in chaos. And all the shops were closing. The customers and stall owners in the market were all running. Some were running towards the exit. And some were approaching Wei's residence. Hoping to be there. Get safe shelter. Li Shiming knew very well that it was best not to go to both sides at this time. When the situation is unclear. The best option is to find a place to hide first. His figure came to the valley wall, which was covered by the formation and prevented any monks from approaching. However, he took strange steps with his feet and entered the formation along the direction of the spiritual power line. Then he took out a few formation flags and stuck them on the valley wall, forming a small isolation formation centered on his body. Because Wei's formation was used as a cover, it was not easy to discover his small isolation formation. Is this just watching from the sidelines? Li Shiming said to himself with a smile. He didn't have much to worry about. It was not like he had never seen a foundation building monk before. Even in the worst case scenario, he could escape by relying on his sword escape and control of the formation. At this time, Tanaguchi's formation was broken. And three foundation building monks led more than 30 Chen Chi monks into Fong City. The Tai family is doing business. All monks are not allowed to move. Anyone who violates this rule will be killed. A group of Chang Chi monks shouted loudly to the panicked monks at Tanaguchi. There were only a dozen monks in Tanaguchi. And none of them were even in the foundation building stage. Facing such a powerful Tai family, they were all frightened and could not dare to resist. A group of Chang Chi monks from the Tai family easily subdued these monks without even a fight. The door of the stationary shop was tightly closed. But soon after the group of Tai family Chang Chi monks issued the warning. They opened the door again one by one. And the monks inside also came out. Obediently tied up. It was very quiet at Wei's station. Even the dozen or so monks who escaped were blocked from the station. No way monk came forward. The Tai family monks moved very quickly and controlled all the monks. As long as they did not resist. There would be no killing. This made the monks who were involved in the dispute feel a little relieved. But this time their property losses were doomed. Each monk's storage bag and belongings were searched leaving only clothes on his body. The Tai clan's monks soon arrived outside the Wei clan's residence, with three foundation-building monks standing in three directions. Wei Lin, don't wait for the other monks of the Wei family. The Hu family has already been surrounding and killing them before they come, said the foundation-building monk in the middle, encouraging his spiritual power. Have the Tai family and the Hu family united? This formation of my Wei family was built by a senior formation master. If you have the strength, 
Attack slowly. Wei Lin suppressed his angry voice from the station. You, the Wei family, occupy Fangshir. And you actually want to occupy the spiritual mind. The ambition of the Wei family is too great. You are seeking death. Do you think you can stop us with this formation? The Tai family is in the foundation building stage. The monk shouted. After saying that, the three foundation building cultivators of the Tai family all use super grade magic weapons to attack Wei's resident formation. Every attack would cause the formation to shake. However, after dozens of consecutive attacks, they still could not move. This formation cannot be broken. Li Shiming, who was watching from the wall, saw the mystery. This formation was arranged very cleverly, and the core of it should be the spiritual veins. Wei's station should have a high-grade spiritual vein, and a defensive formation with the above-grade spiritual vein as the core. As long as the upper limit of the attack does not exceed the power of the peak foundation building, it will be difficult to break through the protection of this formation. This formation is not afraid of long-term attacks. As long as the spiritual power in the formation is not consumed all at once, the high-grade spiritual veins will continuously replenish the spiritual power in the formation. No wonder the monk named Wei Lin was still able to remain calm when he heard that other monks in the family were being besieged. It turned out that he was protected by this formation. Li Shiming became somewhat interested, mainly because the danger was not great. Only one of the three foundation building monks was in the middle stage of foundation building and the strength of the other two foundation-building monks was only in the early stage. The three foundation-building monks all majored in ordinary skills, which can be judged from the power of the attacks. Since none of these monks are proficient in formations, he might have a chance to sneak into Wei's residence to take a look. Whatever he wanted to do, he put away the formation flag and moved on the valley wall towards the direction of Wei's station. He came to the junction between Wei's station and the valley wall. Further forward was the defensive formation of Wei's station. Li Shiming carefully detected a trace of spiritual thought and contacted the defensive formation. Fortunately, there were three Tai family foundation building monks who were constantly attacking the formation, making the person controlling the formation unable to detect other abnormalities, which gave him a chance. Z15 analyzed the information sensed by the spiritual mind and started calculations based on the formation knowledge. In Li Shiming's spiritual thoughts, he quickly received the data support provided by Z15 and the spiritual power lines revealed under his spiritual thoughts. This formation was created by a senior formation master, and its level is extremely high. If it were a normal senior formation master, it would still be a lot of trouble to break through this formation, especially when the monks inside are not alerted. The difficulty increases exponentially. Li Shiming was simple. When the three Tai family foundation building monks attacked again, he stepped into the defensive formation. There are countless spiritual power lines running through the formation. If any one of them is moved rashly, the result will be an attack from the formation. He uses his spiritual thoughts to continuously guide the spiritual power lines around his body, which requires extremely complex calculations to support. Otherwise, as long as there is any slight conflict between the spiritual power lines and the entire formation, it will be discovered by the formation host. In the short distance of one meter, Li Shiming and Z15 performed massive calculations together before entering the station quietly. After passing through the strictest defense layer, the spiritual power lines inside are not that complicated, allowing him to travel through the spiritual power lines, which also greatly increases his movement speed. Wei's station hired formation masters to arrange the layout. The entire station's buildings were built in the direction of the formation, and each building was a node. Li Shiming didn't know what Wei's ability was to invite such a high-level formation master to take action. He was amazed by the formation here. The monks from Wei's station are all gathered in one place, right at the entrance of the station, where there is a defensive formation facing the Tai's monks. This gave Li Shiming more opportunities without worrying about being discovered. The spiritual energy in the station is extremely rich, which prevents mortals from appearing in the station. His figure flashed between the buildings, and his spiritual thoughts were carefully released, sweeping across every area. The defensive formation of this Wei's garrison already has a general design draft in Z15 and it is constantly being improved as he continues to extend his spiritual thoughts in the garrison. Li Shiming also has a clear goal. Unlike before, he approached the mountain behind Wei's residence. The closer he got, the more careful he became. His spiritual sense sensed a slight fluctuation of aura, and there were actually monks stationed at the spiritual veins of Wei's residence. He hesitated for a moment, and then made up his mind immediately. He threw the 72 formation flags in his hand. 
as soon as each formation flag touched the ground. It was integrated into the defensive formation of the station and disappeared. Soon all the 72 formation flags disappeared, and the formation at the mountainside was completely under his control, and the connection with the formation leader was also cut off. The 72 formation flags continued to provide information to the formation leader. Send false information. After doing this, he walked towards the wall of the back mountain. A secret door hidden by the formation did not stop him at all, allowing him to walk into it. This is a cave, and the spiritual vein is in the center of the cave hall, where a monk in the early stages of foundation building is sitting cross-legged. Who are you? The monk was startled, raised his head, and looked at Li Shiming, who was wearing a bamboo hat and a veil, and asked in a deep voice. He saw that Li Shiming was a chi chain monk and that he could control it. So he did not take action immediately, but asked aloud. However, Li Shiming saw the aging of this monk in the early stage of foundation building. The faces of monks generally age very slowly, and monks generally do not pay too much attention to their appearance. So they rarely practice techniques to maintain their appearance, which is a waste of time. Own spiritual power. The aging of this monk in the early stages of foundation building is not just about his appearance, but the exhaustion of his vitality. And he is about to reach the end of his life. Chapter 173 Fisherman In the early stage of foundation building, the old monk's body did not move. But he was already ready to take action. He still had doubts. Except for the foundation building monks in the clan. Not even the younger members of the clan knew about the existence of this place. This was the biggest secret in the clan. A Chang Chi monk appeared here. And the weirdness in it was beyond his comprehension. He wanted to contact Wei Lin outside through the formation and ask about the Qi Chain monk before making a decision. Li Shiming didn't hesitate at all. He shot out a spiritual jade sword and hit the old monk in the early stage of foundation building. If he were a monk in the early stages of foundation building in a normal state, he would not dare to use the spiritual mind jade sword to attack. The spiritual attack method is a double-edged sword. When the spiritual thought is stronger than the opponent, this spiritual attack method is the most powerful attack method. However, if the spiritual thought is weaker than the opponent and actively uses the spiritual attack, it will bring backlash to your own spirit. The old monk in front of him, who was in the early stages of foundation building, was already in an aging state. He probably rarely moved his body in order to live longer. Such monks in the early stages of foundation building, in addition to having more pure spiritual power, are at the lowest point in their lives, both physically and mentally. Sure enough, Li Shiming's spiritual jade sword flew out. The old monk in the early stage of foundation building sensed his spiritual attack, but his body remained motionless for a long time and was unable to react in time. Besides, the Ling Yin Jade Sword is faster than a real flying sword. In this small hall, even if you are prepared, you cannot dodge it. Ah! The old monk screamed in agony at the early stage of foundation building. But after all, they are monks in the early stage of foundation building. Even if they are mentally weak due to aging, they cannot be injured by a spiritual jade sword. The Ling Yin Jade Sword only shocked his spirit and caused severe pain. At the early stage of foundation building, when the old monk was attacked by the spiritual mind jade sword, his clone appeared in the hall. Li Shiming had the experience of fighting against the early stage foundation building monks last time. He understood how to use his strengths and avoid weaknesses, and use his own advantages to fight against the early stage foundation building monks. The clone arrived in front of the old monk in the early stage of foundation building in one step. A third grade sword appeared in his hand and slashed towards the old monk in the early stage of foundation building. Just when the third grade sword base was about to strike at the old monk in the early stage of foundation building, a ray of spiritual power protected the old monk in the early stage of foundation building. Although this old monk in the early stage of foundation building is a casual cultivator, casual cultivators are also different. No matter how you say it, Wei Gushian Xiaoxian family is a wealthy family among casual cultivators. It occupies a small market and still has room to seize the rest of the resources. In the early stages of foundation building, the old monk also had something to protect his life. A passive defensive weapon that blocked the attack of the clone. At this time, Li Shiming's true form arrived. And he also chopped off the third grade sword base in his hand. Different from the clone, the sword of the main body carries a sword intent that makes the defensive spiritual weapon shake uncontrollably. At this time, the clone was also a spiritual jade sword, piercing the old monk in the early stage of foundation building causing the old monk in the early stage of foundation building, who had just recovered from the spiritual jade sword of the original body, 
to fall into mental pain again. Clang! 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 Li Shiming's body and clone are like two skilled blacksmiths. And the old monk in the early stage of foundation building is the forged iron billet. The terrifying power, coupled with the sword intent constantly acting on the defensive spiritual weapon, caused the old monk's body to tremble in the early stages of foundation building. As soon as the poor old monk in the early stage of foundation building recovers, he will be stabbed by the spiritual jade sword of his body or clone, and will fall into uncontrollable mental pain again. Li Shiming has seized an advantage and must use it desperately. This method is extremely effective. In the early stage of foundation building, the old monk has been in pain since the beginning of the war and cannot make any reply. After dozens of attacks, the defensive spiritual weapon finally lost its effectiveness and fell to the ground. The main body swept the old monk's neck in the early stage of foundation building with his sword, and his head flew up. The clone's spiritual thought swept over and put the blood and corpse aside. The body of the old monk was removed in the early stage of foundation building. Li Shiming saw a piece of jade ground where the old monk was sitting in the early stage of foundation building. There were complex patterns on it, which was the formation control core made of formation materials. The senior formation master who designed the formation for Wei's residents must have been careful. It is probably because there are no monks in the Wei family who are good at formations. So they specially made this fool-like formation control core. No wonder Li Shiming used 72 formation flags outside the cave to seal off the cave and was not discovered. It turned out that the person who controlled the core of the formation was this old monk in the early stage of foundation building who did not understand formation. Li Shiming's spiritual sense penetrated into the formation control core. And immediately everything about the entire formation was clear to his mind. In the formation at Wei's residence, every node, every spiritual power line, and all authority fell under his control. He saw that the three foundation building monks of the Tai clan were still attacking. But the attack frequency was no longer so intensive. Thinking about it, if it is consumed for a long time, there is no need to fight. Even if the attacks are continued, the spiritual energy will be consumed too much. And there is no talk of killing the monks stationed in the Wei family. Li Shiming's heart moved and he controlled the formation to open a passage in front of one of the three Thai family foundation building monks, who was in the early stage of foundation building. The magic weapon attacked by this monk in the early stage of foundation building of the Thai family was submerged in the formation. He thought that he had broken the formation, and instinctively rushed into the Wei family station in a flash. Just after he passed through the formation defense layer, the formation defense layer was restored again. The other two Thai family foundation building monks couldn't help but be startled when they saw this situation. The formation in front of them had not been broken. They quickly came to the location where the Thai family monk in the early stage of foundation building was before to check. But the defense layer of the formation still blocked them. No! The third brother has fallen into the trap! The Thai family monk in the middle stage of foundation building exclaimed. He turned to the more than 30 monks who were following him and shouted loudly. Come here and attack me together! At this point, we can only break the formation with all our strength. Otherwise, the early stage monks of the Thai clan who enter the foundation building will most likely fall into it. Although the attack power of more than 30 Chang Chi monks is limited, having more power can consume more energy of the formation. This was also a helpless move. We couldn't just lose an Thai family foundation building monk in vain, as that would be a huge blow to the Thai family. Nowadays, the world of immortal cultivation is in chaos. Without one foundation building monk, the Thai clan will no longer have any offensive power and can only fall into a situation of self-preservation. After a while, when the other families grow stronger, the Thai family will be wiped out by other immortal cultivating forces like the Wei family. The monk who was in the early stage of Thai's foundation building and rushed into the station happened to look at Wei Lin. Wei Lin didn't know how this monk, who was in the early stage of Thai's foundation building came in. There is no point in talking now. All we can do is fight. Both sides use super-grade magical weapons. The two super-grade swords collided together, making the sound of gold and iron. They were both monks in the early stages of foundation building and were very familiar with each other. So the battle was back and forth from the beginning. A Chang Chi monk of the Wei family was swept away by the aftermath of the battle. His body flew straight out, hit the wall, and fell heavily to the ground. He vomited blood and lost his breath. Please retreat to the rear first. Wei Lin ordered loudly. There were not many monks who stayed in Wei's residence originally. Most of them were junior members of the clan. And there were also several monks with foreign surnames who had been trained since childhood. But no matter whether they are juniors in the clan or monks with other surnames, 
They are all monks of the Wei family. The loss of any one of them makes Wei Lin feel sad. He secretly regretted that if most of the monks in the clan had not gone to seize the spiritual minds. How could they have ended up relying entirely on formations? Wei's Chain Chi monks were anxious to stay away from the battlefield of the two foundation building monks. But they suddenly found that the surrounding formations blocked the area. And they had no way to retreat. This was naturally done by Li Shiming. He imprisoned the Tai family's early stage foundation building monks with Wei Lin and a group of Wei family's Qi Chain monks. So that the battle could be seen. How could the monks in the early stages of Tai's foundation building watch the Wei's Qi Linking monks escape? Being able to kill more Wei's Qi Linking monks at this time would definitely affect Wei Lin's state of mind. So he flashed his figure and caught up with Wei's Chain Qi Cultivator. In addition, Wei's Chain Qi Cultivator suddenly stopped, which gave him the opportunity to kill everyone. The Wei Qi Chaining monks were just about to tell Wei Lin about the situation of the formation. But before they could say anything, they were massacred by the Tai Sek monks in the early stages of foundation building. Tai Lao San, how dare you? Wei Lin said angrily. He used all his strength to attack with the super grade sword. Tai Lao San smiled, turned around and faced him with the super grade sword. The two super grade magic weapons collided together again, and the spiritual shock wave generated caused all that was left behind. All the chain energy monks were blown away. This group of Wei family Qi Chain monks were either dead or seriously injured in a matter of seconds. Wei Lin, this is what you did. It has nothing to do with me, Tai Lao Sen said with a provocative look on his face. Wei Lin's eyes were red. Among the descendants of the Wei family, there were his direct descendants. Seeing the tragic death of his direct descendants, he no longer had any scruples. He took out three talismans. Each of the three talismans had the power of a full blow in the early stage of foundation building. This was made by the Wei family. Unfortunately, the sources of materials that can make such talismans are limited. More importantly, the talisman maker who is in the early stage of foundation building is now old and can no longer make foundation building talismans. The talent required to make a foundation building talisman is too high. And even if the Wei family has the inheritance, it cannot train a second foundation building talisman maker. Therefore, in the early stage of foundation building, the talisman is Wei's trump card. So use one less one. When Tai Lao San saw the talisman of the early stage of foundation building, his face tightened, and he vomited three mouthfuls of blood on the supergrade sword. With reluctance in his eyes, burst, die, the two voices shouted almost at the same time, and the three talismans turned into three ice blades and shot at Tai Lao San's defensive weapon. The defensive magic weapon was directly blown to pieces, and then Tai Lao San's body was hit by the residual power of the talisman and his body flew backwards. On the other side, Tai Laosan's super-grade sword exploded not far away from Wei Lin. The terrifying explosion severely damaged Wei Lin's super-grade sword. The power of the super-grade sword's self-destruction was too great, and multiple explosion fragments surrounded it. The violent spiritual power originally contained in the super-grade sword attacked Wei Lin. Wei Lin's defensive magic weapon was also broken without holding up for a breath. His body was penetrated by multiple fragments. The violent spiritual shock waves swept through his body, causing him to fly several meters away and fall softly. On the ground, the fighting stopped. Once the two early stage foundation building monks, who were about the same strength, used desperate measures and their attack power was greater than their defense power. It was inevitable that both sides would suffer losses. Ahem, when brother breaks the formation, your weight clan will be waiting to be wiped out. Although Tai Laos and was seriously injured, he was not too depressed. He said while vomiting blood. He thought that Wei Lin was seriously injured. So there would be no one in charge of the defensive formation here. And it would be easier to break the formation outside. Ahem. Do you think I, the Wei family, just keep me as a foundation building monk? Wei Lin, who was also coughing up blood, said sarcastically. He naturally knew that another old monk in the early stage of foundation building was controlling the formation. Although the old monk was old and powerful. It was not a problem to kill the seriously injured Tai Lao San after discovering this place. Both sides were confident and looked at each other angrily. At this time, a figure walked over from behind, and Tai Lao San and Wei Lin quickly looked over. Wei Lin thought he was a monk from the clan, and Tai Lao San thought so too. However, after Wei Lin saw the man's face, he was stunned for a moment and then hesitated. What came was the clone. Tai Lao San felt that the clone had the strength of the ninth level of chain energy and felt dark in his heart. 
I'm so unwilling to die in the hands of a pretty boy. Tai Lao Sen was unable to make any attack. Only his mouth was still very hard. Even though he was dying, he still wanted to ridicule the clone's appearance. The clone responded to him with a sword light. And the golden sword flew out and pierced his head. The golden fencing sword flew out from the back of Tai Lao Sen's head and turned towards Wei Lin. In Wei Lin's extremely unwilling and puzzled eyes, he also pierced the skull with the sword. The clone began to pack up the storage bags left on the ground in a hurry. After putting away all the storage bags, he took out 36 formation flags. This was his last formation flag. He placed 36 formation flags in various places in Wei's residence. Due to the integration of 36 formation flags, the overall controllability and defense of this formation have been improved. Li Shiming in the cave was smiling. A senior formation master. A carefully arranged advanced formation and high-grade spiritual veins were enough to block the attack of the foundation-building monks. He is not a monk from the Wei family before, and does not know the knowledge of formations. In his hands, the effectiveness of this formation will be 200% exerted. In other words, at least as long as the Golden Core Cultivator does not appear, the Wei family's residence belongs to him. As for what to do if the Golden Core Cultivator appears, as long as the Golden Core Cultivator arrives, he will naturally use the formation to block the Golden Core Cultivator for a moment. And he can just escape and give up here. Besides, if there were any Golden Core Cultivators among the casual cultivators, they would not pay attention to the small property of the Wei Immortal Cultivation family. I am afraid that the cost of asking the Golden Core Cultivators to take action would be higher than the cost of taking over the Wei family's property. Li Shiming didn't expect to succeed so easily. He originally wanted to take advantage of the situation, and take advantage of the Wei family's troubles to find a way to get some benefits from the Wei family. Chapter 174 Prophet I will practice here for a period of time. The most ideal thing is to allow me to practice to the foundation building stage. Li Shiming thought to himself. Unexpectedly, he got Wei's residence. And it was protected by such a powerful formation. Which gave him the idea of staying to practice. To join the Thousand Fantasy Sect. You must first go to the Thousand Fantasy Sect. Judging from the current situation, crossing the Hundred Thousand Mountains will be very troublesome. If you become a foundation-building monk, you may have some ability to protect yourself along the way. Besides, he has reached the ninth level of chain energy. If it weren't for the invasion of Mingqin sect of Northern Shu, he might have applied for a retreat room in Tianhai sect. Just like Yin Shirlan, he practiced in the retreat room for several months before trying to break through the foundation-building stage. The foundation building period is extremely attractive to Chang Chi monks. And the same is true for Li Shiming. The lifespan of a Chang Chi monk is 150 years. And the lifespan of a foundation building monk is 200 years. In terms of life form, a foundation building monk is more advanced than a Chang Chi monk. And is the only way to the golden elixir. Why Li Shiming wanted to abandon the worldly life of glory and wealth and stick to the path of cultivating immortality was because he hoped to live forever. After finally traveling through time, I must have a different dream. He summoned the main spirit of the soul control technique and divided ten souls from the main spirit. They spread out and flew towards the peak next to the valley, monitoring the surrounding situation from a high place. As for the Thai monks who were attacking the formation in the valley, he ignored them because he didn't care at all. He was in control of the formation now. If he, a senior formation master, was attacked by a foundation building monk under such favorable conditions. Then it would be a shame for him to learn the formation knowledge. The only thing he is worried about is the powerful Jin Dan monk. And releasing the split soul is to prevent the possibility. Only then did he have time to look at the cave. The cave was not luxurious. But it was extremely exquisite. This showed that great care was taken in building the cave. He was in the hall. And the high grade spiritual veins were also in the hall. Which was quite special because most caves will introduce spiritual veins into the training room instead of placing them in the middle of the hall. There were three more rooms in the cave. His spiritual sense reached out, and he saw the situation in the first room. There is a wooden shelf in the room, and there are jade boxes one by one on the wooden shelf. The words on the wooden shelf correspond to the instructions of the jade boxes one by one. Li Shiming discovered that there were more than 50 kinds of elixirs here, and all of them were second-grade elixirs which were the elixirs needed by monks in the foundation building stage. These jade boxes look like a lot, but in fact they are not many. Because refining one elixir requires more than a dozen elixirs. And the types and quantities of elixirs here are only the amount of materials for several batches of elixirs. He had no research on alchemy. 
so he put away all the jade boxes with his spiritual thoughts without opening the jade boxes to check them one by one. The second room was the library. In this library, he saw all the books sold in the market outside. But they were all preserved with jade slips. In addition, there is a skill that can be practiced to the golden elixir stage. Three attack secrets, an alchemy secret book, and a talisman making secret book. Why are there no formation jade slips? Li Shiming said to himself with a little regret. To be honest, he was still extremely surprised. The Wei family, which was just an ordinary cultivating family, actually had a golden elixir stage technique. You must know that only seven sects on Tianhai Island had such a level of technique. Of course, he didn't like this technique. He had a better one. I don't have time to study it now. When I have time later, I will skin all these jade slips into Z15 and look at them later. Lin Yin swept through and emptied Wei's library again. The third room contained spiritual stones. Li Shiming directly scanned the spiritual stones and put them away. There were less than 200,000 spiritual stones. But it didn't make him excited at all. Li Shiming shook his head. He didn't know whether this was Wei's warehouse or the old monk's warehouse in the early stages of foundation building. If it was Wei's warehouse, then Wei's wealth would be a little less. Little did he know that the Wei immortal cultivation family needed to maintain the cultivation of several foundation building monks. And the cost involved was huge. It would be great to be able to save some spirit stones. He didn't pay much attention to the library above, which had been collected by generations of the Wei family. The second grade elixirs were only collected in the past year. After a certain amount is reached, the elixir will be refining to provide the family's foundation building monks with elixirs for cultivation. As for other spiritual objects, they are all in the hands of the foundation building monks. So how could they be left in the warehouse to eat dust? Li Shiming took the storage bag of the old monk in the early stage of foundation building. There were no spiritual stones or too many spiritual objects in the storage bag. In the early stage of foundation building, the old monk had an offensive spiritual weapon called the Red Copper Heaven and Earth Stick, in addition to the previous autonomous defense weapon called Red Copper Fire Bell. What he didn't know was that this old monk in the early stage of foundation establishment was the oldest and most senior member of the Wei family. He was also a talisman maker who could make talismans in the foundation establishment stage. And his net worth was naturally the richest in the clan. As he got older, he left most of his wealth to his clan, leaving behind two spiritual weapons, one for attack and one for defense. Even these two spiritual weapons will be inherited by the family monks once he dies. In addition to these, there is a talisman pen in the storage bag. Its aura is far inferior to the ones Li Shiming used back then. He placed an ordinary jade slip between his eyebrows. It contained a talisman inheritance, which was the inheritance of this old monk in the early stages of foundation building. It's a pity that Li Shiming is not in the foundation establishment stage and has not learned the foundation establishment spells yet. This inheritance can only be learned after he is promoted to the foundation establishment stage. The rest of the storage bag is some second-grade talisman materials, which are of some value. Li Shiming thought of the various buildings in the station. The clone outside had already walked into a building and started rummaging around. As he searched for buildings everywhere, he became more and more disappointed. There were also warehouses in the buildings outside, but they were all made of materials from the cheap period, and their value was not great. There were no spiritual weapons in the storage bags of Wei Lin and Tai Lao San, especially Tai Lao San. After self-destructing the super-grade magic weapon, there was no longer any super-grade magic weapon. Wei Lin was not much better than Tai Lao San. The only super-grade magic weapon was damaged by the self-destruction of Tai Lao San's super-grade magic weapon during the battle, and it had no repair value in Li Shiming's eyes. However, he found a secret book in Tai Lao San's storage bag, which made Li Shiming a little interested. It was Tai Lao San's secret method to make the super-grade magic weapon self-destruct. This secret method is not a particularly complicated secret method. Tai Lao San likes to refine weapons. Although his level is not very high, he has a flexible mind and found a way to make the interior of the magical weapon unstable during the refinement process. This secret method does a lot of damage to the owner of the magic weapon. But the power of the magic weapon self-destruction is also not small. The power of self-destruction depends on the quality of the magic weapon and the blood essence paid by its owner. Just now, Tai Lao San desperately vomited three mouthfuls of essence and blood, causing the super-grade magic weapon to self-destruct, severely injuring Wei Lin, who was at the same level. Even if Li Shiming had a good fortune, he couldn't help but twitch his mouth when he saw the secret method. This secret method 
was to use spiritual stones to hit people. But when you are in a critical moment, it is not a good way to save your life. However, what he is interested in is not the secret method itself, but the idea of the secret method. When he has time to study the weapon refining, this idea may be able to perfect the secret method, reduce the damage to himself, and increase the power of self-destruction. After searching through the entire way residence, the useful spiritual object found was a huge alchemy furnace. This alchemy furnace burns a kind of spiritual carbon. The spiritual carbon is placed in a 50 cubic storage bag next to the alchemy furnace. The storage bag is full. Li Shiming collected all the spiritual objects he could collect, including gold and silver. Anyway, there were enough storage bags, so he was not afraid of trouble. Fellow Taoist, go over there and check it out. Li Shiming was sitting at the formation control core. When looking at the complete formation design drawing given by Z15, he discovered an anomaly. The clone's handsome face smiled slightly, stood up, and walked towards that place. That place is not far from the cave only 30 meters away. But it is a bit strange that there is a blank area in the formation there. The Avatar's spiritual thought swept over that place and found nothing out of the ordinary. But there is no abnormality at all. But the biggest weirdness is that he deliberately used his spiritual sense to search for it. This wall is located inside the formation. And there should be a response to the energy of the formation no matter what. The clone reached out and tapped lightly on the stone wall. And he found that the stone wall was solid. He also used his spiritual thoughts to check around the stone wall bit by bit. He didn't believe that it would really be possible to leave no traces. He had already guessed what the purpose of this place was. So he searched for it with purpose. Sure enough, he soon discovered that an inconspicuous stone on the ground was something special. There are traces of friction on the stones. The traces are very shallow. If you don't pay attention, you will miss them. He tried to rotate the stone according to the direction in which it rubbed. It didn't take much effort to rotate the stone. After one rotation, the stone wall suddenly sunk inward to create a hole. What a clever idea! Li Shiming couldn't help but praise. This is a secret passage that uses some kind of stone material that isolates spiritual thoughts. It does not use immortal methods, but uses mortal mechanisms. Once the formation at Wei Station is broken, the Wei monks can leave from here. As the formation was stopped, the monks who entered the station were unable to discover what was special about this place until they controlled the formation control core. Besides, if the formation is broken, even if the formation control core is controlled, it is impossible to make the formation operate again without repairing the formation. With this time, Brother Wei had already fled to an unknown distance. The clone walked along the secret passage for a certain distance and found that the exit of the secret passage was at the bottom of a river outside the valley. Li Shiming couldn't help but feel relieved. He now had a way out, and he didn't have to worry about the trouble after the formation was broken. In the valley, Two foundation building monks from the Tai clan and more than 30 Chi linking monks attacked for a long time. But the formation showed no sign of being broken. Tai Laosan's face was as dark as water. Not only did he fail to capture Wei's garrison this time, he also lost Tai Laosan. It's a bit unwilling to let him leave like this. But what if he doesn't leave? Why don't he stay here all the time? Contact the Hu family and tell me that I, the Tai family, are willing to pay half of the share and invite the Hu family to come over and break the formation together. Boss Tai quickly came up with a way, and said in a deep voice to a Chi Chain monk in the clan. Road. The Chain Chi monk in the clan bowed, and accepted the order and left. The other monk stopped attacking, and retreated to the side to rest. Li Shiming left the clone in the cave hall, and the main body came to the entrance of the residence. He took out the Shushan seal, and then inspired the Shushan seal to fly out through the defense layer of the formation. The advantage of the formation is that the outside cannot observe the inside. And attacks and spiritual thoughts cannot enter the formation unless the formation can be broken. Originally, the monks of the Wei family were unable to attack the outside of the formation because they lacked knowledge of the formation. Li Shiming had no trouble in this regard. He activated the Shushan seal, which was filled with spiritual power since the last time it was used. He still did not choose to attack the foundation building monks, as that would be a useless effort. He chose the target to be the Chang Chi monks sitting together in groups. The sudden appearance of the Shushan seal turned into a mountain peak and hit heavily on the group of Chang Chi monks who were resting. This group of resting chain energy monks never expected to be attacked. Not far away. There were two foundation building monks from the clan. They were almost in a completely relaxed state. When Shushan seal turned into a mountain peak, the power of binding restricted the chain energy monks covering the area. 
With a boom, twelve Taisek chain energy monks were hit by the mountain and turned into meat cakes. The Shushan seal that was smashed down quickly shrank and turned into a spiritual light and flew back into the formation. Everything happened so fast. The preparation period for the Shushan seal, which took the longest time, was carried out in the formation. The actual attack and the return of the Shushan seal took less than a breath of time. By the time Tai Lao Air and Tai Lao Air wanted to save the younger members of the clan, it was already a step too late. Back away! Tai Lao yelled angrily. The loss of 12 Tai Shi Chain Chi monks made his heart hurt like a knife. Although the cultivating family not only looks for seedlings with spiritual roots from their own bloodline, but also searches for children with spiritual roots from everywhere to bring them back to the family for training. But to truly cultivate mid to late stage chain energy monks with certain combat power, what is needed the resources and effort are enormous. The loss of this blow reduced Taisher's follow-up talents by one-third. He looked at the formation with hatred. But unfortunately, he couldn't see who the monk was who took action. But the hatred towards Wei in his heart reached its peak. Li Shiming smiled and put away the Shushan seal. The Shushan seal was indeed easy to use. And he got the best out of it both times he used it. Unfortunately, charging the Shushan seal is too troublesome. Without replenishing spiritual power, the power of the Shushan seal will be greatly reduced. You must know that in his attack just now, for late stage Chen Chi monks were killed by him. He chose the position with the most late stage Chen Chi monks to strike. He didn't use sword intention, nor did he use unconventional means. He relied entirely on the spiritual power of the ninth level of chain energy and the power of the Shushan seal. If he uses other super grade magical weapons, he can kill one or two people in the late stage of the chain energy in an instant, which is an excellent record. Another group of monks are here! The warning came from the split soul, who was watching on the top of the mountain. He shared the split soul's vision and saw a group of monks flying over. Li Shiming paid careful attention and found no one whose strength exceeded the middle stage of foundation establishment, let alone the golden elixir monks he was most worried about. Chapter 175 Foundation Building It has been three months since Li Shiming moved into Wei's residence. During this period, the two immortal cultivation families, Tai's and Hu's, have been using tricks frequently, but they still have not been able to break the formation of Wei's residence. Finally, in a rage, they set fire to the market outside. The two families left behind several Chen Chi monks and left. In fact, after the two families left the valley, Li Shiming saw through the soul splitting that the two families were ambushing outside the valley. Once the monks in Wei's residence came out to attack the Chen Chi monks who stayed behind, they will rush in immediately. Unfortunately, the plan they laid out had no effect at all. And Li Shiming was too lazy to pay attention to them, leaving a few Chi Chain monks to stay in the valley. He used high grade spiritual veins to practice every day. In three months, with the help of his clone, he raised his spiritual power to the peak of the ninth level of chain energy. However, it is not possible to break through the foundation building stage by reaching the peak of the ninth level of chain energy. You also need to regulate the spiritual power in your body. Of course, if he doesn't want to have any great development during the foundation building period, then he can choose to break through directly. I believe that with seven foundation building pills as a guarantee, there will be no big problem in breaking through the foundation building period. But how dare he do this? He needs to lay an extremely solid foundation before he can make a breakthrough. In the cave hall, Li Shiming closed his eyes tightly, and his consciousness was connected to Z15. As early as three months ago, after he moved in here, he formulated a new study for Z15. That is to use the resources at hand to arrange a formation that matches the five elements receiving Chiju to balance the spiritual power of the five elements. This is a method recorded in the five elements receiving Chiju that can increase the success rate of a certain breakthrough. And it can also purify the spiritual power during the conversion process. When Li Shiming was on Tiai Island, he was reminded by many monks, including the Golden Elixir Monk, that his physique was too strong and he had cultivated too much beyond his spiritual power, which had the opposite effect and reduced his chance of breakthrough. He himself has three spiritual roots and the chance of breaking through the three spiritual roots is not high. After going back and forth, there was a knot in his heart, so he desperately wanted to get more foundation establishment pills. Intentionally or unintentionally, he got seven foundation establishment pills, but this did not reduce his fear of failure to break through. He was not as good as the spiritual root of the sky, so he did not have to worry about breaking through and building a foundation. 
All Tianlingen has to worry about is the trouble of breaking through the golden elixir. And Foundation Establishment has such talent at their fingertips. Therefore, he attached great importance to the vague records in the Five Elements Receiving Qi Ju. He even made a judgment that this was a solution to give the five spiritual root cultivators a chance to break through the foundation. A solution that allows monks with five spiritual roots to break through. If he uses his three spiritual roots, wouldn't there be a greater chance of breakthrough? In three months, Z15 continued to modify the design of the formation diagram and finally came up with the current formation design diagram. This formation made full use of the formations at Wei's station and the high-grade spiritual veins and finally became a formation named Five Elements Receiving Qi Formation specially designed for the Five Elements Receiving Qi Technique. Li Shiming took out Tai Li's spirit wood, green crystal, fireworks crystal, soil stone, and wood-based iron. These five second grade five element formation materials were refined into formation items by him. On the floor of the hall, there are more spiritual power lines than before. And these spiritual power lines are gathered from all over the station. For these spiritual power lines, he not only used all the formation materials in his hands, but also demolished many buildings of the Wei family to collect all the materials. If there are still living monks in the Wei family, they will definitely not believe their eyes when they see the situation at the station. There are almost no complete buildings in Wei's residence now. Only the main part of the building is left. It's not that he doesn't want to demolish the main part of the building. But because the main part of the building is the node of the defensive formation and cannot be demolished. But all the other auxiliary formations were converted into formation materials by him. On the ground of the station. Simple formation lines are densely packed. Connecting the nodes throughout the station. This is without activating the Five elements receiving Qi array. Once the Five elements receiving Qi array is activated. These formation lines will automatically merge into the five elements receiving Qi array and will no longer be revealed. This was a huge job. And he and his clones worked together for many days before it was completed. Today has arrived at the most critical moment, which is the final part of the five elements receiving Qi formation. He carefully placed the second grade ironly spirit wood, green crystal, firework crystal, earth stone and wooden iron into the five spiritual power line gathering points in the cave hall. Open! He shouted softly, and the entire way station shook. Several Changchi monks in the valley also felt it, but they just stared at the entrance of the station for a while and found nothing else. So they paid no more attention. The few Changchi cultivators left behind in the valley are no longer the Changchi cultivators of the two immortal cultivating families, the Tai family and the Hu family. Instead, they are tasked to a few casual cultivators. Therefore, these Qi Chain monks only need to report when someone comes in or out of the station. And the rest has nothing to do with them. Li Shiming let go of his spiritual thoughts and sensed the operation of the surrounding formations. Since the Five Elements Nai Chi Array has only been simulated by Z15 and has not been actually applied, everything still needs to be tested in practice. The formation lines throughout Wei's residence shone with light and the power of the five elements in the formation was extracted and gathered along the formation lines into the cave hall. The five elements Qi Nai Array was activated, and five arrays spiritual objects made of second grade five element array materials emitted five kinds of light. The five colors of gold, green, blue, red, and yellow represent the attributes of five second grade five element array spiritual objects respectively. Li Shiming's body sits in the center of the five elements receiving Qi Array. The core of the five elements receiving Qi array is not the five five elements formation spiritual objects, but himself. The five rays of light passed through the main body and the spiritual energy vortex as the main body began to practice the five elements receiving Qi Ju. He felt that his spiritual energy vortex had become one with the five elements Nai Qi array, and he could almost feel that the entire station's formation was running with him under the rotation of his spiritual energy vortex. The power of the five elements in the resident formation was gathered onto the five second grade five element spiritual objects and was connected to his spiritual energy vortex through the five nodes of the five second grade five element spiritual objects. Originally, the spiritual power in the spiritual energy vortex in his body had only one attribute, and that was metallicity. But at this time, with the operation of the five elements Nai formation, part of the metallicity was transformed into the wood attribute. Part of the wood attribute spiritual power is converted into water attribute. When the water attribute spiritual power reaches a certain amount, part of it is converted into fire attribute, and then earth attribute. Finally, 
the transformation from earth to metal formed a closed loop, and the five elements were complete for the first time in his spiritual energy vortex. Li Shiming was surprised to find that every conversion of the spiritual power in his body brought pure spiritual power. And during this transformation process, a five elements chi receiving a ray is also formed in the body. He has nothing to worry about, because in his opinion, the five elements receiving chi formation in the spiritual energy vortex is just due to the combined effect of the five external five elements, formation spiritual objects, and ways resident formation. He believed that after stopping the five elements receiving chi array outside, the five elements receiving chi array in the aura vortex would disappear. A formation appeared in the body, which was a novel experience. He deliberately adjusted the position of the five elements chi receiving formation in his body to make it more consistent with the movement of spiritual energy in his body. After an unknown amount of time, Li Shiming felt extremely hungry in his belly. He gave a trace of consciousness to his clone, and the clone replenished his body with spiritual food and spiritual water, which finally alleviated his hunger. After doing this, he took back all his consciousness. At this critical moment, he did not dare to separate his consciousness. Time had no meaning at this moment, and he could not feel the loss of time. Anyway, as long as he feels hungry, he will use a little consciousness to let the clone replenish food for the main body and the clone. There is a lot of spiritual power in his body. The inner five elements receiving chi formation is combined with the outer five elements receiving chi formation to transform the spiritual power in his spiritual energy vortex. It is not fast, but it is continuing. Since he was sitting at the outlet of the high grade spiritual veins during the conversion process, Spiritual energy continued to enter his body and was converted into spiritual power from the five elements receiving chi ju. I don't know why, but with the cooperation of the five elements receiving chi technique and the five elements receiving chi formation, the five elements receiving chi technique never stopped. Many outside forces have long since given up on Wei's residence. This turtle sh l like residence has no monks coming out. They have rebuilt Fong City elsewhere which can be regarded as completing their original plan. The Wei family is no longer a threat. According to the judgment of various forces, the Wei family has at most one monk in the early stage of foundation building left. Such strength is no longer competitive for the various forces. And all the forces have even given up on the monks guarding the outside. Another three months have passed. This valley, which used to be quite lively, is now full of weeds and shrubs. Now, no mortal can find the entrance to the valley without using the formation. The area in the valley where the city was originally located is also covered by weeds that are taller than people. There are only a few dilapidated buildings that have been burned by fire, which bear witness to the past here. Li Shiming, who was stationed in the cave, was reaching the most important moment, and the spiritual power in his body had been condensed to the extreme. In the spiritual energy vortex, the five elements chi receiving a ray, composed of five light points of gold, green, blue, red, and yellow has long been without his control. As long as there is spiritual power entering the spiritual energy vortex, it will be automatically added to the conversion. In the end, the spiritual power in the body will be evenly divided into five attributes, and the five attributes will automatically become the most pure spiritual power. As for the spiritual energy vortex space that was compressed and vacated during the conversion process, it has been refilled by the spiritual energy absorbed and transformed by the continuous practice of the Five elements of Qi receiving technique. He once again reached the peak of the ninth level of Chain Qi. But this was also the peak of the ninth level of Chain Qi where his spiritual power was condensed to the extreme. His consciousness returned and he thought about whether to make a breakthrough. The first thing to break through the foundation building is to stop the five elements receiving Qi formation. He sent out a spiritual thought to stop the five elements receiving Qi formation. Outside, however, he was shocked to discover that at some point, the Five elements chi receiving a ray. Outside had long since disappeared. Only the sh. Ls of the five second grade five elements spiritual objects remained. But the pure five elements energy inside had completely disappeared. What's going on? Since the five elements receiving chi formation. Outside is stopped. Why is the five elements receiving chi formation? Inside his body still working? Z15 also did not give an answer. Obviously this result exceeds Z15's analysis. He found that although the outside five elements chi receiving formation had become an empty SH L 
The formation at Wei's station continued to gather the power of the five elements here. But it was just the five elements receiving qi receiving formation that was directly sent into his body. The five elements qi receiving technique is still operating, sucking spiritual energy into the body. But the selection of spiritual energy is no longer the same as before. But all attributes of spiritual energy are absorbed. No matter what kind of spiritual energy it is, as long as it enters the body and is converted into spiritual power of various attributes through the five elements receiving qi art and sent into the spiritual energy vortex, it will join the cycle of the five elements receiving qi formation and become pure five elements spiritual power. Li Shiming can no longer stop this process. It's not that he doesn't want to stop. Now it is the five elements receiving qi formation that drives the five elements receiving qi ju to operate. The spiritual energy vortex in his body had already reached its maximum endurance range. Every time he input spiritual power into the spiritual energy vortex, he thought that his spiritual energy vortex would be burst. Just when he was helpless, the spiritual energy vortex in his body exploded. And at the same time, every note of the entire Wei's station formation dimmed. If a monk attacks Wei's defensive formation at this time, the monks in the early stages of foundation building can break through it with a single blow. Over the past three months, the power of the five elements has been continuously extracted from this formation, which has long caused the various formation energies within this formation to lose balance. Li Shiming felt as if his whole body was soaked in warm water, and even his soul was enjoying this warm feeling. A strange energy emitted from the spiritual vortex, nourishing every part of his body and soul, making both his body and soul stronger. In his body, a lake of spiritual energy was formed where the spiritual energy vortex originally existed. In the center of the lake was a liquid spiritual energy that emitted light. Around the spiritual lake, five light spots still maintain the operation of the five elements qi receiving formation. Li Shiming woke up from his enjoyment. He felt the changes in his body, and an inexplicable color appeared on his face. That's it? He muttered to himself. He had prepared seven foundation establishment pills. He had always been extremely worried. He had thought about how difficult it would be to build a foundation many times. But he had never thought about it. He had not used even one foundation establishment pill. It's time to break through the foundation building period. Yes, he has become a foundation building monk. As evidenced by the liquid spiritual power in his body. At the same time, after his soul has been transformed, he can naturally send out spiritual thoughts. Of course, for someone like him, who mastered spiritual thoughts during the Qi Chain stage, the effect of his spiritual thoughts has been greatly improved. Being able to advance to foundation establishment without using foundation establishment pills is a qualification only possessed by Tianlingen. Even Tianlingen cannot guarantee that one can 100% avoid using foundation establishment pills during the process of foundation establishment. This is also the reason why Tianlingen monks still bring a foundation building pill with them when building the foundation. Chapter 176 Rebuild Is my situation normal? Li Shiming murmured to himself after sensing the state of the spiritual lake in his body. He was not at all happy or proud about being promoted to foundation establishment without using the foundation establishment pill. Was he the one who missed the foundation establishment pill? The biggest question at this time is whether the five elements qi receiving formation in the spirit lake will have any impact on the future practice of nine heavens thunder strike technique. The five elements receiving qi formation no longer drives the Five elements receiving qi technique. After all, the five elements receiving qi technique is only a qi chaining stage technique. After reaching the foundation building stage, the effect of this technique in absorbing spiritual energy cannot satisfy Ling Hu's needs. Need. Li Shiming's mind entered the spirit lake, and he finally sensed the situation of the five nodes of the five elements qi nai array. Those five nodes had the aura he was familiar with and they were the five elements of energy contained in the second grade Tealy spirit wood, green crystal, firework crystal, earth stone, and wood-based iron. Through the external, five elements receiving qi array, he actually transferred the five elements energy of the external, five elements receiving qi array, into his body to form the inner, five elements receiving qi array. Fortunately, C-15 is here, and all his cultivation experiences since seclusion have been recorded and the connections can be carefully studied later. The amount of liquid spiritual power in his spirit lake is a bit small. But when he uses the liquid spiritual power, he can be 100% sure that this is definitely not the spiritual power that can be achieved in the early stage of ordinary foundation building. 
He has dealt with a lot of early stage foundation building months and has also fought against early stage foundation building months. He still has his own ability to judge the spiritual power in the early stage foundation building stage. Although his liquid spiritual power is very small in quantity, its quality can reach the spiritual power in the early stage of foundation building and break through to the middle stage. Li Shiming couldn't help but think of the five elements receiving Chi Array. Again, could this be the effect of the five elements receiving Chi Array? The most critical thing at the moment is to try to practice the nine heavens thunder strike technique and see if the five elements receiving Chi formation will have an impact on the nine heavens thunder strike technique. If it does, his future practice will be a big one. Question. Having reached the foundation building stage, he has completely accepted the foundation building chapter of Nine Heavens Thunder Strike Technique. It is no longer like seeing flowers in the fog like before and can only see part of the content. Nine Heavens Thunder Strike Technique cultivates thunder spirit power. According to the situation of one's own spiritual power, one can choose a certain attribute of thunder spirit power to practice or choose several attributes of thunder spirit power to practice. When Li Shiming saw this, he couldn't help but feel moved in his heart. Now that he has all five elements of spiritual power, can he try to cultivate the five elements of thunder power at the same time? Before that, all he needed to do was absorb spiritual energy into his body. The Nine Heavens Thunder Strike Technique is worthy of being a top-notch skill. The foundation for practicing the Nine Heavens Thunder Strike Technique is the foundation building period. Even with his physique, he felt the tingling sensation in the meridians in his body the first time he ran the Nine Heavens Thunder Strike Technique. How did he know that any top-level technique requires qualifications and cannot be practiced casually like him? The biggest requirement of the Nine Heavens Thunder Strike Technique is physical fitness. The practice of Nine Heavens Thunder Strike Technique places extremely high demands on the body. A weaker body cannot withstand its sudden absorption and operation of spiritual energy. That is to say, Li Shiming's physique is extremely abnormal. So he can meet the training requirements of Nine Heavens Thunder Strike Technique. In fact, if a normal foundation building monk wants to choose the Nine Heavens Thunder Strike Technique to practice, he must at least become a foundation building monk and practice a body training technique to a great level before he can start trying to practice the Nine Heavens Thunder Strike Technique. The body of a foundation building monk has already been transformed during the foundation building process and he still needs to complete the body training technique. This shows how high the requirements of the Nine Heavens Thunder Strike Technique are. The requirements of the Nine Heavens Thunder Strike Technique are high. But the effect is good. When the meridians in the body sting, a large amount of metallic spiritual energy pours into his body and is transformed into liquid metallic thunder spirit during the extremely fast operation of the Nine Heavens Thunder Strike Technique. Force. As soon as the metallic liquid thunder spirit power entered the spirit lake, it was first circulated by the five elements receiving chi formation, forming the purest five elements thunder spirit force that could be achieved in the early stage of foundation building. Only then did Li Shiming feel relieved. It seemed that the five elements receiving chi formation could also transform the power of thunder, and it did not change the characteristics of the power of thunder, but only transformed the power of the five elements. Although the amount of the five elements spiritual thunder power cultivated at one time is relatively small. In terms of quality, it has reached the ultimate level of the initial stage of foundation building. Li Shiming stretched out a finger. And on his finger, a trace of metallic thunder spirit energy was beating. Then the metallic thunder spirit force was taken back from the spirit lake and replaced with wood attribute thunder spirit force. After that, the five elements of thunder spirit force were in his hands. Appear on the fingers in turn according to the records of Nine Heavens Thunder Strike Technique and his own feelings. Metallic Thunder Spirit Power is the most aggressive, especially against metal spiritual objects. The wood attribute Thunder Spirit Power is somewhat special. It has the best attack effect on cold energy, and it is also one of the few Thunder Spirit Powers that can produce healing effects. The attack and treatment can be changed at will. The water attribute Thunder Spirit Power is the most vicious and can be hidden in the outside world for a long time waiting for an instant burst. The fire attribute thunder spirit power is the most explosive, with splash and explosion effects when attacking. The earth attribute thunder spirit power is the strongest, and after a long period of accumulation, it can explode into a powerful blow. The specific use of the five element thunder spirit power also needs to be used according to the combat environment. Usually, 
The Thunder Magic Cultivator can only practice one or two of them at most. That can already cope with many battles. His fellow practitioners of the Five Element Thunder Spirit Power should be enough to cope with it. All environments. At this time, Z15 gave an analysis report, which was an analysis report based on the study of his practice using the Five Elements Naichi Formation. Based on all the knowledge he has gained so far about cultivating immortals, including the classics and ways library that he obtained this time, he came up with a current report. The Five Elements Chi Receiving Array will be of great help to him during the foundation building period, allowing his spiritual power during the foundation building period to have the attributes of the five elements, while keeping his spiritual power in the purest state in the same realm. These benefits allow him to directly break through the realm when the spiritual power in his body has accumulated enough, without having to spend a lot of time compressing and purifying the spiritual power like other monks. But the disadvantages also exist. That is, the current five elements Naichi formation because the energy of the five elements formation inside is of the second grade, can only support its use during the foundation building period. According to Z15's analysis, if he wants to be promoted to Gene Dan, in addition to having up to standard spiritual power and sufficient resources to make a breakthrough, he also needs a set of third grade five element formation materials. When Li Shiming saw this, his head felt a little big. He asked for the second grade five element formation materials from Tiahai sect. At that time, Master Yi was almost mad at him. If he didn't want him to participate in the most dangerous life and death battle, he would never have been able to get the second grade five element formation materials. The second grade five element formation materials were so troublesome. And he didn't even dare to ask for the third grade five element formation materials. Third grade? That is the grade that only gene and cultivators can access. If he had an elder at the golden elixir stage, this might still be possible. Wait! I think I really have it! But it's a pity that Elder Ean is afraid that he won't be able to get the third grade and five element formation materials. Li Shiming thought of something, then shook his head helplessly and muttered to himself. It seems that it is better to join a large sect as soon as possible, and then use the identity of a senior formation master to have access to formation materials. By then, whether he steals or cheats, he will have to obtain a set of third grade and five element formation materials, which is related to his path to the golden elixir. No! Will we still need 4th grade and 5 element formation materials in the future? Li Shiming then thought of another important thing. And his face became even more ugly. He felt like he had dug a huge pit. And he foolishly jumped into it. Let's talk about it then. He gave up thinking and waited until the realm was reached before talking about everything. Li Shiming took out the 9 flying sword spiritual weapons. Now that he has become a foundation building monk, he can finally use the spiritual weapons. Although there is little spiritual power in the body it is still possible to refine spiritual weapons. Under normal circumstances, a monk who has just become a foundation builder will give priority to refining a defensive spiritual weapon if conditions permit. Li Shiming is a senior formation master and has long been coveted for the nine-handled flying sword spiritual weapon. This is not only a flying sword spiritual weapon, but also has the effect of the formation flag. He no longer needs to use the finishing touch technique to refine the spiritual weapon but uses the refining method in the Nine Heavens Thunder Strike Technique. Nine Heavens Thunder Strike Technique is not only for practicing Thunder Spirit Power, but also includes a variety of application methods of Thunder Spirit Power, such as attack, control, treatment, refining, etc. And as the level of application increases, more application methods will appear. He mobilized the spiritual power of the Golden Thunder and pointed his finger on the spirit sword marked with Zhongdong. The golden electric light covered the spirit sword body. And soon, he had a slight connection with the spirit sword. The reason why I chose Zhongdong sword is because Zhongdong sword is the main sword among the nine flying swords. Of course, this was his judgment. But after refining the Zhongdong sword, not only did he have a spiritual connection with the Zhongdong sword, but he also had a spiritual connection with the other eight flying swords. This is the advantage of a complete set of spiritual weapons. It does not require refining each spiritual weapon. Instead, you can control the entire set of spiritual weapons by refining the main spiritual weapon. Nine Palace Sword Formation is the name of this set of nine flying swords. Even if the refining effect of Nine Heavens Thunder Strike Technique is extremely strong, it still needs many times of refining to achieve 100% refining. However, this time the refining was only one-tenth, and nine more refinings would reach 100% chain transformation. After reaching one-tenth of the refinement, 
Li Shiming can use the Zhonggong sword as a flying sword. Although the controllability and power are not at their maximum, practice is enough. Of course, with his current spiritual power, it is still very difficult to fully control the nine flying swords. This requires him to accumulate more spiritual power to be able to do it. However, his spiritual thoughts met the requirements. Driven by the door control technique, the Shonggong sword was flying in the cave. He's in the foundation building stage. And his door controlling technique can't keep up. And he doesn't have the door controlling technique for the foundation building stage. It seems that he needs to find a new set of sword control techniques. The sword intention, which had not made much progress before, actually increased by nearly twice when wielding the sword. It is estimated that this is due to the realm. After all, the sword intention is too high end, and it is still far from enough to control it in the Chain Chi stage. According to his estimate, once the Nine Palaces sword formation is completely refined, with the current sword intention, the spiritual mark in the spiritual weapon of the monk in the early stage of foundation building can definitely be broken up within five swords. More importantly, he felt that the sword intention he had mastered should be able to be used by his clone. He thought to himself, half of his consciousness returned to the clone. In an instant, he felt weak, as if his whole body was weak. Both the body and the soul bearing consciousness have an incomprehensible feeling of weakness. This contrast is particularly obvious. The main body is already in the foundation building stage. And no matter how strong the clone's physique is and has spiritual thoughts, the body refining and strengthened spiritual thoughts are the same or even stronger than those in the foundation building stage of the main body. Making him feel that the clone's weak, Li Shiming's consciousness got used to it for a while. And then, he controlled the clone to play the golden fencing sword. The golden fencing sword flew out. And as he put his understanding of the sword intention into the sword, the sword light contained a trace of sword intention. Although it was not as strong as the original body, I thought it would come after a period of practice after the foundation building period. The sword will be developed. Fellow Taoist, what happens next is up to you. The main body stood up took out seven foundation building pills, held them in his hand, and said, Fellow Taoist, you shouldn't need so much. The clone replied with a smile, taking the seven foundation establishment pills. Li Shiming had no intention of letting his clone use the five elements Qi receiving formation. On the one hand, he could not find a set of second grade five elements formation materials in Beishu in a short time. If he could have a high grade spiritual vein here, he had to grab it. On the other hand, he didn't know if the five elements she receiving formation in the main body's spiritual lake was a big pit. It would be enough if only one pit was trapped. There was no need to trap the clones together. It would be better for the clone to follow the most normal promotion method and advance to the foundation building stage. The clone sat on the high grade spiritual energy outlet in the hall and began to operate the five elements she receiving technique, absorbing the spiritual energy into the body and then forcibly filling it into the spiritual energy vortex. The clone reached the peak of chain energy a long time ago. If it were not to help the main body, it would have broken through the foundation building stage long ago. There is probably no person with Tian Lingen who would delay promotion for so long after reaching the limit of spiritual power. Spiritual thoughts and physical training. A stream of spiritual power was thrown into the spiritual energy vortex. The clone spiritual energy vortex had reached its limit before. The addition of this spiritual energy immediately triggered a chain reaction. The spiritual energy vortex suddenly shook, and without too much reaction, the spiritual energy vortex shrank into a spiritual lake. In the process of the spiritual energy vortex turning into a spiritual lake, a stream of energy flows to all parts of the clone's body. The physique and soul are enhanced, and are completely transformed into the body and soul of the foundation building stage. Li Shiming, who was standing aside and watching, looked at the time. According to the accurate time given by Z15, the clone successfully broke through in 31 seconds. It may be that the suppression was too severe, and the clone's aura vortex injected a burst of spiritual power and was promoted. No foundation building pills were used, and there was no long wait. Li Shiming couldn't help but shook his head. This was the gap in spiritual root talent. Even though the main body didn't use the foundation establishment pill, it took three months for the main body to break through and it still left troubles that I don't know whether it was a disaster or a blessing. Chapter 177 Cultivation After the Avatar was promoted to Foundation Establishment, Li Shiming had a feeling that his consciousness left in the Avatar had undergone some strange changes due to the strengthening of his soul 
during the foundation establishment period. That consciousness seems to be completely separated from the main body. But there is a slight connection, allowing the main body and the clone to influence each other at any time. The main body can control the clone's action through this connection. The main body cannot completely take back that consciousness. It is like this consciousness is solidified in the soul of the clone and becomes the spiritual intelligence of the clone. Li Shiming was slightly dazed. He didn't understand whether this situation was normal. His knowledge of cultivating immortals was seriously lacking. Of course, even if he joins a large sect, it will be difficult for him to gain access to high-end immortal cultivation knowledge such as clones. The clones are not accessible to chain energy monks. And they also allow the clones to break through and become foundation-building monks like normal monks. In addition, the dual-purpose method used by Li Shiming was not a normal immortal cultivation method, but a martial arts method. After he improved the two-part consciousness produced by fighting left and right, his long-term separation consciousness made multitasking a habitual behavior. This time the soul of foundation establishment was strengthened, causing the separated consciousness to be unable to be taken back again, and it became a real multitasking. Li Shiming could only let Z15 record it first and study it later. With his current ability, he could not explain everything that happened. Fellow Taoist, it seems that we will really become two people in the future, the main body said helplessly to the clone. Fellow Taoist, we are two people, but I am also you, and you are also me, the clone said with a smile. Although there was an accident, the impact on him was minimal. The clone was promoted to the foundation building stage, and his body instantly transformed into a corpse refining form. The main body has also set up the Netherworld Ghost World Formation, preparing to let the clone in the corpse refining form enter to break through to the iron corpse. Just when the clone was transformed into the corpse refining state, and before entering the ghost realm environment, its body began to change. The copper skin began to turn black. Sharp fangs grew in its mouth, and its eyes turned red. It should be said that when the clone is not transformed into the corpse refining state, he is definitely a handsome man like no other in the world. But after transforming into the corpse refining state, especially after being promoted to the iron corpse, he is no longer handsome at all. The black skin of the avatar makes bursts of golden drum sounds and every sound will improve the muscles and bones in the body. Li Shiming used his spiritual thoughts to support the clone and send it into the ghost environment. Although the clone has successfully promoted to the Iron Corp state, with sufficient cold energy, it is still of great benefit to strengthen the Iron Corp state. As soon as the clone in the Iron Corp state entered the Netherworld Ghost Realm Formation, the cold power in the formation gathered towards him. The sound of the golden drum became even denser, and Li Shiming felt horrified just by hearing the sound. He hadn't even started practicing the foundation building chapter of the secret book of sword demons yet and the iron corpse was already so powerful after practicing the secret code of sword demon the clone's iron corpse state may be somewhat stronger than the defensive effect of the two corpse refining techniques of the main body li shiming summoned the bronze corpse with three heads and six arms and let it enter the netherworld ghost realm formation the skin of the bronze corpse with three heads and six arms began to vibrate in the ghost environment. Every time it vibrated, it made a puffing sound, and its skin became darker and darker. Li Shiming saw that the three-headed, six-armed bronze corpse and its clone were in normal condition, but he didn't know how long it would take to completely transform into an iron corpse. So he stopped watching, looking at the time. It was almost early morning, and he flashed out of the cave. He first saw the situation at Wei Station. The various spiritual objects in the formation seem to have lost their spirituality after tens of millions of years. This should be the result of him forcibly using the Five Elements Chi Nai Formation to extract Wei's resident formation. He can't help but think that before he can break through the golden elixir in the future, he must set up a formation that is a level stronger than this one. Maybe then sometimes it will be like here, and the spirit of the extracted formation will be greatly lost. This is another huge expense. You must know that there are a lot of second-level formation materials used to set up this formation. He doesn't even know if his spiritual stones are enough to set up a formation that is a higher level. It seems that I have to find a way to earn spiritual stones again. Otherwise, I will really be stuck in the foundation building period. He knew that the main body could only live 200 years if he could not break through the golden elixir. And he did not want to bet on his luck as to whether the clone could survive. Thinking in his mind, he rose into the air left the formation and reached the top of the mountain. He sat cross-legged on the top of the mountain, facing the east, running. Purple Chi from the east. 
waiting for the first ray of purple chi from the east to appear. He is now in the foundation building stage, and at least has a certain ability to protect himself in this area. He no longer wants to miss any opportunity to absorb purple energy. As the sun rose, he once again caught a trace of purple energy. Even in the foundation building stage, this trace of purple energy still made him feel a slight improvement in all aspects. Develop a new research direction. How to capture more purple energy. Li Shiming entered into Z15 after digesting the purple energy. Later, he began to practice the 100 thoughts, 1000 returns technique and tried to divide the spiritual thoughts into more parts, which was of great help to him in controlling the Nine Palaces sword formation. As for the 1000 hammers to forge the divine technique, he tried to practice it. But unfortunately, his spiritual thoughts cannot meet the training standards at present. Throughout the day, he continued to perfect the various methods of the Foundation Establishment Stage and learn the knowledge of the Foundation Establishment Stage. The Foundation of the Chi Chain Stage does not represent the strength of the Foundation Establishment Stage. He just has a stronger physique and spiritual mind than ordinary Foundation Establishment Stage monks. In terms of spiritual power quality, it can be compared with the Veteran Foundation Establishment Stage monks. But in terms of total spiritual power, he is simply incomparable in terms of combat skills. The fighting method of sword control technique is outdated. If he wants to have stronger sword handling ability, he must master the flying sword skills in the foundation building stage. At the same time, he also needed to start practicing the foundation building chapter of the diamond body protection magic technique and the sword demon secret code. Fortunately, both the draw body protection magic technique and the sword demon secret code were complete so he didn't need to think about practicing them. Physical issues. The various application methods in Nine Heavens Thunder Strike Technique also require learning and practice. After summarizing everything, he spent a tense day going through all the foundation building knowledge that needed to be learned and practiced. He found that he did not relax during the foundation building period, but became even busier. He didn't rest at night. He just sat at the outlet of the high-grade spiritual energy and practiced the Nine Heavens Thunder Strike Technique. There is no time limit for the practice after the foundation period. As long as you feel that your body can bear it, you can continue to practice. But majoring in martial arts is only part of his strength. The place he is in is not safe. He needs to master the combat ability in the foundation building stage as soon as possible. The next morning, he was sitting cross-legged in the same position on the top of the mountain. But this time, he was different from yesterday morning in that there was a concave mirror two people high next to him. The position of the concave mirror was strictly calculated by Z-15. When the first ray of sunlight appeared from below the horizon, Li Shiming's body actively absorbed a ray of purple energy shining on him, and the concave mirror next to him reflected the first ray of sunlight onto his body. The concave mirror is not an ordinary concave mirror, but a special mirror made by Li Shiming based on the Fresnel lens principle. The Fresnel lens focuses the reflected sunlight on Li Shiming's body allowing him to fully receive the sunlight reflected from the two tall concave mirrors. Li Shiming's face was slightly happy. He felt that his body absorbed a trace of purple energy in the reflected sunlight. This shows that his idea is correct. The next step is to design a large concave mirror matrix to collect more purple energy for him. Of course, this idea is still in the design stage. To actually make it, on the one hand, it requires a lot of materials. And on the other hand, it needs a suitable place where he can have complete control and not be disturbed. After another 10 days, Li Shiming's intense and rich cultivation life continued, and the clone and the three-headed and six-armed corpse refining finally completed their promotion. The clone's iron corpse state stands side by side with the three-headed and six-armed iron corpse. It has almost the same fangs and red eyes. The three-headed and six-armed iron armor is three times that of the clone. For a long time after that, the three-headed, Six-armed iron corpse, and the iron corpse state of its clones had to frequently enter the netherworld ghost world formation to strengthen it. Although it is already in the iron corpse state, the iron corpse state is also divided into three stages after junior high school. Currently, the clone and the three-headed and six-armed iron corpse are in the primary iron corpse state. The clone switched back to the human state. He is not only practicing the corpse refining state. The most important thing is to master the combat ability and practice the main skills. Fellow Taoist, I should give you a name. Just the Yuan Ba. How about that? The main body asked with a smile. The clone has a fixed consciousness. And after it no longer regains consciousness like before, 
it becomes an unconscious puppet-like existence. The clone at this time is no different from the real foundation-building monk except for the strange state of having an iron corpse. Li Yuanba has met Tao's friend. The clone smiled and bowed. The two of them smiled at each other. There was no prosperous Tang dynasty in this world. So they were probably the only ones in the world who knew the meaning of this name. After the three-headed and six-armed iron corpse was promoted, Li Shiming also found that its sense of autonomy had increased a lot and it could understand his orders more clearly. With three heads and six arms. Why not call you Neza? Li Shiming thought for a while and said. He handed over the metallic flying sword spiritual weapon to Li Yuanba as a reward for the competition with the Mingxin sect of Northern Shu and also selected an extremely high-quality spiritual weapon defensive shield from the trophies as Li Yuanba's backup magic weapon. The reason why it is said to be a backup magic weapon is because what Li Yuanba is planning to practice is the 10 Direction Sword Cultivation Technique. The sword cultivator only has the only magic weapon. The sword. If he is distracted by other magic weapons, it is better to use all his energy to strengthen his sword. Being number one in sword cultivating skills was not something just announced. Although Li Shiming didn't want to change anything, he only hoped that Li Yuanba would still have some defensive capabilities before he truly became a sword cultivator. As for Neza, he chose a set of spiritual weapon full body armor. The biggest advantage of this spiritual weapon full body armor called Glowing Light Dazzling Armor is that it can be transformed into any armor shape as long as the size does not exceed the original one, as long as the materials are limited. So even though Neza has three heads and six arms, the Dazzling Flowing Light Armor fits the whole body. In order to protect the six arms and three heads, the hem of the Dazzling Flowing Light Armor is obviously shorter. Li Yuanba placed the golden jade slip containing the 10 Direction Sword Cultivation Technique between his eyebrows, just as the main body viewed the 9 Heavens Thunder Strike Technique. After the foundation building period, he saw all the contents of the 10 Direction Sword Cultivation Technique Foundation Building Chapter. Li Shiming also sat aside and recorded the foundation building chapter of 10 Direction Sword Cultivation Technique obtained from Li Yuanba in Z15. It seems I don't need to look for any more sword control techniques. Li Shiming couldn't help but laugh after looking at the content of the foundation building chapter of 10 Direction Sword Cultivation Technique. Although he cannot practice the 10 Direction Sword Cultivation Technique, he can still use the sword control skills in the foundation establishment chapter. In addition, Li Yuanba practiced the 10 Direction Sword Cultivation Technique. In addition to the special spiritual power generated by the 10 Direction Sword Cultivation Technique, Li Shiming was able to use all other methods as a top-level skill. The training conditions of 10 Direction Sword Cultivation Technique are equally demanding. You must master the sword intention to learn this skill. Li Shiming didn't understand how he could master the sword's intention during the foundation building period. If he hadn't obtained the sword bone, he might have never heard of the sword's intention until now, let alone learned it. His vision was still limited. He was on Tiai Island, and the seven sects had no sword cultivation inheritance at all. So there was no way to cultivate sword intent. But within a real large sect, the inheritance of sword cultivators involves the accumulation of material and knowledge. Just like sword intention, you can obtain sword intention by observing the sword marks left by your predecessors or practicing some low-level sword cultivation techniques. All of these require the sex foundation and make sword cultivation almost monopolized by large sects. Even if there are people with amazing talents among the casual cultivators who have developed sword intent. But without the inheritance of sword cultivators, they are nothing more than a flash in the pan. After Li Shiming read through the foundation building chapter of 10 Direction Sword Cultivation Technique, he understood that he was right not to let Li Yuanba use the 5 Elements Qi Nai Formation to break through, to practice the 10 Direction Sword Cultivation Technique. In addition to sword skills, you must have golden spiritual roots and golden spiritual power. Li Yuanba began to practice the 10 Direction Sword Cultivation Technique. The spiritual energy entered the physical body, wandered in specific meridians, and was affected by the sword's intention, and finally entered the spiritual lake. The metallic spiritual power in the spiritual lake is more terrifyingly sharp than normal metallic spiritual power, and has a hint of sword intent. It was like there were countless spiritual swords hidden in the spiritual lake. The sharpness penetrated through the spiritual lake and reached all parts of his body, affecting his body. Li Yuanba finished his round of training and slowly opened his eyes, with sword lights flashing in his eyes. Although it was his first time to practice the 
10 Direction Sword Cultivation Technique He already had the temperament of a sword cultivator. And when people saw him, they would feel like he was a sword. The 10 Direction Sword Cultivation Technique also has a unique method of refining spiritual weapons. The metallic spiritual power carrying the sword's intention enters the interior of the metallic flying sword spiritual weapon and aggressively and continuously engraves the mark of the sword's intention on the spiritual weapon. Wind Golden Light Sword is the name of this spiritual weapon. In terms of its quality, at least during the foundation building period, there is no need to consider changing the sword. Of course, the 10 Direction Sword Cultivation Technique will not allow sword cultivators to change swords at will. Every time they change swords, they need to go into seclusion for a long time and sacrifice the sword again. Chapter 178 Disaster Li Shiming stayed at Wei's residence for another 20 days. He ended the retreat only after the spiritual energy in his body was enough to activate the complete Nine Palaces sword formation. During this period, he made a decision that set the future path for Li Yuanba. Yes, he needs to be separated from Li Yuanba. He has experimented, no matter how far away the body is from Li Yuanba. It will not affect the connection between the two souls. They can exchange ideas anytime and anywhere. This also put an end to the incident where the clones turned back to bite their masters, as he had seen in some classics. Really, he and Li Yuanba are a whole. Even if they are separated, they are still the same. Li Yuanba had no background, and he did not prepare to forge one for Li Yuanba. Perhaps for small forces or small sects, forging a background would be of some use. But for large sects, they simply cannot withstand investigation. So he decided to use the Sun Luo order to let Li Yuanba join the Sun Luo sect. Perhaps for a monk like Li Yuanba who had no family background, this path was the only chance to join a large sect. In addition, although Sun Luo sect is a demon sect, it is still a large sect and is planning to unify the vast area of Shawandishan. Li Yuanba has his own major skills and does not need to practice the magic skills. Li Shiming mainly focuses on the resources of Sun Luo sect. Joining Sun Luo sect will give him more ways to obtain resources. There is no way around this. And the main body must now consider the materials for the third grade and five element formations. Besides, if Li Yuanba wants to improve quickly, he will need a lot of resources. You can't rely entirely on Li Shiming to obtain it by himself, as that will affect the speed of the body's cultivation. The body's cultivation is already slow, so there really can't be any delay. To make such a decision, he needs to separate the family. He took out a 50 cubic storage bag and the storage bracelet that originally belonged to Li Yuanba and gave it to Li Yuanba. The storage bag was just for show, and the storage bracelet was a bit eye-catching, but the internal space was large enough so that it would not be used secretly. Has a problem. In addition, he divided 1 million spirit stones and gave all the remaining 36 formation flags to Li Yuanba. It's not that he is stingy, but these 36 formation flags are his last remaining goods. The formation flags originally arranged in Wei's station have all lost their spirituality. These 36 formation flags were made recently. From, due to the shortage of formation materials, he did not have any more formation materials to make formation flags. As for Li Yuanba not being a formation master, what does it matter? As long as there is a soul connection, Li Yuanba can use Li Shiming's advanced formation master ability to use formation flags to arrange formations at any time. Li Shiming also gave the jade flying boat to Li Yuanba. He had no shortage of flying boats. The enemies who fought against him on Tianhai Island were either sect elites or monks related to the Golden Elixir. So from time to time, the loot included you will find the flying boat. When preparing to leave, he used the few remaining formation materials to seal the cave. Especially the high-grade spiritual veins were completely sealed by him. Regardless of whether Wei's residence will be occupied by others. Without spiritual veins, it can no longer be a monk's residence. For such a long time, the Wei family's foundation building monks have not returned and they have all died. There is a high possibility that the high-grade spiritual veins here will not be discovered. This is his escape route, and it will become his hiding place if he encounters serious life or death troubles. Li Shiming and Li Yuanba left Wei's residence through the secret passage and came out of the river bottom outside the valley. He took out a flying boat, and the two of them sat on the deck. During the foundation building stage, they no longer had to be as cautious as mice. From the classics in Wei's library, he also learned some information about Shawandishan. To say that the number of monks in Beishu is definitely countless times more than that of Tianhai Island. Especially the number of monks in the foundation building period is much higher. 
The main reason is the abundance of resources for cultivating immortals. Except for the seven major sects on Tiai Island. It is difficult for the remaining monks to obtain enough resources. Strategic elixirs such as the Foundation Establishment Pill are controlled by the seven major sects. But Beishu is different. Due to the rich resources for cultivating immortals, anyone with spiritual roots has the opportunity to cultivate immortals. Even if you have five spiritual roots, as long as you are willing to pay, you can be cultivated by small forces, let alone four spiritual roots. With the supply of a large amount of resources and the help of more complete immortal cultivation techniques, the five spiritual roots can continuously improve their realm, especially the foundation establishment pill. There are many ways to obtain the Foundation Establishment Pill in Northern Shu. You can get Foundation Building Pills by purchasing them directly with Spirit Stones, participating in some competitions with rewards, or joining a certain force. Foundation Building Pills are not a monopoly in Northern Shu. Many forces have the ability to produce Foundation Building Pills on their own, and even use Foundation Building Pills to make profits. The seven Foundation Building Pills in Li Shiming's hands had lost most of their value when they arrived in Bei Shu. But he has no use now. The more foundation establishment pills are produced, the more foundation establishment monks are naturally produced. This is the situation in the world of cultivating immortals at the bottom. And Jin and monks are still rare. Of course, this scarcity is relative to the continent of Beishu. In terms of quantity, it is definitely incomparable to Tianhai Island. Just look at the Mingxin sect in the Shirwan Mountains of Beishu. There are nearly 20 golden elixirs in one sect, plus a fake infant monk. They could almost crush the seven major sects in Tianhai Island. The flying boat flew at low altitude for several hours. And Li Shiming saw many battles along the way. There are battles between Qi Chain monks. Battles between Foundation Establishment monks. And even battles involving dozens of monks. What a mess! Li Shiming shook his head and sighed. As long as it has nothing to do with us! Li Yuanba also shook his head and said. They didn't hide the aura of the Foundation Establishment stage on their bodies. So no unsighted monks took the initiative to find them. After Li Yuanba finished speaking, he closed his eyes again and began to comprehend the meaning of the sword. Li Shiming also discovered that through the sword intention he sensed from the sword bones. He passed it on to Li Yuanba. And then Li Yuanba used the 10 direction sword cultivation technique to reorganize it. And the sword intention obtained was more in line with their own. 10 direction sword cultivation technique is, after all, the main technique of sword cultivation. And its core is sword intention. The sword intention he sensed from Jian Fan was just the sword intent perceived by Jin and sword cultivator Yin Xingyi. The most he could do was simulate it through the sword intent of the sword bone. But after Li Yuanba's new understanding, his sword intention became Li Yuanba's own sword intention. And he and Li Yuanba are one. And he could also use the sword intention that Li Yuanba sensed. Although this process was a bit complicated, he clearly felt that the power of the sword had increased. We're in trouble. There was a chase in front of the flying boat, with a female cultivator in front and five monks chasing behind. The female cultivator is in the foundation establishment stage and uses sword escape, which is very fast. But the five cultivators following her are also in the foundation establishment stage. The flying boat they are riding is somewhat special, and the speed can keep up with the speed of sword escape. Li Shiming didn't hesitate at all. He immediately turned the flying boat in a direction to get away. He had no interest in getting involved in this kind of trouble. But he didn't want to find trouble. But trouble found him. After the female cultivator discovered Li Shiming and Li Yuanba, she immediately fled this way. Two fellow Taoists, this treasure is given to you. The female cultivator was very fast and surpassed Li Shiming's flying boat. When she came closer, she raised her hand and a box flew up. And she was heard saying loudly. Li Shiming frowned. Why didn't he understand that this female cultivator wanted to divert trouble to the east? It was even hard to say whether there was a treasure in the box. But he just wanted him to block the pursuers behind, giving the female cultivator a chance to escape. He waved his hand and sent out a burst of spiritual power, blocking the box back. What you are waiting for has nothing to do with us. If you get closer, don't blame me for being ruthless. Li Shiming sternly scolded. His spiritual power rose. His eyes faintly flashed with thunder and his aura exuded terrifying pressure. Although he has just been promoted to the foundation building stage, don't forget that his spiritual power is extremely condensing, regardless of the total amount of spiritual power. It is qualitatively equivalent to a peak monk in the early stage of foundation building who has been practicing for many years. The foundation building period is not the Qi Chain period. 
it is so easy to improve one's realm. Most of the monks who can achieve the golden elixir spend most of their lives in the foundation building stage. And the practice in the foundation building stage is extremely slow. Without decades of accumulation and enough luck, it is difficult to advance even a small level. This makes the monks in the early stage of foundation building have a big gap in strength. It seems that fellow Taoist E has found a helper. During this delay, the flying boat that was chasing behind him had already arrived. And a loud voice came. Li Shiming looked at the flying boat. The person speaking was a young man with an eagle nose and fine features. He was in the early stages of foundation building. But judging from his speaking posture and standing position, he should be the leader among the five foundation building monks. What attracted his most attention was the old monk standing behind the young man. He was a monk in the middle stage of foundation building and the strongest among the five monks. Fellow Taoist, your affairs have nothing to do with me. We have something to do. So I won't accompany you, Li Shiming said, cupping his fists. The things have been given to you, but you can't keep your word, the female cultivator said sharply. Her eyes did not look at Li Shiming, but kept looking at Li Yuanba who did not speak. Li Yuanba really attracted the attention of the monks. His face was so perfect that it made men jealous and women crazy. It had affected the minds of the monks many times in battles. When Li Shiming saw that the female cultivator still wanted to drag him into trouble, and saw the murderous intent in the young man's eyes, he couldn't help but sigh inwardly that it was troublesome. Fellow Taoist, it seems we are going to have a battle. Li Shiming turned to Li Yuanba and said helplessly. Li Yuanba's body was instantly filled with sword intent and the golden light sword flashed out, turning into a sword light and hitting the female cultivator directly. A shield appeared in front of the female cultivator. What surprised Li Shiming was that the shield was a spiritual weapon. It's not that Li Shiming has never seen the world, but it's extremely rare for the foundation-building monks of Northern Shu that he has met before to use spiritual weapons. Only the old monk of the Wei family had two spiritual weapons in his hands, and the other several foundation-building monks all use super-grade magical weapons. However, it is not easy for a spiritual shield to block the attacks of sword cultivators of the same level. Especially under Li Yuanba's surprise attack. You are a sword cultivator. The female cultivator's expression changed, and she explained. The golden light sword of the wind pierced the female cultivator's spiritual weapon shield. And she immediately felt that her control over the spiritual weapon shield was declining. If it happened a few more times, she would completely lose control over the spiritual weapon shield. Li Shiming also moved his hand and the nine flying swords of the nine palace sword formation flew out, centering on himself, surrounding the female cultivator and the five foundation building cultivators. Nine flying swords were suspended in the air, and the electric light flickered between the flying swords, connecting the nine flying swords together to form a formation. This is the thunder formation that he researched based on Jinfeng's grand formation nodes, and is arranged in a nine gong style. The biggest function of the thunder array is to trigger the power of thunder and lightning. As the nine flying swords formed the thunder array, there were more and more thunder and lightning in the array. We are monks from Bowza Mountain. Fellow Taoist, you'd better retreat now. Otherwise you will bear the consequences. At this time, the old man in the middle stage of foundation building behind the young man said. He looked solemnly at the formation surrounding him. The thunderous aura on Li Shiming's body and Li Yuanba's status as a swordsman. Lei Xiao among the legal cultivators was extremely rare in terms of inheritance alone and he was also a formation mage. The sword cultivator was also known as a combat madman, and he did not want to fight such an enemy. I had no intention of participating, but it's too late now. Li Shiming glanced at the young man's murderous eyes and replied. At a glance, the young man opposite him knew that he was the kind of monk who had a backer and had been sought after for a long time. He had long developed an arrogant character. In addition, Li Yuanba's appearance made the young man extremely unhappy so he showed murderous intent at the slightest disagreement. Li Shiming understands this type of monks. If he really retreats, maybe after the five foundation building monks deal with a female cultivator, the next target will be to hunt him down. Maybe the five foundation building monks can't defeat him, but the forces behind him are definitely a big trouble. Listening to the name given by the old man in the middle stage of foundation building, I thought that this Bowser Mountain might not be a simple force. So Li Shiming decided to solve the problem once and for all. Protect the young master and kill him. The old monk in the middle stage of foundation building glanced at his young master helplessly, knowing that there was nothing he could do to be kind. And time did not allow him to think any more. So he shouted loudly. At this time, the thunder array has taken shape, with countless thunder snakes flying in the array. 
Not only did it block the escape route of the female cultivator and the five foundation building cultivators, it also affected their line of sight. The female cultivator was entangled by Li Yuanba's sword light and could not retreat even if she wanted to. The sword intent contained in the sword light made the female cultivator turn pale with every blow, as if it was hitting her spirit. The sword light was too fast, and it was still increasing in speed. Li Shiming's learning ability is extremely strong. He quickly learned and mastered the sword control method in 10 Direction Sword Cultivation Technique through Z15. His learning and mastering is equivalent to Li Yuanba's learning and mastering. However, there is still a gap from learning and mastering to actual combat. It was the first time that Li Yuanba used the fighting method of sword cultivator to fight against monks of the same level. He was rapidly digesting and absorbing the sword control techniques he had learned. Chapter 179 Trouble The battle ended first on the side of Li Yuanba and the female cultivator. The female cultivator was completely suppressed by the golden light sword. The sword light formed by the gale wind golden sword made the female cultivator's mind agitate with every attack. She could no longer use other means to defend herself against the enemy, and could only passively support her. The sword light fell on the female cultivator's shield weapon five times. And the spiritual imprint in the shield weapon was completely wiped out. The female cultivator spat out a mouthful of blood, with a fearful expression on her face, and did not dare to move. In front of her eyebrows, the golden sword of lightning hovered. If she dared to move, she would be killed by the sword. Li Shiming waved his hand, and the spirit tying rope flew out, tying the female cultivator tightly. On the other side, five foundation building monks wanted to attack Li Shiming, but they found that the surrounding scenery changed, and Li Shiming's flying boat was no longer visible. The nine palace sword formation in Li Shiming's hands was not that simple. The phantom formation, thunder formation, and trapping formation were all arranged in an instant. The massive calculations required are all calculated using Z15. You must know that this is a flying sword with nine spiritual weapons. It is relatively stationary in the air and requires constant adjustment to maintain the integrity of the formation. Although it was his first time to use the nine palace sword formation. With the help of Z15, he had done analysis and research several times and prepared many tactics. Obviously, the five foundation building monks did not pay much attention to Li Shiming and Li Yuanba at first. There were five of them, and the strongest one was in the middle stage of foundation building. When Li Shiming laid out the Nine Palaces sword formation, they had never encountered an array master with such a formation, and they had no idea what they were going to face. Li Shiming was also summing up his experience. He felt that it took a long time to set up the Nine Palace sword formation. If the five foundation building monks chose to leave at the first time, they would have really escaped before the formation was fully set up. Master, we are attacking the same place. This temporary formation cannot withstand our attacks together. The old monk said calmly, in the middle stage of foundation building. The young monk nodded. There was not much worry on his face, but more murderous intent. He could sense that the magic and trapping formations were quite powerful, but the power of thunder and lightning was really very ordinary. And even after hitting their defensive spiritual weapons many times, they were unable to produce the slightest effect. The power of these thunder and lightning is probably the level of the late stage of chain energy. The five spiritual weapons attacked a place ahead, and the spiritual power gathered by the five foundation building monks had the power to destroy everything. Li Shiming drew complex spell runes with his fingers in front of him. This is the core attack spell, lightning strike, of Nine Heavens Thunder Strike Technique. The golden thunder spiritual power in his body was input into the thunder strike rune, and a golden thunder and lightning was generated at his fingertips. It took three breaths from the time he cast the lightning strike technique to the golden lightning. This was because he was not yet proficient in the lightning strike technique. The main reason is that the training time is too short, and the amount of spiritual power in his body does not allow him to practice this powerful spell too much. Fortunately, there was the nine palace sword formation. Although the five foundation building monks gathered to attack one place, they were still too far away from breaking the formation. A high-level array master with nine special spiritual weapons cannot be broken through easily. Golden thunder and lightning shot out, and entered the thunder and lightning of the thunder array, just like a drop of water submerged in the ocean, never to be found again. However, this golden thunder and lightning is different from the thunder and lightning generated by the earthquake thunder formation. This is an attack from the top thunder system. Nine heavens thunder strike technique. And the golden thunder spiritual power it stimulates has the quality of the peak of the early stage of foundation building. This blow definitely exceeded the strongest blow of the monk in the early stage of foundation establishment. 
but his enemy could not detect the blow. The monks in the early stage of foundation building, under the command of the old monks in the middle stage of foundation building, kept bombarding a point, and the entire lighting space seemed to be shaking slightly, which showed that their attacks were effective. Just when they were rejoicing, a golden electric light, together with countless other electric lights, fell on the protective and defensive spiritual weapon of an early stage foundation building monk. The monk in the early stage of foundation building had long been accustomed to these thunder and lightning attacks. He thought that they would be blocked by his protective defensive weapon as before. He didn't even focus on defending the spiritual weapon, but fully cooperated with his companions to launch attacks. The horror of the golden electric light was truly revealed when the golden electric light came into contact with the body-protecting spiritual weapon of the monks in the early stage of foundation establishment. With a boom, the defensive spiritual weapon was knocked away and the golden electric light seemed to jump from the defensive spiritual weapon, and then jump back to the monk in the early stage of foundation building. The monks at the early stage of foundation establishment didn't even have time to scream, before they were penetrated by the terrifying metallic thunder spirit power throughout their bodies. The powerful destructive power of metallic thunder spirit power was manifested in the early stage monks for the first time. By the time the foundation building monk next to him discovered it, and was about to help, the early stage foundation building monk had already lost all his vitality. Uncle Lu, protect me! After the young monk saw the death of the monk in the early stage of foundation building, he understood that he could no longer hesitate and he had to use his trump card. The mid-stage foundation building monk named Uncle Lu took back the offensive spiritual weapon and at the same time used two defensive spiritual weapons to protect the young monk. The other two monks in the early stages of foundation building also protected the perimeter with defensive spiritual weapons forming the first line of defense. The young monk took out a talisman, sat cross-legged on the flying boat, and began to mobilize the spiritual power in his body to activate the talisman. Li Shiming did not expect such a situation to occur. He wanted to have a good fight. But when his opponent came up, he used big moves and did not give him a chance to fight. He knew how terrifying the talisman was. Although he was already in the early stage of foundation building, he did not dare to withstand the attack of the talisman even in the late stage of foundation building. The power of the talisman is equivalent to about one-tenth of the golden elixir stage magic weapon, which is a sure kill for monks below the golden elixir, a four-meter long. High-grade magic weapon electromagnetic gun appeared in Li Shiming's hand. Six thick cables at the back of the high-grade magic weapon electromagnetic gun were connected in the void. The thunder ray in the computer room had already accumulated the upper limit of power and was transferred into the electromagnetic gun, a high-grade magic weapon. In a short period of time, the third-grade sword base transformed into a cannonball and was filled into the high-grade magic weapon electromagnetic gun. Li Shiming was waiting for the electromagnetic gun, a high-grade magic weapon, to be charged. The electricity in the thunder array entered the magnetic flux compression device through six thick cables. In two breaths, the high-grade magic weapon electromagnetic gun was prepared first. Even if you want to activate the talisman during the foundation building stage, you cannot activate it within four breaths. For Jean Dan, there is not much difference between the early stage of foundation building and the later stage of chaining Chi. Under the action of an indescribable driving force, the third grade sword based cannonball traveled through the barrel wrapped in an accelerator, and its speed reached an unimaginable extreme in an instant. The lightning in the entire Jiogong sword formation was distorted. After the third grade sword based cannonball was fired, the thunder and lightning was pushed away by the shock wave emitted by the third grade sword base cannonball, forming a beautiful channel formed by lightning. In the middle stage of foundation building, the old monk suddenly felt a trembling feeling coming from his soul. Fear flashed in his eyes. Countless near-death experiences told him that this trembling feeling came from the induction of death. He hesitated for a moment. Whether to retreat immediately or continue to protect the young master, you might be able to survive if you retreat. But if the young master dies, the master will definitely not let him go. And he will die as well. And if he stayed, he might die immediately. The dilemma flashed through his mind. It's a pity that he thought too much. The third grade sword based SH. LS fired by the high grade magic weapon electromagnetic gun would not give him time to think. With a click, a hole appeared in one of his defensive spiritual weapons. And then his body was shot through. This was not over yet. The third grade sword based SH. L then shot into the young monk's body and passed through his heart. The half-activated talisman slipped from his hand. The divine light in his eyes dimmed, and he desperately wanted to look at Li Shiming, through the passage formed by the third-grade sword-based cannonball. 
He saw Li shimming as he wished. This was the last glance of his life. Young master. Mr. Lu. The two foundation building monks never expected that this would happen. The young master died, and the old monk was seriously injured in the middle stage of foundation building. They were about to help the old monk in the middle stage of foundation building. When a tall and strange figure appeared in front of them. Neza, who had three heads and six arms, was empty-handed. But the black sharp claws on his six arms were more powerful than spiritual weapons, and attacked the two early stage foundation building monks at the same time. In the middle stage of foundation building, on the old monk's side, Li Yunba's sword light also arrived. In the middle stage of foundation building, the old monk held on to his injuries and tried to resist the sword light. But soon, he felt the mental pain of the female cultivator. If he had not been injured, he might still be able to fight Li Yuanba with his level of suppression. However, he was injured and could not use much spiritual power. In addition, a defensive spiritual weapon was destroyed, and the mental impact caused could not be eliminated in a short time. He was at the end of his strength, and every time Li Yuanba's sword flashed, his spirit would be shocked again. Li Shiming was not in a hurry. He withdrew the high-grade magical weapon electromagnetic gun, and the third-grade sword-based SH. L disintegrated in the air and turned into pure energy and flew back into his body. He recast the lightning strike technique with his current spiritual power. He could use the lightning strike technique up to five times. And the lightning strike technique was divided into five attributes. This time he used the fire attribute, lightning strike, and a red lightning entered the thunder array. Neza did not use the mid-grade magic weapon Gatling. The power of the mid-grade magic weapon Gatling was too small and was no longer suitable for battles in the foundation building period. At least until the problem of greater energy is solved. Li Shiming cannot equip Neza with more powerful thermal weapons. The defensive power of the monks in the foundation building stage is not comparable to that of the monks in the Chang'e stage. No matter how many eight-layer Chang'e ice crystals there are, they can't affect the monks in the foundation building stage. Such an attack is not as effective as Neza's own claw. The fighting ability displayed by Neza with three heads and six arms made Li Shiming, who made it, deeply gratified. With one against two, Neza completely suppressed the two early stage foundation building monks at close range. Neza, who has reached the state of the Iron Corpse, has been able to mobilize the cold spiritual power in his body. This cold spiritual power strengthens the glowing light dazzling armor, giving it an extra layer of foundation building defense. Plus the Iron Corpse itself it has the defensive power of the foundation building period. In battle, Neza does not need to think about defense. Only constant attacks. In the early stage of foundation building, the spiritual weapon attacks of the monks were all blocked by Neza's sharp claws. The three heads and six arms were too cheating. There was no blind spot in his body. And his eyes could observe the 360 degree battle situation. Even if there is a missed attack, there will be extra arms to support it. The defensive weapon of an early stage foundation building monk suddenly exploded. It was the effect of fire attribute thunder and lightning. The impact of the explosion caused the early stage foundation building monk's defense to widen. And he also suffered the aftermath of fire attribute thunder and lightning. His body froze. With no defense at all and his body unable to move. How could Neza let go? With Neza's claw. The monk in the early stage of foundation building was directly cut into two pieces. The remaining early stage foundation building monk was shocked and turned around to escape. But he couldn't even tell the direction. There was lightning everywhere. So where could he escape? Neza's speed is not slow. Why do the monks of the demon sect devote all their efforts to cultivating the corpse? It is because the corpse can withstand the attacks of monks of the same level in the same realm. And has a speed that is faster than ordinary monks of the same level. Powerful attack power. Of course, the refined corpse is not invincible. Once it is distanced, the spell can drag the refined corpse to death. But corpse refining is never used alone. With the master's battle, the advantages of corpse refining will be fully exploited. Neza is even more special. His three heads and six arms make his melee advantage even more prominent. Li Shiming didn't use the lightning strike technique anymore. He didn't have much spiritual power. So he couldn't use it all. With a wave of his hand, the nine flying swords of the nine palace sword formation were divided into two groups. One group of three flying swords attacked the monks in the early stage of foundation establishment. And the other group of six flying swords attacked the old monks in the middle stage of foundation establishment. This is the final blow before the battle ends. In the early stages of foundation building, 
The monks saw three flying swords flying towards them and quickly used defensive spiritual weapons to resist them. But every time a flying sword hits the defensive spiritual weapon, part of the spiritual imprint of the defensive spiritual weapon will be lost. There was no need for Li Shiming's sword to attack for a second time. Neza swept away the defensive weapon that had lost most of its spiritual mark with one claw and killed the monk in the early stage of foundation building with one claw. On the other side, the old monk in the middle stage of foundation building was hit by a round of six flying swords on the defensive spiritual weapon, coupled with Liu Yuanba's previous attack. His defensive spiritual weapon completely lost its spiritual imprint. My master Asian will avenge the young master. I will wait for you in H. L. The old monk screamed miserably in the middle stage of foundation building. Then he was pierced through the heart by Liu Yuanba's sword, wiping out his life. Li Shiming silently put away all the corpses and collected the storage bags. On the young monk's body was a storage bracelet. He was not at all happy to have gained all this. He looked at the controlled female cultivator with hatred. He didn't know Baza Mountain or Asian, But the one who could make the old monk in the middle stage of foundation building recognize him, as his master must be a monk whose strength far exceeded that of the middle stage of foundation building. Combined with the young monk's storage bracelet, he was almost certain that Asian must be a golden elixir monk. And he had completely offended a golden elixir monk. Chapter 180 Picture Appearance Yi Lingling felt chills all over her body. Due to the formation, she could not clearly see the battle process between Li Shiming and Li Yuanba. But the battlefield after the Nine Palace Sword formation was retracted shocked her. Five foundation building monks, including a mid stage foundation building monk and the son of Yi Chen, a golden elixir monk, were all killed on the spot. In fact, the person who died most unjustly here was the son of Yi Chen, the golden elixir monk. Because Li Shiming used the formation as soon as he took action, Yi Chen had no means to use it. Finally, he decided to take out the talisman. But Li Shiming used a high grade magical weapon, the electromagnetic gun, to kill him. Yi Chen's many life saving methods were all ineffective due to this instant kill. Li Shiming ignored Yi Lingling. He put all the corpses into a storage bag and threw them into the computer room together with all the loot. He has experience in offending Jean Dan. The traces of the battle need to be cleaned up. And all the trophies cannot be taken out without a strong background and a large sect. His spiritual thoughts swept across the battlefield repeatedly. And after missing nothing, he grabbed Yi Lingling, changed a flying boat, and headed for the distance. Under the influence of the spirit binding rope, Yi Lingling wanted to speak, but could not control her body. Li Shiming's spiritual thoughts swept across her body. And then he took off the storage bag on her body, as well as a jade hairpin on her head a jade bracelet on her chest, and a pair of jade bracelets on her wrists. Yi Lingling was also considered a beauty. But Li Shiming was not tempted at all. Who knows how old beauties in the world of immortality are, especially beauties in the foundation building stage, who may be from 30 to 100 years old. Besides, Yi Lingling is an enemy, especially if it concerns the golden core cultivator. He will be silenced no matter what. At this time, Yi Lingling was not only feeling cold all over her body, but her heart was also filled with ice. She already knew Li Shiming's plan, and she was afraid that after asking for a confession, she would be like those monks, looking at Li Shiming's skillful cleaning of the battlefield. It can be seen that this is not the first time he has committed murder. He handles everything calmly and calmly, which is not what ordinary monks can do. Yi Lingling looked at Li Yuanba. In her heart, Li Yuanba was thousands of times better than Li Shiming. Although she was defeated and captured by Li Yuanba, Li Yuanba was too handsome. Just when she was thinking wildly, Li Shiming found a secret cave. Li Shiming drove away a black bear in the cave with a thought, and cleared the dirty air in the cave before carrying Yi Lingling into the cave. Li Yuanba took out 36 formation flags and arranged them one by one at the entrance of the cave, forming a formation that isolated spiritual power fluctuations and had a defensive effect. Li Shiming threw Yi Lingling on the ground and took out the soul-piercing needle. Name? He asked lightly by controlling the spirit binding rope and letting go of Yi Lingling's ability to speak. My name is Yi Lingling. Dot. As soon as Yi Lingling said her name, she felt a pain that penetrated deep into her soul, making it impossible for her to say any more. Her tears and nose could not stop flowing out. This kind of pain was unbearable for a foundation building monk, let alone a female monk. I answer whatever you ask. If you say more or lie, you will be punished, Li Shiming said coldly. Yi Lingling kept blinking her eyes, indicating that she understood. She had no other thoughts now. 
the coldness shown by Li Shiming made her scared. In the world of cultivating immortals, except for monks with special hobbies, who would spend a lot of money to make a magical weapon specifically for extorting confessions, let alone a set of such magical weapons in Li Shiming's hands. The spirit binding rope and the soul piercing needle were such magical weapons. They were of no use on Tiai Island, but they played a role in Beishu. Where is Bowser Mountain? Who is Yi Shin? Li Shiming asked in a deep voice. Yi Lingling looked extremely surprised. She did not expect that there were monks in this area who did not know Bowser Mountain or Yi Shin. Baza Mountain is the largest force within a radius of 10,000 miles. And Asian is the master of Baza Mountain. He is in the middle stage of golden core cultivation. Because she was afraid that Li Shiming would use the soul-piercing needle. Yi Lingling answered briefly and clearly. Who is the young monk who was led by Asian just now? Li Shiming asked with a frown. Yi Fa is Asian's only son. After answering this question, Yi Lingling glanced at Li Shiming and found that Li Shiming's expression was extremely ugly. Li Shiming shook his head. It was an unexpected disaster this time. Could it be that he was in conflict with the Golden Elixir Monk? Not many days after arriving in Beishu, he killed the son of a Golden Elixir Monk. But I've done it all. And if I pay more attention in the future, it'll be okay. He thought he cleaned the battlefield very cleanly. And it was estimated that it would be difficult for Yijin to find him. What did you get that made Yijin chase you? Li Shiming asked again. He didn't check Yi Lingling's storage bag first. The stuff was there anyway. He would check it after asking. I got a spiritual harp through an auction in Tianhua Mountain. A monk at the scene recognized it as a spiritual weapon used by the six-fingered sound demon in its early days. Unexpectedly, the rumors became more and more outrageous. It was said that this spiritual harp was left in the cave by the six-fingered sound demon. The secret key points out the location of the cave and the method of entry and exit. Yi Lingling explained honestly. Li Shiming knew nothing about the six-fingered sound demon, but he thought it should be a powerful monk in history. His knowledge in this area is extremely lacking, but it cannot be made up for in a short time. His spiritual mind swept through Yi Lingling's storage bag and took out two identical boxes. It seemed that one of them was trying to deceive him. Both boxes were opened, revealing two Gukins. One Guqin had obvious spiritual weapon fluctuations, but under his spiritual thoughts, he could feel that it was superficial. On the contrary, the other Guqin without any spiritual weapon fluctuations made him feel special. It was the first time Li Shiming saw this kind of spiritual weapon. Although there are many sonic techniques on Tianhai Island, he also mastered the Buddhist, lotus breathing from the mouth, and the demonic, demon sound into the ears, and combine them to create, demon sound lotus. But this is the first time I have seen the Lingqin with the sound wave technique. His spiritual thoughts scanned the Guqin and did not find any obvious marks. Since you guessed that this piano has nothing to do with the six-finger sound demon's legacy, why don't you hand over this piano? Li Shiming looked at Yi Lingling and asked in confusion. Because Yi Chen sent someone to find me. He wanted to buy the piano at double the auction price. I was still in Tianhua Mountain at that time. He didn't dare to rob me in Tianhua Mountain. With his identity. If he didn't know something about it. What? It's impossible to propose a purchase. Baza Mountain is very powerful and the information it collects about the world of immortality is far beyond what we can match. Yi Lingling knew that she couldn't hide it. So she answered honestly. Li Shiming nodded slowly, and a bolt of lightning appeared on his finger, and the lightning flashed on the Guqin. It didn't take much time to refine the Guqin. It only took ten breaths to refine one-tenth of the Guqin. As the Guqin was being refined, a piece of information was passed into his mind. The name of the piano is Earth Sound Mia Dao Qin. Just from the name of the piano, you can see the magical nature of the six-fingered sound demon. Except for Buddhist cultivation. Almost all monks call their cultivation goals Tao. And Taoists place the ancestor of Tao on the same level as Tao. The earth-destroying Dao Qin. That the six-fingered sound demon took for the Gu Qin even ignored the Tao. Li Shiming didn't understand why the six-fingered sound demon acted like this. Along with the name, Dim Ye Dao Qin. There is also a Mie Dao song that comes to my mind. Li Shiming had never learned Guqin's skills. He played his fingers lightly on the Dim Ye Dao Qin, connected his consciousness to Z15, and began to learn the skills of playing the Guqin. Yi Lingling listened to the meaningless messy notes and wondered what Li Shiming wanted to do. It was obvious that Li Shiming didn't know how to play the piano. While he was thinking about it, Li Shiming had already learned the skills of playing the Guqin. And by randomly plucking the strings just now, he also mastered the sound characteristics of the Dim Ye Dao Qin. 
He sat down cross-legged with the Ur sound Nye Dao Qin on his lap, recalling the Nye Dao Qin in his mind, and a trace of with thunder spiritual power appeared on his fingers. A strange piece of music played under his fingers. The Dao destroying song was filled with resentment towards the world and destruction. It seemed that he suddenly saw the world in the Dao destroying song. The ground cracked. The mountains collapsed. The sea water poured in, and the lives collapsed one after another. For dry bones, Li Shiming fell into this artistic conception unknowingly. At this time, C-15 issued a warning to wake him up. He saw a map appearing above the Dean Ye Dao Qin. There was a highlighted dot on the map. Next to the map was a formula for entering the battle. Z-15 after recording the map and formula, Li Shiming couldn't help but let out a long sigh of relief and stopped playing the piano in his hand. He and Li Yuanba's consciousness are connected. So when he wakes up, Li Yuanba also wakes up. Li Shiming couldn't help but feel frightened. He was still a piano player. And the Er sound Nye Dao Qin had not been completely refined. But it could already exert such terrifying power. Bringing him into a terrifying artistic conception. If he were to be dragged into that kind of mood that would destroy everything. He didn't know what would happen. When he thought of Yi Lingling. He understood how terrifying the effect of the destroying song was. At this time, Yi Lingling's face changed from that of an old woman in her twenties to that of an old woman in her seventies. Her black hair turned into withered grass, and her breath disappeared. Originally, Yi Lingling was not affected by the Dao destroying song so quickly, but her spiritual power was suppressed by the spirit binding rope, and she was attacked by the soul piercing needle. Her spirit was traumatized. In this case, after hearing the Dao destroying song, she fell into a terrifying artistic conception, was pulled into sinking by the artistic conception, and was destroyed together with the world in a destroying Dao song. Li Shiming shook his head. He knew that Yi Lingling was not young. He wanted to use her beauty to seduce him to let Yi Lingling go. But now he felt sick just thinking about it. His fingers gently flicked out a burst of fire and thunder spiritual power, which landed on Yi Lingling's body. Although the lifeless corpse still maintained the physique of the foundation building stage, it could not withstand the fire and thunder spiritual force. After a few breaths, it fell to the ground. Just a little bit of ashes remained. He sat down cross-legged again. Although the Er sound Nye Dao Qin was extremely weird when used, its power was indeed pretty good. The biggest feature of the sonic attack is that the attack covers a large area and is difficult to defend. Unfortunately, his application of the Er sound Nye Dao Qin is still at the point of using ordinary people's techniques. And he has not exerted the Nye Dao Song at all as true power. He didn't know who the six-fingered sound demon was, but he had some clear understanding of the power of the destroying song. Among the sonic data collected by Z-15, the audio of the Song of Destruction is extremely weird. The changes in high and low audio constantly break the limits of normal pronunciation. And the Dao destroying song also has the effect of affecting people's hearts. Unknowingly, it can make the monks fall into the artistic conception created by the Dao destroying song thus causing the monk's soul to be damaged in the artistic conception. Until destroy. Of course, this is the effect achieved by the Wei Killing Song and the Earth Sounding Road Killing Qin. Li Shiming cannot imagine how powerful the Wei Killing Song can be increased with special skills. He has become somewhat interested in the six-fingered sound demon's legacy. He was not very interested in the legacy before. When we were on Tianhai Island, there were very few legends about the Relic Palace. Tian High Island had been jointly controlled by the Seven Sects for a long time. And all the powerful monks were monks of the Seven Sects. Even if these monks left a cave outside, it would not be the main cave. And the spiritual objects left inside were limited. The main caves of sect monks will all be in the sect. And only the caves in the sect will be safe and have more spiritual energy. Although he has some interest in the legacy of the Six-Fingered Sound Demon, he still needs to find out more information about the Six-Fingered Sound Demon in order to make the most accurate judgment. To be honest, if it weren't for the powerful power of the destroying song, he might not have paid attention to the six-fingered sound demon's legacy. At least, he won't explore it before joining a large sect. He now has sufficient skills and resources, and has no urgent need for other skills and resources. But the way destroying song aroused his curiosity. Compared with the way destroying song, is demon sound lotus was like a child's trick. Li Shiming consciously operated Z15 and compared the map previously obtained from the Dean Yendochin 
with the known maps of Northern Shu. He was not familiar with Northern Shu. But fortunately, he had obtained maps from Jin Dan Sword Xiao Yunxing and Wei's library. Comparing terrain data might take years for monks in the world of immortality. But for the Z15, it only takes a few seconds to complete. A map of Shawanishan appeared in Li Shiming's eyes. And the location was marked on the map. At the same time, Z15 gave the safest road based on several previous maps. Many of the places he had walked through before seemed to be deep in the mountains and old forests. Inaccessible to people. But in fact these roads had been explored by monks and confirmed to be safe roads. There are not only humans in the hundred thousand mountains, but also countless other creatures, including powerful spiritual beasts. The areas marked as dangerous on several maps are areas where powerful spiritual beasts have been confirmed. And passing there is extremely dangerous. Of course, the 100,000 mountain humans were still the dominant force. And the monks suppressed the spiritual beasts and coexisted with them. Chapter 181 Preparation Li Shiming's consciousness entered the computer room space. And he opened the five storage bags harvested today. Yi Lingling's spiritual weapons were all erased by Li Yuanba's sword intent during the battle. There were no more spiritual weapons in Yi Lingling's storage bag. Most of the miscellaneous items were women's supplies. Some spiritual stone pills. And only a Beishu Trading Company jade sign with 350,000 low-grade spiritual stones on it. He is still wary of elixirs. He is probably one of the few Sandling and monks who has never taken elixirs since he started practicing. Since his cultivation speed during the Qi Chain stage was quite satisfactory. At least much faster than the monks at the same time. He naturally had no idea of using elixirs to help his cultivation. Later, he found a better way to practice than taking pills. And Li Yuanba used the practice of Tai Ling'an to serve him. Even when building the foundation. He didn't use the foundation building pill. But after reaching the foundation building stage. He clearly felt that the speed of cultivation was slow. And this slowness made him extremely uncomfortable. Even so. He still has no idea of taking pills. At least he has to wait until he joins the sect and obtains relevant knowledge in the sect before he can determine which pill he should take. Only the sect can provide high quality elixirs. Low quality elixirs are too resistant to medicine. Among the remaining four storage bags, only the storage bag of the old monk in the middle stage of foundation building contained more spiritual items. It's a pity that none of them caught Li Shiming's eyes. Although the resources of Tianhai Island are not as good as those of Bei Shu, and the seven sects combined are only similar to the medium sized sects of Bei Shu. In the end, they have mastered Tianhai Island for 10,000 years and the resources in their hands are compared to the ordinary forces in Bei Shu are still far surpassed. The spiritual weapons Li Shiming obtained on Tianhai Island were either the top spiritual weapons awarded by the seven sects, or they were captured from the talented monks of the Mingxin sect. In the middle stage of foundation building, the old monk only had more than 10,000 spiritual stones, a few relatively ordinary spiritual weapons, and the rest of the storage bags had even fewer spiritual stones. That is, thousands of spiritual stones. Comparatively speaking, Yi Lingling's number of spiritual stones is a bit staggering. Thinking about how she was able to buy a spiritual weapon like the Earth Mia Dao Qin from the auction, how could it be possible without some capital? Finally, looking at Yi Chen's items, a talisman is definitely the biggest gain. There is a long sword on the talisman. Unfortunately, this talisman only has two chances to use it. It can be seen that Yi Chen is definitely not a peaceful person. Li Shiming now owns three talismans, but he has never used them once. Of course, this is related to the fact that he has a lot of means, and there are not many opportunities where he really needs to use the talisman. When there is danger, the lead time for the talisman is too long. Even if it is a talisman that still has two chances to be used, its value is immeasurable. He opened the storage bracelet and was not surprised at all. The inner space of this storage bracelet was exactly the same as the first two storage bracelets he owned. Li Shiming suspected that this kind of storage bracelet was specially customized by a certain force for the Jean Dan Juniors. Otherwise, how could he kill three Jean Dan Juniors and get almost the same storage bracelets? There are many items in the storage bracelet, including 11 long swords and spiritual weapons. The unified expression is beauty. The various colors and gem decorations make the five long swords and spiritual weapons look extremely extraordinary. The second most popular item was the spiritual weapon robe with as many as eight pieces. Li Shiming was even more surprised to find that the color of the spiritual weapon robe matched the long sword and spiritual weapon. This was probably customized by Yi Chen to match the color. Even though Li Shiming had seen a lot of storage spaces, 
he was still surprised by Yi Chen's taste. This is just like when most people are thinking about being full. Yi Chen is thinking about the exquisiteness of food. There are definitely not too many spiritual weapons in the world of cultivating immortals. At least the spiritual weapons in the hands of foundation building casual cultivators are very few. They are the few foundation building monks beside Yi Chen. Except for the old monks in the middle stage of foundation building who have richer spiritual weapons. Other the three foundation building monks have two spiritual weapons. One for attack and one for defense. In addition to the long sword and robe spiritual weapons. There are three defensive spiritual weapons. Including shield shaped. Bell shaped. And bead shaped. Each one is full of spirituality. And is definitely a treasure among defensive spiritual weapons. Li Shiming looked at the three defensive spiritual weapons with great pity. If he hadn't been worried about being recognized by Bowser Mountain, he would have been able to take out the three defensive spiritual weapons and use them. In addition, it was a huge spiritual furnace. He was certain that it was not an alchemy furnace because its style was completely different from that of an alchemy furnace. Li Shiming jumped over the spiritual furnace first. And he saw the jade slip. There was only one jade slip. And it was purple. Slightly disappointed, he used his spiritual mind to explore the purple jade slip. Baza Mountain Refining Record The purple jade slip contained a method of refining weapons. He also knew what the spiritual furnace was. It was an instrument-making furnace for refining magical instruments. And it was an inheritance of the instrument maker. Those materials that were piled aside that he didn't recognize also had answers. The names and characteristics of these weapon refining materials were recorded in. Baza Mountain Refining Record Baza Mountain Refining Record Is the weapon refining inheritance of Baza Mountain and Yi Chen probably wants to become a weapon refining master, or is already one. What an unexpected surprise! After receiving Baza Mountain Refining Record, Li Shiming was even happier than receiving a powerful skill. If the science of the past life is to be effective in this world, it needs to be coordinated with the knowledge of immortality in this world. He previously studied formations, which indeed found many solutions for past life science. But many of his ideas in his mind were related to weapon making, especially weapons which needed to be matched with magical weapons that fit his own realm. Let's take the middle grade magical weapon Gatling for analysis. When the middle grade magical weapon Gatling was first produced, Li Shiming was still in the Qi stage. At that time, the middle grade magical weapon Gatling brought him a huge increase in combat power. Even a genius monk at the peak of his chain energy would find it extremely difficult to resist the attack of a mid-grade magical weapon called Gatling. But after the foundation building period, the power of the mid-grade magic weapon Gatling cannot match his own realm. His weakest enemy at this time is also the foundation building. It is a high-grade magic weapon electromagnetic gun. If it can be upgraded to the level of a spiritual weapon, its power can be greatly improved. You must know that many studies in previous lives were limited due to material issues. But this world has unique advantages in materials. Spiritual materials are naturally better than the best synthetic materials in previous lives. But the refining methods in previous lives cannot refine spiritual materials. In the world of immortality, only weapon makers can refine spiritual materials. Li Shiming looked at the spiritual furnace and thought that it would be better to wait and refine it. If the spiritual furnace could be obtained from other places, then this spiritual furnace would not be needed. Besides, he is not stabilized yet. And even if he wants to become an instrument maker, there is no corresponding environment. Fellow Taoist, Although sword cultivators don't need too many magical weapons. From this battle, once there are too many enemies, helpers are still needed. Li Shiming withdrew his consciousness from the machine room space and said to Li Yuanba on the side, Fellow Daoist, you have a good idea. I do have some trouble dealing with multiple enemies. Li Yuanba nodded in response. This kind of dialogue between Li Shiming's two consciousnesses can make him feel less lonely. Perhaps in the future, even though we are thousands of miles apart, such connections will continue. One day later, Li Shiming entered Dafang City. And this time, he was not unlucky enough to encounter any trouble. His identity as a foundation building monk was very useful. After he walked into a shop with a cold atmosphere, he was invited to the second floor. Normally, only the second floor is the place to receive foundation building monks. The spending power and status of foundation building monks will not be consumed in the same place as the Changchi monks. This is a shop that sells magical items. After entering the first floor, even Li Shiming was a little unbearable. On the first floor, even the corpses of monks are for sale. And there are also incomplete corpses for sale, which are repair materials for corpse refining. 
Most of the other weird materials have special smells and ugly and weird appearances because they are magic sect materials. The air is filled with these mixed smells. It is estimated that only the demon sect monks will not care about such smells, but rather enjoy them. The second floor is much better. There is no material display here. If you want anything, you can ask the receptionist directly. The person who received Li Shiming and Li Yuanba was a skinny old monk. From the breath in his body, he could tell that he was a monk in the early stage of foundation building. In order to prevent accidents, Li Yuanba put on a mask. This mask was a magic weapon that could prevent the scanning of spiritual thoughts. His face is a weapon and can easily attract trouble. Li Shiming wears a hat on his head that can block spiritual thoughts. This kind of dress is very common in the city. I wonder what your friend needs. The old monk asked with a smile. It's just that his smile is really ugly. Like a skeleton wearing human skin smiling. There is no spiritual tea for guests on the second floor. Then again, there are not many monks who would dare to taste the spiritual tea in the shop that sells magic items. Do you have these materials? Li Shiming asked, throwing out a jade slip. The old monk took the jade slip and placed it between his eyebrows and soon understood the needs of the two foundation building monks. This shop is very comprehensive in terms of materials for corpse refining. Fellow Taoist, you want the second grade of the main materials. The price is not cheap. The wrinkles at the corners of the old monk's eyes all squeezed together when he smiled. His meaning is very clear. There are second grade materials. But do you have spiritual stones? Don't worry. The spirit stone is ready. Otherwise I wouldn't have come. Li Shiming said calmly. This store supports Beishu Trading Company to store jade tokens for payment. After saying this, the old monk helplessly spread his hands and continued. Beishu Trading Company's regulations require that this sentence be said to customers. Otherwise, they will not be able to pass. Pick up the goods through the channel of Beishu Trading Company. Li Shiming couldn't help but laugh. Although this old monk looked scary, he was very honest. It seemed that it was not entirely right to be born from the heart. Beishu Trading Company stores jade cards. He knows what they are. He has a few of them. And they are all anonymous anyway. He took out a jade card stored by the Beishu Trading Company with more than 200,000 spiritual stones and placed it in front of the old monk. Do you have a good furnace? Fellow Taoist? Our store has a double spiritual root furnace. If you are willing to make a reservation, we can also get the tiling and furnace. The old monk turned back and gave the jade slip to the attendant beside him. And then continued said, Don't bother. I have the body. Li Shiming replied without any scruples. Although the demon sect acts without scruples, there are rules in many aspects. For example, the corpses that are refined will be called the furnace. Li Shiming had no such considerations. All his corpses were his enemies, killed by him himself. The old monk's eyes flashed, and he judged some information from Li Shiming's answer. First of all, the furnace cauldron used by Li Shiming to refine corpses must be of extremely high quality and it is most likely the Tianling root of the foundation building stage. Otherwise it would be impossible to use the second grade main material. The main materials of the first grade can be used to refine the cauldron in the foundation building stage. Unless the cauldron is extremely important, and you want to maximize the original potential of the cauldron, you will use the main materials of the second grade. Our shop also purchases corpses. The corpses in the foundation building period will be given corresponding spiritual stones according to their quality. The old monk continued. Li Shiming did not answer the call. He collected a lot of corpses. The reason why he collected them, but did not dispose of them, was because they might be used as repair materials for corpse refining in the future. He would not sell corpses as a means of earning spiritual stones. A corpse could be worth several spiritual stones, and could easily cause trouble. At this time, the attendant came over with a storage bag, and handed the storage bag to the old monk. The old monk inspected it before sending the storage bag to Li Shiming. Li Shiming's spiritual thoughts entered the storage bag, and all the materials, especially the second grade materials, were carefully inspected. He had to be careful, because the subsequent corpse refining work could not fail. Otherwise the loss would be too great. Fellow Taoist, there are 15,000 spirit stones in total, the old monk reminded with a smile. Li Shiming handed over the Beishu Commercial Bank's Jade Token. He was curious about how the Beishu Commercial Bank's Jade Token was used. The old monk took out a formation disc and activated it with a tap. Although Li Shiming did not use his spiritual mind to contact and check. As a senior formation master, he had a strong sense of formations, and he could clearly feel that the formation discs were connecting outwards. It seems that the array on the array plate has been activated. 
but it is still connected to a certain array outside. The old monk placed the jade token stored in the Beishu Trading Company in the formation plate. After some manipulation with his spiritual mind, he returned the jade token stored in the Beishu Trading Company to Li Shiming. After Li Shiming checked, there were 15,000 spiritual stones missing from the jade tablets stored in Beishu Trading Company. Based on his judgment, Beishu Trading Company may have established a formation communication network throughout Beishu. At least large cities will be covered by the formation communication network. This is actually similar to the Tianhai Sec Sec formation. At present, he still has no way of knowing the composition of this communication network. It was not easy for him to ask. With the wisdom of the old monk in front of him, he was afraid that the old monk would doubt his origins as soon as he opened his mouth. No more spirit stones were used. And 15,000 spirit stones were used at once. It may not seem like much. But in fact many foundation building monks don't have much wealth. If he continued to consume, he was worried that he would be targeted by someone with malicious intentions. After coming out of Dafong City, he made some intentional observations and even released the drone. He used infrared thermal imaging to confirm that there was no one following him. And he felt relieved. You can't blame him for being careful. He has only been in the world of cultivating immortals for a long time. He has killed so many monks just from the troubles he has encountered. Chapter 182 Generals With the Netherworld Ghost Realm Formation which is based on the third grade spiritual object, Netherworld Crystal. Li Shiming does not need to find a suitable place for corpse refining. Refining corpses in the ghost realm can reduce the demand for materials. But even so, he still purchased the second grade corpse refining main material. The corpse refining material he prepared for Li Yuanba was Yun Xingyi's corpse. And he still asked Li Yuanba to refine the body of Jin Dan Sword Xiao, Yun Xingyi into a life refining corpse. This idea had been in his mind for a long time. If Li Shiming hadn't given Li Yuanba the only quota for the corpse refining of his own life, he would have wanted to refine the body of Jin Dan Sword Xiao, Yun Xingyi into the corpse, refining body of his own body. Even if Yun Xingyi's body was dead, its body's defense was astonishing. With the strength of a foundation building monk, a third grade sword base could barely cut through his skin. And the cutting speed was extremely slow. This was done after Yun Xingyi died and had no spiritual power in his body. When its corpse is refined into a refined corpse, its defense power will definitely be the best among iron corpses. This is still skin. Yun Xingyi's muscles have stronger defense. Not to mention bones. The bones of Jin Dan sword cultivators are almost as hard as those of Jin Dan cultivators who focus on body refining. This is due to the influence of Chong Chang's sword intention. Down. Although Yun Xingyi's sword bones were only refined into those of his right thumb, all the bones in his body were contaminated with sword intent causing the bone strength to continuously increase during training. Even if he dies, the sword intent in his bones cannot be completely dissipated. This time Li Shiming dug a cave by himself, and Li Yuanba arranged the formation with formation flags outside. He arranged the preparations for corpse refining in the cave. His Xianming Corpse Refining Chapter only upgraded the corpse refining to foundation building. The subsequent techniques were missing, but this was enough. The current improvement of corpse refining mainly relies on the Netherworld Ghost Realm Formation. The Netherworld Ghost Realm Formation can improve the corpse refining very quickly at least before the Golden Elixir stage, which is much faster than the method of Qianming Corpse Refining Chapter. Faster. When Li Yuanba really joins the Sunluo sect, it will not be difficult to get a corpse refining technique that can reach the Golden Elixir stage. The inheritance of corpse refining still depends on the Demon sect. Most of the inheritances of other sects have removed the particularly evil parts. He did not expect to be able to buy the natal corpse refining corpse liquid in the store. Originally, he still had some natal corpse refining corpse liquid left. But the level of the natal corpse refining corpse liquid was only at the chain chi stage. For the transformation of Jean Dan swords the young sing one's body is probably too weak to handle. The natal corpse refining corpse liquid he purchased this time was from iron corpse. And was of excellent quality. It was a true second grade main material. He took some blood from Li Yuanba's body, mixed it into the natal corpse refining liquid, and then mixed it with various materials. Yun Shi's body was preserved very well. The isolation environment made the body almost the same as when it was first put in. He carefully smeared the corpse refining liquid mixture all over the surface of the corpse, and drew complex patterns on the important parts of the corpse. This was summed up by combining the corpse refining secrets he had obtained with the Netherworld Ghost World Formation. Methods to enhance the effect of corpse refining. This is thanks to Renfair. 
who has been able to gain access to a little bit of knowledge about corpse refining in the golden elixir stage. Although it is just a little bit of knowledge, its effect is not small. Yun Xing's body was placed in the netherworld ghost realm formation. Under the cold power of the ghost realm, the body quickly changed. The skin on the surface of the corpse changes to the color of bronze. This is a change in appearance. Inside, in the originally empty body, the spirit of corpse refining is being born. When the corpse refining spirit was born, due to the influence of the natal corpse refining fluid mixed with Li Yuanba's blood outside the body, the corpse refining spirit carried the aura of Li Yuanba. Li Yuanba sensed the birth process of his own corpse refining spirit, and the corpse refining spirit that was connected to his soul came into being from scratch, growing from small to large. The Netherworld Ghost Realm Formation shortened the transformation process that originally took a long time to within a few hours. The spirit of corpse refining is complete at four hours, but the transformation of corpse refining is not over yet. The bronze color of the skin on the surface of the refined corpse is getting darker and darker, slowly transforming into the color of black iron. This is due to the second grade natal corpse refining corpse liquid and the quality of the corpse itself. In the netherworld ghost realm formation, it skips the bronze corpse stage and directly enters the iron corpse state. It seems that the method of refining the corpse is extremely simple. In a short time, the monk can have an iron corpse with foundation building combat power. However, one must consider the source of corpses for refining corpses. It is difficult to obtain corpses from the foundation establishment stage, not to mention corpses from the golden core stage. Besides, the corpse must also take into account the previous spiritual roots. Otherwise, the corpse will not have much potential. It is estimated that when the monks themselves are promoted to foundation building, the corpse refining will still linger in the bronze corpse stage. Refining corpses also has a success rate. And no matter how much preparation you make, there is a risk of failure. The reason why Li Shiming was able to succeed this time was that he purchased the second grade main materials for corpse refining. In addition, the ghostly environment created by the Netherworld Ghost Realm Array also had a lot of bonuses for corpse refining. He stayed here for three days until the body of the corpse refining body reached a limit and there was a faint flow of white light on its skin. And then the corpse refining process was completely completed. Li Shiming even doubted whether he could directly transform Yun Xingyi's corpse into a silver corpse if he had the complete corpse refining technique of the golden elixir stage. Of course, this possibility is extremely low. At present, the potential of Yun Xingyi's corpse has been almost exhausted. Every subsequent improvement will require a large amount of corpse refining materials. Moreover, given the state of this corpse refining corpse, the minimum required materials for corpse refining are second grade, and even second grade corpse refining materials may not be enough. There is a faint white light on the body of the natal corpse, which is a layer of silver light. This is a phenomenon that occurs only when the iron corpse reaches the ultimate stage. If you go up to the iron corpse, you need to be promoted to the silver corpse. It is not so easy to promote the silver corpse. Even the help of the netherworld ghost world formation is much less. Jin and Sword Xiao Yang Xinji is the strongest golden elixir of the Mingxin sect, and its body is used to make a corpse. This means that the Mingxin sect has moved away from Bei Shu. Otherwise, Li Yuanba will instantly become a must kill person for the Mingxin sect. In order to prevent Li Yuanba from getting into big trouble, Li Shiming put his natal corpse into the computer room and used plastic surgery to modify his face. It's just that this time, he couldn't cut through the bones of his original corpse, even with a third grade sword base. The process of corpse refining is to turn the corpse into a zombie. In this process, the corpse will be strengthened. And when the corpse is successfully refined, cold spiritual power will naturally be born in the body. These cold and cold spiritual powers will continuously strengthen the whole body of the refining corpse. During the transformation process, Yun Xingyi's corpse absorbed the cold and cold power of the Netherworld Ghost World Formation for three days, which is constantly transforming and strengthening itself. The third grade sword foundation uses third grade materials. But in fact, he has only recently begun to practice the foundation building chapter of the Tor Demon Secret Book, which is essentially a spiritual weapon made of third grade materials. Unless he was promoted to the Golden Elixir and practiced the Golden Elixir chapter of the Secret Book of Sword Demons, he would not be able to turn the third grade sword base into a magic weapon like existence. With no other choice, Li Shiming chose to fill it. Fortunately, during the transformation process, Iron Corpse's teeth changed. A pair of fangs grew, and his eyes turned red. In order to prevent Yun Xingyi's acquaintances from recognizing him, 
Li Shiming added some bones to his facial bones and changed Yun Xingyi's original face. These bones were found from other corpses. Although the quality is a little inferior. If they only change the appearance, they will have no impact on the original corpse. After everything was done, Li Shiming looked at the corpse in front of him, and a sense of oppression arose in his heart. Its terrifying appearance and the aura of a peak iron corpse all reveal that it is a ferocious beast. What was even more frightening was that when Li Shiming took out a spiritual weapon shield and tried to let the corpse refining creature attack, he suddenly discovered that under the claws of the corpse refining creature, there was sword intent lingering on the claws. This blow caused the spiritual imprint in the spiritual weapon shield to instantly disintegrate. He couldn't help but spit out a mouthful of blood and had a splitting headache. Fortunately, the original corpse refining is under control and will not attack continuously. Li Shiming thought of his Neza, and then looked at Li Yuanba's natal corpse in front of him, and couldn't help but sigh at the gap between them. Of course, Neza's potential is not small. After all, he is the corpse of Tianlingan, although it is still in the early stage of the Iron Corpse. With the shape of three or six heads and arms, coupled with the growth rate, I believe that his future strength will not be weak. It was Li Yuanba's destiny to refine the corpse. Li Yuanba's destiny for corpse refining was from a high starting point, and the body of Jean Dan Sword Cultivator was a rare corpse refining material. Let's call it General. It is the king among the iron corpses. Li Shiming thought about a name for this natal corpse, then rummaged around in the computer room, and finally found a corpse. The bag was handed over. Li Shiming had his own room. So this body bag was still a trophy from long ago. It's just that the general at the peak of the iron corpse succumbs to this low-quality body bag which is really a bit aggrieved. When there is a chance in the future, I will replace the general with a spiritual weapon level body bag. Li Yuanba hung the body bag on his waist and put the generals into the body bag. With the new powerful fighting force of the general, Li Shiming felt safer. Let's go explore the six-fingered sound demon's legacy together. He stood up and said with a smile, Fellow Taoist, let's go together. Li Yuanba responded with a smile. After putting away the formation flag and cleaning up the traces left behind, the two of them took up the sword light and flew away into the distance with two sword escapes. The sword escape method used by Li Shiming now is the sword escape method in the 10 direction sword cultivation technique. With his sword intention, the effect of his use is only slightly weaker than that of Li Yuanba. He can disguise himself as a swordsman, and it would be difficult for ordinary monks to tell whether he is a swordsman or not. However, his fastest escape technique is not sword escape, but the thunder escape method in the Nine Heavens Thunder Strike Technique that he practiced. But the trouble with practicing the method is that it consumes too much. His spiritual power is not enough to use the Thunder Escape method for a long time. And it is not as light as the Sword Escape method. After several days of traveling, he and Li Yuanba were no longer flying at high speed. This place was not far from the dangerous place marked on the map. And a small psychic beast was needed. The terrain became more and more familiar. And he had already seen the terrain that appeared on the Earth Sound Nya Dao Chin. That matched the map. This place is not far from the Six Fingered Sound Demon's relics. Fortunately, the Six Fingered Sound Demon did not place the relics in a dangerous area, which would make exploration much more dangerous. Li Shiming and Li Yuanba walked quickly through the mountains, and they stopped in front of a dense dwarf tree. There are extremely weak formation fluctuations. Very weird formation fluctuations. Li Shiming said softly. His spiritual thoughts continued to extend outside and the fluctuations of the formation he sensed distorted the space. This was a formation he had never been exposed to before. The dwarf tree in front of you is real if you touch it with your hands. And you can even break the branches. Everything is real. But there is another space right here. The strange formation did not affect the real dwarf trees. But they coexisted in the same place. Only then did Li Shiming realize his ignorance. There was too much knowledge in the world of immortality that he didn't know. Only by constantly improving his strength could he have the opportunity to gain access to this high in knowledge? He thought for a while and took out a drone. This drone was special because there was an extra package underneath it. He used the technique to enter the formation against the short tree, and the short tree in front of him became illusory, revealing an inward stone hole. The drone flew towards the entrance of the cave, and Li Shiming also put on an eye mask to synchronize the drone's field of view. The cave is very simple, and the stone surface has traces of time. After entering the cave entrance for almost 10 meters, we arrived at the cave hall. There is a set of tables and chairs in the hall. The spiritual light flashes on the tables and chairs. Even after many years, it can still be seen that they are made of spiritual materials 
and are judged to be of second grade quality. In other words, just the spiritual materials used for the tables and chairs in the hall can be used to make multiple spiritual weapons. You can imagine the level of luxury of the owner of this cave. Li Shiming couldn't help but feel his heart tremble when he saw the tables and chairs made of second grade spiritual materials. There is a chessboard on the table with two boxes of black and white stones. The aura is restrained. But it is a spiritual object of higher quality. Is it a magic weapon? The tremor in Li Shiming's heart turned into a jump. He almost wanted to rush into the palace and see the chessboard in black and white pieces with his own eyes to confirm their quality. But he suppressed his impulse very well. There was such a treasure in the hall of the palace. So what else was inside? Over the past few days, he has also found some information about the six-fingered sound demon. There was no news about the six-fingered sound demon more than 400 years ago. His strength was in the late Jean Dan period. And his influence in Sherwan Mountain was not small. The six-fingered sound demon is cruel and cruel. And likes to use the sound of the piano to wipe out a large number of lives. He is a true demon cultivator. Because the six-fingered sound demon killed a true disciple of the San Luo sect. The San Luo sect sent monks to hunt him down. After severely injuring him, there was no news from him again. It is rumored that the six-fingered sound demon anticipated his own fate and left many clues during his exile, hoping that the destined person would be able to obtain his inheritance. There are too many similar rumors in the world of immortality. Almost every missing monk has related rumors. So there are very few monks who truly believe in the legend. It is estimated that only monks who have personally seen the clues left by the six-fingered sound demon will believe in the existence of the six-fingered sound demon's legacy palace. Chapter 183 The Remaining Mansion The drone flew over the hall. Li Shiming thought he was going to see a certain room. But what appeared in front of him turned out to be a garden. The garden is not big. About a few hundred square meters. There is also a pond dug in the garden, in which several lotus plants are blooming. There is a flash of spiritual light on the lotus. And even the water in the pool is flashing with spiritual light. These are all spiritual beings. There are many spiritual plants planted on the ground of the garden, probably because they have not been taken care of. These spiritual plants look very messy. Above the head is the sunlight created by the formation, which falls on the spiritual plants and the pond water. This is a garden built in a cave. Li Shiming has never seen the cave of a senior monk in Northern Shu. Today he finally saw it. Several rooms were opened at the end of the garden. The drone checked and found that only one room could be entered, and the rest of the rooms had light curtains blocking the entrance. The more Li Shiming looked, the more hesitant he became. From the magic weapons in the hall, to the spiritual plants in the garden, to the only accessible room. Everything seemed to be constantly attracting the monks, who entered to go deeper. He took out a signal repeater and placed it at the entrance of the deceased's residence. He and Li Yuanba kept retreating, placing a signal repeater at regular intervals so that he could receive the drone signal and control the drone. After retreating a full 10 miles, he arranged another formation to conceal his aura and then gave the order to the drone to enter the room. The drone entered, and through the camera, he saw a withered body sitting cross-legged on the futon, looking like a corpse. The dry body has snow-white hair and wrinkled skin. There is a black guchin in front of it. Li Shiming controlled the drone and switched to the infrared thermal imaging mode. Although the temperature of the withered body was not as high as 37 degrees like that of a normal person, it was higher than the temperature that a corpse should have. If a corpse had been left in this room for many years, it would have been at the same temperature as the surrounding environment. There could be no difference in temperature. The only possibility was that this was not a corpse, but a living monk. At this time, the six-fingered sound demon was also depressed. After so many years, he finally waited for a visitor. With the method he left behind, he was able to use the Earth Mia Dao Qin to play the Mia Dao song, which shows that he is proficient in the Guqin. In addition, if he felt the Mia Dao song without dying or going crazy, then he must have a spiritual strength that is consistent with his inheritance. He used this method to select monks who could meet his requirements. The six-fingered sound demon forced himself to practice after being injured, causing him to become possessed. This is the drawback of the demonic cultivation technique. Demonic cultivation techniques can be advanced very quickly, but their foundation is far inferior to those of Taoism and Buddhism. Moreover, demonic cultivation techniques do not pay attention to cultivating the mind, which further aggravates the risk of falling into a trap. The six-fingered sound demon was originally seriously injured, and then his body was unable to move. The only thing he could use was his spiritual mind. For such a long time, he had been lingering on his last breath. 
waiting for the monk he had chosen to arrive so that he could seize his body and regain his life. He doesn't need a monk's talent to be very strong, as long as he has a strong spiritual talent. It is enough. This is the basis for him to inherit what he has learned. The Ursaun Yadao Chin has actually traveled to many places in the world of immortality. It is not that no monks have refined it. But after the refinement, not all monks can receive the Mu Dao Mia music score. Receiving the music score of the Song of Destruction requires the monk's own spirit to reach a certain level. This is the first screening. The Ursaun Yadao Chin that has not been activated by the Mia Dao Song is not even as powerful as an ordinary sonic weapon. This allows the Ursaun Mia Dao Chin to be changed hands many times. Naturally, there will be those with sufficient mental strength among them. But the monks with sufficient mental strength who obtain the music score of destroying Dao Song when refining Ursaun Mia Dao Chin died because they could not bear the destroying Dao Song and because the Ursaun Mia Dao Chin is only a spiritual weapon and will not attract the attention of Jin Den monks. The Ursaun Mia Dao Chin has changed hands many times in the world of immortality, causing the death of countless monks. As a result, it was auctioned by Yi Lingling and eventually fell into the hands of Li Shiming. The six-fingered sound demon finally waited for the monk to arrive. But with his spiritual thoughts, he discovered that it was a strange flying object. And it was not the monk he imagined. He did not use his spiritual thoughts, but just observed the drone through his spiritual thoughts. Li Shiming was also observing the six-finger sound demon. The drone scanned the six-finger sound demon's body up and down, and finally noticed the ring on the six-finger sound demon's finger. He had seen similar rings. It was only after arriving in Northern Shu that he learned that this thing was called a space ring. It was a storage device that only powerful golden elixirs could use. It was essentially a first-level magic weapon. Li Shiming thought about the situation of the six-fingered sound demon. If the six-fingered sound demon could move, how could it not go out for hundreds of years? He could tell this from the formation outside and judged it through the traces of spiritual power in the formation. This was the ability of a senior formation master. Since the six-fingered sound demon is alive and does not go out, but uses the Earth sound Mia Dao Qin to lure the monks here, there must be some reason. Almost immediately, he thought of seizing the body. He almost had his body taken away by Jin Dan Sword Xiao Yunxing. So he was particularly impressed by Jin Dan Sword Cultivator's ability to take his body. If you want to judge whether the six-fingered sound demon is really unable to move, you need to stimulate it to react and confirm that it is alive. Li Shiming thought in his mind, as the drone flew towards the six-fingered sound demon's finger, the bracket under the drone approached the space ring, as if he wanted to pick the ring off through the bracket. How could the six-fingered sound demon pretend to be dead again? All his life's accumulation and inheritance were in the space ring. His spiritual thought swept over the Guchin in front of him, and one of the strings on the Guchin vibrated making a deep sound. The drone exploded instantly. And during the process of decomposing the drone, it also ignited a small ball of explosives built into it. Naturally, this small ball of explosives is not aimed at the six-fingered sound demon, let alone this small ball of explosives. With the strength of the six-fingered sound demon, if you want to blow it up, even hundreds of times more explosives may not be effective. The purpose of this small group of explosives is to destroy an unstable 50-cubic storage bag which is what is fixed under the drone. This is a gift made by Li Shiming for the six-fingered sound demon who may be unable to move. It is definitely carefully prepared. With a targeted detonation, the 50-cubic storage bag was already severely damaged. Its unstable internal space was exploded, and the full contents of the bag poured out. The concrete numbered 130 fell from the void, submerging the six-fingered sound demon, Kuchin, and even the entire room. This 130 concrete is a byproduct of Li Shiming's research on restoring the technology of his previous life. After grinding the world's first-class water repellent rock into powder and adding it to 130 concrete, he created a new type of 130 concrete that can solidify quickly as long as it is exposed to air. The C-130 concrete that appeared quickly surprised the six-fingered sound demon, and he wanted to drive it away with his spiritual thoughts. But the problem is that the entire room is filled with new 130 concrete. Due to its rapid solidification characteristics, the new 130 does not flow out of the room, but solidifies at the door, sealing the door. Although 50 cubic meters of new 130 concrete could not completely submerge the entire room, there was absolutely no problem submerging the six-finger sound demon. His spiritual thoughts were driven away to block the side, 
and poured down from the other side, quickly submerging it in the new C-130 concrete. He wanted to use the magic Guchin. But the magic Guchin was also buried in the new 130 concrete. Without space, it was impossible to make the Guchin make sound. The new 130 concrete on the outside solidifies in contact with the space. But the concrete on the inside does not cure as quickly. The six-fingered sound demon has to face mud-like concrete. His spiritual thoughts can easily break up the concrete. But the scattered concrete is equivalent to adding an extra layer of stirring, which has no impact on the concrete at all. After all, he had been lingering for hundreds of years, and his spiritual power had long been unable to be used. After struggling for a while, he felt the fatigue of his spiritual power. A powerful late-stage golden elixir cultivator, who can forcibly sustain himself for hundreds of years despite serious physical injuries, is already a powerful figure in his cultivation. At this time, he gave up resistance. He wanted to leave a trace of strength to face the monk who designed this trap. His final blow would definitely make the monk pay the price. He was sure of this. One day, two days, three days, Li Shiming did not show up, and the new 130 concrete dried completely, forming solid concrete. The strength of the new 130 ultra-high strength concrete reaches 5 MPA, which is already stronger than granite. One square meter of surface can bear a weight of 50,000 tons. The six-fingered sound demon was trapped in such concrete. Without any air, Li Shiming sent out the drone again, and the drone entered the palace, arrived at the garden with ease, and stopped outside the room. The room was sealed with concrete, and there was no way of knowing what was going on inside. But we could imagine what the scene was like inside. Of course he knows that a monk can survive without air, even at this time. As long as he has spiritual power, he can rely on spiritual power to nourish his body and maintain his physical vitality for a period of time. Not to mention the golden elixir cultivator. It is not strange to live for another few decades. But as long as it was confirmed that the six-fingered sound demon was trapped, he could start the next step. Fellow Taoist, please stay outside. Li Shiming returned to the gate of the Ifu and said to Li Yuanba, Although it is best to let Li Yuanba enter, the operation he wants to perform cannot be performed by Li Yuanba, and only his body can enter. Li Yuanba sat cross-legged at the entrance of the cave of the Ifu, and Li Shiming walked into the cave. Li Shiming came to the hall. He didn't move anything, but kept walking back and forth in the entire hall. The six-fingered sound demon also sensed that a monk had entered, although his body was trapped. The resentment and hatred in his heart continued to rise. Even when he was at his lowest, being chased by the Sinluo sect was not as humiliating as it is now. Being trapped by a monk in the early stages of foundation building. When the monk in the early stage of foundation building gets closer, he can use his spiritual thoughts to capture the monk. The six-fingered sound demon was also extremely ruthless. Knowing that he would inevitably fall into a trap, he decisively gave up resistance just to attract Li Shiming. Li Shiming's spiritual thoughts continued to sweep through the hall, and all 190 PUs of the Z15 in the computer room space participated in the calculation to analyze the spiritual power lines in the hall. He has never come into contact with the formation here. It can be said that the formation here exceeds the limit of his knowledge to some extent. However, the formation is ever-changing and never departs from its foundation, which is based on the computing power of Z15. What he needs is to continuously provide it with a large amount of data. Li Shiming was extremely careful. He detected his spiritual thoughts and restrained his spiritual thoughts to the weakest level. Even if they were intercepted, they would not have much impact on him. Ling Yin entered the garden and began to collect data on the spiritual power lines in the garden. In his formation Starlight C, new stars continued to appear as he communicated with Z15. Each new starlight was exceptionally bright, representing higher formation knowledge. This was the longest time he had ever spent analyzing formations. He collected data through spiritual thoughts in the cave hall and participated in Z15's analysis. After 10 days, he and Z15 finally established a rough formation. French design drawing. Found it! Li Shiming said with joy. It was unknown how long it would take to fully analyze this formation. The main reason was that he did not dare to get too close to the room where the six-fingered sound demon was. This meant that the formation data he collected was not comprehensive. But what he wanted was not to completely control the formation, but to find the energy nodes of the formation. If this formation can last for hundreds or thousands of years, it must have spiritual veins. Through analysis, he found the location of the spiritual vein, just below the pool in the garden. In the following days, he continued to try to modify the formation. Finally, after another five days, 
the spiritual energy of the spiritual veins was led into the hall by him. He remodeled the formation. And the formation added a special function, which is to continuously guide the spiritual energy from other areas except the hall to the hall. And as the spiritual energy was introduced into the hall, except for the formation supporting the hall, the rest of the formations were collapsing. Without the supply of spiritual energy from the spiritual veins, the relatively dirty air from outside entered the cave, which first caused widespread death of the spiritual plants in the garden. Li Shiming didn't have time to feel sorry for those spiritual plants. Although he recognized the second grade spiritual plants among them, the loss was nothing compared to the danger to his life. The six-fingered sound demon was still insisting, but his heart was cold. Because without spiritual energy, his long-depleted body could not last long. Not to mention that there was no air, making it impossible for him to breathe, which made him have to continue to consume the spiritual power in the body sustains life. And that cunning monk didn't look anxious at all, and actually started to practice in seclusion in the hall, completely treating it as his own cave. Of course, Li Shiming was not in a hurry. He was already sure that the six-fingered sound demon's cultivation level had dropped drastically. How much combat power could his mind alone maintain when his body was unable to move? Chapter 184 Solution Li Shiming was playing with a black chess piece in his hand, which was made of some third-grade material, together with the other 180 black pieces, 180 white pieces, and the chessboard. It formed a set of magic weapons. What a pity! He sighed softly. This is not a magic weapon for setting up a formation as he imagined, but a simple hidden weapon type magic weapon. The chessboard is for defense. And the 361 black and white stones are for long-range attack and are controlled by the chessboard. He even suspected that the person who made this magic weapon did not consider fighting at all, but instead used precious third-grade materials to make this set of chess equipment. He can sense that this set of Go magic weapons has an owner. Before the owner dies, this set of Go magic weapons cannot be regarded as his. In addition, even if the six-fingered sound demon is really dead, such a set of Go magic weapons is far from usable with his initial foundation building strength. And he cannot even refine it to identify its master. Li Shiming smiled. He didn't know whether the six-fingered sound demon was arrogant, thinking that the monks who entered the palace could not erase the spiritual mark of recognition of the master in the magic weapon, or that he could take back the magic weapon at any time at such a close distance. With a sweep of his mind, he put the entire set of Go magic weapons into the computer room, and then nodded to Li Yuanba. Li Yuanba took out the body bag from his waist and threw it at Li Shiming. Li Shiming also put the body bag into the computer room. This set of Go magic weapons is a trap set by the six-fingered sound demon. With this set of Go magic weapons in his body, as long as he is close to his body, his mind can control the Go magic weapons to launch attacks. Although the attack of the Go magic weapon is not powerful, it is absolutely irresistible to the foundation building monks. Coupled with the suddenness, it is not a problem to control the incoming monks. In order to prevent the prying eyes of the monks, materials were used in the cave to isolate spiritual thoughts. Otherwise, even at this distance, he could also use his spiritual thoughts to control the Go magic weapon. The six-fingered sound demon was very cunning and calculated various possibilities. Just to be sure, he never thought that Li Shiming did not act according to common sense, but used a drone he had never seen before and brought a lot of concrete, which directly put him in a dilemma. Just as Li Shiming put the Go magic weapon into the computer room space, the six-fingered sound demon sensed that it was isolated from the Go magic weapon. The six-fingered sound demon couldn't help but feel horrified. It blocked the master's induction of the magic weapon. This was not an ordinary method. At least not something that the golden elixir could do. In the computer room space, the generals were released. And under Li Shiming's command, they attacked the Go magic weapon. Although the general is at the peak of the iron corpse, and has not yet become a silver corpse. A lot of the sword intent in his bones has been retained, making the general's attacks inherently blessed with sword intent. This sword intention is not very strong, but the six-fingered sound demon is not as strong as it was in its heyday. In addition, this go magic weapon is completely separated from the six-fingered sound demon, like water without a source, and the spiritual imprint inside it can only be attacked by the sword intention. A little less. When the Go Magic weapon was attacked and the spiritual mark in it was continuously weakened, the Six Finger Sound Demon Spirit was also undergoing shock. Although the existence of the Go Magic weapon cannot be sensed, the spiritual imprint is connected in some unknown way. When the spiritual imprint is attacked, it will also backfire on the owner. The Six Fingered Sound Demon's soul continued to feel tearing pain. 
and his already low spirit was damaged again. Li Shiming has been observing the situation in the computer room space. The spiritual imprint in the Go magic weapon was attacked by the generals hundreds of times, and the spiritual imprint was finally cleared. When he was about to take out the Go magic weapon, he heard a sharp howling sound. The sound was not heard through the ears, but was sensed by the soul. The six-fingered sound demon couldn't wait any longer. This time, the spiritual imprint of the master's recognition in his Go magic weapon was broken, and the backlash caused his spirit to be unable to maintain for much longer. If he didn't make any move, he would be completely destroyed. At this point, his only way out is to strike with all his strength, seize the monks in the hall, and forcefully seize their bodies. Maybe there is still a glimmer of hope. He no longer hesitated. His soul was placed in the golden elixir. He wanted to bring the space ring and his own magic weapon. But he had lost most of his power, and did not have much strength to take out the space ring, and the space ring buried under the concrete. The natal magic weapon. The golden elixir is a boat. And the golden elixir flies out of the mouth. The new 130 concrete, which is harder than granite on the outside, is as easy to pass through as tofu in front of the golden elixir. The golden elixir was not left in excess. Every moment the soul left the body on the golden elixir. The remaining vitality was consumed. The golden elixir passed through the concrete and flew into the garden. He sensed the situation in the garden. Most of the flowers and plants he cultivated had withered due to loss of aura. This increased his hatred for Li Shiming. And the golden elixir flew towards the hall. The wall covered with solid and strengthening runes was easily penetrated by the golden elixir, which entered the hall. Li Shiming saw the golden elixir, a very familiar golden elixir. He stepped back and activated the formation in front of him. He calculated all the possibilities, but he did not expect that the golden elixir monk could use the golden elixir to leave the body to conduct long-range attacks. This was due to his lack of understanding of the golden core cultivator. The main reason was that the golden core cultivator's ability exceeded his understanding of the world. Jean Dan ran headlong into the formation. But veteran Jean Dan monks like Six Finger Sound Demon had learned almost all of the miscellaneous subjects over the long years. At the level that the Six Fingered Sound Demon can access. Even if he has learned part of the formation knowledge. Its depth is far beyond the formation knowledge that Li Shiming has access to. The golden elixir flew like a swimming fish in the formation. Constantly passing through the layers of defense according to the spiritual power lines of the formation. Approaching Li Shiming. The six-fingered sound demon did not use his spiritual thoughts. His spiritual thoughts were too weak. He needed to use golden elixir to suppress Li Shiming and Li Yuanba before using his spiritual thoughts to seize the body. Although he did not use his spiritual thoughts. The six-fingered sound demon still sensed Li Yuanba's situation. Li Yuanba's qualifications were obviously much better than Li Shiming's. And coupled with his obvious swordsmanship characteristics, the six-finger sound demon shifted his target to Li Yuanba almost instantly. At the same time, the six-fingered sound demon's control over Li Shiming turned into killing him. Since Li Shiming had no value, he would be killed to vent his hatred. Jean Dan was getting closer and closer to Li Shiming. And Li Shiming felt a strong murderous intention. The formation in front of Li Shiming only slowed down for a moment and the terrifying aura of the golden elixir made him almost lose control of his mind. Just when the golden elixir was still 50 centimeters away from him, a figure suddenly appeared. It was he who summoned the general from the computer room space. The general grabbed the golden elixir with his sharp claws. With a boom, the general flew backwards and hit the wall more than 10 meters away, leaving a deep hole. The difference in strength between golden elixir and foundation establishment is really huge. The general strength is at the peak of the foundation building stage. And to a certain extent, he even has a hint of the power of the golden elixir. But when he faced the golden elixir of the golden elixir monk, it was bounced away like a baby. Of course, the six-fingered sound demon felt uncomfortable. That trace of sword intent was introduced into the golden elixir. Although it was quickly expelled by the golden elixir itself, it still affected his soul to some extent. The stinging sensation of the sword's intention directly affected his soul and the pain caused him to temporarily lose control of the golden elixir. At this moment, Li Shiming stretched out his hand and pressed it on the golden elixir. He did not use any spiritual power, but simply touched it with his hands. His hand had not yet come into contact with the golden elixir, but when it was very close, the finger bones were directly broken by the power of the golden elixir. Only his only thumb successfully came into contact with the golden elixir. This thumb was the sword bone that Jean Dan sword cultivator Yuan Shingi replaced for him. The moment his thumb came into contact with the Jean Dan, with a thought in his mind, 
The gene then disappeared out of thin air. The golden elixir disappeared, leaving only the soul of the six-fingered sound demon in the void. When Li Shiming put away the golden elixir, he did not want to collect it together with the soul. The computer room space received his consciousness and only collected the golden elixir. The six-fingered sound demon soul had just woken up from the sting of the sword and then found that the golden elixir that the soul was riding on was missing. And even his soul could not sense the location of the golden elixir. A weird soul body flew out, carrying ten weak soul bodies, and pounced on the soul body of the six-fingered sound demon. This is the main spirit and the ten divided souls that Li Shiming practiced in the spirit controlling and soul dividing technique. He doesn't know what the remaining six-fingered sound demon soul body has. He can only use all the means at hand to attack the six-fingered sound demon. Soul. The main spirit which has devoured the souls of tens of thousands of sea beasts, as well as many foundation-building souls, is not embarrassed at all when facing the soul of the six-fingered sound demon. The main spirit is born to devour souls. The soul is the food of the main spirit. This is the instinct of the main spirit engraved deep in the soul body. Even if only the soul of the six-fingered sound demon is left, it is still an extremely terrifying existence. The ten souls were swept away by the divine thought from the soul of the six-fingered sound demon and they turned into fragments and disappeared. Only the main soul was blown away by a divine thought and was not destroyed on the spot. In this short period of time, Li Shiming, the Nine Palace Sword formation had flown out, trapping the soul of the Six-Fingered Sound Demon in the formation. He was also seizing the time to prepare the Thunder Strike technique. At the same time, he opened his mouth, Buddha Sound Lotus, and emitted the Diamond Sutra, Buddha Sound. This is also the technique that has the greatest impact on the soul. Li Yuanba took action, and his sword light shot towards the soul of the six-fingered sound demon with an indomitable sword intent. The general climbed out of the wall without any injuries on his body, showing his strong defense. It rushed towards the battlefield and also launched an attack on the soul of the six-fingered sound demon. All die! The soul of the six-fingered sound demon uttered a soul sound, and then a divine thought swept out. And Li Yuanba, the generals, and Li Shiming were all knocked away heavily. Even though blood spilled from Li Shiming's mouth when he was knocked away, he still did not stop chanting the Diamond Sutra in his mouth. It was Z-15 who controlled. But a sound lotus. Not him. Li Shiming and Li Yuanba were all seriously injured by the full blow of the six-fingered sound demon soul. But the general was still uninjured. After this blow, the soul of the six-fingered sound demon let out a sharp cry unwillingly. He found that the last full-strength blow did not kill the two early-stage foundation-building monks. At this time, he had long given up hope of seizing the body. At this point, his soul was severely damaged and he had lost the ability to seize the body. But he exhausted his last spiritual thoughts and still failed to kill his enemy, which made him extremely unwilling. Whether it is Li Shiming or Li Yuanba, their defensive power is extremely strong. Although they have not practiced the foundation building chapter of the body training method for a long time, their foundation is so strong that they surpass many foundation building skills during the Qi Chain stage. The constitution of a monk. The final blow of the six-fingered sound demon spirit was enough to make ordinary foundation building monks die on the spot. But it only caused controllable injuries to them. Due to the long-term exposure of the six-fingered sound demon soul to the outside world. And the diamond sutra, uttered by Li Shiming in the form of But a sound lotus. He could no longer maintain the existence of his soul. The soul became more and more desolate and finally dissipated into the void. The Diamond Sutra in Li Shiming's mouth stopped, and he and Li Yuanba looked at each other, both showing horror. After using so many methods, the ship almost capsized. If I had known this, it would have been better to use a large amount of explosives to blow up the cave. But in that case, I'm afraid there won't be much left. Greed really kills people! Li Shiming sighed softly, but knowing that there are treasures and inheritance of late-stage Jean Dan monks here, if there is no dispute, why should we practice? It is better to go back and live a stable life. Along the way, he has become stronger through constant competition. The injuries on his body were mainly broken bones. He reconnected the bones, and the injuries in his inner abdomen slowly recovered. For foundation-building monks, especially body-refining monks, this injury can heal on its own within a few days. Restore. The most important thing is that the damage caused by the strike of the divine mind did not leave the golden elixir monk's spiritual power in the body. Otherwise, the difficulty of recovery would be increased countless times. Li Yuanba's situation is similar to Li Shiming's, and he also needs several days to recover. 
Li Shiming directed the uninjured generals to repair the cave formation and restore the original formation at the same time. Both he and Li Yuanbo were injured and would not be able to fight for a short time. The formation of the Six Finger Sound Demon Legacy Mansion once again covered the entire cave, and everything seemed to be back to where it started. Two days later, Li Shiming finally regained his ability to move. He led his generals outside the Six Finger Sound Demon's room. The general stretched out his sharp claws and began to clean up the concrete. The hard concrete was easily grasped by the general. Li Yunba stood aside and watched the general's actions, mainly to prevent important items from being damaged. Li Shiming walked into the next room and checked the situation in the cave. This room is a bedroom, decorated like a mortal's bedroom, with a bed made of spiritual wood, a quilt made of spiritual silk used to make robes, and pillows made of spiritual jade. All the decorations in the entire room are made of second-grade materials. This level of luxury can only be achieved by jeaned in monks. Li Shiming scanned it with his spiritual thoughts. And all the items were collected into the storage bracelet, whether they are used as decorations, changed into spiritual weapons, or sold in the future. Their value is not small. Chapter 185 Harvest Li Shiming didn't know how rare the opportunity was to be able to clean a golden elixir palace alone. Normally, almost no monks would explore the ruins alone. The main reason is that the exploration of the ruins requires cooperation to make it safer. In other words, the six-fingered sound demon did this intentionally and wanted to lure a single monk here. The real palace is not so easy to open. And there are also methods to open the formation. The first level is to break the formation. The formation in the Jean Den monk's cave cannot be easily broken by the foundation establishment monk. After that, they have to face the self-defense means left by the Jean Den monks in the cave. The six-fingered sound demon did not leave any self-defense means in the cave because he had other ideas. After all these are passed, after years of baptism in a relic palace, the treasures that can be retained in the end are very limited. Monks are not the kind of people who can make selfless sacrifices. Many times, the deceased's palace is the monk's grave. You can't have someone dig up the grave and send gifts. Therefore, exploring the relics is a task full of dangers. And Li Shiming's exploration this time is actually extremely dangerous. The second room was the study room. Li Shiming got a set of second grade desks and chairs, and a large number of jade slips, among which there were very few jade slips on martial arts, and mainly jade slips on various travel notes and knowledge. The third room is the warehouse, which contains a lot of spiritual materials. Unfortunately, there are no third grade spiritual materials. They are all second grade spiritual materials. This warehouse didn't look like the warehouse of a Jean Dan monk at all which made him extremely disappointed. The second grade spiritual materials were very messy and unorganized. He suspected that they were all trophies and were just thrown here. Moreover, if some spiritual materials are not properly stored, their spirituality will be greatly lost and their value will be greatly reduced. This is normal. These spiritual materials have been left here for at least a few hundred years. Even with the protection of the formation, they cannot stop the slow loss of spirituality of the spiritual materials. Afterwards. He went to the garden to collect the lotus flowers together with the roots. He used a jade box specially designed for collecting elixirs, which could greatly preserve the spirituality of the lotus flowers. Lotus has a calming effect on the monks. Planted in the cave, it can also freshen the air in the cave. This cave has not been open for hundreds of years, and the environment inside can still be maintained like this, which has the effect of a second-grade lotus. Li Shiming cleaned up the cave and took away everything he could. I don't know if the spiritual veins here are due to time issues. Or the original quality of the spiritual veins is not high. The spiritual veins here are only high-grade spiritual veins. And they are not as good as the spiritual veins at Wei's residence. Of course, the most likely problem is that there is something wrong with the spiritual vein itself. Otherwise the six-fingered sound demon would not have chosen this place as its cave. He will seal the cave. Which will give him another place to stay. Returning to the original room. The general had almost cleaned the room, and the body of the six-fingered sound demon and the black guchin on the ground were all revealed. Li Shiming stepped forward and picked up the black guchin. He swept his spiritual thoughts across the guchin. The original spiritual mark inside had long since disappeared, but because it was a natal magic weapon, he could still feel the spiritual traces on the black guchin. This kind of spiritual trace is almost impossible to remove, unless it is approved by the six-fingered sound demon himself. Any monk using the black guchin will not be able to exert 100% of its power, and can only exert half of its power at most. The natal magic weapon is contaminated with too much original golden elixir aura, 
and the original golden elixir breath is almost integrated with the natal magic weapon. Of course, if you have the perseverance and spend hundreds of years slowly driving them away, you might have a chance to increase the power of the magic weapon. But almost no monks do this. If they have this time and energy, it is better to focus on other magic weapons with greater potential. Putting away the black Guchin. His spiritual thoughts swept through the six-fingered sound demon's fingers and took off the space ring. When he observed the fingers of the six-fingered sound demon, he discovered that each hand had six fingers. No wonder he was named the six-fingered sound demon due to the death of the owner of the space ring. His spiritual thoughts invaded without any resistance. The space inside the space ring is huge, 100 meters long, wide and high, the same size as his other space ring. But there were very few things inside, so the first thing Li Shiming paid attention to was naturally the jade slips. Two golden jade slips are placed alone in one place. These are the only jade slips in the space. Fortunately, the quality of the golden jade slips was the highest among the jade slips he had ever seen, which made up for the lack of quantity. Immortal Turtle Breathing Technique is a life-preserving technique. Its function is to allow monks to live longer in a static state, even beyond the shackles of their original lifespan. This technique has no effect on combat power, and even its effect is not very attractive to ordinary monks. The static state means that you can't practice other exercises without eating or drinking. You can only practice the Immortal Turtle Breathing Technique to stay alive. Practicing the Immortal Turtle Breathing Technique will not improve your strength at all. The only thing that increases during the period of an activity is your lifespan. Li Shiming thought about the state of the six-fingered sound demon and estimated that it was most likely that he survived by practicing the Immortal Turtle Breathing Technique. The second golden jade slip did not disappoint him. The Secret Book of Tianin was the inheritance of the Six-Fingered Sound Demon. What he can currently read is only the foundation-building chapter. The Secret Book of Tianin records how to cultivate Tianin's spiritual power and use it to perform a secret method called Stealing the Sound of Heaven. There are also more than 10 poems with different functions. Sheet Music he has read the foundation building chapter, and he can be 100% sure that the secret book of Tianin is not a demonic cultivation method at all, but an authentic Taoist sound cultivation method. And the sound of stealing heaven is not only used for piano sounds, but can be applied to any musical instrument. And the power of sound of stealing heaven can be exerted. Of course, the secret book of Tianin records the six fingered sound demon's experience in using the piano. If you use the Guchin to exert the power of stealing the sound of heaven, you no longer need to explore on your own, but can just learn it directly. Li Shiming frowned slightly. His talent was not good, and the three spiritual roots made him practice very slowly. If he were to take another minor in sound cultivation, his cultivation speed would be even slower, which would be extremely detrimental to his development. At first, he thought that the six-finger sound demon's inheritance was just a secret technique using sound waves. Who would have thought that it turned out to be a sound cultivation technique? At least in the short term. He will not learn the secret book of Tianin. As for Li Yuanba, let alone Li Yuanba, it is already special for the sword cultivator to bring a refined corpse. With the addition of Yin cultivator, Li Jinxiao will become even more powerful. Far. The two golden jade slips were put aside, and his attention was focused on a pile of jade boxes. Based on his experience, the value of spiritual objects that can be contained in jade boxes is extremely precious. What is precious to the six-fingered sound demon is even more unimaginable to Li Shiming. Then something embarrassing happened. He opened each jade box and felt the spiritual energy overflowing, but could not recognize the contents. From the quality of the spiritual energy, he could tell that these were third-grade elixirs, and these jade boxes themselves were spiritual weapons that could preserve the elixirs inside for a long time. Even though he didn't know these elixirs, he still felt that he was rich. The wealth of the monks in the late Jin Dan period was really rich. Next to a pile of jade boxes are two pieces of spiritual ore. Third grade spiritual ore. Unprocessed spiritual ore. Which is the basic material for making magic weapons. Li Shiming still couldn't recognize the two spiritual minds. Which made him understand that he lacked too much knowledge. This is the result of him getting all the collections in Wei's library. Of course. After he learns the jade slips in the six-finger sound demon study, his accumulation of knowledge will increase a lot. The last item was a golden coffin that he couldn't even open. And when his spiritual mind came closer, he instinctively felt fear, as if something terrible was sealed inside. This was the entire collection of the six-finger sound demon, 
Li Shiming found that there were no elixirs or spiritual stones in it. Not even a low-grade spiritual stone. In fact, over the years, the six-fingered sound demon had already consumed all the elixirs and spiritual stones. If the elixirs had not been processed before they could be taken, he would have also used all the third-grade elixirs, putting the space ring into the computer room. His spiritual mind scanned the body of the six-fingered sound demon. He quickly shook his head. The muscles in the six-fingered sound demon's body had atrophied to the point where they were almost invisible. The entire body was dry and thin, and even the bones and joints had become rigid due to long-term inactivity. This body has no value, and even cultivating and refining the body cannot be carried out. Refining corpses requires the quality of the corpse itself to be transformed. For example, the corpse of the six-fingered sound demon has almost no muscle tissue. So how can it be transformed into a refined corpse? Fellow Taoist, I've given the body to you. Maybe you can still use it, Li Shiming said to Li Yuanba. Fellow Taoist, I'll put it away then, Li Yuanba replied with a smile as he put the six-fingered sound demon's body into the storage bag. Li Yuanba is already preparing to join the Sanluo sect, and the six-fingered sound demon was hunted down by the Sanluo sect back then. Maybe the body of the six-fingered sound demon will be of some use at a critical moment. After sealing the cave again, the formations here provided Li Shiming with a lot of formation knowledge, especially in terms of space isolation, which allowed him to see a new world. Leaving the cave, the two used sword escape to follow the guidance of the map and headed towards the Sanluo sect. It was still extremely chaotic along the way. The monks in every part of the Hundred Thousand Mountains were fighting for resources and profit. The entire Hundred Thousand Mountains seemed to be shrouded in a violent atmosphere. Fellow Taoist, let's say goodbye. You put this thing away and be careful. Li Shiming took out the Sun Luo Ling from the computer room and handed it over and said, This place is still a thousand miles away from the Sun Luo sect. But if we move forward, we will enter the coverage area of the Sun Luo sect's formation. If we then take the Sun Luo order out of the computer room, such a sudden appearance will cause great trouble. Besides, the front is relatively safe. When we are thousands of miles away from the Sun Luo sect's headquarters, there are much less conflicts between the monks. The monks here seem to fall in love with each other all of a sudden, without the violence in the distance. Fellow Taoist, please be careful too, Li Yuanba said after taking the Sun Luo Ling. Li Shiming's figure turned into sword light and turned away, while Li Yuanba put away the Sun Luo Ling and watched his figure disappear. Monk in front, stop this kid. Just when Li Yuanba turned around and was about to move forward, a voice came from behind. When he turned around to look, he saw that a young man covered in blood and missing an arm was approaching quickly, with more than a dozen monks chasing after him. The young man who lost his arm looked at Li Yuanba warily. Seeing that Li Yuanba had no intention of taking action, he turned his gaze to the ground in front of him. When he saw a stone tablet on the ground, he couldn't help but reveal an excited smile on his face. The young man's speed increased again. He rushed to the stone monument and stopped, looking sarcastically at the dozen or so monks chasing after him. Li Yuanba had no intention of intervening and walked past the stone monument. When he passed the stone monument, he saw the writing of Sun Luo's sect on the stone monument. Damn it! Let him go to the Sun Luo sect! No! That monk also has the Sun Luo Ling in his hand! A monk who caught up to him held a compass in his hand and said in annoyance as he looked at the young man and Li Yuanba. But even if the young man and Li Yuanba were only a short distance away from them, they had no intention of taking action. No monk dares to break the rules of Sanluo's sect, at least not in Shirwanda Mountain. The young man also heard what the pursuer said and couldn't help but look at Li Yuanba. After seeing the copper mask on Li Yuanba's face and that his whole body was clean and without any damage, jealousy flashed in his eyes. He got the Sanluo order and all his relatives died to protect him. He escaped here at the cost of his own life. He paid too much. Li Yuanba also received the Sanluo order so how could he come to the Sun Luo sect without any damage at all? This is so unfair. Li Yuanba didn't know what the young man was thinking. After observing the stone monument, he saw the pursuer behind him stop and realized that passing the stone monument was a safe place. He was also relieved that he didn't need to worry that any monks would cause trouble for him. Thinking of this, the golden light sword flew out from his body, turning him into a sword light and flying towards the front. When the young man saw him leaving, he was afraid that he would steal his opportunity. He glanced at the pursuers hatefully, with the hatred in his eyes, like a bloodthirsty snake. He memorized the appearance of his enemy, turned around and ran towards the mountain gate of Saluo's sect with all his strength. Some of the dozen monks shuddered secretly, 
Some held the magic weapon tightly and suppressed the idea of silencing them. And some looked at the young man with great disdain. Some Lua sect is a major sect of demon cultivators. But Shaman Min is not as gloomy as imagined. The mountain gate of Sanluo sect is composed of 12 peaks. The mountains are full of green, with white clouds passing by, and birds flying in the mountains from time to time. Li Yuanba stood outside the mountain gate. In front of him was a huge stone tablet with two blood red characters, stop, written on it. In the strokes of these two characters, there seemed to be countless figures howling and rolling, describing the taboos here. The meaning of the two words is self evident. The blood and soul of those who dare not stop will be added to the words on the stone tablet. He took the Saluo order in his hand and waited for the Saluo sex reaction. The young man from behind arrived not long after. His face was pale. In order to catch up with Li Yuanba, he worsened his injuries. The resentment in his eyes, when he looked at Li Yuanba, became even more profound. Chapter 186 Questioning the Heart You two come with me! Li Yuanba waited for about an hour before a foundation building monk came out glanced at the two of them, and said in a deep voice. The foundation building monk did not use any spells or magic weapons, but just walked in front, which forced Li Yuanba and the young man to follow together. Before entering the gate, you are not allowed to use any spells or magic weapons in the mountain gate. You are not allowed to leave the restricted area, and you are not allowed to fight. Anyone who dares to disobey the order will die. The San Luisex foundation building monk said calmly, after walking this way for about two hours. We arrived at a simple house. This place did not even reach the twelve peaks, but was only at the foot of the mountain. This is where you will live. In ten days, you will complete the matters of joining the sect. The foundation building monk of the San Luo sect confessed and left. Li Yuanba walked towards the house. The house was a large one, about three hundred square meters, and it looked quite big, but there were quite a few monks sitting inside. He counted, including himself. There were thirty-eight monks here. Most of them are foundation building monks. Even the young man before was in the foundation building stage. And there were only a few Chengchi monks. Li Yuanba felt that the San Luo Ling was not so precious. Each of the monks here had a San Luo Ling in their hands. Young, there's a newcomer here again. The thin faced foundation establishment monk said with a smile. Li Yuanba ignored him and found a place to sit down. There is no furniture in the room, which means that the monk's physique is extremely strong and he can use cultivation instead of sleep. So the conditions are bearable. The copper mask on his face and the sharp aura on his body prevented the thin-faced foundation building monk from daring to say anything to him, but instead focused his attention on the boy with the broken arm. A severed limb is not a serious injury to a monk. As long as there is a severed limb regeneration elixir of the same level, the severed limb can be regenerated, but not to mention the value of the elixir for regenerating severed limbs. It will take a long time for the new arms to grow back after the severed limbs are regenerated to reach the level of the original arms. This will greatly delay the monk's practice time. And the efficiency of practicing the main exercises will be greatly reduced when a limb is broken. This is because the main exercises require spiritual power to move the whole body. And the lack of an arm is not good for the exercises. There are flaws. It seems that you are being hunted very miserably. I have a second grade amputated limb regeneration pill here. As long as you give me the 500 contribution points after joining the sect. That's it, said the thin-faced foundation building monk with a smile, said to the young man. Only then did Li Yuanba realize why the monk was acting like this. It turned out that he was trying to seek the welfare of the young man's new disciple. No need, the young man replied coldly. He looked at Li Yuanba again, jealousy flashing in his eyes. The monk who entered the room together, Li Yuanba, was not pestered by the thin-faced foundation building monk. But he was. He did not find the reason from himself. Seeing that the sales were not successful, the thin-faced foundation building monk sat back in his seat boredly. In the next ten days, many more monks arrived, bringing the number of monks in the room to forty-eight. At noon on the tenth day, an oppressive atmosphere enveloped the room, and then a golden elixir monk in black robes appeared in the air outside the room. Forty-eight monks quickly walked out of the room and bowed to the golden elixir monk in the air. You hold this a little order. I don't care what your previous status was. As long as you pass the next heart-searching session, you can become a disciple of the Saluo sect. The Golden Pill Monk said in a deep voice without giving his name. It has been a long time since we received the monks holding the Saluo order. And the Jin Den monks have long been accustomed to the purposes of many of them. At this time, he did not regard the monks here as disciples of the sect. So he naturally saved the step of introducing himself. After hearing the heart-searching session, 
many of the 48 monks had hesitation in their eyes. But at this time, they could no longer be allowed to withdraw. This is the Samluo sect, one of the most famous demon sects in the northern Shu continent. And one cannot come and go at will. The golden elixir monk waved his hand. And a medium-sized flying boat landed in front of the monks. Since the use of spells and magical weapons was expressly prohibited. All the monks used their bodies to jump onto the flying boat. The golden elixir monk controlled the medium-sized flying boat and headed towards a mountain peak. The flying boat took the journey and quickly reached the destination. This is a palace. With the sign of the heavenly demon palace hanging on the palace. The golden elixir monk waved his hand with a cold expression. The medium-sized flying boat disappeared. And the 48 monks landed in the open space in front of the demon palace. Follow me into the heavenly demon palace. Jean Dan monk ordered as he walked towards the entrance of the heavenly demon palace. Li Yuanba entered the heavenly demon palace together with other monks. After entering, there was a main hall with hundreds of stone tablets erected in it, which looked extremely strange. Li Yuanba saw countless vague figures watering in the clouds at the top of the hall. From time to time, a prying face appeared. There was nothing on that face except for the eyes. The eyes were so dark that it made people scalp numb and affected their mind. Seems to want to explore the darkness in the eyes. He quickly withdrew his gaze. If he hadn't been alert, he might have been distracted. His reaction was fast enough. Many other monks were observing the top of the hall like him. But they did not have time to look back. You can't blame these monks. Monks are extremely vigilant about things around them and need to pay attention to everything around them at all times. This is a good habit. But sometimes it can harm monks. That's a picture of the devil. If you want to die, keep looking at it. The golden pill cultivator said at this time. His voice was not loud. But it made all the monks who were attracted to the darkness wake up. However, there were three monks who, perhaps due to mental weakness, did not sustain themselves until the golden core monk reminded them. Following the golden core monk's voice, their bodies fell heavily to the ground. And their lives had disappeared. This is the first and last time to remind you. Each of you find a stone monument and stand in front of it. The golden core cultivator said in a deep voice without even looking at the three corpses. The monks each found a stone tablet and stood still. Li Yuanba looked at the stone tablet in front of him. Due to the previous situation, he looked at it very carefully and was ready to look away at any time. What is engraved on the stone tablet is a faceless humanoid creature with only eyes. Looking at it makes people feel chilly. Ask your sincerity! The voice of the golden elixir monk sounded. The stone tablet in front of Li Yuanba flashed with light and the faceless humanoid creature seemed to come to life, flying on the stone tablet. He couldn't help but think of the reason why he joined the Saluo sect, which was to obtain more resources and more knowledge. Even if he had some selfish motives, it was just to obtain the third grade and five element formation materials. In his heart, he has no ill feelings towards Saluo sect, let alone joining Saluo sect for any ulterior purpose. So the flashing light of the stone tablet in front of him slowly dimmed, and the faceless humanoid creature turned into a statue again. It was normal on his side. But screams could be heard continuously in the hall. A foundation building monk in front of him was being grabbed by the faceless humanoid creature in the stone tablet. And his soul was pulled into the stone tablet amidst screams. One Xinjian! Jean Den monk continued with a smile at this time. After this sound, the stone tablet lit up again. Li Yuanba only felt that he was in a palace. With countless beauties standing beside him and fine wine and food being served to him. A famous general reported the results of the war to him. A large amount of land was occupied by his army. He reached the ultimate in the world. The illusion not only affected his perception, but also affected his mind, making him almost think that what was real existed and was happening in front of him. But he is different. He has another consciousness connected to Li Shiming. To him, these illusions are more like a movie or a play. He easily broke away from the illusion and the stone tablet in front of him became dim again. This time, there were many monks with silly smiles on their faces, and their souls were dragged into the stone tablet by faceless humanoid creatures. Sake an oath to the heavenly demon! The Jin Den monk looked at the remaining monks and continued. Join the Saluo sect and never betray the sect. Take this as your oath, and the heavenly demon will learn from it. Never betray the sect. Take this as an oath, and the devil will learn from it. The monks swore in unison. Li Yuanba felt that after he uttered the oath, his soul seemed to be locked by a certain being in the stone tablet in front of him. He had a feeling that if he was unable to fight against the demon in the stone tablet, then the demon would come to him if he betrayed the clan. So, 
He didn't know if he could avoid the demon's lock by hiding in Li Shiming's computer room. But he would never be able to leave the computer room. However, he did not regret joining the Sun Luo sect. Because of the relationship between the Sun Luo order, the Sun Luo sect would not investigate his past. This is something that all major sects may not be able to do. He looked around and saw that there were only six surviving monks around him. The young man who entered the sect with him miraculously survived. And there was also a Changi stage monk who also survived. It seems that this question of mind has nothing to do with cultivation, but affects the soul and spirit. Very good. I am Elder Lu from the Outer Sect. The six of you will become disciples of Sun Luo Sect. Please follow me, Elder Lu said with a smile. If it weren't for the fact that there were more than 40 corpses here, Elder Lu's smile could really be considered kind and kind. This time there were few people, and there was no need for a medium-sized flying boat. Elder Lu took six people and flew directly. You must not mention the matter of entering the sect to anyone. Otherwise it will be regarded as betraying the sect. And you cannot bear the price of betraying the sect. Elder Lu explained while flying. The six people naturally understood the price of betraying the sect. And they remembered the scene of the demon, snatching souls very clearly. Li Yuanba was even more horrified by the way Sun Luo's sect selected its disciples. He was afraid that if any other sect tried to break into the Sun Luo's sect, they would fall into the heavenly demon palace before they could join the sect. The monks who are not mentally strong will also have their souls devoured by demons. The remaining monks, not to mention their talents, are definitely the toughest mentally among the ordinary monks. Elder Lu flew to a place, and after leaving the only Changchi stage monk to a foundation building monk, he took the remaining five foundation building monks to the Chaoyun main peak hall at the outer gate. You come in with me. The others are waiting outside, Elder Lu said, pointing to the foundation building monk, one of the five. After a while, the foundation building monk came out and put on a black shirt, which was the standard robe of the San Luo sect. He nodded to a few people with a happy face and left. Another person was called in, and he came out shortly after, also put on a black shirt and left. The third person called was Li Yuanba, who walked into the room. Tell me what you are good at, and I will assign you a position, Elder Lu said with a smile. These monks are all foundation building monks. Once they enter the sect, they are monks who can directly go on missions. Now that the sect is expanding, it needs a large number of foundation building monks. This is why the sect releases a large number of Sun Luo orders. Sun Luo sect doesn't care about the chaos in Shirwanda Mountain. As long as there is no involvement from the major sects, this chaos can be easily suppressed. Sun Luo sect now has a serious shortage of foundation building monks. It has occupied a vast area and is asking for manpower everywhere. And every monk who arrived at the San Luo sect with the San Luo order has experienced a lot of fighting and countless interceptions. They are either amazingly powerful or extremely lucky. No matter which one they are. They are all talents that the sect urgently needs. I'm not good at anything. The only thing I'm good at is fighting. I'm a swordsman. Li Yuanba bowed and replied. I need to investigate you. But you can refuse. Otherwise your score will be very low. Elder Lu said with a look in his eyes. The sect attaches great importance to the secrets of monks. Otherwise, if a lot of demon cultivators spy on each other's secrets, the sect will be in chaos. Okay. Li Yuanba nodded in agreement. Elder Lu's spiritual thoughts swept across his body. And Elder Lu, who had a secret technique, quickly grasped his situation. Metallic heavenly spiritual root. You have also practiced powerful body refining methods. You have also mastered the sword intention. And you have learned the inheritance of sword cultivation. If you hadn't passed the question of heart, I would have doubted which major sect you came from. Elder Lu he was slightly startled. Then shook his head and sighed. Although the Tianling roots of various major sects are not uncommon. Tianling roots are definitely not as common as Chinese cabbage. Even if it occupies a huge mountain of 100,000. The number of heavenly spiritual roots discovered in each immortal ascension conference is at most single digits. It is often the case that not even one heavenly spiritual root is found in a mortal ascension conference. The robbery of Tianlingen is really too serious. Not to mention the small sects and small forces. The various cultivating families are eager for the high-spirited seedlings and use various means to intercept them before the San Luo sect's immortal ascension conference. Even within the San Luo sect, there are monks who will attack the Tianling root seedlings and refine them into refined corpses to become their own powerful combat power. San Luo sect itself is a demon sect and corpse refining is one of the important sources of combat power for the demon sect. The sect cannot completely prohibit attacking Tianlingen. 
only after the heavenly spiritual root discovered on the spot at the Immortal Ascension Conference was known to the sect. No force dared to make any further decisions. But even so, in the end, the Tianling roots that Sun Luo's sect could obtain were very few. As for Li Yu and Ba's situation, it is completely the optimal training method customized by the large sect based on the Tianlian. This is not something that ordinary casual cultivators can do. Chapter 187 Entering the Sect The sect will not spy on your secrets. Swordsmanship is indeed good. Our sect also has several swordsmanship inheritances. You can redeem them when you have enough contribution points. Of course, before redeeming, you should first inquire about the ones you practice. Comparing the sword cultivation techniques. The contribution points of the sword cultivation inheritance are extremely high, Elder Lu said with a smile. Li Yuanba felt a lot relieved. At least Sun Luo's sect was as he imagined, and did not ask about his past. Nor did he ask him to reveal his secrets such as his major skills. This is the magnanimity of a large sect. I believe that Sun Luo's sect must have many powerful techniques, and will not care about this little thing about Li Yuanba. And in the future, if Li Yuanba truly integrates into the sect, it is entirely possible for him to voluntarily incorporate his practice skills into the sect, thus exchanging a large number of contribution points. Thank you, Elder Lu, for your advice. Li Yuanba bowed and thanked him. Foundation building monks who join the sect have 500 contribution points. This is an opportunity for you to change your practice. This sect's practice is not comparable to casual practice. In addition, this is an identity jade disc, which records just go to the place you are assigned and just go. This is a magic robe, a super great offensive magic weapon. As a sword cultivator, I think you won't need it. So I'll give it to you in exchange for 50 contribution points. This is the nameplate of your cave. Elder Lu took out a storage bag, then put each spiritual object into the storage bag and introduced it to Li Yuanba. Li Yuanba took the storage bag, put on the black robe first, bowed and stepped out. He saw the jealous eyes of the young man again. He was a little confused. Why was he hated again when he entered? How did he know that he had been in there longer than the previous two monks? And it was very likely that he had obtained more resources when the young man thought about it. He took out the nameplate of the cave, which marked the location of the cave. He was in a hurry to go to the cave and ignored the young man. The cave is located on the mountainside of Chalion Peak. When he arrived, he saw many caves dotted on the mountainside. These caves are not developed casually. They need to be developed in accordance with the direction of the spiritual veins. Otherwise, the caves cannot import spiritual energy. And how can the monks practice? Li Yuanba's cave is at the upper part of the mountainside. Normally, that location is the best among the caves on the mountainside. The closer you get to the top of the mountain, the more abundant the spiritual energy becomes. Even if the spiritual energy is of the same quality, there will be subtle differences. He opened his cave with the identity jade plate and inspected the cave. The cave is very large. And the treatment for the foundation building disciples of the major sects in Northern Shu is indeed extraordinary. The spiritual veins in the cave are high-grade spiritual veins, which should be separated from the main spiritual veins. Its spiritual energy concentration has almost reached the extreme of high-grade spiritual veins. The cave is divided into a living room, a training room, a practice room, a warehouse, and a study room, and a spiritual spring is introduced. He doesn't know whether this spiritual spring is available in every cave or only a few caves. If it was the latter, he owed Elder Lu a favor. The space of the training room is a hundred square meters. This space is protected by an extremely thick defense layer. It can easily withstand the foundation building spells as long as you don't use all your strength. Although 100 square meters is not that big, having such a space in the cave means that a lot of exercises can be completed directly in the cave. He was extremely satisfied with the cave. This place was much better than the cave he imagined. He took out his identity jade disc again and wanted to see where it was assigned. In the outer war department. As expected, the place he was assigned to was focused on combat. It is estimated that the missions he will be able to take on in the future will be combat-related missions. From then on, he was a member of the San Luo Sect's Outer Sect War Department. His identity jade disc contained the tasks issued by the Outer Sect War Department. It was mandatory to perform first-level tasks three times a year, and the rest of the tasks were subject to the monk's wishes. Of course, the more tasks you take on, the more contribution points you get, and the more nourishing your life in the sect becomes. The grading of tasks is also very simple. First-level tasks are combat tasks of the same level. 
For example, the task Li Yuanbai accepted to kill and build a foundation in the early stages is a first level task. This task rating is not for the sect, but for each person of a disciple. Some of the combat missions to clean up the Chang'e monks are only at level zero. The rewards for such tasks are too small, and they are probably only for the Chang'e monks to complete. Through the rewards from the mission, Li Yunba also analyzed the value of the contribution points. One contribution point is worth approximately 100 spiritual stones. Finally settled down! Li Yunba came to the training room, sat at the spiritual energy outlet, and said with his whole body relaxed, Fellow Taoist has settled down, but I'm still on my way! Another voice sounded in my head, and it was Li Shiming's voice. In recent days, Li Shiming has traveled through more than half of the hundred thousand mountains. With his speed, he shouldn't be so slow. But there is too much chaos in the hundred thousand mountains. If you are not careful, you will be attacked by surprise. And from time to time you will encounter battles between forces. In order to avoid trouble, he tried his best to avoid the monks. Li Yuanba successfully joined the San Luo sect, which gave him a lot of peace of mind. At least he had an additional channel to obtain resources and knowledge from a large sect. He also needs to join a large sect earlier and settle down before he can practice normally. The rush these days has almost brought his practice to a standstill. Fortunately, he broke through to the foundation building stage before rushing on. Otherwise the troubles along the way would be even greater. He did not expect that the hundred thousand mountains of Beishu would be so complicated and chaotic. And any monk could fall into the chaos of war. Of course, Li Shiming has not been doing nothing recently. Z15 collected all the jade slips in Liu Jinmo's study. And he quickly read all the contents through Z15. At least, he can recognize what many third-grade spiritual objects are. He will no longer be like before. Looking at third-grade spiritual objects without knowing their names and characteristics. He also learned the basic knowledge of alchemy and weapon refining. Since there is no fixed cave, there is still some distance to practice. While thinking about it, he kept his speed so that he could react at any time. And suddenly Z15 issued a warning first. There were extremely subtle battle sounds in his ears. This was amplified by Z15 and restored. Otherwise his ears would not be able to detect these sounds at all. Z15's judgment of sound also relies on his ears. But the sound waves it can collect far exceed the sound waves he can perceive. Which allows Z15 to detect sounds ahead in advance. It's over. It's the fifth time today. Li Shiming said helplessly to himself. His figure fell downwards. And at the same time the aura on his body converged. And the nine palace sword formation flew out and turned into an isolation formation to protect him in the middle. He is in the isolation circle. And as long as both sides of the battle do not specifically scan with their spiritual thoughts, it is impossible to discover him. It's a monk from the San Luo sect. Li Shiming saw both sides of the battle. On one side was a monk wearing a black shirt, with the mark of the outer gate of the San Luo sect on his body. These are two monks who are in the early stage of foundation building. And fighting with them is also a monk who is in the early stage of foundation building. To Li Shiming's surprise, this monk in the early stage of foundation building was not at a disadvantage at all when he was one against two. Although the two monks of the San Luo sect were from the outer sect, their combat prowess was not bad at all and was much stronger than the casual cultivators he had seen before. The offensive and defensive weapons used in their hands are both spiritual weapons. With the cooperation of the two monks, they can advance and retreat with certainty. As for the opponent monk, a flying sword attacked like a violent storm and a spiritual weapon shield blocked the attack of the San Luo sect monk at his side. The battle went smoothly. Su Chuan, you entered the scope of our sect alone. You really didn't take our sect seriously. You can't leave Shawandishan. The monk of San Luo sect shouted loudly, trying to influence Su Chuan with his mind attacking technique. Just you? I don't want to kill you. Otherwise I really think you can stop me. Su Chuan responded while attacking. Li Shiming found it interesting. If Su Chuan only relied on his current methods, it would not be easy for him to easily kill two San Luo sect monks. How can monks of the same level kill monks of the same level unless they use suppressive means? What concerned him was Su Chuan's identity. According to what the San Luo sect monk said, this Su Chuan was most likely a monk from a hundred thousand mountains away. With a thought in his mind, he thought of a way to find out Su Chuan's identity. Li Yuanba took out the identity jade disc, entered the mission interface of the outer war department and searched for the mission about Su Chuan. Sure enough, a mission to hunt down Su Chuan appeared, and the mission level was level 2. Level 2. 
based on the Yuanba's strength in the early stage of foundation building, is equivalent to recognizing Su Chuan's strength in the middle stage of foundation building. This is a strength recognized by Sun Luo's sect. And it cannot be fake. Looking at the detailed information, there is also Su Chuan's identity. Su Chuan is a true disciple of Xu Shen's sect, which is the largest sect in northern Shu. True disciples are at least the entry-level disciples of Elder Jean Dan of the sect. With such an identity, it is not a lie to say that killing two large sect monks of the same level is just a price. Xu Shen's sect and Qianwan sect are two neighboring sects, and they have a good relationship with each other. Li Shiming's heart moved slightly. He didn't know what Su Chuan had done when he went deep into the Hundred Thousand Mountains. If so, he could leave with Su Chuan. But how to obtain Su Chuan's approval is a troublesome matter. While he was thinking about it, his eyes fell into the distance, where a breath was approaching quickly. For the monks who are in the middle stage of foundation building, it seems that another monk from the San Luo sect has taken over the task and arrived. You must know that according to the mission information viewed by Li Yuanba, the two San Luo sect monks fighting here have updated the mission information. This is the benefit of having a communication network covering the entire human-occupied area of the Hundred Thousand Mountains. The monks of San Luo sect never fight alone. As long as they report information, monks from nearby sects will come. Of course, Su Chuan also sends the aura of the monk in the middle stage of foundation building. He had a clear understanding of his own strength. He could brag. But when it came to fighting, he still relied on his strength. He immediately gave up fighting and wanted to escape from the battle. Just when he was about to escape, a figure suddenly jumped out from the side. And at the same time, a piece of mist spread from the monk's hand. Li Shiming was shocked. He had been paying attention to the battlefield and did not notice the monk hiding aside. You must know that he is not far from the battlefield. And with the help of Z-15, he has not found anything. The methods of demon sects like Sun Luo's sect are extremely weird. And now he has truly seen it. Su Chuan still lacked experience in dealing with demonic cultivators. And he did not expect to encounter a sneak attack. The hidden monk's attack was timed just right. Right at the moment when Su Chuan wanted to escape. Because he had to escape. Su Chuan lowered his defense to the lowest level. Once the escape technique was performed, he could no longer use defensive weapons and relied entirely on his own independent spiritual power for defense. The poisonous mist emitted by the hidden monk is extremely poisonous for the foundation building monk. It is extremely penetrating and corrosive to spiritual power. When Su Chuan dodged, his body was already contaminated by the poisonous mist. Ha ha! It seems that our combat team is going to become famous! The true disciple of Xu Shen sect fell in our hands, the hidden monk said with a smile. At this time, the situation was extremely unfavorable for Su Chuan. The terrifying poison made his face turn black, and a monk in the middle stage of foundation building was about to arrive. Not to mention the mid-stage foundation building monks. It was difficult for him to deal with the three early stage foundation building monks in front of him. The sure kill method in his hand is to kill one or two foundation building monks. It is really impossible to kill all three early stage foundation building monks. His most powerful method requires time to prepare. Looking at the San Luo sect monk in front of him, he will not be given time to prepare. Be careful. He's going to fight tooth and nail. The monk at the side warned. That's right. These true monks have some desperate tactics in their hands. Let's get out of the way and wait until he gets poisonous before we attack. The poisonous monk nodded and said as he dodged away into the distance. He was very confident in his poison and was not worried about Su Chuan being able to escape after being poisoned. Su Chuan's heart felt cold. These monks obviously knew the methods of their direct disciples. If they had known about it, they would have used it with all their strength. They killed two early stage foundation building monks first. He is in Shirwanda Mountain and does not want to offend Sun Luo's sect to death. Under normal circumstances, it is impossible for the true disciples between major sects to be killed by other major sects taking advantage of their realm. Because the consequence of doing so is that the other major sect will use the same means to deal with the true disciples of the same sect. In this way, the losses for both parties will be huge, and other large sects will benefit at the expense of others. Therefore, Su Chuan did not want to kill two Sun Luo sect monks before, because he did not want Sun Luo sect to go crazy. Sun Luo sect is a demon sect. Who knows if Su Chuan will directly send Sun Luo's sect to him once he kills the foundation building monks of the sect. Jean Dan killed Su Chuan on the spot. It was this kind of hesitation and his fighting with a playful heart that led to the current situation. Just when Su Chuan was about to use blood escape, a sword light suddenly flew out. 
threatening his body and fleeing into the distance. Fellow Dawa Su, I'm here to help you leave. Su Chuan was about to resist. But he heard Li Shiming's message. He felt relieved. Whether it was true or not, it was much better than falling into the hands of the Sun Luo sect monks. Besides, with the desperate means in his hands, he was still sure to deal with Li Shiming in a one-on-one -on -one situation. Chapter 188 Cooperation The three early-stage foundation-building monks from Sun Luo's sect, as well as the mid-stage foundation-building monk who was about to arrive, did not expect that there were still monks around and rescued Su Chuan. They hurriedly chased after him. But even if the sword light brought Su Chuan with him, it was much faster than them. In the middle stage of foundation building, the monk stopped helplessly. He felt that there was no point in pursuing him. The speed difference and the initiative of the fleeing party made the distance between them farther and farther. Can you see the monk's face clearly? The monk in the middle stage of foundation building asked the other monks. No. That monk wore a bamboo hat on his head to hide his face. And even his spiritual thoughts couldn't penetrate it. A monk shook his head and replied. On the other side, Li Shiming breathed a long sigh of relief. It was indeed a risk to save Su Chuan. It was extremely difficult to rescue people from three early stage foundation building monks and one mid stage foundation building monk. Fortunately, before the mid stage foundation building monks arrived at the scene, the three early stage foundation building monks separated from Su Chuan. The distance gave him a chance. At this time, he and Su Chuan were in a very strange state. He and Su Chuan were on one side of the sword, which was intentional on his part. He didn't want to be resisted by Su Chuan when he was using sword escape. At the same time, this sword escape method also gave Su Chuan a sense of security. After escaping for hundreds of miles and with no more pursuers behind him, Li Shiming stopped. Fellow Dawa Su, how is the poison in your body? He couldn't help but ask when he saw the black aura on Su Chuan's face. He didn't want to take the risk that the person he rescued would die of poisoning, and his plan would fail. There is no big problem with this poison. As long as I find a safe place, I can detoxify it. Su Chuan looked at Li Shiming and said. He wanted to observe Li Shiming's condition, but Li Shiming's bamboo hat blocked his face, preventing him from seeing clearly. Li Shiming noticed his gaze and took off the hat without any concealment. When Su Chuan saw Li Shiming's action, his suspicions were reduced a lot, coupled with Li Shiming's overly young face. His trust in Li Shiming increased a little. Li Shiming waved his hand, and nine sword lights fell on the ground, and a formation to isolate and hide the effect was deployed. Fellow Dawa Su, just rest in the formation. He pointed to the inside of the formation and said. Su Chuan nodded, walked into the formation, sat down cross-legged, took out a pill and drank it to start dispelling the poison. Li Shiming also sat in the formation, but at a distance from Su Chuan to show his attitude. Su Chuan was poisoned, and under the dual effects of the spiritual power and antidote pills in his body, the black air on his face was fading. Most of the poisons used by demonic cultivators are not incurable. Instead, after the monks are poisoned, their combat power is reduced, and due to the harassment of the demonic cultivators, the poison cannot be eliminated. This will cause the monks' bodies to deteriorate. The poison becomes more and more powerful. With a background like Su Chuan's, the quality of the antidote pills he carries will naturally not be low. In addition, the level of his main skills is very high. So the effect on dealing with poisons is extraordinary. An hour later, Su Chuan opened his eyes with joy. And he looked at Li Shiming with friendliness in his eyes. He didn't know why Li Shiming wanted to save him. But by this time, he was sure that Li Shiming had no malicious intentions. I don't know who my friend is. But please tell me that Su Chuan will repay you for your life-saving grace in the future? Su Chuan asked earnestly, raising his hands. My name is Li Shiming. I'm a casual cultivator. Needless to say, I don't need to say any favors. I only do it when I have something to ask for. Li Shiming hesitated and said. Su Chuan looked stunned when he heard that Li Shiming called himself a casual cultivator. Su Chuan was very close to the sword escape light so he could naturally sense the sword's intention in the sword light. It was precisely the existence of sword intent that made the sword escape take him and Li Shiming faster than several Sun Luo sect foundation building monks. Although sword intent is not unique to sword cultivators, the difficulty of obtaining sword intent has become the biggest hurdle for sword cultivators to get started. In addition to the sword accident, Li Shiming also used the nine-handled flying sword spiritual weapon at the same time. This means that on the one hand, Li Shiming's spirit is extremely strong, allowing Li Shiming to control the nine-handled flying sword. 
On the other hand, Li Shiming must have learned the mysterious method of spiritual thinking. Otherwise, he would not be able to control it at all. It is impossible to control nine flying swords at the same time. After the nine flying swords landed on the ground, they formed a formation at an extremely fast speed. This ability to manipulate the formation allowed Su Chuan to judge that Li Shiming was definitely a high-level formation master. The most important thing is his wealth. Nine flying swords and spiritual weapons. This alone cannot be obtained by casual cultivators. Fellow Daoist Li, you are not like a casual cultivator. If you need anything, I will help you. The poison in Su Chuan's body has been detoxified. And he feels much more relaxed. He points to the formation with a smile and says, I was originally a disciple of Tianhai sect on Tianhai Island. Because Tianhai sect was invaded by Mingxin sect of Northern Shu. I got the entry qualification of Qinhuan sect. So I came to Shirwanda Mountain and wanted to go to Qinhuan sect. But now Shirwanda the situation in Wanda Mountain is too chaotic. I have no idea how to leave Shirwan Dashin. So I would like to ask fellow Tao Asu to take me away with him. Li Shiming replied without any concealment. He didn't need to hide. Su Chuan's identity was special. And he didn't want to lose the newly established friendship by lying. Leaving Shawandishan is not a problem. I can promise you this. Although the direction of Shawandishan is blocked, my sect has a way to pass through. It's just that I came to Shawandishan this time with a mission. Maybe it will take some time. Su Chuan replied after thinking for a moment. As long as we can leave the hundred thousand mountains. It doesn't matter if we wait for a while. Li Shiming said with a smile. He had long considered that Sun Luo's sect would definitely have some means at the junction of Shawandishan and other major sects. But he did not expect to carry out a blockade, which would require unimaginable manpower and material resources. However, considering the current power of Sun Luo's sect, it is not difficult to do this. He'd already taken so long before. Waiting a little longer wasn't a big deal. Leaving with Su Chuan was much safer than leaving alone. If Su Chuan couldn't leave the Hundred Thousand Mountains, how could he enter the Hundred Thousand Mountains? Fellow Daoist Su, do you have the entry token of Qin Wan sect? Su Chuan hesitated and asked. His mission on this trip is very important. If Li Shiming follows him, he must make sure that what Li Shiming said is true. Although Li Shiming had saved him and should be trustworthy, the mission was of great importance and he had to be absolutely foolproof. This is it, Li Shiming said without hesitation, taking out the introductory jade tablet with the Thousand Fantasy sect. Su Chuan's spiritual thoughts swept over it, and he confirmed the authenticity of this jade tablet. Don't be offended. Fellow Daoist Li, I will apologize to fellow Daoist after I leave Shirwanda Mountain. Su Chuan bowed and said apologetically, There's no need for this. Fellow Taoist Su is busy with something. If you can't take me with you, I can wait for you somewhere. I just hope that you can take me with you when you leave. Li Shiming understood what he was thinking and waved his hand with a smile. I hope for the help of fellow Daoist Li. Is fellow Daoist formation level at an advanced level? After Su Chuan confirmed Li Shiming's identity, his trust in him increased to a credible level. Naturally, he would not let such a good person go. Helper. I didn't take the assessment when I was in Tianhai sect. Although Li Shiming did not answer directly, this answer almost acknowledged his identity as a senior formation master. Fellow Daoist Li. The Thousand Fantasy Sect Entry Jade Token you just took out is the Entry Jade Token for Ordinary Disciples of the Outer Sect. Joining the Thousand Fantasy Sect with the Entry Jade Token is just an Outer Disciple status. In terms of resources and techniques, it is not the same as the Inner Disciple. The doors vary a lot. If Fellow Taoist Li can help me complete my mission, I can help Fellow Taoist gain the status of an Inner Disciple within the Shushin Sect. Su Chuan suggested seriously. After seeing Li Shiming's ability, Su Chuan had the idea of recruiting him as a helper. Not only in Shuandishan. Such talents could also be brought into the sect to help him. Li Shiming did not expect that Su Chuan would make such a proposal. His experience in the Shirwan Mountains during this period allowed him to know some simple information about the major sects in Northern Shu. Shushan sect is one of the top sects in the entire Northern Shu. It is an authentic Taoist sect and has a good relationship with the other sects of the righteous Taoism. He and Yin Shirwan had an agreement but they did not necessarily have to join the Qinhuan sect. They were both in the righteous sect and had good contact with each other. Moreover, he could feel that Yin Shirlan's master, Master Luo, did not have a good impression of him. Master Luo would not protect him if he joined Qinhuan sect. Fellow Daoist Li doesn't need to make a decision immediately. It's not too late to make a decision after leaving the Hundred Thousand Mountains. Su Chuan saw Li Shiming hesitating and said with a smile, 
as long as Li Shiming has ideas about Shushin's sect. Li Shiming will fully help him in subsequent tasks. This is what he needs. Li Shiming had enough time to think, and was not in a hurry to make a decision. I came to Shirwanda Mountain this time for a Muyang Clover, Su Chuan said the purpose of his trip. If Li Shiming hadn't read the Six-Fingered Sound Demon's collection of books, he might not know what Muyang Clover is. It was precisely because he knew what Muyang Clover was that a look of surprise appeared on his face. It seems that Li Daoyu knows Muyang Clover. When my master was traveling in Shirwanda Mountain, he saw an immature Muyang Clover and recorded it. Su Chuan was surprised that Li Shiming knew Muyang Clover. Then, he said, Muyang Clover, a third grade elixir, is not something that a foundation building monk can obtain. The third grade elixirs are said to be guarded by spirit beasts. The spirit beasts that can guard the third grade elixirs, even if they are not the strength of the golden elixir, are the strength of the late stage foundation building. Fellow Dao Su, with the strength of the two of us, it will be difficult to collect the third grade elixir. Right, Li Shiming reminded. I must get the Miyong Clover, which is why I asked my Taoist friends for help. I wasn't completely sure at first, but with the addition of Taoist friends, my confidence has increased a lot, Su Chuan said firmly. Since the Miyong Clover is important, I think there are many golden elixirs in the Shushin sect. Any golden elixir can easily collect the Miyong Clover. Right, Li Shiming asked curiously. Sun Luo's sect is unifying Shirwanda Mountain and has issued a notice to all the major sects, not allowing any golden elixir to enter Shirwandishan. If the sect's golden elixir enters Shirwandishan at this time, it will cause a conflict between the two major sects, Su Chuan explained. Li Shiming didn't quite believe this explanation. If the golden elixir monks were more careful and stayed away from some important formations, they would never be discovered. How could the conflict arise? But he didn't continue to ask. There must be a reason that he didn't know. Su Chuan was also helpless. He could trust Li Shiming, but he couldn't trust the monks of Shushin's sect. This was a bit ridiculous, but it was true. Take the incident where he was intercepted by the Sanluo sect monks this time. His whereabouts were kept secret, and not many monks knew about it. However, the monks of the Sanluo sect were able to accurately wait for him on the path he must pass, and even laid traps in advance. He did not believe it at all if the monks of the Sanluo sect met him by accident. Someone must have betrayed him and exposed his whereabouts, giving the Sanluo sect monks the opportunity to lay a trap. If it hadn't been for Li Shiming's appearance, he might have either died at the hands of the Sanluo sect monks, or been seriously injured and lingering somewhere. Anyway, his mission must be impossible to complete, which just took advantage of the wishes of some monks. Fellow Daoist Li, if you can help me collect Miyong Clover, I can ask the master to accept you as a registered disciple which is enough to make you a half-true successor of this sect. Su Chuan thought about it and added more chips. Li Shiming's mind was spinning. At this time, he had already guessed that Muyang Clover might be related to the life of a certain monk. Muyang Clover is the most young thing. And the third grade most young thing has a natural dispersing effect on the yin poisonous energy in the golden elixir stage. If it is made into a pill, the effect will be even better. To be honest, Li Shiming was moved. The temptation was a bit too great for half a true biography. His spiritual root talent was relatively poor, which meant that even when he was in Tian High sect, no Jin Din offered to accept him as a disciple. His status in this sect depends entirely on his formation ability and his relationship with Yin Shiruan. Okay, since fellow Dao Su said so, I will definitely try my best. Li Shiming responded solemnly. A smile appeared on Su Chuan's face. Although he had a trump card that he could use to deal with the spirit beasts, who knew what kind of unexpected things would happen on the road this time. Having a companion he could trust, and who was not weak in strength gave him more hope during his difficult journey of collecting herbs. In the next few days, Su Chuan led the way and flew toward Shirwanda Mountain together with Li Shiming. Although Li Shiming didn't ask about the destination, he could tell that based on this direction, their destination should be an area marked as dangerous on the map. It was not the sphere of influence of the Sun Luo sect, but belonged to the spirit beasts. In addition, in the past few days, he checked Su Chuan's mission through Li Yuanba's identity. The task description changed from dealing with a monk in Su Chuan to dealing with Su Chuan and two monks of similar strength. This task was shown as a level 3 task on Li Yuanba's identity jade disc, and it was adjusted upward by one level. Chapter 189 Mission Su Chuan's clothes were changed into ordinary robes and his face was changed into that of a middle-aged man. Li Shiming also changed his face. This was a mask and magic weapon given by Su Chuan. It was not high level, 
but had the effect of disguising himself. They had changed their clothes and appearance, and would not be discovered as long as they did not interfere with the monks. However, as long as they did, especially Su Chuan, the spiritual weapons and techniques he used would definitely be noticed by those who were interested. The influence of San Luo's sect in Shirwanda Mountain is huge, and almost all the forces will become San Luo's sect's informants. So Su Chuan kept a low profile, taking out a jade slip from time to time to guide his progress, and often changed directions during the journey to get out of the way of the monks one by one. Li Shiming really wanted to see the jade slips. The jade slip should contain information about the hundred thousand mountains recorded by the Shushan sect. After more than ten days of sneaking, Su Chuan stopped. Brotherly, the front is the range of spiritual beasts. We can no longer fly and must walk on the ground. Su Chuan reminded Li Shiming. Li Shiming nodded to express his understanding. In the previous thousand mile range, he could hardly see any human beings. Neither mortals nor monks seemed to be close to this area. Su Chuan restored his clothes and put on his rope. And his face returned to its original appearance. He also took out the spiritual weapon and inspected it. Seeming a little nervous. Brotherly, this is the location of Myong Clover. If we encounter trouble and get separated, you can wait for me here. If I don't go there, at this point, he was silent for a moment and then said, Brotherly, please help me get the Myong Clover and send it to Shushan sect. This is a token, and I have left a message in it for my master. Su Chuan's voice was heavy, and he had the worst plans when he entered the range of spiritual beasts. After ten days of contact, his trust in Li Shiming has grown a lot. A monk like Li Shiming, who was born outside the northern Shu continent and has no interest in entanglements in northern Shu, is definitely the best helper and worthy of trust if he can provide a certain guarantee of interests. It is very difficult for monks to find trustworthy friends. Su Chuan feels that he is extremely lucky. Brother Su, as long as Miyam Clover is still there, no matter what happens, I will take Miyam Clover to Shushan's sect, Li Shiming promised in a deep voice. These days, he also found out who needed Muyong Clover. It was Su Chuan's master. During the battle between Su Chuan's master and the Golden Elixir Demon Cultivator, he was severely injured by the Golden Elixir Demon Cultivator. His injuries were okay, but the sinister energy that the Golden Elixir Demon Cultivator penetrated into his body was difficult to get rid of. It happened that the three Sanyang Return to Heaven Pills and Shushan sect had been exchanged by other monks making Master Su Chuan unable to expel the sinister energy. The main ingredient of the Sanyang Return to Heaven Pill, Muyang Clover, comes from Shirwanda Mountain and is ordered through Beishu Trading Company. Even if the price is tripled, there is no guarantee that Muyang Clover will appear in the next few years. Although Muyang Clover is precious, it has never been so rare. Su Chuan knew that there must be a power struggle within the sect. If the Master hadn't been in seclusion, how could the Master's injury have been delayed? Because of his master's injury, he came to Shawandishan alone to try his luck. If the Muyong Clover discovered by his master was gone, he would continue to look for it. He did not make this clear to Li Shiming. In Chaoyan Peak of Saluo's sect, Li Yuanba did not stay in the sect for long. He chose three combat missions and left the sect. These three combat missions are all in areas not too far from Li Shiming and Su Chuan's current location. And they came to support them. Although Li Yuanba does not have a talisman in his hand, his combat power exceeds that of Li Shiming, because the general is the strongest among Li Shiming's two bodies. The general's combat power is at the peak of the late stage of foundation building, and he even has a touch of the Golden Elixir's combat power. This makes the generals almost invincible under the Golden Elixir as long as they are not facing the Golden Elixir monks directly. If the talisman is the most powerful means for ordinary monks to fight against the foundation building monks, then the general is equivalent to a talisman that will not be consumed. So this is the reason why Li Shiming did not allocate the talisman to Li Yuanba. Li Yuanba took out the jade flying boat, which flew quickly in the air. At this time, on the jade flying boat, the Salua sex mark was clearly displayed on the side of the boat, indicating his identity to all the monks. Therefore, even if the jade flying sword passed over some casual cultivators, it did not face any difficulty. This is the advantage of having a strong sect. Li Shiming and Su Chuan traveled a long way and Li Yuanba got close in only four days. Li Yuanba looked at the missions. This place is called the Golden Crow Mountains. The three missions he took were all first-level missions, which were to eliminate the three early-stage foundation-building monks entrenched in this area. Although the three early-stage foundation-building monks are in the same area, they are not together. So these are three independent tasks. 
three early stage foundation building monks were sent on a killing mission by the Sanluo sect. They were seeking death themselves. The three early stage foundation building monks attacked a collection team from the Sanluo sect. Although they did not kill anyone, they stole all the spiritual objects. The collection team consists of a foundation building monk and more than a dozen chi chain monks. The members of the collection team can only be regarded as peripheral members of the sect. There are many such collection teams in the Saluo sect. Many of the ordinary resources in the Hundred Thousand Mountains are obtained through collection teams. Perhaps they thought that this place was close to the Spirit Beast area. And since the Saluo clan had a great cause and was unifying the Hundred Thousand Mountains, this trivial matter was not worth asking them for. But they underestimated Sun Luo Sect's determination to deal with those who dared to provoke. These three tasks were released almost at the same time. It just so happened that Li Yuanba targeted the region and found out that these three tasks were taken over. This kind of mission is the favorite of the monks from the Outer Sect War Department. The three casual cultivators in the early stages of Foundation Building have limited combat capabilities. Although the mission location is a bit far away, they can complete three missions at the same time. Who wouldn't do such a mission? Like, Li Yuanba looked at the mission content. And the positions of the three casual cultivators in the early stages of foundation building were clearly marked. He lamented in his heart the terrifying information of the San Luo sect. And at the same time, he could not help but shake his head at the boldness of the three casual cultivators in the early stages of foundation building. He found the first cave based on the marked location. He found that the cave had not even opened the formation. And the interior had been emptied. Escaped? Li Yuanba didn't expect to escape. And he hurried to the second cave. This time he sensed that the formation in the cave was in operation. And thought that the foundation building cultivators who came here were still there. Zhang Tienda, you have committed a crime. Come out and die. Li Yuanba said sternly to the cave. Zhang Tienda, the owner of the cave, is not the only one in the cave. But there are also four foundation building monks. Senior, you must save me. Zhang Tienda said with pleading eyes as he looked at the old monk in the late stage of foundation building. The other two monks, who participated in the early stage of foundation building also bowed and begged to the old monks in the late stage of foundation building. When they started, they did not find that the collecting team belonged to the Saluo sect. Otherwise, they would not have dared to give them the courage. Take action to snatch. When they discovered that it was the Saluo sect's collection team, they were reluctant to give up the spiritual objects they had obtained. The foundation building monks of the collection team fled immediately, without giving them a chance to silence them. After everything was done, they kept the spiritual objects and released the cheat chain monks from the collection team. They were so worried these days that they finally had to seek help from Mao Bin from the Golden Crow Mountains. A strong man in the late stage of foundation building. Unexpectedly, Mao Bin actually agreed to come and take a look, and even brought a middle stage foundation building monk to help. I will certainly fulfill what I promised you. But after I rescue you, you must join us and not betray me. Malbin felt the realm of Li Yuan by outside and said with a faint smile on his face. Although Shawanishan is within the sphere of influence of the Saluo sect, there are still many forces that resist the Saluo sect. They do not dare to show what they are doing, but they will continue to do things secretly, causing losses to the Saluo sect. Many of these monks are monks whose sects were wiped out, as well as monks who had a deadly feud with the Saluo sect. The Saluo sect has wiped out countless sects in the Hundred Thousand Mountains. And the number of such monks cannot be estimated. If Li Yuanba hadn't come this time, there would have been three more early stage foundation building monks among this type of monks. And Zhang Tienda, the three early stage foundation building monks, would have appeared on the San Luo sect's hunting list. Follow me and kill the San Luo sect monks first, Malbin said after getting the consent of the three monks, walking out with a smile. When Li Yuanba was about to break the formation, he felt a powerful aura rising from the cave. He stepped back a distance in a flash and stared in the direction of the cave. Then five foundation building monks came out of the cave. Among them, Mao Bin's late stage foundation building aura suppressed Li Yuanba from a distance. The difference in realm has a big impact in the battle. The aura in the later stage of foundation establishment has a big impact on the early stage of foundation establishment. It is enough to slow down the movements of the monks in the early stage of foundation establishment and put their spirit under pressure. You dare to provoke Sun Luo's sect when it comes to Sun Luo's sect's affairs. Aren't you afraid that your soul will be destroyed? Li Yuanba did not expect that there would be monks in the Hundred Thousand Mountains of Beishu who dared to fight against Sun Luo's sect. He shouted in a deep voice. Sun Luo's sect is very powerful. But this is the Golden Crow Mountains, 
which is my territory. Mao Bin. Nine of the Sanluo sect's foundation building monks died under my hands. And you are the tenth one. Mao Bin laughed. The Golden Crow Mountain Range is very special. It is close to the range of spiritual beasts. And Golden Core monks rarely come here. Golden Core monks who come too close to here will cause the reaction of the spiritual beasts. The spirit beasts can still tolerate the presence of the foundation building monks. But if the golden elixir monk appears in such a close range, the spirit beasts will become vigilant and even take the initiative to attack. It is for this reason that Malbin relied on his strength in the late stage of foundation building. And even if the Saluo sect's golden elixir did not come out, there were Saluo sect foundation building monks who defeated him. But it was very difficult to kill him. Malbin. Wait. Let me check. Li Yuanba felt a little familiar when he heard this name. It seemed that he had seen this name before. He took out the Identity Jade disc and found Mao Bin on the wanted list of the Outer War Department. He was on a third-level mission and had a contribution point of up to 800. Are you Ling Bin? He looked at the mid-stage foundation building monk next to Mao Bin and asked in a surprised voice. Is this guy wearing a mask crazy? Ling Bin next to Mao Bin felt a little confused. There were one late stage one mid-stage and three early stage. But Li Yuanba's eyes were bright. He looked at them like a money fan looking at a gold mine. Gaze. It seems that there is nothing wrong. Mao Bin. You are worth 800 contribution points. Ling Bin. You are worth 300 contribution points. The three of you are less. Each is only worth 50 contribution points. Li Yuanba said with a smile. Of course he is not crazy. If they really want to fight it will not be a problem for him to escape alone. But it is impossible to defeat the late-stage foundation-building monks. But with the generals around, there was no need for him to worry about insufficient combat power. Be careful. This kid is weird. Mao Bin reminded calmly. At this time, Li Yuanba gently took off his mask, revealing his indescribable beauty. Even Mao Bin couldn't help but be stunned. He couldn't imagine that there could be such a handsome person in the world. While Mao Bin was still there, Li Yuanba released the generals. The general turned into an illusory shadow and appeared in front of Mao Bin. Mao Bin's spiritual power flashed on his body, and a spiritual weapon shield automatically protected the master. He was a veteran late-stage foundation-building monk with extremely solid and strong spiritual power. He was able to survive by wasting some spiritual power on defense to keep his spiritual weapon on alert at all times. So long guaranteed, the general grabbed the sharp claws of the minister. And with the sword intent, the shark claws hit the spiritual weapon shield with unimaginable force. Mao Bin only felt that his body and mind were shaken at the same time. His body involuntarily took two steps back. The spiritual weapon shield in front of him was shaking, as if it would be broken at any time. He could no longer strengthen his defense. And the time he was given to react was too short. Li Yuanba's method of using appearance can produce results every time. Mao Bin is not the first, let alone the last victim. Mao Bin's only hope is the life-saving talisman. If the talisman can repel the generals, it can buy him time. Holding back the backlash from the impact of the swords while on the spiritual mark of the spiritual weapon shield. He activated three powerful talismans at once, and each strike had the power of the late stage of foundation building. Through the timing of using the talisman, he also saw clearly what a general was. Just seeing the general's appearance clearly made his scalp numb. All the hairs on his body stood up and his heart felt even colder. The top iron corpse. The iron corpse that is not far away from the silver corpse. Is this what a monk in the early stage of foundation building can possess? Mao Bin was horrified. He only thought about one thing at this time, and that was to wait for the three talismans. After repelling the generals, he immediately fled the place. His blood was running cold, and his mind was extremely clear. Being so close to a top-level iron corpse, he had no chance of winning against the top-level iron corpse. Let alone him. Three powerful talismans hit the general. Not just three powerful talismans. Seeing Mao Bin being attacked, Ling Bin on the side waved a spiritual weapon flying axe and slashed at the general. Boom! The attack of the three powerful talismans only made a loud sound. The three talismans hit the general at the same time. And the flying axe also hit the general's head hard. Chapter 190 Encounter the three powerful talismans caused the general's clothes to shatter, revealing his black body with a hint of silver. Ling Bin's flying axe hit the general's head, making a sound of gold and iron. The flying axe bounced away, leaving only a white mark where the general was hit. Even this white seal disappeared quickly. 
the three powerful talismans, and Ling Bin's flying axe weapon attack did not affect the general's movements. The general grabbed Mao Bin's spiritual weapon shield with his claw again. This time the light on the spiritual weapon shield flickered and dimmed. And the spiritual weapon shield fell from the air like an ownerless thing. This is the spiritual imprint left by Mao Bin in the spiritual weapon shield, which was forcibly broken away by the huge force and sword intent. Mao Bin's spirit was slightly confused. This spiritual weapon shield is a spiritual weapon that he has been refining for a long time. In order to exert its maximum power, he has been refining it continuously. Therefore, if the spiritual imprint of the spiritual weapon shield is broken, the impact will be greater. The general's movements were too fast. He grabbed out the third claw, and his body in the late stage of foundation building couldn't even block it under its sharp claws. When the general retracted his claws, there was a beating heart in his claws. Mao Bin, a powerful monk in the late stage of foundation building, could not even hold on for two breaths in front of the generals. Both are in the late stage of foundation building. But there is a gap in combat power. Mao Bin is at the beginning of the late stage of foundation building, while General is at the peak of his strength. Not to mention that the two sides were engaging in close combat, which was the absolute superior distance of the generals. Ling Bin on the side was still preparing to attack. But he saw something thrown at him by the general's hand. When he saw the object clearly, the soul of the dead emerged. But at this moment, a hand grabbed one of his legs, and even if there were flashes of green light on his body, he could not take him away from the battlefield. The general grabbed one of Ling Bin's legs, and then, like holding a wooden stick, he kept hitting the other three early stage foundation building monks. Using the body of a monk in the middle stage of foundation establishment, as a weapon was probably something only a general would dare to do. Its powerful defense ignored Ling Bin's various methods. The three early stage foundation building monks were all stunned by the instantaneous battle on the battlefield. Their first support, Mao Bin, had his heart taken away right in front of their eyes. And their second support, Ling Bin, was used as a weapon. Run away! The three early stage foundation building monks shouted and were about to run away. The generals roared and their bodies froze due to the suppression of the realm. And then Ling Bin's body fell down. A monk in the early stage of foundation building was hit in the body. With a boom, half of his body was smashed into pieces. Ling Bin's body also felt uncomfortable. They were all monks who had not practiced body training techniques. Half of Ling Bin's body bones were broken. Fracture. Be careful not to hurt your head, Li Yuanba reminded quickly. These are all contribution points. If the head is too badly damaged, I still don't know how to hand in the task. He also sent out a sword light to help the general end the battle quickly. After hearing his order, the general's second attack was changed to a sweep. Ling Bin's body collided with the body of the second early stage foundation building monk. And the second early stage foundation building monk's body flew out half folded. There is no breath of life in midair. The remaining Zhang Tianda felt a chill in his heart. The sword light flew out from his chest. The sword intention and sharp spiritual power were wreaking havoc in his body. For a moment, his life breath also disappeared. A seemingly unequal battle was completely transformed after the general appeared. This is corpse refining, the favorite of demon cultivators. After the battle, the general licked the blood from his hands with some bloodthirsty, and the red in his eyes became deeper and deeper. Li Yuanba felt the general's emotions, and he did not stop the general's actions. Bloodthirsty was the instinct of refining corpses. He cut off the heads of the five monks and put them away. He also took the five storage bags and hung them all around his waist after checking them casually. From his perspective, none of these casual cultivators could attract him, regardless of their skills or spiritual weapons. However, he still found a special token with the word Tai Chu written on it. What caught his attention was that the token used anti-counterfeiting techniques that are unique to large sects. Based on his knowledge of Shawandishan, he had never heard of the Tai Chu sect. He kept the Tai Chu token alone and would check it again after returning to the sect. After doing this, the general had absorbed enough blood. Among the five corpses, only Mao Bin's body interested the general. After Li Yuanba put away his generals and joined the demon sect, if he couldn't bear the general sucking the blood of the enemy, then why did the demon sect join him? As long as he doesn't take the initiative to do anything crazy, even if he is in a demon sect, he will still be himself. He looked in the direction, and his body turned into a sword light and flew towards the distance. Li Shiming finally saw the spiritual beast. Not one, but a group. When Su Chuan and he were walking in the mountains, a group of monkeys appeared from the other side of the mountain 
and met them just in time. This situation was completely unpredictable, and the two of them stared at each other with a group of monkeys. Li Shiming's eyes fell on the Monkey King among the monkeys. The Monkey King was all white, and his aura had reached the middle stage of foundation construction. Next to the Monkey King, there were four white monkeys in the early stage of foundation construction. Brotherly, fight quickly and don't waste time, Su Chuan reminded softly. At this time, we have entered the area of spiritual beasts, and we cannot escape here. We are now facing a group of spiritual monkeys. If we expose our aura while escaping, who knows what kind of spiritual beasts we will encounter. Li Shiming also understood the reason. He nodded, and with a wave of his hand, nine flying swords shot out, covering the spirit monkey king and the four white monkeys in the early stage of foundation building. As for other monkeys, he didn't take them seriously at all. It is hard to say whether the claws of a spirit monkey in the chain energy stage can tear through his body's defense, and it cannot be said to be any threat. Su Chan's flying sword also flew away. He had never cooperated with Li Shiming and didn't know much about Li Shiming's strength. So he was still paying attention to Li Shiming's fighting style. You must know that there will be many battles with spirit beasts in the future. Not to mention the powerful spirit beasts guarding the Muyong Clover. It is best to take advantage of the opportunity of first entering the spirit beast area to get to know each other and become familiar with each other. The Monkey King and the four white monkeys all let out shrill screams. Eyes formed in their hands and they smashed toward Su Chuan's flying sword. Li Shiming's nine flying swords were ignored by the Monkey King and the four white monkeys because they did not attack immediately. Although the intelligence of spirit beasts is not lower than that of humans, humans can improve their own wisdom by learning a lot of knowledge, which is something that ordinary spirit beasts do not have. Su Chan's flying sword is extremely flexible. At this moment, he has no intention of retaining his strength. It is just a good time to show Li Shiming his combat power so that he can conquer Li Shiming in the future. The flying sword nimbly dodged in the air to avoid the five ice attacks. Although the cold air brought by the ice condensed a layer of ice crystals on the flying sword, the speed of the flying sword was not affected much. The flying sword shot at the Monkey King. The Monkey King's body rolled, and the claws of his hands and feet grabbed the flying sword at the same time. Although most spirit beasts do not use weapons, some of their own organs are natural weapons. The power and hardness of the claws of the Monkey King's hands and feet are not inferior to those of the monks. The flying sword and claws made a series of collision sounds. When the flying sword flew back, there was a sword mark on the Monkey King's body. Brotherly, be careful. This Monkey King's defense is very strong. Su Chuan reminded him softly without any joy. In the fight just now, it seemed that he had taken advantage. But in fact, the injuries he inflicted on the Monkey King were nothing at all. The Monkey King's physique was extremely strong. And the flying sword only cut open the Monkey King's skin and did not penetrate deep. The injured Monkey King let out a scream and all the monkeys screamed and rushed toward the two of them. The ear-piercing screams made people feel a little shaken. Fortunately, both of them were in the early stage of ordinary foundation building. Open! Li Shiming shouted in a deep voice. Countless electric lights rose from the Nine Palaces sword formation. Although there were few at first, they still caused considerable damage to the spirit monkeys in the Qi Chain stage. The monkey that was rushing towards the two fell down in a large area like Duit. The Monkey King was frightened and angry. And he and the four white monkeys beside him rushed towards the two of them. And at the same time, even bigger ice condensed in his claws. Li Shiming smiled faintly. He liked this kind of enemy who didn't have much intelligence. The second function of the formation composed of the Nine Palace Sword formation was activated. The Monkey King and the four white monkeys suddenly discovered that the enemy in front of them disappeared. Replaced by countless thunder mountains and seas of lightning that seemed to be illusory but not illusory. Due to their power, these thunder and lightning could not cause much harm to the Monkey King and the four white monkeys. But they made them irritated. Even if the power of thunder and lightning is as weak as mosquitoes. Countless mosquitoes combined are enough to harass the enemy. The Monkey King and the four white monkeys were running around in the Nine Palace Sword Formation. They could leave the formation with one step. But for some reason, they turned around and continued to withstand the thunder and lightning attacks in the formation. Is this still a formation master? Su Chuan stared blankly at the mid-stage foundation establishment spirit Monkey King and the four early-stage foundation establishment white monkeys attacking at random and at a loss. And he couldn't help but wonder in his heart. It's not like he has never seen an array mage before. Array mage is not a combat profession. It takes some time for the formation master to arrange the formation. 
even the fastest formation disc cannot achieve sufficient results on the battlefield because it takes several breaths of time to take out the formation disc and deploy it. With this time, any enemy can react. Besides, unless it is an extremely high-level formation disc, the effect of ordinary formation discs on trapping and damaging enemies is not satisfactory and can only be used by non-formation mages for daily use. But what kind of formation master is Li Shiming? He relies on nine flying swords to quickly arrange formations on the battlefield to trap and injure the enemy. Li Shiming didn't know what Su Chuan was thinking. He mobilized the little thunder power in his body. And the thunder strike, spell runes lit up in front of him. Go! He pointed at a white monkey. He did not attack the monkey king. With his level, it would be difficult to hurt the white monkey king with extremely high defense power using only magic. He doesn't have much spiritual power in his body. So he can't waste it on useless attacks. Brother Su, I will deal with the white monkey in the early stage of foundation building. The monkey king depends on you. He has no intention of killing the monkey alone. Su Chuan next to him probably has many tricks. So there is no need to show too much ability. Okay. Su Chuan felt that he was a true long-range monk at this time. He didn't need to consider the monkey's attack on him. He only needed to concentrate on launching the most powerful attack. This kind of fighting experience is not much. Even the slow enemies have at least one or two explosive methods. What surprised him even more was that Li Shiming turned out to be a Lei Xiao. Li Shiming has mastered the sword in tension. So why did he become a Lei Xiao? Although Lei Xiao's spells are also very powerful. Most monks will choose sword cultivation if they have talent. Sword cultivator? A flying sword dominates the world. No matter what kind of enemy it is, there is always a flying sword to respond. When advancing, the attack is unparalleled. And when retreating, there is no shadow or trace. The freedom to advance and retreat achieves the monk's greatest pursuit of freedom and ease. While Su Chuan was thinking about it, an inconspicuous golden arc appeared in the continuous lightning on a white monkey in the formation. The golden electric arc struck the body, and the white monkey froze. On the surface, Li Shiming appeared to be in the early stage of foundation building. But his spiritual power was at the true peak of the early stage of foundation building. And what he inspired was the golden thunder, which was famous for its power. The golden thunder entered the white monkey's body and destroyed the vitality in its body. The monkey's defense is very strong. This defense is mainly aimed at physical aspects. It also has good defense against the five elements of energy. But thunder and lightning are different. Thunder and lightning have a natural restraint effect on spiritual beasts. And this blow made the white monkey lose its vitality. When Li Shiming began to condense the second lightning strike technique, Su Chuan also launched his attack. This time Su Chuan's flying sword was very slow, but it was like flying with a big mountain. Li Shiming looked at the flying sword. Fear flashed in his eyes. The flying sword contains terrifying power. Needless to say, this flying sword was inspired by some secret technique. He did not underestimate any monk. But among monks of the same level, he had almost never encountered a rival. Of course, that was during the Chain Chi stage. He single-handedly changed the outcome of the Chain Chi battle between the seven sects and the Mingxin sect of Northern Shu. Those Mingxin sect Chain Chi monks who participated in the battle were all genius monks of the Mingxin sect. At the foundation building stage, even with the accumulation of energy in the chain stage, powerful spiritual weapons, and major skills that can reach the nascent soul, he still needs a powerful sect to enhance his means. It's pitiful to say that his ordinary monk's explosion method is actually the secret technique of making magic weapons self-destruct that he got from casual cultivators. He just lacks the small burst secret techniques used by Su Chuan. He can use different attack-enhancing secret techniques according to the fighting environment. Su Chuan also wanted to perform well and did not want to be compared to Li Shiming. So he used the sex secret technique. This secret technique can add compressed spiritual power to the flying sword by accumulating spiritual power, greatly increasing the power of the flying sword. The use of secret techniques has great limitations. In a normal battlefield, there is no time for you to slowly compress and accumulate the spiritual power in the flying sword. Chapter 191 Spiritual Wine Under the cover of the Sea of Thunder and Lightning the slow flying sword quickly arrived in front of the furious monkey king. The monkey king became even crazier after discovering that one of his white monkeys had died. It didn't even notice the flying sword that suddenly appeared and hit its ribs. There was a loud boom. Flesh and blood flew. And the monkey king was knocked away. The monkey king let out a shrill scream. And a large hole appeared in the monkey king's ribs. With broken ribs vaguely visible. At this time, 
The second white monkey was also hit by the lightning strike and fell to the ground. If the fight continues like this, it will be a matter of time before the spirit monkey king and white monkey are killed. The monkey king's screams caused the two living white monkeys to respond with cries. And the cries contained a sense of determination. Li Shiming was shocked. But it was already too late. The two white monkeys in the initial stage of foundation building blew themselves up together. Li Shiming's nine palace sword formation generally has no problem trapping mid-stage foundation building monks who don't understand the formation. But mid-stage foundation building monks who understand the formation and can find the nodes of the formation are not among them. Because once the formation nodes are found, they can attack the nodes to break the formation. The self-destruction power of the two white monkeys in the early stage of foundation building is enough to affect the nodes of the formation. And their destructive power is even more powerful in the middle stage of foundation building. The nine palace sword formation was affected by the explosion. And two of the spiritual handles shook. It was this shaking that destroyed the originally stable formation. The spirit monkey king was severely injured. And after hearing the cry of the white monkey, he made preparations. As soon as the formation was broken, his figure turned into a white light and fled into the distance. Don't let it escape. The spirit beast is very vindictive. Su Chuan reminded quickly. He was still brewing the second secret technique. But it was a pity that he didn't have time to send it out. Otherwise the monkey king would surely die. Li Shiming didn't hesitate at all. The nine spiritual swords turned into sword light and flew towards him. They combined into one and took his body to form a sword light and chased after the monkey king. Su Chuan needs to dispel the secret technique first. Otherwise his flying sword contains terrifying spiritual power and he will not be able to use the sword escape technique. Just like this, he and Li Shiming and the Monkey King were far apart. The spirit Monkey King itself is extremely flexible. And its speed is its biggest advantage. At this time, it is even more important to escape. And its speed is considered top-notch in the middle stage of foundation building. That is to say, the sword escape used by Li Shiming, with the blessing of the sword bone and sword intention, allowed him to be much faster than the monks in the early stage of foundation establishment so he was not completely left behind by the Monkey King. But just like that, after chasing for dozens of miles, the figure of the Monkey King turned a corner and disappeared. Li Shiming's vision and spiritual thoughts were fully opened, looking for traces of the Monkey King. There! The sword light flew towards a place that seemed to have no passage. This was an anomaly discovered by Z-15. An impossible breeze was generated there, blowing the grass in the mountains. This breeze can only be blown from the mountain and it is most likely the wind generated by the airflow generated by the speed of the Monkey King. Sure enough, as he flew closer, he saw a hole between two rocks. This cave entrance is extremely clever, and can only be discovered when you are close to it. Otherwise, you will not be able to discover the cave entrance, no matter what angle you look at. If you add a little more cover to the entrance of the cave, like the rock next to it that has been lifted, it will be difficult to find any trace. The Monkey King was seriously injured and neglected to put the rock covering the entrance of the cave back into place. Li Shiming looked back and found Su Chuan's figure. He didn't wait any longer and entered the cave in a flash. The spirit Monkey King was seriously injured. And there was not much strength left in the middle stage of foundation building. In addition, the spirit beast was not a monk. And there was no way to save its life. Therefore, a seriously injured spirit beast was easier to deal with than a seriously injured monk. There was darkness in the cave, and his spiritual thoughts replaced his eyes, allowing him to see in the darkness. Walking along the cave, not far inside, he smelled the aroma of wine. Monkey wine! He thought of the monkey's natural instinct to make wine mentioned in the books he had read. This is a method similar to that of monks refining alchemy, but the quality of monkey wine is very different. The only difference is the fine wine in the world, and based on the situation of this group of monkeys, there are one monkey in the middle stage of foundation building and four monkeys in the early stage of foundation building. So the quality of this monkey wine can at least have an effect on the middle stage of foundation building. He speeded up, and an empty cave appeared in front of him. The injured monkey king was opening a rock, and the monkey's paw was holding the monkey wine into his mouth. After seeing Li Shiming, the monkey king let out a warning roar. Li Shiming felt the aroma of monkey wine, and just smelling the aroma made the blood flow in his body accelerate and his eyes almost turned red. He practiced two body training techniques. The Diamond Body Protection Divine Art and the Tor Demon Secret Manual, which made his physique extremely strong. After entering the foundation building stage, 
even with the help of the true meaning of the raging I King Kong and the Third Grade Sword Foundation. His body refining speed was still extremely slow. When he smelled the monkey wine, he felt that the monkey wine was extremely important for his body training. There is no unified standard for the effect of monkey wine. The monkey has the ability to balance the energy in the wine. But the raw materials cannot be guaranteed. You can only use whatever raw materials are available. The raw material for brewing monkey wine is spirit fruit. Spirit monkeys can go deep into various hidden environments and use their familiarity with the environment to collect spiritual fruits that monks cannot find. The monkey cannot determine the effectiveness of these spiritual fruits. But it is able to use the spiritual fruits to brew the best wine. Li Shiming was afraid that the monkey king would destroy the whore wine. So he adopted the most risky fighting method that would cause the monkey king to make wrong judgments. He rushed directly towards the monkey king without using thunder spells or his best flying sword. The monkey king is wise. And his wisdom is not low. It has seen Li Shiming's fighting style and knows what kind of fighting style Li Shiming is good at. When it saw Li Shiming rushing towards him alone, it was confident that with its mid-stage foundation building strength, it could kill Li Shiming in close combat even if he was seriously injured. This is the spirit beast's confidence in the talent of its own race. The spirit beast's physique is far superior to that of human beings. In addition, the spirit beast consumes spiritual substances all year round, making the spirit beast crush the monks in terms of physique. The monkey king came up to Li Shiming. Li Shiming watched the monkey king leave Huerju and put down his biggest worry. Three meters, five meters, ten meters. He calculated the distance between the monkey king and Huerju. When he thought he had reached a safe distance, he also came into contact with the monkey king. The close combat swordsmanship of the Sword Demon Secret Book and the addition of a third grade sword base made him a close combat swordsman. The monkey king's claws came into contact with the base of the third grade sword. Li Shiming took two steps back, and the monkey king's body also shook. Li Shiming suffered a bit from the first contact, but the gap between the two sides was not too big to cope with, which made him feel relieved. Cut! Chop! Chop! He shouted loudly, and the third grade sword base in his hand spread out at extremely high speed, and sword shadow shot out in his hand. The monkey king was seriously injured and his flexibility was greatly affected. At this time, he also wanted to resolve the battle quickly. Its claws and legs turned into four phantoms and continuously attacked Li Shiming. Li Shiming rarely shows off his melee abilities. This is not because he does not have this ability. Sword Demon Secret Book is the strongest melee skill below the Golden Core. The Secret Book of Sword Demons, based on third grade metal, is used to display violent close quarters sword skills. The sound of the collision of swords and claws, and the sound of swords cutting skin, were constantly heard in the cave, in Li Shiming's field of vision. In addition to what he saw, there were also constant reminders from Z15. Z15 analyzed the Monkey King's movements and made predictions about the location of the next attack. This made his battle easier. Every time he blocked the Monkey King's attack, he could also inflict an additional wound on the Monkey King's body. The sharpness of the third grade sword base, coupled with the infusion of spiritual power, makes its destructive power almost as great as the top sword type spiritual weapons. If it hadn't been for the fact that the Monkey King's melee combat had become instinctive and he had repeatedly dodged Li Shiming's fatal attacks, the Monkey King would have fallen by now. But the increasing injuries caused the Monkey King to slow down. It thought of the monkey wine. Even if it died, it could not leave the monkey wine to its enemies. It wants to return to Huerju's position and destroy Huerju. Li Shiming discovered this. He originally wanted to have a good battle with the monkey king. But the monkey king did not give him this opportunity. After he struck the sword, his consciousness moved slightly. And Neza appeared next to the monkey king. Neza, who has three heads and six arms, grabs him as soon as he appears. The most terrifying thing about Neza is his four extra arms and his unobstructed vision. Six arms are six corpse claws, coupled with the defense and strength of the iron corpse. Li Shiming cannot even say that he can win against Neza in close combat, let alone the Monkey King, who is already in a severe decline at this time. Li Shiming smiled slightly and left the battlefield. The Monkey King knew what he was going to do and roared crazily, but this did not affect his movements at all. His physical strength increased slightly due to the smell of alcohol. What a good thing! He took out a wine bottle with bright eyes and used his spiritual thoughts to introduce the monkey wine into the wine bottle. He had forgotten that this wine bottle was a trophy from the monk who died in his hands. He usually didn't care about this kind of daily life magic weapon. 
It was only when I saw Huerju that I remembered that there seemed to be such a wine flask. The function of a wine bottle is similar to that of a storage bag. It is a storage device specially made for holding liquids. In addition to being able to hold liquids, its function is to seal the spiritual energy inside and prevent it from leaking out. This thing is a middle-grade magic weapon. It is not very valuable, but is extremely practical. There was a lot of monkey wine, and it took Li Shiming's spiritual thoughts more than 10 seconds to empty out the monkey wine below. Even the wine sludge was dug out by him. Although he currently has no idea of making wine, he might be able to make his own wine if he has the opportunity in the future. This grade of wine lees can greatly improve the quality of the spirit wine. When he finished pretending to be the monkey wine and turned to look at the battlefield, the monkey king could no longer scream. It had dozens of bone-deep wounds on its body, and it had no power to fight back at all. Li Shiming shook his head, and with a wave of his sword, he ended the life of the monkey king. He was carrying the body of the spirit monkey king. The body of a spirit beast was a good material. He and Su Chuan had encountered the spirit monkey king together. Disposal of the body also required discussion with Su Chuan. As for monkey wine, he discovered it alone. So he didn't mention it to Su Chuan. He originally had some spiritual fish with him. But unfortunately since the foundation building was successful, the effect of the spiritual fish on his body refinement was extremely weak, and the quantity was extremely small. So they had long been used up. His physical training relies entirely on independent improvement of his skills. Without any external help, it is no wonder that his improvement speed is extremely slow. You must know that body refining has always been the most resource-intensive practice in the world of immortality. All monks understand the benefits of body refining. But the problem is that monks who truly refining the body are extremely rare. There are few body training techniques. But for sect monks, it is not difficult to exchange for a body training technique in the sect. The main reason is that body training requires too many resources, which makes most monks afraid to practice. Take the two body training techniques practiced by Li Shiming as an example. The Badra body protection technique requires a lot of elixirs to practice, and it also requires the blessing of Buddhism. In this aspect, due to the spiritual fish and his use of means to skip after meeting the requirements of Buddhism, and later understanding the true meaning of the angry Ivadra, he did not have many requirements for elixirs. The demand for the secret code of the sword demon is much higher than that of the elixir. It requires third grade metal, and third grade metal is normally within the reach of Chang'e monks. Not to mention the Chang'e monks. Even the foundation building monks can't get third grade metal, which is a material for making magic weapons. At the foundation building stage, Li Shiming's two body training techniques once again need to consider resources. Without the help of corresponding resources, the progress of physical training is too slow. He originally planned to consider this matter after entering the big sect, but he did not expect to get a spiritual object like monkey wine. Monkey wine is extremely important to him, and it is impossible for him to share it with others. He flew out of the cave and looked around but didn't find Su Chuan. He must have missed this place. It was easy to contact Su Chuan. He mobilized the thunder spirit power of his physical body and exuded it from his body. A thunder attribute aura in the early stage of foundation building spread out to the surroundings. Since there are a group of spirit monkeys nearby, there will be no other spirit beasts. Spirit beasts have a strong sense of territory. He does not have to worry about his aura attracting powerful spirit beasts. Brotherly, as he was thinking, a figure quickly approached, and it was Su Chuan who arrived. Su Chuan looked at the monkey king in Li Shiming's hand and couldn't help but feel ashamed. They had been assigned combat tasks before the battle. Li Shiming solved the four white monkeys in the early stage of foundation building. He was responsible for the monkey king. And Li Shiming also trapped the monkey king. Which meant that he could attack with all his strength at will. Even so, he still let the monkey king escape. And in the end it was Li Shiming who solved the monkey king. This made him look extremely useless in this battle. Even though he severely injured the monkey king, he still felt this way. Chapter 192 Big Demon Su Chuan did not ask for the body of the monkey king. He only divided the bodies of two early stage foundation building monkeys. If not for Li Shiming's request, he would have been embarrassed to accept the corpses of these two early stage foundation building monkeys. The corpses of spiritual beasts have many uses. The fur is a material for making armor. Looking at the defense power of the foundation building monkey, the armor produced is at least a defensive weapon of average quality. Even though both Li Shiming and Su Chuan used the most top-notch spiritual weapons, in fact there were not many such spiritual weapons. Needless to say, 
Su Chuan was a true disciple of the Shushan sect. He had a long master, and his status was extremely high even within the Shushan sect. The spiritual weapons he used were certainly not bad. The spiritual weapon used by Li Shiming was obtained from the descendants of the Jin Den monks of the Mingxin sect, and also came from the hands of the Jin Den elders. It would be good for ordinary sect monks to have spiritual weapons. Defense spiritual weapons of medium quality are definitely hot commodities and are of very good value. The most valuable thing about the monkey is not its fur, but its sharp claws, even without adding any auxiliary materials. These sharp claws can be made into good attack weapons. Not to mention that in the hands of a good weapon maker, they can even be made into top spiritual weapon. Li Shiming was not polite. After distributing the spoils, they set off again. After several days of traveling, they reached the depths of the area of 100,000 mountain spirit beasts. At this time, their speed slowed down greatly. We have to go around the mountain ahead. Su Chuan looked at the terrain, took out the jade slip and made sure. This time he hesitated slightly, then took out a blank jade slip, made a copy of the information in the jade slip and handed it to Li Shiming. Brother Li, please try your best to write down this information and not reveal it. The price the sect has paid for this information is not small. Su Chuan confessed softly. Li Shiming took the jade slip and placed it between his eyebrows. A large amount of information flowed into his brain and was recorded by Z15. Give me three days, and I will destroy it in three days. Li Shiming promised sternly after knowing the information in the jade slip. In the jade slips, there is a lot of information about Shirwanda Mountain, including information about some monks with spiritual peaks and other loose cultivators, and also detailed information about some Luo sects overseas strongholds. Even in the 100,000 Mountain Spirit Beast area, there is a lot of information, such as the possible location of the Golden Core Demon and so on. Li Shiming also saw the defense line between Shiwandishan and the outside world. It was a long and continuous border of tens of thousands of miles, but it was separated by formations, forming a series of defense lines. No one of the San Luo sect has almost unified a hundred thousand mountains, but it still lacks monks. How many monks are needed to defend such a long border defense line? He knew even better that it was almost impossible to say that someone inside the San Luo sect had not revealed the jade slip in his hand. But he didn't know how to escape the devil's inquiry. Su Chuan gave Li Shiming this jade slip thinking that if something happened to him, Li Shiming would still be able to go to Shushan sect alone with the information in this jade slip. Otherwise, Li Shiming might not even know it. You can't get out of the spirit beast area, despite the fact that they had penetrated deeply into the spirit beast area very safely these days. Su Chuan and Li Shiming actually avoided many extremely dangerous areas to be so safe. This jade slip came in time. At least Li Yunba, who was coming from behind, was very useful and would not run into the territory of the Golden Elixir Demon. Brotherly, the information here is not very accurate. It is just for reference. Especially where we are. Who knows whether a new great demon will appear in the past few decades. Su Chuan reminded softly. Li Shiming nodded. And the two of them bypassed the mountain peak ahead. Hey, this lake is not on the map. When the two of them returned to their original route, they were both stunned. Su Chuan frowned and said, the route they were traveling on had been planned by Su Chuan a long time ago and was considered a relatively safe route. So even if they detoured somewhere, they would return to the original route. But what they encountered at this time was unprecedented. A lake appeared on the route they thought was safe. Both of them were in the early stages of foundation building, and the lake had little impact on them. They were flying close to the water anyway. But the unexpected lake was a huge trouble. Many spiritual beasts live in water, and they deliberately avoided many watery places along the way. Are you going around it? Li Shiming asked aloud. Both the left and right sides are not safe. Su Chuan said with a wry smile and shook his head. Li Shiming called up the map. And he also discovered that there were danger warnings marked on both sides. It seemed that there were many big monsters in this area. Let's pass carefully. Su Chuan calculated the time and risk of going back and changing to another route. So he might as well pass here. Li Shiming didn't object. He didn't sense the danger. The two used sword escape to fly over the lake. The lake was very large and extremely quiet. The more this happens, the more worried the two of them are. Something is wrong. If we really encounter a big demon, I will lure the big demon away and we will meet at the target. Su Chuan gritted his teeth and said. Li Shiming looked at him. Determination flashed in his eyes. Don't worry. I'm not committing suicide. I have the means to save my life. Su Chuan continued with a smile. 
while they were talking. They were all startled. Sensing the aura of terror. The aura of the golden elixir demon made Li Shiming wonder if Su Chuan's mouth had been opened before. Why did he meet the golden elixir demon just after he expressed his plan? Light flashed on Su Chuan's body. And his aura suddenly increased. In contrast, Li Shiming's aura seemed insignificant. While the lake was rolling, Li Shiming vaguely saw a snake-shaped figure flying out of the water. Then his scalp became numb and his whole body felt cold. It was not a snake at all, but a dragon. At least in his eyes. It was not much different from the legendary dragon. Brotherly, take care. Damn it! Why did you encounter the four-clawed dragon demon? Su Chuan's voice transmission came. Only then did Li Shiming discover that the dragon-like demon had undivided horns on its head, a tail like a snake's tail, and four toes on its claws. Although it is not the legendary dragon, this dragon is definitely the one with the most powerful bloodline among the golden elixir demons. Su Chuan's character is still very good. Even if he encounters the four-clawed dragon demon, he still uses all his energy to attract the attention of the four-clawed dragon demon. His figure accelerated towards the distance. And Li Shiming noticed that there was a talisman with scattered light in his hand. But it was not activated. The four-clawed dragon demon let out a long roar. And Li Shiming felt that he was almost unable to use sword escape. Although he was very far away, the long roar still affected him. The four-clawed dragon demon didn't pay attention to Li Shiming at all. Comparing the two, it was obvious that Su Chuan was the most attracted to the four-clawed dragon demon. Especially Su Chuan's obviously provocative aura. How could the four-clawed dragon as a great demon. Endure it. At the moment when the four-clawed dragon demon flew out of the water and was about to pursue Su Chuan, Su Chuan activated the talisman in his hand, and his figure almost turned into a phantom, escaping into the distance at an exaggerated speed. How could the four-clawed dragon monster let him go? His body twisted in the air, and then disappeared into the same place as an afterimage. This was the first time that Li Shiming felt the terror of the area of 100,000 mountain spirit beasts. Before encountering the great golden core demon, he had encountered spirit beasts in the late stage of foundation building, and he had not had much worry. He could not escape if he could not defeat them. Questionable. He has many methods. And the worst thing he can do is to delay Neza for a few breaths, allowing him time to use the talisman, and the battle can be resolved. But when facing the golden elixir demon, he didn't even have the courage to fight. The aura of the four-clawed dragon demon was more terrifying than the golden elixir monks he encountered. He took a deep breath, and the golden thunder spiritual power in his body was brought out of the spirit lake. Thunder escape was activated, and his figure turned into a golden thunder light and flashed in the other direction. When he approached the lake shore, he stopped his thunder escape. In this moment, he left the lake, but most of the thunder spirit power in his body was consumed. Five breaths of time, Li Shiming whispered to himself. In this environment, his thunder escape can last up to five breaths. If he escapes for another second, his spiritual power will be exhausted. In this case, his combat power will be greatly reduced, and he will have no ability to protect himself. He did not stay to observe Su Chuan's situation. It would be impossible for a true disciple of a large sect to survive without the means to save his life. After learning that the four-clawed dragon monster existed in the lake, Li Yuanba's course of action needed to be redesigned. Li Yuanba was with his generals and was not afraid of all the spiritual beasts with foundation strength. But he still had no solution when facing the golden elixir demon. He spent some time redesigning a route for Li Yuanba. That route was much longer than this route, because there were too many deters. But safety is the most important thing. He can't leave himself and Li Yuanba here for Su Chuan's mission. It was also beneficial for him to set off alone. The drone flew into the sky. The drone was equipped with an invisibility and sound isolation formation, so that the drone would not be discovered by ordinary birds. In this way, he has a pair of eyes in the sky and can observe the situation further away. Instead, he was a little faster. When he encountered a suspicious place, he used a large telescope to observe carefully and then used the Z-15 to analyze the observed pictures. No matter what level of spiritual beast it is, it will leave some traces. The sky is getting dark. In a place like this, it is not advisable to operate in the dark. For many spiritual beasts, darkness will enhance their sensing capabilities and can also conceal their existence. Even if Li Shiming had an infrared thermal imaging drone, he didn't want to operate in the dark. Under infrared thermal imaging, there is no difference between ordinary beasts and spiritual beasts. He can't just dodge when he encounters a beast. That way he doesn't have to go. 
he summoned Neza out of a recessed area. Neza held huge weapons in his six arms and soon opened up a simple cave. Putting away Neza, he entered the cave and sealed the entrance with a huge stone. Due to his aura, he couldn't practice the main training technique. He didn't want to practice the body training technique at first. But with Urju here, he wanted to try it now. Thinking of Urju, he felt impatient. But before that, he still took out dozens of spirit stones and arranged a simple formation for the cave to conceal the aura in the cave. Setting up the formation with spirit stones was a helpless move. All the formation flags were used up, and the formation discs obtained during the chi chain period were not as effective as the formations he, a senior formation master, could easily set up with spirit stones. After doing this, he first took out two spiritual stones and held them in his hands to restore the spiritual power in his body. He waited until the spiritual power returned to normal before stopping. Li Shiming threw away the spirit stone without energy, stood on the ground with both feet, took out the jug and poured the monkey wine into his mouth without swallowing it. His expression gradually turned ferocious, anger rising in his heart. But the sound of chanting the Diamond Sutra rang in his ears, and a phantom of an angry-eyed Vidra appeared behind him. The Vidra Body Protection Divine Art in the chapter of Foundation Building converts spiritual power into Vidra power with the help of Buddha's will, strengthening the monk's whole body simultaneously in movement and stillness. He swallowed the monkey wine in his mouth, and a hot energy went straight from his mouth into his stomach, and then this hot energy spread throughout his body. The Vidra power transformed from the thunder spirit power, under the influence of the true meaning of the raging Imadra, became more violent, constantly impacting his whole body. When he was practicing before, he always felt that his body was unsustainable under the impact of Vidra power. It was a feeling of emptiness that the Vidra power was strengthening the body. But the body's energy could not satisfy it. But this time it was different. Vidra power was flowing throughout his body. And every part of his body felt expanded under the impact. The feeling of expansion is like an illusion. But it accelerates the body's absorption of monkey wine. The hot energy is swallowed up by the body. Seeming to solidify the feeling of expansion. Li Shiming let out a roar unconsciously, and the true meaning of the angry eye King Kong seemed to become more agile. The quality of the converted Vidra power has been obviously improved, and the stimulation to the body is more intense. The energy of the monkey wine consumed by the body replenishes the emptiness caused by the stimulation. He felt like he had transformed into an angry eyed Vidra, with muscles all over his body and a strength that could hold up the heavens. Unknowingly, he completed the last action of the Vidra body protecting magic art and the hot energy generated by the monkey wine in his body was completely absorbed, and the true meaning of the angry eyeing Vidra slowly dissipated. Open your eyes, and regain your consciousness. He felt that the muscles all over his body were bulging, as if there was endless power in his body. His spiritual thoughts swept over his body, and the robes and clothes on his body disappeared, revealing his body. It was not an illusion. His muscles had obviously grown in size, and the originally streamlined muscles were now a bit bloated. I won't become a muscular man. Right. Li Shiming couldn't help but said to himself. The beauty of this world is not that of muscles. The physical appearance of most monks who are not practicing is more like a wealthy figure. The so-called rich figure means that the belly is slightly protruding and the body is slightly fat. This shape is the most standard illustration shape among various exercises. However, although his muscles have increased, his physique has indeed increased a lot. This time of practice, his but draw body protection magic technique has suddenly improved a lot, and he has reached the early stage of foundation building of the But draw body protection magic technique. Intermediate level. Chapter 193 Arrival. After practicing the Diamond Body Protection Divine Art, Li Shiming then began to practice the Tor Demon Secret Book. During the foundation building stage of the Tor Demon Secret Code, he focused on cultivating sword intention. But he could skip this step, which allowed him to practice the Tor Demon Secret Code at a deeper level. Skipping the early stage of the foundation building chapter, the third grade sword base turned into countless tiny daggers, which were integrated into every part of his body. Silks of sword intent emit from countless tiny daggers, stimulating the fit between the body and the sword intent, deepening the integration between the body and the third grade sword base. The Secret Book of the Sword Demon uses the sword to nourish the body, and the body to nourish the sword so that the sword and the body improve at the same time. Of course, he was still mainly using swords to maintain his health, and there was still a big gap between his physique 
and the quality of a third grade sword base. While practicing the secret manual of the sword demon, Li Shiming no longer took monkey wine because his body was full of swelling and the energy in his body was sufficient. As the practice progressed, the feeling of swelling in the body also disappeared. When the practice ended, he was pleasantly surprised to find that the previously swollen muscles had shrunk back and there were no longer any knots. Although his muscles have become smaller, his physique has improved a bit, and his body is transforming towards the strength of a second-grade spiritual weapon. When he can cultivate the secret code of sword demon to the top level of the second-level spiritual weapon, then even if he does not use any spells or magic weapons during the foundation-building period, his body alone will be enough to fight against any foundation-building monk. Early the next morning, before dawn, Li Shiming left the temporary cave. In the next three days, he traveled carefully, but he did not encounter the big demon again, and he reached the predetermined target location smoothly along the way. Three mountains are connected here. Li Shiming is on the mountainside of the mountain on the left, separated by a mountain from the location marked Myong Clover on the map. There is no need to worry about being discovered by powerful spiritual beasts. He released the drone. Although he had to wait for Su Chuan to act together, he also needed to detect some information in advance. The drone flew over the top of the mountain. After turning on infrared thermal imaging, he discovered many small red dots on the target mountain. There is only one area with a radius of about 100 meters. There is no small red dot, but there is a huge red one. That should be the guardian spirit beast. This discovery reassured Li Shiming. At least a target like a drone without much spiritual power fluctuation would not have much of a problem if it was not too close to the target for ground reconnaissance. What he is most worried about is encountering the kind of spirit beast that does not allow any beasts to appear in its territory. In that case, the appearance of the drone will be noticed by the guardian spirit beast. As long as a drone flying in the sky is not directly observed by a guardian spirit beast, it will only be thought that it is a flying bird. The drone circled nearby. And Z-15 mapped the terrain of the entire area into a three-dimensional map. The only thing that couldn't be determined was the strength of the guardian spirit beast. Li Shiming asked Neza to dig a deep cave on the mountainside. The thick rocks and soil can block the perception of powerful spiritual beasts. He set up multiple surveillance cameras outside. Some were placed on the top of the mountain facing the target mountain. And some were aimed at the other side. As long as Su Chuan came over, he would be able to detect them. For five days, Li Shiming has been practicing bodybuilding exercises in the cave. On the fifth day, Su Chuan still didn't come, and Li Shiming felt something was wrong. No matter how slow this journey is, it will take five days to arrive. Thinking back to the four-clawed dragon monster that chased Su Chuan that day, Li Shiming couldn't help but mourn for Su Chuan. The Xu Chuan people are not bad. At least they feel relieved to be friends. Not every monk is willing to take the initiative to lure away the big monster when encountering it. This is character and true character can best be seen in adversity. Brother Su, I will try my best at Muyang Clover. But if there is a big demon guarding me, I don't have the ability. Please forgive me. Li Shiming looked at the direction he came from and murmured to himself. These days, he wanted to monitor the travel patterns of the powerful spirit beast through surveillance. But it was obvious that he had overthought it. The spirit beast had stayed in place and had not moved. Li Shiming couldn't even make an accurate judgment on the strength of the spirit beast without getting close. We must first determine the strength of the guardian spirit beast and lure the guardian spirit beast away to determine whether the Miyong Clover is still there. He was planning in his mind. If you want to observe the strength of the guardian spirit beast, the easiest way is to make a lot of noise. The guardian spirit beast will definitely be alert and show its power. Then you can judge the strength of the guardian spirit beast. This is what Li Shiming is best at making a lot of noise. He took out a 500-gram small bomb, which was a standard military bomb with a complete detonation device. He used his spiritual thoughts to adjust the detonation device to the timing. The drone then flew to the right side of the three peaks with the small bomb, and then controlled the drone to drop the small bomb. The drone returned, and he took it back. His whole body's aura converged, and his whole body was covered in soil, leaving only a trace of spiritual thoughts outside. Three, two, one. As he counted down in his mind, an explosion sounded. At the moment when the explosion sounded, the infrared thermal imaging under surveillance discovered the single huge heat source. Its heat increased rapidly, and then a huge roar was heard. A giant bear covered in flames rose into the air and flew towards the explosion. A terrifying and violent aura enveloped the entire area, 
and the beasts on the ground were peeing and excreting. The timid ones were frightened to death, while the rest were lying on the ground and did not dare to move at all. It's a big demon. No, it's still a little short of a big demon. After Li Shiming's spiritual sense sensed the violent aura, he immediately retracted it from his body. He didn't want to be discovered by the powerful spiritual beast. Although the giant bear covered in flames was not a great demon. Judging from the aura it displayed, it was much stronger than the one at the peak of Foundation Establishment. This giant bear covered in flames must have taken a crucial step towards becoming a great demon. But the transformation into a dragon has not yet been completed. Li Shiming didn't know if his judgment was correct. But one thing was certain. That was that he could not defeat this giant bear covered in flames. Not to mention him. Plus Li Yuanba. The generals. And even the talisman. He still has no chance of winning. He couldn't help but retreat a little. It really wasn't cost effective to risk his own life for others. Thinking of this. He once again observed the giant bear covered in flames through the surveillance camera. At this time. The giant bear flew to the explosion area and did not see any life. He only saw traces of the explosion on the ground. The giant bear let out an angry howl and beat the ground crazily, creating a big crater in the explosion area. Why is this bear so violent? Li Shiming thought to himself, somewhat strangely. He has seen a lot of spiritual beasts along the way and has done some research on them. In particular, Z-15 has collected a lot of data on spiritual beasts and conducted systematic analysis on their behavior. This giant bear is not normal among spiritual beasts. With the wisdom of a spiritual beast, after discovering traces of an explosion, it will first choose to check and try to find other related traces, instead of wantonly destroying the scene like a giant bear. This seems to be something feasible! A thought flashed through Li Shi's mind, and he was no longer in a hurry to leave. After seeing the giant bear return to its original location, he operated the drone to bring a bomb of the same size and dropped it in a further direction. This time he returned to the cave deep into the mountain and relied entirely on surveillance to observe the outside world. After delivering the bomb, the drone flew to a place very close to the giant bear's location without disturbing it and landed on the ground. The explosion sounded again, and the giant bear's reaction was still very fierce. It soared into the sky again, its violent breath igniting the flames on its body, and several nearby big trees burned. Just as the giant bear flew towards the direction of the explosion, the drone moved, and the drone flew close to the ground towards the place where the giant bear was guarding. The chip built into the drone calculates the landing pattern and constantly adjusts the flight angle to keep it close to the ground, thus minimizing the possibility of being discovered by the giant bear. Li Shiming saw the target location clearly for the first time through the images returned by the drone. That location was surrounded by several boulders, forming a nest. Before the drone could get too close, the sensor issued a high temperature alarm. The drone could only change its angle, and finally found an observation position in the gap between the boulders. The interior surrounded by boulders is a huge red rock. It is not accurate to say that it is a red rock. It should be said that there is a fire under the huge rock. And there are flames shooting out from time to time around the rock. But in this environment, there is a plant that has its roots stuck on the rocks that were burned red by the ground fire. Li Shiming saw the appearance of the plant clearly through the drone's camera. Especially since the entire plant had only three ruby-like leaves. He was 100% sure that this was the Miyong Clover. I didn't expect that the Miyong Clover is still there. And it seems to be almost mature. In fact, Su Chuan dared to regard the Miyong Clover here as hope. It was based on the records that he judged that the Miyong Clover here was about to mature. Spiritual beasts will not pick immature spiritual things. Doing so would be a waste of natural resources. And the effect would be far from mature. Li Shiming saw through the surveillance camera that the giant bear was flying back. He quickly put the drone into standby mode. The drone stopped outside the nest. Facing the small gap, the bear flew back to its lair. Its rage subdued as it entered the lair, as was evident from the terrible sound it made as it continued to breathe hard. The drone acted as a surveillance camera at this time, filming every move of the giant bear. The drone did not attract the attention of the giant bear, which was not surprising to Li Shiming. In this world, no matter whether it is a monk or a spiritual beast, it seems that they do not pay much attention to items, and lives without spiritual energy fluctuations. The monks and the spiritual beasts seem to be in another world. There were only spiritual creatures in their world, and all creatures were inferior and inferior. The giant bear's heavy breathing became lighter when it saw the Miyong Clover. Its huge bear paw wanted to touch the Miyong Clover, but it stopped an inch away from the Miyong Clover. 
Li Shiming could see that Miyang Clover was extremely important to the giant bear. This third grade Miyang Clover may be the opportunity for the giant bear to be promoted to a great demon. This is his guess. And I believe it is not far from the truth. Otherwise, how can we explain that a giant bear who is about to become a great demon is so caring while guarding Miyang Clover? In the next two days, an explosion would occur every once in a while. The location of the explosion was very chaotic and there was no pattern. The giant bear's temper became even more violent. In addition to being able to suppress its anger in its lair, it almost burned down all the nearby trees. Fortunately, the drone was parked very close to the nest. So it escaped the fate of being destroyed by the angry giant bear. According to Z15's character analysis of the giant bear, the time is almost up. The giant bear's anger level has reached the critical point and it can take action. Li Shiming took matters into his own hands and placed time bombs on the right mountain peak. Followed by the second, third and fourth. After he arranged everything, he returned to the peak on the left and waited. With a boom, another explosion caused the giant bear to fly into the air. And its anger almost enveloped the entire mountain. The giant bear flew towards the mountain on the right. During the flight, after leaving the nest, the rocks on the ground were burned and shattered by terrifying flames. It is preparing to be promoted to a great demon here. It has already taken the most important step. It only needs to take the final third grade Jiang elixir to become a great demon. But something is constantly harassing it. But it can't find where it is. Originally a giant bear with yang energy. Under this kind of teasing, the anger could not be suppressed at all. Just as it flew towards the explosion point, another explosion sounded. This time slightly further than the first explosion point. Without thinking, it flew towards the new explosion point. Another explosion sounded. Farther away. Li Shiming's figure emerged. He tried his best to suppress his physical strength and spiritual power. Even the light of his sword was restrained to the extreme with the help of his sword intention. His speed is not slow at all. This is not the time to conserve speed. After the data collected by Z15 these days, it became clear that the explosions Li Shiming set up multiple times were not random. Z15 determined the sensing range of the giant bear's lair. As long as the explosion point is a little further away, the giant bear will hesitate for a moment when flying away. This can be clearly seen from the surveillance screen. The reason why after two days of constant explosions was that the giant bear removed this hesitation and unconsciously came up with the idea that no matter where the explosion was, it would not affect the nest. After all, the giant bear is not a real big monster. It is just like a normal human being in terms of intelligence. However, after being provoked many times, it still inevitably accepts the influence of instinct and enters a violent state. Li Shiming flew to the giant bear's lair, which was extremely simple and crude. It was designed to keep Miyang Clover inside and prevent it from being discovered by other spiritual beasts. Third grade elixirs are extremely important to any great demon. And the giant bear obviously knows this. Since he didn't use much spiritual power, he clearly felt the temperature like a furnace after approaching the nest. Chapter 194 Success Li Shiming did not hesitate at all. He was convinced that his body's defense against high temperatures would not be harmed at least in a short period of time. In order to send out as few spiritual energy fluctuations as possible, he rushed into the giant bear's lair without even activating his defensive spiritual weapon. He set his sights on Miyang Clover almost immediately, and a jade box appeared in his hand. This was a container specially prepared for storing high-quality elixirs. In his other hand was a jade dagger. This dagger was not a magic weapon, but a medicinal tool given by Su Chuan specially prepared for collecting Muyong Clover. The Jade Sword gently picked up the roots of the Muyong Clover. The roots that originally grabbed the rock immediately left the rock under the light touch of the Jade Sword and fell into the Jade Box. Although the Muyong Clover is still a little short of being fully mature, Su Chuan said that the Shushan sect has a way to ripen the Muyong Clover. So there is no need to wait for it to be fully mature before harvesting this elixir. Of course, if Muyong Clover is still a long time away from maturity, Ripening will not make the third grade elixir mature. The advantage of this is that you don't have to wait for that moment of collection time, which reduces the difficulty of collection. Li Shiming put away the Miyong Clover, and his eyes fell on a small flame on the red rock. When he observed through the drone's camera before, he had no special feeling about the flames coming out around the red rocks. But at a close distance, he could feel that this small flame was completely different from the other flames. Because the small flame was full of spirituality, and it was definitely some kind of spiritual thing. He didn't have time to stay longer. His spiritual thoughts swept over the small flames and prepared to try to put them away. 
But at the moment when his spiritual mind came into contact with the little flame, the small flame followed his spiritual mind and entered his body at an indescribable speed, or as if it was moving instantly. He was startled, but he had no time to think about it anymore. He heard the howl of a giant bear in the distance. Through the video from the surveillance camera, the giant bear had discovered that something had changed in its lair. Li Shiming put the jade box into the computer room, turned his body out of the nest, and at the same time threw an oversized bomb into the nest. His body turned into a sword light and rushed towards the ground. At the same time, the star life, fireproof material completely wrapped the body. The whole movement took only one breath, and he was about half a meter underground. With a boom explosion, the giant bear's lair was blown open, and countless rubbles flew. After the gravel is magma, the magma seems to be sealed below by this huge stone. For some unknown reason, there is a crack here connected to the underground magma layer, forming the growth environment of Myong Clover. Li Shiming exploded the rock sealing the crack, and the result was a small volcanic eruption here. The magma spurted outwards, quickly turning the nest and the surrounding area into a sea of flames. The giant bear was extremely fast, although it followed the explosion for a certain distance. It only took two breaths to rush back after sensing the abnormality in the lair. When it saw the nest explode, its eyes suddenly turned red. Its third grade Muyong clover and its red yang spiritual fire all disappeared. At this moment, it sensed a wave of spiritual energy escaping rapidly in the distance. And without any hesitation, it chased after it in a flash. It thought that the person who appeared here at this time must be the thief who stole its treasure. On the left mountain peak, small rockets densely covered with formation patterns were automatically ignited as the countdown approached. This small rocket was an experiment made by Li Shiming in order to make a large rocket. With the size of a small rocket, it could neither carry people nor carry much ammunition. It was completely experimental and useless. But using this small rocket to attract giant bears is extremely useful. Li Shiming set the navigation of the small rocket to the lake with the four-claw dragon monster. The speed of a small rocket is absolutely extremely fast. After ignition, due to its own weight, it reaches the highest speed in an instant. Although the small rocket is small, its engine is completely scaled down according to the same proportion. And the fuel used is also the liquid hydrogen of the rocket. Precisely because small rockets require less materials. All the spiritual materials he used on the small rockets were equivalent to a low-grade magic weapon. Customized by an order he placed for Qianlong Trading Company when he was in Tianhai sect. After the small rocket was ignited, its own formation emitted spiritual energy fluctuations. Although the spiritual energy fluctuation was weak, it was extremely obvious to the perception of the extremely angry half-step demon bear. The figure of the giant bear turned into a red shadow and chased after the small rocket. Through surveillance, Li Shiming came out of the ground after seeing the giant bear move away from the place. At this time, his whole body was wrapped in a layer of black. This was because the outer layer of the star life, fireproof material was carbonized. But the temperature inside was still bearable. Probably even the giant bear has not thought that there are creatures that can hide under the magma right under its nose. You must know that even fire-attributed spiritual beasts need to use their spiritual power in the magma to ensure that they will not be burned by the magma. The extremely high temperature of the magma also concealed the shimming's concentrated breath. After all, the giant bear is not a real big monster. And it is an anger, which affects its ability to judge things. This plan was jointly formulated by Z-15 and Li Shiming based on the results of the giant bear's personality analysis. It can be said that Li Shiming will only implement it if the success rate reaches more than 80%. Li Shiming left the underground, put away the black star life, fireproof material on his body, turned his body into a sword light, and fled in the other direction. After escaping for hundreds of miles, he found a hidden cave and entered it. After arranging a formation for the cave with multiple spirit stones, the first thing he did was to check his body. The little flame entered his body, making him tremble with fear. There was no such thing as a little flame in his knowledge system. He sat cross-legged on the ground, consciousness sweeping over his body. When his consciousness entered the spiritual lake, he saw a small flame in the middle of his spiritual lake. Li Shiming felt that Xiao Miao was absorbing his fire and thunder spiritual power. Fortunately, Xiao Miao didn't have a big appetite and only absorbed a little bit of the fire and thunder spiritual power each time. Since it was his own spiritual lake, his consciousness easily captured the small flame and came into contact with it. Little Flame has a weak spiritual intelligence. And when his consciousness comes into contact, 
There is a feedback of joyful consciousness. He had a flash of inspiration and issued an order to Xiao Hui Miao in his heart. Immediately, the small flame left his spiritual lake and appeared on his fingers, jumping and flickering lightly on his fingers. Li Shiming's fingers couldn't feel the temperature of the small flame at all. The small flame seemed to be the same body temperature as him. He searched in the storage bag and found a small piece of first grade ore. But he couldn't even remember which unlucky monk it belonged to. He held the first grade ore over the small flame with his spiritual mind. But it did not produce the slightest change, which made him a little disappointed. He thought that the small flame could burn the first grade ore. That way, he could use the small flame to help refine the weapon. Just as he was thinking about it, Xiao Hui Miao seemed to sense his thoughts. A tiny but terrifying breath came out from the small flame. And then, the first grade ore turned into a liquid, and all the impurities in it were refined, leaving only the pure first grade metal. Li Shiming was startled, and he almost shook off the small flame on his finger. Fortunately, Xiao Hui Miao had extremely strong control over the burning object, and seemed to regard him as its master, so it did not hurt his fingers. Li Shiming held the liquid first grade metal with his spiritual mind. The liquid first grade metal solidified quickly after losing the burning of the small flame. Its quality has almost reached the ultimate level of first grade metal, which is simply unimaginable. You must know that the most difficult thing for an instrument maker is to remove impurities in the ore. This is part of the difference between the raw materials of high grade, medium grade, and low grade magical instruments. The same first grade ore, forged by different weapon makers, can produce different grades of metal. Of course, there are also ores that are naturally of extremely high quality. As long as the weapon maker has normal skills, he can forge medium or high grade magic weapon materials. This small flame is equivalent to half the work of the weapon maker. Smelting spiritual or is the foundation of the weapon maker. It is also the first step for all magic weapons. And it is the most important step. Li Shiming took out another piece of second grade ore, placed it on top of the small flame again, and gave the order to the small flame in his heart. This time, there was no change at all. The second grade ore also became liquid, and all the impurities in it were refined. When the second grade metal cooled, he saw a piece of pure second grade metal. However, after this refining, he felt tired from Xiao Hua Miao's spiritual intelligence. And he let Xiao Hua Miao return to the spiritual lake. The little flame once again absorbed his fire and thunder spiritual power. This time, the fire and thunder spiritual power absorbed was about the same amount as when he used the lightning strike technique. Once, he doesn't care about the consumption of fire and thunder spiritual power. It is nothing to absorb a little spiritual power for this kind of treasure. Compared with the effect of small flames, the consumption of this small amount of spiritual power is really cost-effective. Miyong Clover has been obtained, and all he needs to do next is to leave Shawandishan. Because Su Chuan had taken precautions in advance, he had a way to leave Shawandishan, which was to use the Shushan sex channels. In addition, he also needs to rendezvous with Li Yuanba, compared with acting alone. It is safer to act with Li Yuanba, especially the journey to the defense line connecting Shirwanda Mountain with the outside world. With Li Yuanba, a disciple of the Sun Luo sect, there is no need at all. Consider getting into trouble. Li Shiming still traveled during the day and rested at night. This time, he took another road and avoided the location of the Foreclawed Dragon Demon Lake. A few days later, he met Li Yuanba. Although Li Yuanba did not have as many means as Li Shiming, but with the generals around, and the road had been explored by Li Shiming and Su Chuan. The journey was extremely easy. Thank you for your hard work, fellow Taoist, Li Shiming said with a smile. You're welcome, fellow Taoist, Li Yuanba replied with a smile. When they meet again, the two subconsciousnesses of the same consciousness still talk in the same way of expression as before. Give you half of this, Li Shiming gave half of the monkey wine to Li Yuanba. He did calculations through Z15. This time he got half of the monkey wine which was enough for him to use two doors. The chapter on bodybuilding exercises and foundation building is completed. As for after the foundation building stage, it is the golden elixir stage. The effect of monkey wine on the golden elixir stage body refining is probably so weak that it is almost non-existent. Even if a golden core stage cultivator does not practice body training techniques, his body's defense is still extremely terrifying. A spirit beast with the strength of the spirit monkey king can be easily crushed to death with one hand. The spirit wine brewed by the spirit monkey king is probably only for enjoyment, not a cultivation resource. He wouldn't sell this kind of treasure, so it would be better to give it to Li Yuanba 
so that Li Yuanba's body training skills could be improved quickly. The stronger Li Yuanba is, the stronger his own strength will be, which will provide him with more resources. Thank you, fellow Taoist. Li Yuanba took the monkey wine and said with a smile. It took the two of them nearly ten days to get out of the Shirwan Mountain and return to the Saluo sect's sphere of influence. After leaving Shirwan the mountain, Li Yuanba took out the jade flying boat and controlled the flying boat to fly directly with Li Shiming. Just as Li Shiming thought, the Samluosek mark on the jade flying boat prevented their flight from encountering any obstacles. Even if a monk saw it, they would take the initiative to avoid it. Even monks who have a grudge against Samluosek will not provoke Samluosek monks, whose strength is unknown for nothing. Li Shiming finally had the opportunity to stand in the air and enjoy the scenery of Shirwanda Mountain. The name Shirwandashan comes from the fact that it is a continuous mountain range, which is divided into many mountain ranges. Mortals rely on the protection of monks in the hundred thousand mountains to carve out fertile fields and build cities without having to worry about the threat of spiritual beasts. Compared with the crisis-ridden spirit beast region, the human region is more prosperous and full of vitality. Li Yuanba joined the Sun Luo sect, which also changed Li Shiming's judgment on the Sun Luo sect. Although it is a demon sect, the system in the sect is strict and rewards and punishments are clear. This is the symbol of the Zhongxing sect. At least within the sect, there are not many traces of the demon sect. Of course, this may only be superficial. And Li Yuanba's exposure is too superficial. Li Yuanba completed three missions in a row this time. Plus the heads of two wanted monks. He didn't have to do missions for a year. But it gave him time to improve his strength. Fellow Taoist, it's just here. Li Yuanba lowered the flying boat and said to Li Shiming. In more than ten days, they passed through the hundred thousand mountains and arrived outside a city close to the defense line. Fellow Taoist, be careful, Li Shiming replied with a smile. Li Yuanba left in a jade flying boat. It was not until Li Yuanba's flying boat disappeared that Li Shiming headed towards the city. After this separation, they probably wouldn't meet again for a long time. Ever since he learned that Sun Luo sect had established a tens of thousands of miles of defense line in the area where Shirwanda Mountain intersects with the outside world, he knew this clearly. If they meet again in the future, it will probably be when the status of both parties within their respective sects has reached a certain level, or when their strength has reached the Golden Elixir. Chapter 195 Passing the Level Jishan City was built about 200 miles away from Sun Luo's sect's defense line. After Li Shiming walked into this city, he discovered the difference in this city. This was not a mere mortal city. After entering the city, he sensed fluctuations in the spiritual power of many monks. This should be regarded as a city where mortals and monks live together. He saw many monk shops. And mortals were busy in the shops. This situation is extremely rare. Because mortals cannot bear the strong spiritual energy. Making it almost impossible for mortals to stay in the monk shop for a long time. However, the spiritual energy fluctuations in the monk shops here are very weak. It seems that the shops here do not carry out in-depth processing of spiritual objects. Li Shiming looked around as he walked. He was looking for Shamao shop a shop belonging to the Shushan sect. Found it! It didn't take long to find the target. The main reason is that this shop is so eye-catching. It is one of the largest shops in Jishan City. A large cart was unloading goods in the Shumao store. And a large number of boxes with relatively weak spiritual energy fluctuations were unloaded from the cart and sent into the store. Man! I'm looking for your shopkeeper! Li Shiming walked over, grabbed a mortal waiter who was busy and said, Wait a moment! I will inform you right now. The mortal clerk glanced at Li Shiming, glanced at Li Shiming's robe and the storage bag on his waist, and quickly bowed and replied, Mortals here have a way to identify monks. Although it is a bit simple, it is extremely effective. Mortals are extremely polite to monks. The gap between monks and mortals is so great that a monk can decide the life or death of a mortal with a backhand. Fellow Taoist, are you looking for me? An old monk in the middle stage of foundation building slowly walked out of the shop. He was slightly startled when he saw Li Shiming. This was because he sensed Li Shiming's realm. I've met Tao's friends. I need to leave Shuandishan. This is a token. Li Shiming took out the token given by Su Chuan, which was a jade plaque with the seal of Shushan sect. The old monk's fingers in the middle stage of foundation building slightly touched the jade plate, and a less obvious mark appeared on the jade plate. It was the mark of a true disciple. This made the old monk's eyes narrowed slightly in the middle stage of foundation building. He naturally knows who this jade token belongs to. Su Chuan used a channel to enter Shirwanda Mountain some time ago. For him, a monk who has mastered the channels on Shirwanda Mountain, 
It is not a secret. Li Shiming came here with a jade token belonging to Su Chuan. Needless to say, this was the jade token given by Su Chuan. True disciples have the power to mobilize the channels here. If they have a token, the channels need to be open for Li Shiming. Fellow Taoist, there is something I need to explain first. The next shipment will not be shipped for another three days. So you need to wait here for three days. In addition, the method of sending you through the customs is a bit special. Please be patient. The old monk in the middle stage of foundation building said softly. Thank you fellow Taoist for your help. I will obey the arrangement. Li Shiming said nothing more. Bowing and thanking him. Xiao Wu. Take this guest to the guest room. The old monk in the middle stage of foundation building turned to a mortal clerk and ordered. The mortal waiter took Li Shiming to the backyard of the store and led him to a guest room. There are no spiritual veins. There are no spiritual objects. This place is completely mundane. Li Shiming shook his head slightly. He couldn't practice while walking outside. This was really a big trouble. He had been outside for a long time. And the spiritual power in his body had hardly increased at all. If it weren't for the monkey wine, which made his body training skills improve rapidly, he would have really been delayed during this period. To cultivate immortality, you still need to find a stable place that can allow you to practice for a long time. He began to consider whether to join the Qianhuan sect or the Xuxian sect. However, he was in Shirwanda Mountain and knew very little information about the two sections. He might as well wait until he left Shirwandashan before he could think of a solution. With Yin Shirwan and the Qianhuan sect, he could at least become an ordinary disciple stably. But if he really had to rely entirely on Yin Shirwan's protection, probably not only the monks of the sect would look down on him, but he himself would look down on himself. If he joins the Shushan sect, he will probably be protected and treated well by Master Su Chuan, given the kindness he brings with him with the third grade Muyong Clover. But similarly, Master Su Chuan's hostile forces will regard him as an enemy. Li Shiming was not a fool. When he rescued Su Chuan, he discovered the weirdness. Su Chuan was betrayed. Otherwise, how could he be ambushed by such a coincidence? With the strength of Su Chuan fighting with him, it would not be a problem for Su Chuan to kill two or three people of the same level with his true full strength, coupled with the hidden methods. It would be no problem to kill the enemy beyond the level. However, he was ambushed in a targeted manner and almost died in the hands of three monks of the same level. At that time, Another monk in the middle stage of foundation building had not yet arrived on the battlefield and only acted as a distraction to attract Su Chuan's attention. If you join Master Su Chuan's lineage, you will certainly have to endure corresponding troubles while enjoying the benefits. Of course, these are not the focus. The specific situation of Qian Wan sect and Xu Shen sect is what he is most concerned about. He spent three days refining his body until someone came to inform him. In the backyard, Li Shiming saw twenty carts pulled by two tall and strong black cows. The size of the cart is almost the same as the truck in the previous life. It is estimated that only this kind of strong black bull can easily pull it. In the black cow's body, you can feel weak spiritual power fluctuations. This black bull has the bloodline of a spiritual beast. But not much. But even so, the physical strength and strength of the black bull are not comparable to ordinary beasts. Fellow Taoist, come with me. After seeing Li Shiming, the shopkeeper in the middle stage of foundation establishment waved. Neither of them took the initiative to share their names. This was specifically mentioned by Su Chuan. He was not too confident about the channels here. Of course, what Su Chuan was worried about at the time was not whether he could send Li Shiming away from Shawanishan, but that someone within the channel leaked information about him to Sun Luo's sect. Li Shiming was very careful. Even his face was disguised. Fellow Taoist, sit here and don't make a sound. The truck will take you away from Sherwanda Mountain. It will take about seven hours and you can come out. The shopkeeper said as he opened the side panel of a truck in the middle stage of foundation building. Li Shiming discovered that there was a space for one person at the bottom of the truck, which was just enough for him to hide in. Although the space here is isolated by spiritual beings with an insulating aura, he does not believe that this method can take him out of the hundred thousand mountains because this method is too simple and cannot withstand inspection at all. A monk with a little experience can easily find the entrainment in the truck. Don't worry. Fellow Taoist, we have many years of experience in transporting monks in this way. And we have never failed. Not only us, but also several other shops belonging to other sects use the same method to enter and exit Shawandishan. The shopkeeper of Ji Zhong saw Li Shiming's hesitation. And he explained softly, 
after the shopkeeper's explanation in the middle stage of foundation building. Li Shiming understood the key. First of all, the major sects need to conduct some spiritual object transactions with the Sanluo sect. This is not only the needs of the major sects, but also the needs of the Sanluo sect. On this basis, shops opened by major sects in Jieshan City appeared. Secondly, some Luo sect cannot 100% prevent other major sects from sneaking into Shirwanda Mountain. Instead of letting each major sect try their best to break the formation, it is better to open a gap and pass under the supervision of Sunluo sect. This is the current method. Only Chi Chain and Foundation Establishment monks can use this method to pass the test. Golden Elixir monks really cannot afford to lose face like this. Confined in a small cart space, the number of monks transported at a time is limited which avoids the entry and exit of a large number of monks. The fact is that major sects use this method to sneak across the border. Not only the shops they deal with know about it, but also the guards at the San Luo sect checkpoint know about it. What everyone has to do is to keep up the good work, and the smooth flow of trade routes is what each other needs. The resources of Shawandishan need to be exchanged with the resources within the sphere of influence of various major sections. This is a demand from many parties. And San Luo sect sometimes needs to send sect disciples out of Shawandishan to perform tasks. And such channels also need to exist. Li Shiming was sitting in the cart. The speed of the cart was not fast. But it was very stable. He was a little worried at first because he entered the checkpoint 200 miles away. His worries were somewhat unnecessary. Because the big car never stopped and kept maintaining this speed without even conducting proper inspections. He believed the words of the mid-stage foundation establishment shopkeeper. It seemed that this channel was really safe. It takes a long time to leave Shawandishan. The road is not straight. Due to the mountainous nature, many roads are winding, which increases the original distance many times. Seven hours later, Li Shiming heard someone knocking on the side panel. And then the side panel was opened. He rolled out of the cart and saw that the cart was still maintaining speed. No one, including the guy who knocked on the side panel to remind him, looked at him as if he didn't exist. He looked around. He was already in the plains, with a hundred thousand mountains not far behind him. He really wanted to ask something. But seeing the looks on the guy's faces, he guessed that it might be a rule for the guys not to talk to the smuggling monks. So he suppressed the urge to ask. Li Shiming was in the isolated mezzanine of the cart before, and did not perceive the outside world. However, after coming out, he felt the breath of golden elixir at the junction of the Sherwan Mountain and the plain behind him. And there is not just one golden pill, but at least two golden pills. The two golden pills did not hide their auras and allowed the golden pill aura to spread across the space. However, this golden elixir aura cannot be sensed by mortals and is only a shock to the monks. Li Shiming didn't have the slightest understanding of the place he was in. He didn't dare to stay any longer. His figure turned into a sword light and flew into the distance. After flying hundreds of miles, I discovered a city. There should be monks in any city. He changed his clothes, changed from a monk to a young Confucian scholar, and walked into the city with a smile. After entering the city, Li Shiming sent out a spiritual thought, and after sweeping out, he found no trace of the monks. He used the escape technique to block the sight of mortals, and quickly walked around the city. His spiritual thought scanned every part of the city, confirming that this was a city without monks. Even from the conversations between mortals, no mortal mentioned anything about the monks. You must know that in Sherwanda Mountain, there may not be many monks in the city, but there are many rumors about monks, especially when going deep into the bowels of the hundred thousand mountains. Mortals almost rely on monks to survive. Li Shiming spent some gold and silver to buy a map and some biography books in the city and read them quickly. He is in the Tianang Kingdom, which is one of the many countries in the northern Shu continent and has 260 cities. He left the city and used sword escape to reach the next city. This time he did not enter the city, but used the escape technique to fly through the city in the air. Ling Yin also did not find any monks. He probably guessed the situation here, which was similar to Tian Hai Sect's management of mortals. Mortals have no understanding of the monks, except for a very small number of people in the country who need to cooperate in finding the spiritual root seeds. The rest of the people know nothing about the existence of the monks. Moreover, the spiritual energy in the mortal land is obviously much thinner, which is also similar to the Tianhai sect. Today, he is no longer the monk who knows nothing. He knows that the spiritual power in mortal places is thin. On the one hand, the lifestyle of mortals has reduced the quality of spiritual energy. On the other hand, 
the large formations arranged by this sect have a concentrated the spiritual effect, coupled with intentional guidance, cause the few spiritual energy in the mortal place to be drawn away. This is a good thing. Mortals living in a spiritual environment for a long time will not only not extend their lifespan, but will die prematurely. The lighter the concentration of spiritual energy, the more beneficial it is to the survival of mortals. Among auras, only a handful of auras that focus on nourishing life can be beneficial to mortals. However, the existence of such spiritual energy in nature is extremely rare, and most of them require full-time monks to inspire it. There is no information about the monks on the mortal map, which makes it a little troublesome for Li Shiming to find the monks. Looking at the vast area of the Tiantang kingdom alone, he knew that running around looking for monks would be a waste of time. He set his sights on the capital city of Tiantang kingdom. There must be monks from the sect station there, so he could inquire about the sphere of influence here. If I had known this, I would have asked Su Chuan for a map. Li Shiming thought to himself as he flew towards the capital. I guess Su Chuan didn't expect this. In Su Chuan, if you want to know how famous each major sect is, you can find out just by picking up any monk. But who would have known that after Li Shiming left the Hundred Thousand Mountains, he plunged into the mortal world and couldn't find a monk at all. In fact, he took the wrong path. If he were a monk who knew the path, he would naturally go in another direction. That is the world of monks. Fortunately, he was fast enough. And it took him most of a day to reach the capital, using the escape technique to enter the city. Li Shiming had a smile on his face as he approached the imperial city in the center of the capital. It seemed that the normal management methods of the common sects were the same. Whether it was Tianhai Island or Beishu Continent, it is probably only a demon sect like the Sanluo sect in Shirwanda Mountain that mixes mortals with monks. Chapter 196 News Qian Huan Sect Chu Gang has met my senior. I wonder why he came to the Tiantang Kingdom's palace. An old-looking monk in the late stage of change he flew over with a magic weapon, bowed to Li Shiming, and asked in a neither humble nor condescending manner. The kind of demeanor that belongs to a large sect is fully displayed in Chu Gang. Even though he was in the late stage of Chi Chain, he didn't have any worries or fears when facing Li Shiming. A monk in the early stage of foundation building. Is this place the Qian Huan Sect's fear of influence? Li Shiming was slightly startled and murmured to himself. He had heard before that Qian Huan Sect and Sun Luo's Sect were close to each other. But after seeing that the defense line between Shi Wanishan and the outside world was tens of thousands of miles long, he knew that Qian Huan Sect was not the only one close to Sun Luo's Sect. Sect? Chu Gang heard Li Shiming's whisper, and his eyes flickered. He guessed that Li Shiming's identity was probably a monk from afar, and was not familiar with this place. I want to buy a map. Can it be convenient? Li Shiming said with a smile. Chu Gang couldn't help but breathe a sigh of relief. It seemed that Li Shiming was not a demon cultivator. Otherwise, he would not be so polite to him. A Chi Chain Cultivator. Senior, you don't need to buy it. I have a map here. But it only belongs to Qian Huan Sect. Chu Shen Sect and Qian Ye Temple. I hope you can forgive me. Senior. Chu Gang took out a jade slip and handed it over and said. Thank you. Li Shiming would not be greedy for such a small advantage. So he took out 400 spiritual stones and handed them over and said. Chu Gang bowed and accepted the 400 spirit stones. 400 spirit stones may not be too much, but it is definitely a lot. For a Chi Chain monk, this is considered a good income. By the way, fellow Daoist Chu, I have one more thing to ask of you. I have a letter. Please send it back to your sect and give it to Brother In Shirwan. Li Shiming continued. Senior also recognizes the monks of our sect. This is not difficult. Chu Gang was surprised. Li Shiming didn't even know the scope of Qian Huan sect's influence. But he knew the monks of the sect. Which really surprised him. However, the task of conveying messages is originally the task of the resident monks. Some of the monks' mortal relatives, who need to inform the monks of important matters, are all conveyed through the resident monks. Li Shiming took out a jade slip and placed it between his eyebrows. He told In Shiruan that he had come to Beishu, and at the same time explained his hesitation about whether to join the Shushan sect or the Qianhuan sect. He had nothing to hide from In Shiruan, and there was no need to hide anything in this matter. This is the reward. How many days will it take to send the message? He took out another bottle of Qi Stage Cultivation Auxiliary Elixir and asked. Chu Gang took over the Auxiliary Elixir for Qi Qi training and confirmed that ten of the elixirs were ones he had never taken before. They seemed to be elixirs from the Shirwanda mountain. And his face became more joyful. Most of the monks, 
who can be sent to perform garrison duties in the mortal world are those who have reached the end of their lifespan and are trying to accumulate some resources for future generations. The elixir that Li Shiming took out is considered ordinary among the elixirs in the late stage of Qi Chain. But the most important thing is that the elixir is a variety that is not available in Qian Wen's sect. For many monks who practice by taking elixirs, the effect can be achieved optimal. The consequence of taking a large amount of elixirs is the development of resistance to these elixirs. The original 100% effect will eventually become less than 10%. The more elixirs are taken, the more serious the resistance will be. There are only a few types of auxiliary elixirs for training in the Qi Chain stage. Even if any new elixirs appear, they are all reallocated using the resources produced by Qian Huan's sect, and their drug resistance has not been improved much. This makes the pills produced by Shawanishan that Li Shiming took out extremely precious, at least not accessible to ordinary sect disciples. I will use the emergency channel, and it will take up to three days to arrive, Chu Gang assured, squeezing the medicine bottle in his hand. Then I will stay here for a few days and hope that fellow Daoist Chu will provide me with a place to live, Li Shiming said with a smile. This is not a problem. Senior, if you don't mind the poor spiritual power of my courtyard, please come and live in my courtyard. After receiving the benefit, Chu Gang said very politely, under the leadership of Chu Gang, Li Shiming entered the palace and came to the small courtyard in a corner of the palace. Entering it, he felt that the richness of the spiritual energy had improved a lot but it was still far from being able to supply the foundation-building monks. If he really wants to practice here, it is estimated that Chu Gang will have no spiritual energy available for a long time. After Chu Gang sent him to the yard, he went to work. Chu Gang went to the backyard, summoned a spirit bird, and put the jade slip into the bamboo tube on the spirit bird's leg. Before releasing the spiritual bird, he needed to know Ian Sherlon's identity and cave within the sect. He opened the long-distance communication formation and inquired from the sect. Soon news came back from the sect. Although Ian Sherlon was a new disciple of the sect, Chu Gang was still horrified by the true inheritance of the golden elixir in the foundation-building period and his status as a disciple of the formation master. After learning Ian Sherlon's identity, his movements became much lighter, and he also took out the spirit bird's favorite snacks and seduced the spirit bird, telling the spirit bird to complete the delivery task seriously. On the main peak of Qin Wan's sect, a figure with sharp shoulders and a straight waist is looking quietly into the distance. Over there is the north, the direction of Tianhai sect. It has been more than a year since Yin Shirohan came to Qin Wan's sect. Her yearning for Li Shiming is indifferent, but it has never faded at all. It is no different from when she was in Tianhai sect. For more than a year, her life has been very peaceful. To her, Qin Wan's sect is not much different from when she was in Tianhai sect. Daily practice and studying formations took up most of her time. The difference from being in Tianhezong is that Yin Shirlong's family is not here. Li Shiming is not here. And she has no one to whom she can express her thoughts. Because of Master Luo's presence, Yin Shirlong had no trouble in Qianhuan's sect. Even some monks, who were attracted by her appearance, would be defeated by her cold attitude. Junior Sister Yin! Junior Sister Yin! A series of female shouts interrupted Yin Shirlong's thoughts. She turned to look at a female cultivator in red with a smile on her face. The female cultivator in red is named Liang Yishuan. She is also a true disciple. But her identity is more special. She is the daughter of Elder Jean Dan. She is younger than Yin Shirlan. But because Yin Shirlan is the true successor of the later sect, she became a junior sister. The happiest person about Yin Shirlan's arrival was Liang Yishuan. Liang Yishuan used to be the youngest one. And every foundation-building monk would call her junior sister. Finally, she became senior sister, because they were similar in age and both were true descendants. The two of them quickly became friends. Senior sister Liang, what are you doing in such a hurry? Yin Shirlan asked while holding Liang Yishuan. Although she called her senior sister, her attitude when speaking seemed a bit like that of her sister Ren Fair. Liang Yishuan is also used to her attitude. Anyway, there is nothing wrong with her being a senior sister. That guy's surname Zhang always pesters me and chases me right after I go out. It's really annoying, Liang Yishuan said angrily. Yin Shirlan knew that Liang Yishuan was talking about senior brother Zhang and wanted to pester her. However, Yin Shirlan hardly went out and stayed in her own place. So it was difficult for senior brother Zhang to see her. Senior brother Zhang, just ignore him. She had no other choice but to persuade him. How could I not have known that the man surnamed Zhang was just trying to win over my father through me? I have heard about him a long time ago, and I feel sick even when I say it. 
He doesn't look like a cultivator. Although Liang Yishuan was extremely fond of senior brother Zhang. Disgusted, but not very good at cursing. This was the harshest word she could say. Yin Shirlan knew some things about Qianwen's sect because Liang Yishuan came to tell her. At this moment, a message came from Yin Shirlan's identity jade disc. She took out the identity jade disc and checked it. And found that it was a notification from the sex messenger. And a spiritual bird sent her letter. She tapped her finger to activate the formation restriction in this area. And a spiritual bird flew in and landed in front of her. She was a little confused about who would contact her in this way. Soon her eyes widened and she thought of a possibility. She quickly took off the bamboo tube on the spiritual bird's foot and poured out a jade slip. Liang Yishuan was a little curious about Yin Shirlan's gaff. You must know that from the day she met Yin Shirlan, Yin Shirlan never had many emotional fluctuations. It was only when she was with her that she would smile. Liang Yishuan took out some spiritual food from her storage bag and handed it to the spiritual bird's mouth. This was the reward for paying the spiritual bird. Yin Shirlan took out the jade slip and placed it between her eyebrows. Her beautiful eyes were full of surprise. After more than a year, she finally got news about Li Shiming again. Moreover, Li Shiming was within the sphere of influence of Tiantang Kingdom and Qianhuan sect. She wanted to see Li Shiming, want to snuggle up to him, hear his voice, and feel his breath. Senior Sister Liang, I'm leaving the sect. She turned around and said to Liang Yishuan with a smile without concealing her joy. She didn't want to wait for a moment. She wanted to fly there immediately. Junior Sister Yin, should you contact us through the sex contact circle first before setting off? Liang Yishuan reminded softly. Liang Yishuan's eyes were filled with the fire of gossip. She could bet with her nearly 20 years of life experience that the person Yin Shirlan met must be a male monk. She really wanted to see with her own eyes what kind of male monk could seduce the fairy like Yin Shirlan. Many young talents in the sect wanted to get to know Yin Shirlan. But they were all defeated by Yin Shirlan's indifference. After being reminded by Liang Yishuan, Yin Shirlan suddenly woke up. She quickly opened the contact circle of Tianang Kingdom and sent a contact signal. The communication on the Beishu continent is much stronger than that of the Tianhai sect. And most of the area is covered by the contact formation. Even the mortal world with thin spiritual energy can still be connected through remote contact formations. Chu Gang received the communication signal from the sect. And he activated the remote communication array. Is Li Shiming here? A pleasant female voice with slight trembling came from my ears. Uncle Yin. Li Shiming is temporarily staying in the palace. Do you want me to invite him over? Chu Gang heard the voice and calculated the time and guessed that it was Yin Shirlan who had received the jade slip. And he replied, Ask Li Shiming to wait for me. I'll go over right away. Don't let him leave. After saying this, there was no sound from the other side. Chu Gang looked at the contact formation and couldn't help but feel dizzy. If Li Shiming wanted to leave, there was no way he could stop him. On the other side, Yin Shirlan took out the flying boat and was about to leave when she saw Liang Yeshuan next to her. Senior sister, I have something to do. What are you doing with me? Yin Shirlan said anxiously. Junior sister, it's not safe for you to leave the sect alone. It's better for me to accompany you. Liang Yeshuan took Yin Shirlan's arm and said with a chuckle. Yin Shirlan didn't want to waste time arguing with Liang Yeshuan. So she drove the flying boat and flew towards the distance. In fact, within the sphere of influence of the Qinhuan sect, not to mention the monks of the sect in the foundation building period. Even the Changji monks will not be in any danger. If there is danger in the sphere of influence of the sect, then the prestige of the sect Qinhuan sect is calling in vain. On the flying boat, Yin Shirlan mobilized her spiritual power to move the flying boat with all her strength. The speed of the flying boat was as urgent as her mood. She didn't stop this crazy behavior until the spiritual power in her body was almost exhausted. Junior sister, is Li Shiming your lover? Liang Yishuan, who had been silent all this time, suddenly asked. Yin Shirlan's face suddenly turned red. Her relationship with Li Shiming was almost public when they were on Tianhai Island. But she was still shy when she heard someone tease her about it again after more than a year. Wow, did Li Shiming come from Tianhai Island? No. Is he very strong? How could he cross the North Sea? Liang Yishuan's curiosity reached its extreme at this time. And she kept asking questions. When I left, he was still in the late stage of chain energy. I don't know what his strength is now. At that time, my father said that he would arrange for him to come here on the flying boat of Beishu Trading Company. Yin Shirlan murmured as if recalling. Beishu Trading Company's plan to go to Tianhai Island has been delayed. 
they have not yet reached an agreement with Mingxin's sect. They will not resume business until at least the negotiations are concluded. Lian Yeshuan shook her head and said, She knows a lot about things in the northern Shu continent, and she likes to inquire about these things when she is not practicing. If he didn't cross the North Sea in the flying boat of the Beishu Trading Company, how could he, a Changchi monk, cross the North Sea and pass the Hundred Thousand Mountains? In order to meet his lover, he crossed the Bathing Sea, jumped over the mountains, and crossed thousands of mountains. It's so romantic when there are so many dangers. The more Lian Yeshuan thought about it, the more excited she became. Such a story was happening around her, and she was about to see such a man with her own eyes. Lian Yeshuan couldn't help but feel anxious. She came to the flying boat control area and input the spiritual power in her body. The speed of the flying boat surged again, driven by the two early stage foundation building monks. The flying boat reached the capital of Tiantang Kingdom in less than 30 hours. Li Shiming was notified by Chu Gang, and he was extremely excited. He had almost no intention of practicing, and just sat on the roof of the palace and looked at the sky. An emerald green flying boat appeared in the sky. Although the escape technique was used, it could only block the sight of mortals and low-level chi chain monks. In the eyes of the foundation establishment monks, this escape technique had no effect at all. Li Shiming couldn't wait for the flying boat to land. His figure turned into a sword light and rushed towards the flying boat. He saw the fairy-like jade-colored figure standing on the flying boat. This figure had appeared countless times in his memory. Chapter 197 Meeting Liang Yeshuan was very embarrassed. If she had known this was the case, she should not have followed him. A stunning beauty like her was standing next to Yin Shirlan. But the male monk only had Yin Shirlan in his eyes and did not see her at all. Li Shiming landed on the deck, and he and Yin Shirlan looked at each other. This glance made them forget everything, and there were only two people left in the world. Loner! He called softly. Yin Shirlan gave up all reserve, threw herself on him, and hugged him with all her strength. The sunlight was falling, and their figures seemed to be glowing faintly. This light made Liang Yishuan feel dazzling. She coughed heavily to remind her that there was someone else here. The sound of coughing startled the two people who were deeply in love. Only then did Yin Shirlan think of Liang Yishuan's presence and lowered her head with a peach blossom face. Lord, and this fellow Taoist, please go to the palace to rest, Li Shiming said with a smile, standing side by side with Yin Shirlan. My name is Liang Yishuan, and I am Yin Shirlan's senior sister. Liang Yishuan emphasized her identity and was not a Taoist friend. It turns out to be senior sister Liang. Li Shiming saw Liang Yishuan's character and bowed with a smile. Liang Yishuan nodded with satisfaction, when she heard Li Shiming call her senior sister, and then descended to the palace with Yin Shirlan. In the courtyard of the palace, Chu Gang had long since lost track of where he was going. He was a small monk stationed in the late stage of Chi Chain. There was nowhere to entertain the two true disciples, so it was better to hide far away. Besides, he just saw the scene in the sky. In this case, wouldn't it be troublesome for him to stay? Li Shiming took out the Ling Cha. This was the same strain from back then. After a long period of cultivation, the quality of the Ling Cha was still good, especially when it was fried in the computer room space. The quality of the Ling Cha was brought into full play. Of course, for monks in the foundation building stage, this first class spiritual tea is nothing more than a drink. Yin Shiran took a sip of the spiritual tea, with surprise in her eyes. She tasted the spiritual tea that she had tasted when she first visited Li Shiming's cave. The two looked at each other with their eyes in mind and they couldn't help but smile. Liang Yeshuan took a sip of the spiritual tea on the side and felt it was just ordinary. I don't know why the two of them had such expressions after taking a sip of the spiritual tea. Li Shiming glanced at Liang Yeshuan helplessly. He felt that Liang Yeshuan's existence was really unnecessary. It's a pity that Liang Yeshuan didn't know it at all. She drank the spirit tea leisurely, but her ears perked up, waiting for the two of them to talk. Shiming, when did you build a foundation? Although Yin Shirlan read the jade slips, the things Li Shiming said in the jade slips were very simple. She also found that Li Shiming almost reported good things, but not bad things, and only said something lighthearted. She was concerned about everything about Li Shiming. So she asked, After arriving at the Hundred Thousand Mountains, I found that it was difficult to move forward with the strength of the chain energy stage. I found a high-grade spiritual vein. So I stayed and practiced for a while. I didn't expect to successfully build the foundation. Li Shiming's answer was relaxed. 
You are so lucky to be able to find a high-grade spiritual vein. Liang Yeshuan interjected from the side. Li Shiming smiled and said nothing. It was obvious that Liang Yeshuan was a flower kept in a greenhouse and did not know what a high-grade spiritual vein represented among casual cultivators. Then how did you survive the Beihai period? Yin Shuruan suddenly discovered the problem, frowned slightly, and asked again. After you left the Tianhai sect, I started preparing to make a one-time flying magic weapon that could fly across the North Sea on its own. On the day when the Mingxin sect attacked the sect, I took the risk and used the one-time flying magic weapon to fly from the cave, escaped, crossed the North Sea, and came to the Beishu continent. Li Shiming explained casually, what he said is not wrong. The rocket is a one-time flying magic weapon to a certain extent, but the other flying magic weapons are driven by spiritual power. The rocket uses spiritual power to protect the rocket body, allowing the rocket to more fully utilize liquid hydrogen as power. Are there powerful sea beasts in the North Sea? Have you ever encountered them? Liang Yishuan interjected and asked. She had seen descriptions of Beihai in the sex records. The ocean is a forbidden place for monks. And entering the ocean is extremely dangerous. This danger is true even for Jin Dan monks. But the risk factor is relatively small. Li Shiming couldn't help but think of the illusory giant in the sea he encountered in the North Sea. The fear made his face change slightly. Even after so long. He still remembered the terror of the giant. Yin Shirwan felt his mood and gently held his hand with her hand. Li Shiming felt the warmth and softness in his hands. And the depression in his heart suddenly disappeared. Sooner or later I'll kill it, he thought to himself. Yes, Li Shiming said calmly. Liang Yeshuan also felt that something was wrong in the atmosphere. So she didn't ask any more questions. She was too curious about Li Shiming. It was hard for her to believe that the monk in the Qi Chain stage had managed to survive the crisis-ridden Beihai with a disposable flying instrument he had made. But looking at Yin Shirlan's expression, she believed in Li Shiming very much. Why did you say in the Jade Slip, that you would consider joining the Thousand Fantasy sect again? Yin Shiruan asked aloud. Li Shiming glanced at Liang Yishuan and hesitated slightly. Senior Sister Liang, don't worry. She is more familiar with the various sects in Northern Shu than I am. If you have any ideas, just tell me. She can provide some reference opinions. Yin Shiruan winked at Li Shiming and said, Yes, when it comes to understanding the various sects in Northern Shu, no one in the sect knows more than me. When talking about this matter, Liang Yishuan suddenly felt confident. She knows a lot of gossip, and even knows a lot of eight pieces of information from the elder Jean Tan of her own sect. I currently have two choices. One is Master Luo's recommendation to become an outer disciple of Qin Wan's sect. The other is the opportunity one encountered after coming to Bei Shu. I can enter Xu Shen's sect and become an inner disciple. I also ask senior sister Liang to comment. Let's talk about the pros and cons. Li Shiming bowed to Liang Yishuan and asked for advice. Liang Yishuan stood up, walked back and forth a few steps, and looked thoughtful. Li Shiming, how is your spiritual root? She was a little more serious this time, as this was related to the future of her good friend and lover. Three spiritual roots, Li Shiming replied without concealment. Needless to say, she and one sect. Although your starting point in joining the sect is low, you are just an outer disciple. But with me and Sherlon here, at least no one in the sect dares to bully you. But with your talent of three spiritual roots, I think it will be difficult to enter the inner gate. Besides, once your relationship with Sherlon is exposed, there will be a lot of trouble in the sect, especially when you go out on missions. Liang Yishuan analyzed slowly. Li Shiming nodded. He didn't want to rely on Yin Sherlon's relationship. He now had a lot of spirit stones and was a senior formation master. His strength in the foundation building period was passable. These were enough for him to survive without relying on Yin Shiruan. Liang Yeshuan also told the truth. As long as a beautiful female cultivator like Yin Shiruan didn't favor any monk, there would be no problem. Once she shows that she favors a monk, the monk will inevitably become a public enemy. There will be a lot of trouble, overtly or covertly. And you may even be attacked and killed for it. When he was in Tianhai sect, under the protection of Elder Yin, no monks would have such thoughts. But it was different in Qianhuan sect. Master Luo did not like to see him. Otherwise, he would not have given him the entry qualification as an outer disciple. You must know that Li Shiming is also a senior formation master anyway, and coupled with his relationship with Yin Shirlan, the identity of at least one of the inner disciples should not be a problem. Li Shiming, what skills are you good at? Liang Yishuan asked with a proud expression, 
but then quickly restrained herself when she saw that Li Shiming was listening to her analysis carefully. I'm good at thunder and flying swords. Li Shiming thought for a while and replied. The strength of the Thousand Illusions sect lies in the techniques for creating illusions. Of course, the collection within the sect is very comprehensive, with various types of techniques. But most of the techniques with complete inheritance are techniques for creating illusions, said at this point. Liang Yeshuan seemed to feel that she had said too much and couldn't help but cover her mouth with her hands. It seems that what she said is simple, but in fact it is related to the secret of the sect. Complete inheritance is not comparable to some captured skills. The captured skills may seem comprehensive, but compared to those skills that have been passed down for countless generations, especially those that have been practiced by monks, Shi Yuanying left a lot of relevant experiences, but the techniques captured were much inferior. Unless a monk practices the acquired skills to the nascent soul realm and leaves behind his experience, the first inheritance will be considered complete. As for the nascent soul in every major sect, almost none of them can break through the nascent soul by practicing other sect master's techniques. It is said that some of the true meanings are missing from those externally taught skills. Or perhaps the key part is passed down orally. Therefore, the most important thing for a large sect is to truly inherit the skills. Having a lot of experience and understanding of the inherited skills is the sect's most valuable asset. The rest of the skills are mostly rich in knowledge. For example, the true successors of large sects will almost never practice the main skills without the inheritance experience. This will greatly reduce the probability of breakthrough, which is not high. Senior Sister Liang, please tell me about the situation of Shushin's sect. Li Shiming pretended not to notice anything and said with a smile. Among the Yuaning ancestors of Shushin's sect, there are sword cultivators and law cultivators. It can be seen that their inheritance has complete inheritance of these two major skills. In addition, Shushin's sect and Qianhuan's sect are allies. Even if you join Shushan's zone, there is also a chance to meet Sherwan. Liang Yishuan thought for a while and replied. What she said was a real secret. It involved information about the nascent soul of the Shushan sect. How would an ordinary foundation building monk know it? Naturally. Her father's friend is also Jean Dan. If Jean Dan talks about it in private, he will have a lot less scruples. And he even dares to bring up the matter of nascent soul as a talking point. Sister, do you mean joining the Shushan sect is a good choice? Li Shiming asked with a smile. If you can really become an inner disciple as soon as you join the sect, then the best choice is Shushin's sect. The treatment of inner disciples is completely different from that of outer disciples. They have access to more resources, and it is easier to come into contact with the Golden Core Elder. Liang Yeshuan replied with certainty. She hesitated for a moment, glanced at Yin Shiruan, and then said, Your talent is too poor. It is not easy to get the chance to become an inner disciple. Even if you join Qianhuan's sect, it is extremely difficult to have such a chance. Chance. Li Shiming didn't care about his talent. Although his cultivation speed was slow, due to the influence of the five elements qi receiving formation, every time he practiced, he was really closer to being promoted to the next realm. As long as he fills the spiritual lake with spiritual power, he can directly hit the middle stage of foundation building, which is something other foundation building monks cannot do. No matter how good the talent is, the spiritual power generated through practice will be relatively empty. It needs to be compressed after the spiritual power is full. This task is difficult to achieve and consumes resources and time. Lon, what's your opinion? Li Shiming looked at Yin Shiran aside and asked softly. Shiming, your cultivation is the most important thing in everything. Yin Shiran replied softly. As a monk, she can still distinguish between a short-term gathering and a long-term gathering. After establishing the foundation, the two of them had almost 200 years of time together. After becoming the golden elixir, the two of them had 500 years of time together. In order to even have a chance of breaking through the golden elixir, the two must wait until the golden elixir before they can truly be together. Both of them knew this very well. Elder Yin had specially reminded Li Shiming. Liang Yeshuan was very dissatisfied with this atmosphere, which made her feel that she had no sense of existence. She is a senior sister and she must guide her junior brother's cultivation. Li Shiming, you have just broken through the foundation establishment. You must not have fought against the foundation establishment monks very much. Today, I just want to guide you and see your combat ability. Liang Yeshuan interrupted the tenderness between the two and said seriously, Isn't this bad? Li Shiming looked at her inexplicably and said, Sister, if you are interested, you can have a fight with me. Of course, Yin Shiruan knows Liang Yeshuan's temper. 
if she doesn't fight. She doesn't know how she will annoy the two of them later. Of course, it was impossible to fight in the city. So the three of them came to a remote place outside the city. Incheron acted as the referee and looked around. On one side was her lover, and on the other was her best friend. Li Shiming, you take the first move, Liang Yishuan said generously. She is the true successor of the Thousand Fantasy sect, although she has not been promoted to the foundation building stage for a long time. She is full of confidence. Then you're welcome, Li Shiming responded in a deep voice. With a tap of his finger, a sword light flew towards Liang Yishuan. He did not use the Nine Palace Sword Formation, but only used one of the Zhongdong swords. Liang Yishuan waved her hand, and a lopa flew out and stood in front of her. The pair of phoenixes embroidered on the lopa actually came to life as the lopa unfolded, flying out of the lopa and heading towards the sword light. Li Shiming was shocked. This spiritual weapon was so weird that he couldn't help but be more careful. He mobilized the sword intent in the sword bone, and the sword intent in the sword light doubled. The sword light swept across a phoenix, and the phoenix let out a shrill scream, and its figure turned from solid to ethereal, as if it might disappear at any moment. Sword intent! My phoenix handkerchief! Liang Yishuan exclaimed, quickly took back the Luapa, and carefully checked the condition of the phoenix handkerchief. Phoenix handkerchief is a spiritual weapon specially designed to match the thousand illusion art. If you encounter an ordinary monk, two phoenixes are enough to give the monk a headache, but this does not include monks with sword intent. Chapter 198 Conspiracy Li Shiming left Tian An Kingdom, and he had an extra communication card in his hand. It was a communication card that could be used in Beishu Continent and could borrow long-distance communication formations. With a communication board, he can directly contact Yin Shirlan within the scope of Qianhuan sect and Alliance sect. On the other side, Yin Shirlan and Liang Yishuan took a flying boat back to the sect. Yin Shirlan had a faint smile on her lips, thinking about something on her mind. There was no movement from Liang Yishuan for a long time before Yin Shirlan reacted and looked at Liang Yishuan. Sister, are you worried? She asked softly. Junior sister, I advise Li Shiming not to tell anyone else about going to Shushin sect. Not even Master Luo. Liang Yeshuan looked pleading to Yin Shirlan. Why is this? Yin Shirlan didn't expect that Liang Yeshuan was thinking about this along the way. So she couldn't help but ask strangely. I didn't know that although Li Shiming has three spiritual roots, he can comprehend the sword's intention in the Qi Chain stage. If I had known this, I would have introduced him to join the sect. At least joining the inner sect is not a problem and maybe it can bring more people to the sect. The last sword cultivator. Golden pill. Liang Yishuan explained with some annoyance. You must know that what the elders like most is to do this kind of thing. This is called training the disciples. Okay. I won't tell anyone. Yin Shirlan was in a good mood. She knew that Li Shiming was safe, and could contact him frequently in the future. It didn't matter whether Li Shiming joined the Thousand Fantasy sect or not. In fact, in her mind, she also had thoughts about Li Shiming joining He Zongmen. Indeed, as Liang Yishuan said, Li Shiming joining Qianhuan sect is not compatible with the inheritance of the skills. In addition, the master really doesn't like Li Shiming. So if there is a better choice, Li Shiming will of course join. A better sect. By the way, apart from mastering the sword intention, what else is special about Li Shiming? Liang Yishuan thought for a while and asked. He is also an intermediate spirit planner and a senior formation master. Do these count? Yin Shirlan replied with a chuckle. It's over. Junior sister should have told me earlier. What exactly did I do? Liang Yishuan fell to the floor without any ladle-like appearance, and looked at the cabin roof with dull eyes. After more than ten days of flight, Li Shiming's flying boat finally reached the outskirts of Shushan sect. Shushan sect is located in the Shushan mountains. He did not enter the Shushan mountains of the Shushan sect, but stopped in a town outside the mountains. This is where the mortals who are protected by the Shushan sect live. Most of them are the direct relatives of the disciples. There are also some monks who are not qualified to join the Shushan sect and run a spiritual business here. With the protection of Shushan sect, a trading area for spiritual objects has been formed here. The town was called Guanshan Town, and Li Shiming's flying boat landed outside the town. He put away the flying boat and walked into Guanshan Town. He first used a spirit stone to inquire about it and then determined that the target was the residence of the monks stationed in the center of the town. Walking through the bustling streets, there are all kinds of spiritual materials here, and there are a lot of monks. However, most of the monks among them do not have the mark of the Shushan sect on their bodies, 
and the monks who wear the robes with the mark of the Shushan sect, even if they are only at the chi chain stage, are highly respected here, and the monks will take the initiative to give in. Li Shiming likes the atmosphere here. The strong business atmosphere gives him more room to display. If he could stay in Shushan sect, with his methods and such a business atmosphere, he could earn spiritual stones more easily. While walking and looking, I unknowingly came to a place in the center of the town with the Shushan sex mark on the door. Su Chuan said that as long as he showed his token here, he could contact Su Chuan's master, Elder Su. After seeing the Shushan sex mark, Li Shiming breathed a sigh of relief, ventured deep into the area of 100,000 mountain spiritual beasts to obtain the Muyong clover, and finally reached his destination. Entrusted by a friend, I asked to see Elder Su. Li Shiming stretched out his hand and lightly pressed the door. There was a formation on the door. In this way, he reminded the monks inside, and he used his spiritual power to transmit a voice in. When it comes to Elder Jean Dan, whether he is real or not, the Shushan sect monks inside react very quickly. Do you have a token? The door opened, and a monk in the middle stage of foundation building swept Li Shiming's mind with his spiritual thoughts and asked in a deep voice. This behavior of scanning the monks with spiritual thoughts is extremely disrespectful. But who knows that the other party is a monk of the Shushan sect. And this is the foot of the Shushan sect. Li Shiming suppressed his dissatisfaction and took out the token without handing it over. The monk in the middle stage of foundation building took a look at the token and scanned the token again with his spiritual mind, confirming its authenticity. Just wait for the news in the town. I will pass it on. The monk in the middle stage of foundation building looked blank and after finishing speaking, he closed the door. A look of astonishment flashed in Li Shiming's eyes. He knew that Su Chuan was a true disciple and was holding a true disciple's token. This monk in the middle stage of foundation establishment could be so rude. Could it be that the monks of Shushan sect were all so high-minded? Can't stand it? He shook his head, turned around and left. Thinking of an inn he saw on the way here, he walked towards that inn. Senior, what room do you want? The shopkeeper at the Chenchi stage saw a foundation building monk coming in and stepped forward to greet him with a smile. What room is there? Li Shiming sensed that the spiritual energy in the inn was sufficient, not as thin as in the town. He was not familiar with the inns for monks in Beishu. So he asked directly, Senior Xiang needs spiritual energy for your cultivation. Only a separate fine courtyard can supply it for your cultivation. The fine courtyard costs 50 spiritual stones per day. The shopkeeper did not introduce other rooms, but only mentioned the fine courtyard that matched Li Shiming's realm. Li Shiming felt novel again. Even an in here could provide spiritual energy that could be cultivated by foundation building monks. No wonder there were so many foundation building monks among the casual cultivators. From this point, it can be seen that the quality and quantity of spiritual energy in Beishu continent is much stronger than that of Tianhai Island. Otherwise, there would be no such in. Give me a fine hospital and stay there for three days. Li Shiming took 150 spiritual stones and handed them over. You come with me. The shopkeeper took the spirit stone and led Li Shiming into the back of the inn. Behind the inn are sets of fine courtyards. Each set of fine courtyards locked with formations. Senior, this fine academy can be used for three days. And the jade token will expire after three days. The shopkeeper took out a jade token and handed it to Li Shiming, pointing to a fine institute and said. Li Shiming nodded and opened the Jingyuan with a jade sign. As soon as he walked into the fine courtyard, he felt the rich spiritual energy. The spiritual energy here was probably close to the level of high-grade spiritual veins. Coupled with a long-term accumulation, it would not be a problem to supply him with a few days of cultivation. Judging from the situation of the fine hospital, the inn here should have at least controlled several spiritual veins to be able to open such an inn. In fact, such inns are usually run by various sects and forces themselves. For example, this inn in Guanchan town has the task of receiving visiting monks. When the Xiang sect holds some external activities, some monks arrive early and will stay here to wait. That's why some spiritual veins were transferred here to serve the monks. Of course, this is also a good business. Casual practitioners can accumulate spiritual stones for a period of time and then spend the spiritual stones to borrow the spiritual energy in the end to practice breakthroughs. Li Shiming had not practiced the Nine Heavens Thunder Strike Technique for a long time. As soon as he entered the courtyard, he threw several spirit stones to strengthen the formation here and began to practice. The Nine Heavens Thunder Strike Technique inhaled a large amount of spiritual energy into the body, converted it into thunder spirit power, 
and input it into the spirit lake. It was then converted into five elements thunder spirit force by the five elements chi receiving formation and stored in the spirit lake. He practiced without stopping for a moment. In Shaodao, the monk stationed in Guanshan town, immediately opened the contact circle after receiving Li Shiming. In Shaodao, a monk in the middle stage of foundation building, was not as calm as he showed. He quickly received Li Shiming and closed the door in a hurry, just because he was worried that he would lose his temper and reveal his thoughts. He was recently assigned to Guanshan town. Guanshan town is a fertile vacancy. Although he is stationed outside, he is at the foot of Zomin Mountain and can return to the sect at any time. More importantly, Guanshan Town is extremely safe. No monk dares to cause trouble in Guanshan Town. It is too close to Shushan sect. In addition, there are a large number of spiritual objects traded in Guanshan Town every day. The station monks have considerable power and can affect some businesses. So it is normal to receive some benefits. Originally, it was a great thing for In Shaodao to be assigned to Guanshan Town. But before he came, he received a secret mission. The mission was issued by Brother Jin Chuan Ji, asking him to monitor any news related to Su Chuan. Once there was any report the situation immediately. Who is Su Chuan? He is also a true disciple. With Elder Su above him, he is the same powerful elder as Senior Brother Ji's father. Elder Ji. Yin Shaodao did not want to participate in such a major event of a fight between gods. But he had to accept Brother Ji's order because he naturally belonged to Elder Ji's lineage. Yin Shaodao knew very well that the monk who could come to Elder Su with Su Chuan's token must have something extremely important. He dared to hide anything. So even if the monk holding the token was eliminated, if any news leaked afterwards, he would be the first person to be liquidated. This is intercepting the information of Elder Jean Dan, which is definitely a capital crime for treason. Brother Ji has Elder Jean Dan's father, and he is not directly involved in this matter. He just needs to push the matter onto Yin Shaodao. Yin Shaodao also understood this. And he was hesitant about how to deal with it. The report must be reported. But you can't offend Senior Brother G. Then reported an hour later and passed the news to Senior Brother G first. Yin Shaodao thought for a moment and thought of a solution. He no longer hesitated and sent Brother G the news that a monk was holding a Su Chuan token and asked to see Elder Su. He didn't care how Brother G handled it. And after another hour, he sent the news to Tianmu Peak where Elder Su was. Among the four fine courtyards in the Guanshan Town Inn, the four mid-stage foundation building monks all opened their eyes. They looked at their respective communication boards, and the same instructions were sent from them. They are not Shushan sect monks, but four casual cultivators known as the Four Tigers of Lizon. But in a sense, they are not pure casual cultivators. They are protected by the Shushan Zongji True Tradition and handle some things for the Ji True Tradition. This time, they received an order to lurk in Guanshan Town and kill people when necessary. The mission did not specify who to kill, but killing people in Guanshan Town at the foot of Shushan Zong Mountain would have extremely serious consequences no matter who they killed. However, the conditions offered by Jizenzuan are tempting enough. If they take action and successfully kill the target this time, Jizenzuan will give them the qualifications to join the sect. Even the outer disciples of Shushan sect are countless times stronger than their casual cultivators outside. Even though they were nicknamed Lies on Four Tigers. In fact, this nickname was only circulated among some casual cultivators. They were nothing in front of the sect monks. So they might as well be called Lies on Four Cats. The target is in the number 7 Jingyuan. The Jingyuan has a defensive array. The Four Tigers of Lies on gathered together, and the boss said softly. At this moment, a waiter from the entrotted passed them, and seemed to have accidentally left something behind. The fourth of the Four Tigers and Lies on stepped forward to pick it up, and found that it was a jade plaque with number 7 Jingyuan engraved on it. This was a jade plaque with higher authority than the guests. The four tigers of Liaison looked at each other, and understood that this was the preparation for Jijin's biography. They couldn't help but feel shocked that Jijin Juan was so comprehensively prepared. They didn't know that in just a stick of incense, Jijin Juan not only found Li Shiming's location, but also issued multiple orders. Killing a foundation-building monk in Guanshan Town is not an easy task. Sect monks cannot be involved in this matter. Once sect monks participate, the consequences will be uncontrollable. The leader of the four tigers of Liaison came outside number 7 Fine Academy. He took out a formation disc and placed it outside the original formation of number 7 Fine House. And activated the formation disc. The formation fluctuations quickly enveloped number 7 Fine Academy. Isolating number 7 Fine Academy from the outside world. 
The battle must end within two sticks of incense. The leader of the four tigers of Liazon said solemnly, Don't worry, boss. We are just casual cultivators in the early stages of foundation building. How can it take so long? Lao Si chuckled. After they got the information about the mission target, they were very relieved. The target was not a monk from Shushan sect, but a casual cultivator in the early stage of foundation building. This makes their task much simpler, and the risk is reduced a lot. Looking at Ji Xinjuan's arrangements, it seems that it will not be a problem for them to join the Shushan sect. While thinking about the wonderful sect life, they took out the Control Jade Tablet of Number 7 Jingyuan. The Control Jade Tablet was activated, and the defensive formation of Number 7 Jingyuan shook for a while, but it did not completely disappear. What's going on? The leader of the Four Tigers in Liazon asked loudly. It should be that the monks inside have added more formations. But this formation is not very strong. We should be able to break it if we work together. The one who spoke was Lao San. Who knew something about the formations? Hurry up and take action together. The leader of the Four Tigers of Liazon ordered in a deep voice. The four mid-stage foundation building monks all attacked together. With a boom. The formation that was barely maintained through several spiritual stones was instantly broken. Chapter 199 Achieved Li Shiming knew it when the defensive formation was tried to be shut down by the Control Jade card. He quickly gathered the spiritual power in his body and slowly ended the Nine Heavens Thunder Strike technique. Fortunately, he had the means he had prepared to slow down for a few breaths. Otherwise, the formation breakthrough would be activated and he would be exposed during practice without even a chance to react. Anger rose in his heart. If he hadn't thought that this place was extremely safe, he wouldn't have practiced the main technique. You must know that forcibly interrupting the main practice method has the risk of going too far. When he finished his training, the defensive formation outside was completely broken. Li Shiming sensed the auras of four mid-stage foundation building monks, as well as the existence of the isolation circle. This is a conspiracy against me! He understood immediately. This is the foothills of Shushan sect. If you dare to open it in here, you must be sure to protect the monks. The first thing he thought of was the token he was holding. He thought of Su Chuan being ambushed not long after he entered Shirwan Mountain. It seemed that some monks didn't want him to meet Elder Su. Since you want to cause trouble, let's make it bigger. Li Shiming immediately had an idea in his mind. This place is special. Even if he has the ability to kill the monks in the middle stage of foundation building, he will not forcefully attack here. His thought only lasted for a moment and his figure hit the wall behind him heavily. Due to the disappearance of the formation, the wall of the courtyard was like a paper lake to the body of the foundation building monk. The direction in which Li Shiming flew back was exactly opposite to the direction of the four mid-stage foundation building monks. His movements widened the distance between him and the four mid-stage foundation building monks. The four mid-stage foundation building monks didn't care about his actions, because the array had already enveloped this area and Li Shiming couldn't escape from this area no matter how he escaped. But they didn't know that they were facing a high-level formation master, and a monster whose computing power was many times higher than that of a normal high-level formation master. Li Shiming's spiritual thoughts swept through the isolation formation. This isolation formation with the formation disc turned on is extremely troublesome for monks who don't understand the formation. But for professional senior formation masters, it is even encountered by college students questions for primary school students. Of course, solving problems also takes time, which depends on the level of the senior array masters. When Li Shiming retreated, he had five more spiritual stones in his hand. Z15 had used his spiritual thoughts to analyze the spiritual power lines of the isolation formation. He threw five spiritual stones and submerged them into the isolation formation. Five spirit stones flew into the formation and landed on five formation nodes respectively. The formation disk that isolated the formation could not calculate such a sudden accident and suddenly lost control of the formation. The isolation formation was broken instantly and there was no longer any obstacle except Li Shiming and the four mid-stage foundation building monks. A demon sect monk has sneaked in and colluded with the end to assassinate the guests. Li Shiming mobilized his spiritual power with all his strength and shouted out under the influence of vomiting lotus flowers from his mouth. His voice spread throughout Guanshan town. At the same time, the confrontation between the five foundation building monks was also discovered by the monks in Guanshan town. After the isolation formation was broken, the four mid-stage foundation building monks were not prepared at all. When they were about to take action, their auras were at their strongest. When Li Shiming faced four monks in the middle stage of foundation building, 
he naturally couldn't hold back at all. And he also opened his aura fully. Where are the demon sect monks? The ones who reacted quickly were the Shushan sect monks. Regardless of their strength, the sect monks all came towards the inn. For the monks of the sect, the appearance of the monks of the demon sect here is a provocation to the Shushan sect. Even if it costs their lives, the monks of the demon sect must pay the price. Then came the rest of the monks. They relied on Guanshan town for survival. And the safety of Guanshan town was also their business. Therefore, a strange scene appeared in the backyard of the inn. The four tigers of Liazon mobilized their spiritual power to break through the defensive formation. When they were preparing for the second attack, they did not expect that the isolation formation they had arranged had lost its effect. Before the four tigers of Liazon could take action, Li Shiming shouted, attracting a large number of monks. Needless to say, the situation at the scene was that four mid-stage foundation building monks surrounded a fine courtyard. And there was a formation disc beside the four mid-stage foundation building monks. Anyone who saw this situation could tell what happened. One thing. Could it be said that the early stage foundation building monks who lived here took the initiative to call four mid-stage foundation building monks? And also asked the four mid-stage foundation building monks to arrange the array in advance? Misunderstanding. Misunderstanding. These four seniors are guests of the inn. They may have gone to the wrong place. The shopkeeper came out at this time, clasped his fists, and explained to the monks around him. What a misunderstanding. The defense formation of the fine academy where I live has been open to these four demon sect monks. It seems that this place uses the inn to assassinate the monks staying overnight. I don't know how many monks have died at the hands of you and others. Li Shur. Ming Xian talks nonsense. Why is it so big? But the defensive formation mentioned in it is true. There is no resistance from the defensive formation here. Only a few spiritual stones he laid out used the power of the formation to resist for a moment. As soon as Li Shiming's words came out, all the monks present were shocked. This was not just a matter of the demon sect monks. But there were sect monks involved. There were monks who were proficient in formations in the town and came forward and checked the formations in the academy for a moment. When they looked up again, their eyes towards the shopkeeper changed. The four tigers of Liazhan didn't even dare to move at this time. There were at least ten foundation building monks here. In addition, the situation here must have alarmed the Shushan sect. Not to mention that they were incapable of fighting a bloody path. Even with this ability, no matter where they can escape, they will never be able to escape the Shushan sect's pursuit. With the inspection of the monks who are proficient in formations, any of the monks present who is a fool will understand that the shopkeeper must be involved. Some monks sensed the conspiracy atmosphere, but most monks were still filled with indignation. Regardless of Li Shiming's identity, assassinating monks in Guanshan town has affected the interests of all monks. Why the monks come to Guanshan town is because Guanshan town is safe and stable. Many monks work hard to earn spiritual stones, just to be able to borrow the spiritual energy of the inn to practice breakthroughs. But when the safety of the inn is questioned, who will come here? I hold a token of Su Chuan's true inheritance and came to meet Elder Su. The matter has been handled at the monk stationed in Guanshan town and I am waiting for Elder Su to receive me. Li Shiming still thought that the matter was not big enough. So he took out the token and raised it above his head. He used his spiritual power to activate the token and said loudly. This time, all the monks' expressions changed drastically. The inn actually contacted the monks outside the sect to plot to assassinate the true messenger. The things involved were huge. The four tigers of Liazon were almost scared to death. They didn't know that Elder Jean Dan was involved. That was the Elder Jean Dan of Shushan sect, who could easily crush them to death. Their only hope is that Jijin passes away. But they dare not say anything at this time. I want to see Elder Su. Is there any monk who can help contact me? I believe Elder Su will be more grateful. Of course, you don't have to contact him. But in that case, Elder Su will think you are a participant. It's hard to say. Li Shiming's voice continued. His words made the sect monks all startled. It was indeed the case. No matter how the attack and killing of the true messenger happened in Guanshan town, they were also in the town. If they were reminded by Li Shiming after learning about it, they would all if you don't express it. You will indeed push yourself to the suspicious side. The monks of the sect silently informed the sect with their jade discs of identity. No matter whether there was any way to notify Tianmu Peak at this time, they should at least inform the sect of the situation here. At this moment, the auras of six foundation building monks came from a distance. And a red flying boat approached from far away. It's the sex law enforcement team. A monk shouted. The four tigers of Lizhan. 
You are so brave. You dare to attack the true messenger. Capture him immediately. The leader of the law enforcement team shouted at the four tigers of Liaison as soon as they arrived at the scene. The team leader made a secret signal with his fingers. After seeing the secret signal, the four tigers of Liaison all had joy in their eyes. And they quickly gathered their spiritual power and acted like they were waiting to be dealt with. For sets of shackles flew out of the leader's hands. Restraining the four tigers in Liaison. The shackles are at the level of spiritual weapons. And monks in the foundation building stage cannot break free. In addition, these torture tools have the effect of sealing off the spiritual lake. As long as they are put on, they will no longer be able to resist. Stop hanging around here! Leave this matter to the law enforcement team! The team leader said in a deep voice to the surrounding monks. Seeing that the law enforcement team was handling the matter, the monks did not stay any longer and dispersed one after another. Li Shiming could clearly see the team leader's code and the reactions of the four tigers in Liazhan. He was horrified in his heart. The forces hostile to Su Chuan were really powerful. And their hands and eyes were open to the sky in the sect. You participated in the fight in Guanshan Town and violated the rules. Come back with us for investigation. Don't worry. We won't wrongly accuse good people. The team leader turned to Li Shiming and said calmly. I'm curious if the law enforcement team is waiting outside the town to handle this matter. Li Shiming didn't dare to go with the law enforcement team. He didn't trust the law enforcement team and his voice still spread throughout the town. In fact, many monks have noticed that when something happened here, the law enforcement team came over. The law enforcement team is not stationed at the foot of the mountain, but is normally inside the sect. Even if it receives the news, it is not so fast, but the relationship involved is too terrible. The struggle between the true disciples also involves the gene and elders. They dare not get involved. Otherwise, they don't know how they will die. If you dare to resist, we will kill you on the spot, the leader said with a gloomy expression. To be honest, his law enforcement team was dealing with the aftermath and was not planning to directly intervene. But there was an accident here. Ji Chuan issued a strict order, and he had to take action. To capture Li Shiming directly would be tantamount to offending Elder Su. That was not an ordinary force. Although Elder Su was recovering from his injuries, his power in the sect was not weaker than Elder Ji. In other words, this time he came forward to arrest Li Shiming which was tantamount to stepping into huge trouble. I want to see how you took action. A low voice came. It was not loud. But it made all the monks present feel fear. It seemed that there was a kind of voice that could decide life and death at will. Power. Sue. Elder Sue. The team leader never expected that Elder Sue would actually go down the mountain. You are very good. You have gone to great lengths to stop people from seeing me. Elder Sue's voice was extremely indifferent. The team leader and the other five law enforcement monks all knelt on the ground and did not dare to say a word. Take these four back. If they die, don't let them live. I will arrange for someone to take over. Elder Su couldn't possibly deal with the monks from the law enforcement team here. He waved his hand. Li Shiming saw Elder Su clearly. Elder Su was wearing a white shirt and looked to be in his thirties. Judging from the appearance, it did not appear that Elder Su was seriously injured. Thank you for your hard work, little friend. Come join me as a guest in the sect. This place really needs to be renovated. Elder Su looked at Li Shiming and said with a smile on his face. With a wave of his hand, he disappeared with Li Shiming's figure, leaving only the shopkeeper shaking like chaff. Elder Su's words had already determined the life and death of everyone in the inn. On the other side, Ji Hongbao listened to the latest information from Guanshan Town. After hearing that the four tigers of Liaison were captured and Elder Su appeared, his face changed slightly. When Elder Su appeared, the matter was no longer a conflict between true disciples, but a conflict between elders. What he did was not told to his father, Elder Ji, and was a decision he made privately. Now, he had to tell his father about the matter and let his father handle it. Ji Hongba came outside Elder Ji's cave and cast a spell. Come in! The formation opened a portal, and Elder Ji's voice came from inside. Father! Ji Hongba saw Elder Ji looking at something and stepped forward to greet him. You are worried. Don't worry. The four foundation building monks from the outer sect cannot fix this matter. Any behavior between you and Su Chuan is a competition between the true disciples. This is allowed by the sect. There was a calmness in Elder Ji's eyes that saw through everything. Father already knows? Ji Hongbo's nervous expression relaxed, and he said softly, How can you grow up without experiencing ups and downs? The true successors of your generation have too little experience. 
Your machinations and Su Chuan's sincerity are all a style of dealing with things that the sect needs. For the sect, this has nothing to do with right or wrong. Lao Su's action this time actually violated the rules. And he can't go into details. Elder Ji taught. Elder Ji stood at a very high angle. And in his eyes, Jin Juan's movements were just like a child playing house. Of course, he also knew that when it came to Elder Su's injury, some of Ji Hongbo's actions were over the line. But these over the line actions have been taken. And he, as a father, needs to solve them. He trained Ji Hongbo and taught planning since he was a child. This is the direction he chose for his son. You go back to seclusion for three months and think carefully about what I said. Elder Ji ordered with a wave of his hand. Chapter 200 Recovery Li Shiming was led by Elder Su into the sect's formation. He did not use his spiritual sense to detect. In such a level of formation, a short exploration could not detect anything. The most important thing is that Elder Su is by his side. And he doesn't dare to make any changes. Elder Su took him to a mountain peak and stopped at a bamboo pavilion on the top of the mountain. Junior Li Shiming has met Elder Su. I was entrusted by Su Chuan. This is a token. Li Shiming held up the token and said formally. Elder Su lifted Li Shiming up with his hands and took the token casually. He tapped on the token and then received a message that Su Chuan left in the token. He finally confirmed Li Shiming's identity and he was indeed a friend Su Chuan met outside. This is the Miyong Clover I got. Li Shiming took out a jade box and held it in his hand and continued. Upon hearing the name Muyong Clover, Elder Su's expression changed, and surprise flashed in his eyes. He suppressed his joy, took the jade box, opened it, checked it, and then quickly closed the jade box. You live in that cave first and don't move around at will, Elder Su said without saying anything more. He threw out a cave control jade token and left. Li Shiming understood Elder Su's mood. Although Elder Su tried his best to suppress it, he still saw a clue. There was a hint of black line in Elder Su's eyes. For the Jean Dan monk. He couldn't even control his own eyes. And the impact of the injury was definitely not small. He didn't know the details. But he estimated that Elder Su had been waiting for this Muyong Clover. There was just one thing that he couldn't figure out. Why Elder Su didn't ask about Su Chuan. It is simply impossible to say that Elder Su does not care about Su Chuan at all. How could he be indifferent to Su Chuan when he entrusts Su Chuan with a major event that may affect him? Li Shiming couldn't think clearly. So he stopped thinking about it. He took the control jade token and walked to a cave on the top of the mountain. He breathed the aura here in his mouth and nose and felt a sense of transparency all over his body. The aura here was so rich that he felt drunk. To be honest, he doesn't even need to sit in the cave here. Even the spiritual power on the top of the mountain is enough for his cultivation. In addition, the spiritual plants planted on both sides of the path he was walking on showed that most of them were second-grade spiritual plants. Even in some locations blocked by the formation, he could vaguely feel the aura of the third-grade spiritual plant. For any foundation-building monk, every step here is a treasure. Of course, Li Shiming didn't dare to reach out. This hilltop belonged to the elders of the Shushan sect. Every plant, tree, flower and mud was all owned by Elder Su. If he dared to reach out, he would steal Elder Jindan's spiritual objects. While sighing at the wealth of the elders of the great sex, he walked to the cave. He used the control jade tablet to open the cave. When he walked into the cave, he was almost shocked by the concentration of spiritual energy inside. The concentration of spiritual energy was indescribable to him. Every inch of space was filled with spiritual energy. Standing in the cave, let alone breathing. Even the pores were seeping spiritual energy into the body. Li Shiming did not hesitate at all. He knew that there would not be many such opportunities. This kind of cave is not prepared for foundation building monks at all. But a cave for Jean Dan monks. Even ordinary Jean Dan monks are not qualified to enjoy such a cave. Only friends of the Jean Dan elders come to visit. And they will use such a cave. If Li Shiming had not taken out the Miyong Clover, Elder Su could not wait to rearrange other caves. And there would be no way he could use a cave of this level. He entered the training room. Where was the outlet of spiritual energy. And the spiritual energy spurted out from the ground. He sat on the spiritual energy outlet and activated the Nine Heavens Thunder Strike Technique. He has always thought that the relationship between the speed of cultivation and the external spiritual energy is that it is enough when the external spiritual energy reaches the cultivation needs. But when he sat on the spiritual energy outlet and practiced the Nine Heavens Thunder Strike Technique, he felt the spiritual energy being squeezed into his body. 
and the original training speed was passively increased. Moreover, the aura here is purer than the aura he has used before, which speeds up the transformation during the cultivation process. He was completely immersed in the practice, and even in order to speed up, he shut down his five senses and devoted all his attention to practicing the Nine Heavens Thunder Strike Technique. He didn't want to waste a moment of this rare opportunity. True Biography Ji Hongba The monk stationed in Guanshan Town in Shoutao. The six monks from the law enforcement team and the four tigers of Liaison were all waiting for Elder Su's action. But the action they imagined did not appear. As if nothing happened, there was no news from Elder Su since that day. Although Ji Hongba should be happy that nothing happened, he couldn't be happy at all. The less Elder Su moves, the more it means there must be something important going on. Even Elder Ji couldn't sit still. He planned to have a meeting with Elder Su and have a frank and honest conversation. It seems that the monk brought back the elixir that old Su needs. Elder Ji sighed and murmured to himself. He and Elder Su have a competitive relationship within the sect. But their competition is not just a petty fight. But the sect's qualification to inherit the nascent soul. He and Elder Su have been competing with each other since the Qi period. Elder Su's lineage values honesty and treats friends with sincerity. So Elder Su has many friends. Elder Ji, on the other hand, is good at strategy. He has tied up many allies with interests. And his power is no worse than that of Elder Su. If Elder Su had not been injured, then this competitive relationship would have continued. With each competing for the qualification to inherit the nascent soul based on their abilities. But Elder Su was injured in the battle with demon sect Jean Dan. Which gave Elder Ji a chance. The ancestor behind Elder Su was in retreat. Elder Ji took the elixir that Elder Su urgently needed in advance. Leading Elder Su's injuries unable to be treated. As long as it lasts for another year. Elder Su's foundation will be damaged. Even if the ancestor comes out of seclusion, nothing can be changed. It's up to people to plan things, but it's up to God to make things happen. It's God who won't help me. Elder Ji shook his head and said, He doesn't have much regrets. If he doesn't succeed this time, he will have another chance in the future. If he doesn't achieve fair competition, he will. It is impossible for him to let go of his inheritance qualification of Yuanying which is the path to heaven for him to become Yuanying. The so-called nascent soul inheritance qualifications are not just about inheritance of skills. For Jin Dan monks like them, the inheritance of most sects will be open to them. The most important thing for the qualification of nascent soul inheritance is resources. When the ancestors of the sect's nascent soul are walking outside, they will get some fourth-grade resources, in addition to the ancestors' own consumption. Some of these resources can improve the golden elixir and advance to the nascent soul. Chances are, these resources will be provided to qualified golden elixirs. In the Shawandishan San Luo Sect Cave Mansion, Li Yuanba was also practicing. Since the year's tasks had been completed and he needed to quickly improve his strength, he also entered a state of seclusion. The cultivation of the main body and the clone are also top-level major skills. But it is obvious that Li Yuanba's timeline and still has a strong advantage. Li Yuanba's cultivation speed is almost twice as fast as Li Shiming's. This is when Li Shiming is in the Jin Dan Cave and Li Yuanba is in the ordinary foundation establishment cave. Li Shiming could imagine that if there were no accidents, when Li Yuanba entered the golden elixir stage, he might still be wandering in the middle stage of foundation building. This is also a good thing. Then, he will have a golden elixir month to find cultivation resources for him. Elder Su appeared at Tianmu Peak two months later. His mental state was completely different from before, and his aura was even more powerful. Half of the two months were spent processing materials, and finding a friend in the sect to refine elixirs. Because of what happened before, he didn't dare to leave things in the hands of untrustworthy people. Who knew if some monks would risk their lives to destroy his life-saving elixir? The other half of the time was naturally spent taking the Sanyang Huitian pill to heal his injuries. The third grade Sanyang Huitian pill not only cured the sinister energy in his body, but also caused a conflict with his long-suppressed strength. It wasn't until his body fully recovered that Elder Su thought of Li Shiming who he had thrown into Tianmu Peak Cave. Li Shiming is not a monk of the Shushan sect, so he cannot leave the cave. Any place outside the cave is a restricted area for Li Shiming. That is to say, the foundation building monks have very little demand for spiritual food. Otherwise, if a Qi linking monk is placed here, he will probably starve to death in two months. When Elder Su came to the cave, he fired a magic spell into the cave. This was to remind Li Shiming inside to let Li Shiming come out. But there was no reaction inside. He thought something had happened to Li Shiming. So he opened a cave formation with a wave of his hand. 
He is essentially the owner of the cave here, and everyone who lives in it is a guest. When there is no problem, he, the master, will naturally not break into the guest room. Entering the training room of the cave, he saw Li Shiming. At this time, Li Shiming was still in deep seclusion. Elder Su knew what happened and had his own means to wake up Li Shiming. With a gentle tap of his fingers, Li Shiming, who was in retreat with his five senses closed, since the call from outside, this reminded Li Shiming of where he was, and he began to slowly gather his spiritual power to end his practice. Elder Su! Li Shiming opened his eyes and saw that it was Elder Su. He lowered his head in embarrassment and didn't know what to say. Living in the cave borrowed by Elder Su, he actually closed his five senses during cultivation. However, when he sensed the spiritual power in the spirit lake, he was still very satisfied with this retreat. The spirit lake was filled with less than half of the thunder spirit power, which could at least satisfy him for a long battle. It would not be like before. After casting the spell a few times, all his spiritual power was exhausted. There's nothing to be embarrassed about. If you have resources, you have to fight for them. Monks rely on competition. They compete with themselves for time, with other monks for resources, and with God for opportunities. Elder Su said to Li Shiming with a smile. He was very satisfied with Li Shiming. It was not like he had done nothing in the past two months. Long before he found someone to make the elixir, he had ordered someone to investigate Li Shiming's situation. When he recovered, he also obtained Li Shiming's investigation information. Li Shiming definitely belongs to the kind of monk with a clean family background. Although Tianhai Island is a bit far away, Shushan sect has found out information about Li Shiming through Beishu Trading Company and the original seven monks from Tianhai Island. Li Shiming was one of the monks who was recognized by his sect and quit the Tianhai sect to look for opportunities in the northern Shu continent. Besides, just relying on Li Shiming to send back Muyong Clover, Elder Su is willing to take care of him even if there is any trouble. Let's talk about Su Chuan first. Why didn't he come back? Elder Su asked Li Shiming. Brother Su lured away a four-clawed dragon demon for me on his way to find Muyang Clover. And there is no more news. Li Shiming thought of Su Chuan and said sadly. Su Chuan is not dead. His soul lamp in the sect is still on. He must be hiding somewhere to heal his wounds. Elder Su waved his hand and said with certainty. Only then did Li Shiming understand why Elder Su didn't ask about Su Chuan when they first met. It was probably another two months before Su Chuan came back before he asked. I originally thought that Miyong Clover was found by you and Su Chuan together. But I didn't expect that you got it alone. Su Chuan left a message in the token asking me to accept you as a registered disciple and introduce you to the Shushan sect's inner sect. Su the Elder paused here. Li Shiming bowed and stood with his hands tied. He didn't know whether the meaning behind Elder Su's words was good or bad. I need to understand your situation before I make a decision, Elder Su said slowly. His mind swept over Li Shiming, and a strange look appeared on his face as he asked. Tell me what skills you have practiced. Lord, talk about cultivation and body training. During the spiritual exploration just now, he found that Li Shiming had three spiritual roots, and his qualifications were indeed not very good. But Li Shiming's physique is so strong that even ordinary monks in the middle stage of foundation building are far inferior. Even among foundation building monks who specialize in body refining. His physique is also extremely outstanding. According to the information obtained by Elder Su. Although Li Shiming was born in the Tianhai sect. The Tianhai sect did not help him much. Li Shiming was an ordinary disciple of the Tianhai sect. And his special feature was that he had an ambiguous relationship with a true female cultivator receive the care of Elder Jean Dan. Relying on such a relationship, it is far from enough to achieve Li Shiming's physical training ability. As for the Qi Chain period competition that Li Shiming participated in with the Mingxin sect, it was of little value in the eyes of Elder Su. In addition, Li Shiming still has thunder spirit power in his body, which means that Li Shiming has practiced the thunder system, which surprised Elder Su even more. It can be said that Li Shiming, a third-rate talented monk, has practiced top-notch body training and major training techniques. The most important thing is that he has become a foundation-building monk at a young age, and there is no foundation-building pill in his body. Residue. After taking the foundation establishment pill, there will be drug residues for at least five years, and its special medicinal properties have no way to escape from Elder Su's spiritual thoughts. Of course, Elder Su's question was definitely beyond the normal scope. It was also a test for Li Shiming. The help Li Shiming gave him this time was so great that it could not be dismissed by a simple registered disciple. 
He is also very optimistic about Lee Shimming, but his decision requires Lee Shimming to be qualified. 